বাংলাদেশ বেতার ঢাকা প্রিয় শ্রোতা বন্ধুরা এখন ইংল্যান্ডে অনুষ্ঠিত আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়ন ট্রফি দুই হাজার সতেরোয় শ্রীলঙ্কা বনাম দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা ক্রিকেট দলের মধ্যকার একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেট ম্যাচ অনুষ্ঠিত হবে খেলাটি চলতি ধারা বিবরণী প্রচারিত হবে বাণিজ্যিক কার্যক্রম বাংলাদেশ বেতার ঢাকার মিডিয়াম ওয়েব ছশো তিরিশ কিলো হারজে এবং এফ এম একশো চার মেগা হারজে ট্রাফিক সম্প্রচার কার্যক্রম আটাশি দশমিক আট মেগা হারজে বাংলাদেশ বেতার চট্টগ্রাম রাজশাহী খুলনা রংপুর ও সিলেট কেন্দ্র থেকে আটাশি দশমিক আট মেগা হারজে বরিশাল থেকে একশো পাঁচ দশমিক দুই মেগা হারজে ঠাকুরগাঁও থেকে বিরানব্বই দশমিক শূন্য মেগা হারজে রাঙামাটি থেকে একশো তিন দশমিক দুই মেগা হারজে বান্দরবান থেকে একশো চার দশমিক শূন্য মেগা হারজে কুমিল্লা থেকে একশো তিন দশমিক ছয় মেগা হারজে কক্সবাজার ও খুলনা থেকে একশো দশমিক আট মেগা হারজে প্রিয় বন্ধুরা শ্রীলঙ্কা বনাম দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা ক্রিকেট দলের মধ্যকার এই খেলার ধারা বিবরণী পরিবেশিত হচ্ছে ক্লোজ আপ ক্লিয়ার শ্যাম্পু সানসিল্ক ফেয়ার অ্যান্ড লাভলি মাল্টিভিটামিন ক্রিম এবং মানি গ্রামের সৌজন্যে শ্রোতা বন্ধুরা আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফি দু হাজার তৃতীয় দিনের খেলায় আপনাদেরকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আমি সাইদুর রহমান আজকের এই ম্যাচে অংশগ্রহণ করছে শ্রীলঙ্কা এবং ওডিআই র্যাঙ্কিংয়ে এই মুহূর্তে যে দলটি এক নম্বরে রয়েছে সেই দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা বাংলাদেশ বেতার থেকে আপনারা এই ম্যাচের চলতি ধারা বিবরণী সরাসরি উপভোগ করবেন আজকে শুরু থেকেই এবং ধারাভাষ্যে আজকে আমরা থাকছি পাঁচজন মোহাম্মদ সালাউদ্দিন পলাশ খান মোহাম্মদ ফারকুজ জামান রেজওয়ান ফেরদোস জিকো এবং আমি সাইদুর রহমান প্রকৌশল দায়িত্বে রয়েছেন মোহাম্মদ আলী হায়দার এবং মোহাম্মদ শহীদুল্লাহ প্রকৌশল তত্ত্বাবধানে মোহাম্মদ কবির হোসেন পাটওয়ারি তত্ত্বাবধানে রয়েছেন ডক্টর মীর শাহ আলম নির্দেশনায় জনাব সালাউদ্দিন আহমেদ স্পন্সর ও বিজ্ঞাপন ব্যবস্থাপনায় জনাব মোহাম্মদ গোলাম রাব্বানী এবং প্রযোজনায় মোহাম্মদ রফিক উদ্দিন আকন্দ আমাদের সকলের পক্ষ থেকে শ্রোতা ভাই বোনেরা আপনাদেরকে জানাচ্ছি অনেক অনেক তিথি এবং শুভেচ্ছা বি গ্রুপের আজকের এই ম্যাচ এবং ইতিমধ্যে কিন্তু টস অনুষ্ঠিত হয়েছে টসে জয়লাভ করে শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের অধিনায়ক উপুল থারাঙ্গা প্রথমে ফিল্ডিং করার সিদ্ধান্ত নিয়েছেন শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের অধিনায়ক উপুল থারাঙ্গা হ্যাঁ শ্রোতা বন্ধুরা ঠিকই শুনেছেন অ্যাঞ্জেলো ম্যাথুজ ইঞ্জুরির কারণে কিন্তু আজকে বেস্ট ইলেভেনে নেই ফলে উপুল থারাঙ্গা আজকে শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের অধিনায়কের দায়িত্ব পালন করছেন আজকে শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের প্রথম একাদশে যারা খেলছেন তারা হলেন উপুল থারাঙ্গা নিরসন ডিকুয়ালা উইকেট রক্ষক রয়েছেন কুশল ম্যান্ডিস দীনেশ চান্দিমাল তিসারা পেরেরা নুয়ান কুলাসেকারা গুনারাতনে সেকুগে প্রসন্না সুরাঙ্গা লাকমাল প্রদীপ এবং লাসিত মালিঙ্গা পক্ষান্তরে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দলের প্রথম একাদশে আজকে যারা রয়েছেন তারা হলেন কুইন্টন ডি কক হাসিম আমলা ফাব ডু প্লেসিস এবি ডি ভিলিয়ার্স দলের অধিনায়ক ডেভিড মিলার জেপি ডুমিনি ক্রিস মরিস ওয়াইন পার্নেল কাসিগো রাবাদা মর্নে মার্কেল এবং ইমরান তাহি শক্তিশালী একটি দল দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এই মুহূর্তে যারা ওডিআই র্যাঙ্কিং এ এক নম্বরে রয়েছে এবং আপনারা জানেন যে চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফি শুরু হওয়ার আগে ঠিক আগে ইংল্যান্ডের বিরুদ্ধে তিনটি একদিনের ম্যাচ খেলেছে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এবং এক দুই ব্যবধানে সিরিজে তারা হেরে গেছে তবে শেষ ম্যাচে কিন্তু ইংল্যান্ডকে তারা একশো তেপ্পান্ন রানে অল আউট করেছিল এবং কাসিগো রাবাদা এই মুহূর্তে তিনি বোলিং র্যাঙ্কিং এ এক নম্বরে রয়েছেন ওডিআই বলি বোলারদের যে রয়েছেন এক নম্বরে এবং এবি ডি ভিলিয়ার্স ব্যাটসম্যানদের র্যাঙ্কিং এ রয়েছেন এক নম্বরে অর্থাৎ ব্যাটসম্যানদের মধ্যে এবং বোলারদের মধ্যে বিশ্বের দুই সেরা খেলবর্ডকে নিয়েই কিন্তু আজকে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দল তাদের প্রথম ম্যাচটি খেলছে বি গ্রুপের ম্যাচ চারটি দলের সমন্বয়ে এই বি গ্রুপ এ গ্রুপের অপর দুটি দল হল ভারত এবং পাকিস্তান যারা কিনা আগামীকাল মুখোমুখি হবে এবং সেই ম্যাচটিও কিন্তু বাংলাদেশ বেতার আপনাদের জন্য সরাসরি সম্প্রচার করবে ইনফ্যাক্ট প্রত্যেকটি ম্যাচই বাংলাদেশ বেতার আপনাদের জন্য সরাসরি সম্প্রচার করবে আশা করি প্রত্যেকটি ম্যাচের ধারা বর্ণনা আপনারা উপভোগ করবেন আমরা সাথে থাকছি আপনাদের আপনারাও আশা করি আমাদের সাথে থাকবেন চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফির তৃতীয় দিনের ম্যাচ গতকালকের খেলায় আপনারা জানেন যে নিউজিল্যান্ড এবং অস্ট্রেলিয়া তারা পয়েন্ট ভাগাভাগি করে নিয়েছে বৃষ্টির কারণে শেষ পর্যন্ত ম্যাচটি পরিত্যক্ত হয়েছে তবে যখন ম্যাচটি পরিত্যক্ত হয় তখন নিউজিল্যান্ড দল কিন্তু দারুণ সুবিধাজনক জায়গায় ছিল দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দলের দুই উদ্বোধনী ব্যাটসম্যানকে দেখতে পাচ্ছি তারা দুজনে কিন্তু ইনিংস এর গোড়াপত্তন করতে আস্তে আস্তে এগিয়ে যাচ্ছেন এই মুহূর্তে আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি হাসিম আমলা 
তিনি এসেছেন ইনিংস এর গোড়াপত্তন করতে ফাইভ চেঞ্জেস ফর শ্রী লঙ্কা সিন্স দেয়ার লাস্ট ওয়ান ডে ইন্টারন্যাশনাল বাট ওয়ান অফ দোজ চেঞ্জেস ইজ লাসিফ মালিঙ্গা হি ইজ ব্যাক আফটার 19 মান্থস এবং এশিয়ান ইন ওয়ার্ল্ড ক্রিকেট অ্যাট দ্য মোমেন্ট বিভ্রান্ত করতে সক্ষম প্রথম ওভারটি করার জন্য তিনি প্রস্তুতি নিচ্ছেন এবং তেত্রিশ বছর বয়স ডান হাতি ফাস্ট মিডিয়াম বোলার লাসিত মালিঙ্গা ইতিমধ্যেই কিন্তু দুশো একানব্বইটি উইকেট পেয়েছেন এর আগে একশো একানব্বইটি একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ম্যাচ খেলে বুঝতেই পারছেন অভিজ্ঞতার দিক থেকে কিন্তু একেবারেই সমৃদ্ধ এই লাসিত মালিঙ্গা তিনি প্রথম ওভারটি করবেন শ্রীলঙ্কার পক্ষে টসে হেরে আজকে শ্রীলঙ্কা প্রথমে ফিল্ডিং করছেন বাহাতি ব্যাটসম্যান কুইন্টন ডি কক চব্বিশ বছর বয়স তিনি এ পর্যন্ত বিরাশিটি ম্যাচ খেলেছেন তিন রান করেছেন বারোটি শত রান রয়েছে এবং তেরোটি অর্ধ শত বারোটি শত তেরোটি অর্ধ শত তার মানে হচ্ছে অর্ধ শত করলেই কিন্তু সেটিকে শতকে পরিণত করার একটি প্রবণতা কিন্তু এই কুইন্টন ডি কক এর মধ্যে রয়েছে ডান হাতি বাহাতি কম্বিনেশন শুরুতেই এবং ইয়ান গোল্ডকে দেখতে পাচ্ছি তিনি প্রথমে সংকেত দিলেন পাওয়ার প্লে নাম্বার ওয়ান এক থেকে দশ ওভার প্রথম ওভারের খেলা শুরু হবে প্রস্তুত এক্ষেত্রে নিরশন ঢিকওয়ালা উইকেট রক্ষক শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের লাসিত মালিঙ্গা দৌড় শুরু করেছেন ওভার দ্য উইকেট প্রথম ওভারটি করবেন তিনি বল করলেন অফিস স্টাফের সামান্য বাইরে এবং রক্ষণাত্মক ভঙ্গিতেই খেললেন পয়েন্টের দিকে হাসি মামলা ফিল্ডার ছিলেন প্রস্তুত কোন রান হলো না প্রথম বলটি ডট ডট দিয়ে শুরু করলেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা অনেক জয়ের নায়ক শ্রীলঙ্কার পক্ষে সাতবার পাঁচ উইকেট হল এই লাসিত মালিঙ্গার পক্ষে এবং শ্রীলঙ্কার পক্ষে কিন্তু দুর্দান্ত আন্তর্জাতিক ম্যাচ এ পর্যন্ত উপহার দিয়েছেন এই লাসিত মালিঙ্গা প্রস্তুত ওভারের পরের বলটি করার জন্য দুটি স্লিপ নিয়ে বল করছেন তিনি ওভার দ্য উইকেট এবার কিন্তু লেগ স্টাম্পার পরে পিচ করেছিল এবং যার কারণে কিন্তু কবজির মোচরে ঘোরাতে সক্ষম হয়েছেন ব্যাকওয়ার্ড স্কোয়ার লেগ অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডিং হলো ততক্ষণে ব্যাটসম্যানেরা একবারের জন্য নিজেদের মধ্যে জায়গা পরিবর্তন করেন হাসি মামলা তার রানের খাতা খুললেন হাসি মামলা এক দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার সংগ্রহ এক বিনা উইকেটে প্রথম ওভারের খেলা চলছে আলিমদার পাকিস্তানি আম্পায়ার অনফিল্ড আম্পায়ার হিসেবে তিনি দায়িত্ব পালন করছেন ইংল্যান্ডের ইয়ান গোল্ডের সাথে ইয়ান গোল্ডের একজন ইয়ান গোল্ড অবশ্যই অভিজ্ঞ একজন আম্পায়ার তাতে কোনো সন্দেহ নেই দুটি বল থেকে একটি মাত্র রান এসছে এখনো পর্যন্ত প্রথম ওভারের খেলা চলছে তৃতীয় ম্যাচ আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফির প্রথম ম্যাচে বাংলাদেশ মুখোমুখি হয়েছিল ইংল্যান্ডের যদিও শেষ পর্যন্ত সেই ম্যাচে জয়লাভ করতে পারেনি বাংলাদেশ আট উইকেটে পরাজিত হয়েছিল ইংল্যান্ডের কাছে এবং গতকালকের ম্যাচটি কিন্তু অমীমাংসিতভাবে শেষ হয়েছিল বৃষ্টির কারণে এবারে কিন্তু আবারও লেগ স্টাম্পের বাইরে এবং লেগ স্টাম্পের বাইরে সংগত কারণেই কিন্তু আম্পায়ার ওয়াইডে সংকেত দিলেন অতিরিক্ত থেকে প্রথম রান অতিরিক্ত এক দলীয় সংগ্রহ বাড়লো দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার দুই বিনা উইকেটে প্রথম ওভারের খেলা চলছে কেনিংটন ওভাল লন্ডনে এই ম্যাচটি অনুষ্ঠিত হচ্ছে এই মাঠেই কিন্তু প্রথম ম্যাচটি খেলেছিল বাংলাদেশ ইংল্যান্ডের বিরুদ্ধে শ্রীলঙ্কা টসে জিতে প্রথমে ফিল্ডিং করছে শ্রীলঙ্কা তারা একবার শিরোপা জিতেছে এ পর্যন্ত দু দুই সালে ভারতের সাথে যুগ্মভাবে চ্যাম্পিয়ন হয়েছিল এই চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফির যাচ্ছেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা পরের বলটি করলেন এবারে কিন্তু একেবারে মিডল স্টাম্পের উপরে পিচ করা বল এবং রক্ষণাত্ম ভঙ্গিতে খেললেন কুইন্টন ডি কক বল চলে গেল কাভার অঞ্চলে ষাট কাভারে ফিল্ডিং হলো কোনো রান নয় দেখে শুনে খেলবেন শুরুতে এটাই স্বাভাবিক এবং ইয়র্কার কিন্তু একের পর এক দিতে অভ্যস্ত লাসিত মালিঙ্গা খুবই পারঙ্গম ইয়র্কার দেওয়ার ক্ষেত্রে কুইন্টন ডি কক তিনিও কিন্তু একজন অভিজ্ঞ ব্যাটসম্যান কোনো সন্দেহ নেই বাহাতি এই ব্যাটসম্যান বারোটি শতরান তার নামের পাশে 
যাচ্ছেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা ওভার পরের বলটি করার জন্য ওভার দুইকে বল করছেন এবারে কিন্তু ব্যাটার ফেস ওপেন করে খেলেছিলেন মিড অফ অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডার একটু বাদিকে কুড়িয়ে নিলেন কোন রান হলো না 135 কিলোমিটার পার আওয়ার বেগে এই বলটি করেছিলেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা ফিল্ডিং হলো কোন রান হলো না আর একটি ডট বল চারটি ডেলিভারি থেকে এখনো পর্যন্ত দুটি রান এসেছে একটি হাসি মামলার ব্যাট থেকে এবং অন্যটি ওয়াইড থেকে অর্থাৎ অতিরিক্ত থেকে আরও একটি রান এসছে সব মিলে দুটি রান এসছে চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফিতে এবার কিন্তু বৃষ্টির হানা আমরা দ্বিতীয় ম্যাচে দেখেছি এবং ফাইনালের জন্য একটা রিজার্ভ ডেও রাখা হয়েছে বৃষ্টির সম্ভাবনাকে মাথায় রেখে ইনফ্যাক্ট বছরের এই সময়টিতে ইংল্যান্ডে যথেষ্ট বৃষ্টিপাত হয়ে থাকে এবারে কিন্তু আবারও লেগ স্টাফের বাইরে পিচ করলো বলটি এবং সংগত কারণে আরও একটি ওয়াইড ওভারে দ্বিতীয় ওয়াইড এটি অর্থাৎ অতিরিক্ত থেকে পর্যন্ত দুটি রান এসছে তিন বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা চলছে প্রথম ওভারের খেলা বাহাতি ব্যাটসম্যানের জন্য একটু সমস্যা হচ্ছে লাসিত মালিঙ্গার ডান হাতি হাসি মামলাকে যেমন অফিস স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে পিচ করিয়েছিলেন এখন সেটি অবশ্যই লেগ স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে হয়ে যাচ্ছে দুটি ডেলিভারি লেগ স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে হওয়ার কারণে দুটি ওয়াইড এসছে এবং দুটি অতিরিক্ত রানও যোগ হয়েছে আকাশে কিন্তু কিছুটা মেঘ আজকেও আমরা লক্ষ্য করছি গ্যালারিতে যে অনেক দর্শক এসছেন সেটি বলবো না গত দুদিন যে পরিমাণ দর্শক এসছিলেন সেই তুলনায় আজকে কিন্তু দর্শক অনেক কম এবারে কাভার অঞ্চলে সফট হ্যান্ডে পুশ করলেন স্টেট টু দ্য ফিল্ডার কোনো রান পাবেন না পেলেন না রান ডট বল ভালো বল করছেন লাসিদ মালিঙ্গা দুটি ওয়াইড দিয়েছেন তাছাড়া কিন্তু ব্যাট থেকে মাত্র একটি রান এসছে লাইন এবং লেন্থ মোটামুটি ঠিক আছে ওই দুটি বলের ক্ষেত্রে অবশ্য লাইন মেনটেন করতে পারেননি লেগ স্টাম্পের বাইরে পিচ করেছিল বাহাতি ব্যাটসম্যান এই কারণেই হয়তো বা এই সমস্যাটি হয়েছিল লাসিত মালিঙ্গার জন্য ডানহাতি ফাস্ট মিডিয়াম বোলার লাসিত মালিঙ্গা ওভারে শেষ বলটি করবেন গ্রুপ বি এর ম্যাচ গ্রুপ বি এর আজকে প্রথম ম্যাচ কালকে দ্বিতীয় ম্যাচ গ্রুপ বি এর যে ম্যাচে ভারত এবং পাকিস্তান মুখোমুখি হবে যাচ্ছেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা ওভারে শেষ বলটি করার জন্য করলেন ইয়োর ক্যালেন্টে ডেলিভারি ছিল ডিগ আউট করলেন মিড অফ অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডিং হলো সরাসরি ফিল্ডারের কাছে কোনো রান হলো না এবং সেই সাথে প্রথম ওভারের খেলা শেষ হলো তিন বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দল ওডিআইতে অত্যন্ত শক্তিশালী একটি দল ওডিআই র্যাঙ্কিং এই মুহূর্তে বিশ্বের এক নম্বর দল এই দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা কারণটি কিন্তু খুবই ক্লিয়ার এ বি ডি ভিলিয়ার্স যাকে তিনশো ডিগ্রি ব্যাটসম্যান বলা না তিনশো ষাট ডিগ্রি ব্যাটসম্যান বা ক্রিকেটার বলার একটি কারণ যে মাঠের যে কোনো জায়গায় কিন্তু তিনি শর্টস খেলতে সক্ষম এ বি ডি ভিলিয়ার্সের মতো একজন মারকুটে ব্যাটসম্যান এবং হাসি মামলা কিংবা এই যে কুইন্টন ডি কক সকলেই কিন্তু বড় ইনিংস খেলতে সক্ষম সব কিছু মিলিয়েই কিন্তু দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দল দিল্লি ডেয়ার ডেভিলস এর হয়ে আইপিএল এ খেলেছেন এবং দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দলের হয়ে তিনি খেলছেন চব্বিশ বছর একশো আটষট্টি দিন তার বয়স এবং ওডিআইতে তিনি এ পর্যন্ত বারোটি শতরান করেছেন কুইন্টন ডি কক সিরাঙ্গা লাকমালকে দেখতে পাচ্ছি তিরিশ বছর বয়স এ পর্যন্ত চুরাশিটি উইকেট পেয়েছেন এর আগে একষট্টিটি ওডিআই খেলে তিরিশ রানে চার উইকেট তার ক্যারিয়ার সেরা ইকোনমি পাঁচ দশমিক চার নয় সিরাঙ্গা লাকমাল তিনি এসছেন ওভারের দ্বিতীয় ওভারটি করার জন্য তার ব্যক্তিগত প্রথম ওভার এটি হাসি মামলা স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে যিনি দুই বল খেলে একটি রান করেছেন এ পর্যন্ত কুইন্টন ডি কক তার কথা বলছিলাম উইকেট রক্ষক ব্যাটসম্যান বিরাশিটি ম্যাচ খেলেছেন এটি নিয়ে এবং তিন হাজার চারশো দশ রান করেছেন এ পর্যন্ত বারোটি শত রান তেরোটি অর্ধশত তার ক্যারিয়ারে রয়েছে এ পর্যন্ত সেরাঙ্গা লাকমাল প্রথম বলটি করলেন এবং সেটি কিন্তু সেটি থেকে কোনো রান আসেনি নাসের হুসেন তিনি অবশ্য বলেছিলেন ব্রেন্ডন ম্যাককালাম তারা সকলেই কিন্তু বলেছিলেন যে তাম ইকবাল প্রথম ম্যাচে যে ক্যাচটা নিয়েছিলেন এউইন মর্গানের ইংলিশ অধিনায়ক সেটি কিন্তু ফেয়ার ক্যাচ ছিল যদিও সেদিন আম্পায়ার এসরাভি তিনি অবশ্য সেটি আউট দেননি এবারে কিন্তু মিড উইকেট অঞ্চল দিয়ে বল যাচ্ছে সীমানার দিকে চার পাবেন না দুজন ফিল্ডার পেছনে পেছনে ছুটছেন সীমানার কাছাকাছি ফিল্ডিং হলো র্যালি করে ফিল্ডিং করলেন তবে তিনটি রান এসছে হাসি মামলার ব্যাট থেকে এই তিনটি রান এসছে এবং হাসি মামলা তিনি পৌঁছে গেলেন ব্যক্তিগত চার রানে চার বল খেলে চার রানে অপরাজিত তিনি ছয় বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা সিরাঙ্গাল আকমলের এটি ব্যক্তিগত প্রথম ওভার প্রথম বলটি ছিল ডট দ্বিতীয় বলটি থেকে তিনটি রান এসছে মিড উইকেট অঞ্চলে চমৎকার প্লেসমেন্ট ছিল অবশ্য 
মারে যে খুব জোর ছিল বলবো না জোর থাকলে কিন্তু ফিল্ডারকে যেহেতু বিট করতে পেরেছিলেন চার পেয়ে যেতেন সেটি পাননি হাসি মামলা তবে তিনটি রান পেয়ে গেছেন দুই ব্যাটসম্যান কুইন্টন ডি কক এখন স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে চারটি ডেলিভারি ফেস করেছেন এর আগে কোনো রান এখনো করতে পারেননি সেরঙ্গা লাকমাল একটু লম্বা রান আপ নিয়ে বল করে থাকেন এই মুহূর্তে দুটি স্লিপ পয়েন্ট কাভা মিড অফ অফ সাইডে পাঁচজন এবং থার্ড ম্যানও একজনকে দেখতে পাচ্ছি ডিপ থার্ড ম্যান একজন ফিল্ডার রয়েছেন সব মিলে অফ সাইডে ছজন অন সাইডে তিনজন সিক্স থ্রি পরের বলটি করলেন স্টাম্পের মধ্যে রক্ষণাত্ম ভঙ্গিতে খেললেন এবং কোনো রান হলো না আরও একটি ডট বল রুপুল থারাঙ্গা নিরসন দিখওয়ালা উইকেট রক্ষক কুশল মেন্ডিস দীনেশ চান্দিমাল কুশল পেরেরা কামারা কাপুদেগারা আসেলা গনারাতনে সেকুগে প্রসন্না শেরঙ্গা রাকমাল নোয়ান প্রদীপ এবং লাসিত মালিঙ্গা এই এগারো জন আজকে বেস্ট ইলেভেনে রয়েছেন কুইন্টন ডি কক উইকেট রক্ষক হাসিম আমলা ফাবডু প্লেসিস এবি ডি ভিলিয়ার্স দলীয় অধিনায়ক তারা প্রত্যেকেই কিন্তু ভালো ব্যাট করে থাকেন সেরঙ্গা লাকমাল পরের বলটি করলেন এবারে কবজির মোচের ঘোরানোর চেষ্টা অবশ্য ষাট মিনিট উইকেট অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডার রয়েছেন দৌড়ে গিয়ে কুড়িয়ে নিলেন কোনো রান হলো না ছটি ডেলিভারি ফেস করেছেন এখনো পর্যন্ত কুইন্টন ডি কক তার রানের খাতা খোলেননি যথেষ্ট মারকুট একজন ব্যাটসম্যান এই কুইন্টন ডি কক বাহাতি ব্যাটসম্যান ডান হাতি বাহাতি কম্বিনেশন যার কারণে কিন্তু স্ট্রাইক রোটেট হলে ফিল্ডিংয়ের রথ বদল করতে হবে এটি একটা বাড়তি সুবিধা যে কোনো দলের জন্যই যদি উইকেটে দুজন ব্যাটসম্যান দু ধরনের থাকেন বাহাতি ডান হাতি কম্বিনেশন যদি থাকে যাচ্ছেন সেরঙ্গা লাকমাল ওভারের পঞ্চম বলটি করার জন্য একটু অ্যাঙ্গুলার রান আপ এবারে কিন্তু মিডল স্টাম্পের পরে নিচু হয়েছিল বলটি যেভাবে খেলতে চেয়েছিলেন খেলতে পারেনি ব্যাটের নিচের অংশে লেগে পরবর্তীতে প্যারে লেগে বলটি উইকেটের মধ্যেই ছিল এবং পরবর্তীতে বোলার দৌড়ে গিয়ে কুড়িয়ে নিলেন কোনো রান হলো না যার মানে হচ্ছে আরও একটি ডট বল পাঁচটি ডেলিভারি থেকে চারটি ডট একটি স্কোরিং শট যেটি থেকে তিনটি রান এসছিল ভালো বল করছেন সিরঙ্গা লকমাল ছয় বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা চলছে দ্বিতীয় ওভারের খেলা দৌড় শুরু করেছেন ওভার দ উইকেট বল করছেন সেরঙ্গা লাকমাল পরের বলটি আবারও কিন্তু উইকেটের মধ্যে এবং যথারীতি ফরওয়ার্ড ডিফেন্সিভ শট খেলেন কুইন্টন ডি কক পরবর্তীতে বোলার কুড়িয়ে নিলেন কোন রান হলো না সেই সাথে দ্বিতীয় ওভারের খেলা শেষ হলো ছয় বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এটা আপনার খেলা আপনার জীবন আপনার জীবনের কষ্ট আপনার একাগ্রতা আপনাকে নিয়ে যায় সেই স্থানে যেখানে আপনি হয়ে যান আপনার প্রিয়জনের উৎসাহ মানি গ্রাম মানি ট্রান্সফার खाता खुलते बेस सतर्क आज के लक्ष्य कर रान अपराजित चार्ट खेले आठ टी बल खेले রান করতে পারেননি কুইন্টন ডি কক হাসি মামলা এখন স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে এ কথা যখন বলছি আরও একটি বল করলেন মালিঙ্গা এবং এটিও কিন্তু রক্ষণত ভঙ্গিতে খেলেন কোনো রান হলো না ঝট বল দিয়ে এই ওভারটি শুরু করলেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা প্রথম ওভারে দুটি ওয়াইড ডেলিভারি করেছিলেন সেটি অবশ্য কুইন্টন ডি ককের বিরুদ্ধে বাহাতি ব্যাটসম্যানের বিরুদ্ধে ডান হাতি হাসি মামলার বিরুদ্ধে অবশ্য লেগ স্টাম্পের বাইরে পিচ করার তেমন কোনো কারণ নেই লাসিত মালিঙ্গার জন্য লাসিত মালিক একটু ফিল্ডিং এর রদবদল করে নিচ্ছেন একটু ফাইন টেনিং করে নিয়ে তারপরে বলটি করবেন দুজন মাত্র ফিল্ডার থার্টি এইট সার্কেলের বাইরে থাকতে পারবেন এই সময়টি তার প্রথম দশ ওভারে পাওয়ার প্লে নাম্বার ওয়ানে হাসিম মামলা স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে পাঁচটি বল খেলে চারটি রান করেছেন এখনো পর্যন্ত কোনো বাউন্ডারি আসেনি দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার ইনিংসে ছয় বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা চলছে তৃতীয় ওভারের খেলা আবার কিন্তু মেডিকেল অঞ্চলের দিকে ঘুরিয়েছেন একাধিক রান পাওয়ার কথা কিন্তু না ফিল্ডার অবশ্য খুব দ্রুত চেইস করলেন বলটিকে এবং কুড়িয়ে যতক্ষণে ফেরত দিলেন ব্যাটসম্যানেরা একটি রান নিয়ে সন্তুষ্ট থাকলেন হাসি মামলা তিনি পৌঁছে গেলেন পাঁচে ছয় বল খেলে পাঁচ রানে অপরাজিত তিনি দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার দলীয় রান বেড়ে দাঁড়ালো সাত বিনা উইকেটে টসে জিতে প্রথমে ফিল্ডিং করছে শ্রীলঙ্কা দল উপল থারাঙ্গা দলীয় অধিনায়ক শ্রীলঙ্কার তিনি ফিল্ডিং করার সিদ্ধান্ত নিয়েছেন অ্যাঞ্জেলো ম্যাথুজ নিয়মিত অধিনায়ক শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের আজকে তিনি একাদশে নেই গোড়ালিতে খানিকটা ইঞ্জুরি যার কারণে এই ম্যাচে তিনি একাদশের বাইরে রয়েছেন খেলছেন না যাচ্ছেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা ওভারে তিন নম্বর বলটি করার জন্য ওভার দ উইকেট বল করছেন ডান হাতি এই ফাস্ট মিডিয়াম বোলার এবারে কিন্তু কুইন্টন ডি কক তিনি কিন্তু এক্সট্রা কাভার অঞ্চলে ড্রাইভ করেছিলেন ফিল্ডার ছিলেন একটু ডান দিকে সরে গিয়ে কুড়িয়ে ফেরত দিলেন কিন্তু তার আগেই একটি রান নিতে সক্ষম হলেন কুইন্টন ডি কক 
রানের খাতা খুললেন তিনি নবম বলে তিনি প্রথম রান নিলেন কুইন্টন ডি ককের সংগ্রহ এক দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার দলীয় সংগ্রহ আট বিনা উইকেটে এই যে আটটি বল থেকে কোনো রান করেননি কুইন্টন ডি কক নবম যে বলটি তিনি খেললেন সেটি থেকে একটি রান নিলেন অর্থাৎ এতটা দেরিতে তিনি শুরু করলেন সতর্কতার সাথে কিন্তু আমরা নিশ্চিতভাবে দেখব যে উইকেটে যদি লম্বা সময় তিনি থাকেন এই যে বল এবং রানের যে ব্যবধান সেটি তিনি ভালোভাবে ঘুচিয়ে দেবেন এবার কিন্তু স্কোয়ার অফ দ্য উইকেট স্কোয়ার কাট করেছেন এবং বল চলে গেল ওয়াইডিশ ডিপ থার্ড ম্যান অঞ্চলে যতক্ষণে ফিল্ডার করিয়ে ফেরত দিলেন আরও একটি রান রানটি এসছে হাসি মামলার ব্যাট থেকে হাসি মামলা তিনি পৌঁছে গেলেন ব্যক্তিগত ছয়ে দলের সংগ্রহ বেড়েছে ইতিমধ্যেই শ্রীলঙ্কা দলে চমৎকার একটা ভঙ্গি কিন্তু লাসিত মালিঙ্গার কাছ থেকে আমরা লক্ষ্য করে থাকি এবং অ্যাওয়ে ফ্রম হিজ বডি তিনি যখন ডেলিভারিটি দিয়ে থাকেন এবং যেটি কিন্তু বিভ্রান্ত করে অনেক সময় ব্যাটসম্যানদেরকে ছয় হাসি মামলা দলের সংগ্রহ নয় বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা চলছে তৃতীয় ওভারের খেলা ওভারে পঞ্চম বল এটি যাচ্ছেন এবারে রাউন্ড দ্য উইকেট বল করলেন স্টেয়ার করেছেন থার্ড ম্যানের দিকে ডিপ থার্ড ম্যানের ফিল্ডার রয়েছেন কুড়িয়ে ফেরত দিলেন একটি রান এর আগের ওভারে আমরা দেখেছিলাম যখন কুইন্টন ডিকক বাহাতি ব্যাটসম্যান তিনি স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে ছিলেন দুটি বল লেগ স্টাম্পের বাইরে পিচ করিয়েছিলেন যার কারণে এবারে কিন্তু রাউন্ড দ্য উইকেট গেলেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা এবং কুইন্টন ডিকক স্টেয়ার করে একটি রান নিলেন তিনি পৌঁছে গেছেন ধুয়ে দলের সংগ্রহ বাড়লো দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দশ বিনা উইকেটে তৃতীয় ওভারের খেলা চলছে ওভারে শেষ বলটি করবেন এই ওভার থেকে চারটি রান এসছে প্রথমটি ছিল ডট পরপর চারটি ডেলিভারি থেকে চারটি রান একটি একটি করে ওভারে শেষ বল ওভার দ্য উইকেট যাচ্ছেন এবারে যেহেতু ডান হাতি হাসি মামলা এখন স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে কাবো পয়েন্ট অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডিং হয়ে গেল সফট হ্যান্ডে খেলেছিলেন এবং কোনো রান হলো না সেই সাথে তৃতীয় ওভারের খেলা শেষ হলো দশ বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা টসে হেরে আজকে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দল প্রথমে ব্যাট করছে গতকাল আমরা দেখেছিলাম এসবাসটনে অবশ্য গতকালের ম্যাচটি অনুষ্ঠিত হয়েছিল নিউজিল্যান্ড দলের অধিনায়ক কেন উইলিয়ামসন টসে জিতে প্রথমে তিনি অবশ্য ব্যাটিং করারই সিদ্ধান্ত নিয়েছিলেন সেইভাবে যদি আমরা বিবেচনা করি তাহলে হয়তো দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা অধিনায়ক টসে হেরে তেমন কোনো লস করেননি টসে জিতলে হয়তো তিনিও ব্যাটিং করারই সিদ্ধান্ত নিতেন টসে হেরে সেই সিদ্ধান্ত তিনি নিতে পেরেছেন বৃষ্টির সম্ভাবনা কিছুটা অবশ্যই রয়েছে আগামীকাল কিন্তু ভারত পাকিস্তান ম্যাচ তবে ওয়েদার ফোরকাস্ট কিন্তু আগে থেকেই জানাচ্ছে যে কালকের ম্যাচটিও কিন্তু বৃষ্টির কবলে পড়তে পারে শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের বিরুদ্ধে কুইন্টন ডি কক তিনি তেতাল্লিশ তার অ্যাভারেজ হাসি মামলার অ্যাভারেজ পঞ্চাশ ফাফ ডু পুলিশ তেতাল্লিশ চুয়ান্ন এবি ডি ভিলিয়ার্সের ডেভিড মিলারের উনচল্লিশ জেপি ডুমিনি সাঁত্রিশ ক্রিস মরিসের বিশ ওয়াইন পার্নেলের একুশ রাবাদার সতেরো অর্থাৎ অ্যাভারেজ কিন্তু ব্যাটসম্যানদের যথেষ্ট ভালো পঞ্চাশ বা তার কাছাকাছি এবার কিন্তু ক্রস ব্যাটে খেলতে গিয়েছিলেন পরাস্ত হয়েছেন কুইন্টন ডি কক আবেদন হয়েছিল সেরাঙ্গা লাকমাল জোরালো আবেদন করেছিলেন সে আবেদনে অবশ্যই সাড়া দিলেন নাম পায় একশো তিরিশ কিলোমিটার পার আওয়ার বেগে এই ডেলিভারিটি ছিল এবং কুইন্টন ডি কক কিন্তু ব্যাটে বলে করতে পারেনি যে সৌভাগ্য তার কোন বিপর্যয় হয়নি এখানে অবশ্য আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে আমরা অবশ্য দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে এখানে শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের জরালো আবেদন হয়েছিল এবং চেক করা হচ্ছে যেটি ফ্রন্ট ফুট ফেয়ার ডেলিভারি ছিল সুরঙ্গা লাকমালের কোনো প্রবলেম ছিল না ফ্রন্ট ফুটে শ্রীলঙ্কা রিভিউ অরিজিনাল ডিসিশন অবশ্য নট আউট একটি করে রিভিউর সুযোগ রয়েছে সেই রিভিউটি নিচ্ছেন এই মুহূর্তে শ্রীলঙ্কা দল এল বিডব্লিউর আবেদন কুইন্টন ডি ককের বিরুদ্ধে সুরঙ্গা লাকমাল আবেদন করেছিলেন এবং এখন যেটা দেখছি যে ঠিক নির একটু উপরে বলটি লেগেছিল ক্রস প্যাটে খেলেছিলেন ব্যাটে বলে করতে পারেননি দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এবং শ্রীলঙ্কা এ পর্যন্ত পঁয়ষট্টি ম্যাচে মুখোমুখি হয়েছে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা জিতেছে চৌত্রিশটিতে শ্রীলঙ্কা জিতেছে উনত্রিশটিতে ধন্যবাদ মোহাম্মদ ফারুকুজ্জামান এবং ইনসাইড এজ হয়েছিল কিনা সেটি দেখা হচ্ছে এখন অবশ্য স্নিক মিটার কিন্তু কোনো কিছু শো করছে না এটি প্যাডে লেগেছে যখন তখন স্নিক মিটার দেখাচ্ছে তবে ব্যাটকে যখন বলটি ক্রস করে তখন কিন্তু স্নিক মিটার চুপ ছিল পিচিং ইন লাইন ইম্প্যাক্ট ইন লাইন এবং এক্ষেত্রে অবশ্য উইকেট মিসিং আমরা যেটা দেখছি আম্পায়ার স্কল তিনি নট আউট দিয়েছিলেন এবং উইকেটের উপর দিয়ে বল চলে যাচ্ছে এবং শ্রীলঙ্কা রিভিউ চলছে একটি করে রিভিউ সুযোগ আছে দুই দলের জন্য 
এবং রিভিউয়ে কিন্তু শ্রীলঙ্কা দল হেরে গেল অর্থাৎ একটি রিভিউয়ের যে সুযোগ সেটা কিন্তু তারা শুরুতেই হাতছাড়া করে ফেলল একেবারে চতুর্থ ওভারে খেলা চলছে রিভিউ নিয়েছিল তারা কুইন্টন ডি ককের বিরুদ্ধে এল বি ডাব্লিউ আবেদন ছিল সবকিছু ঠিক ছিল পিচিং ইন লাইন ছিল এবং এখানে ইনসাইড এজ হয়নি ব্যাটের কিন্তু উইকেট মিসিং ছিল অর্থাৎ উইকেটের একটু হাইটটা বেশি ছিল উইকেটের উপর দিয়ে যাচ্ছিল বলটি যেটি গ্রাফিক্সে দেখানো হলো এবং যার কারণে কিন্তু শেষ পর্যন্ত অনফিল্ড আম্পায়ারের ডিসিশনে কিন্তু টিভি আম্পায়ার স্টিক করে গেলেন এবং যার কারণে কিন্তু শ্রীলঙ্কা দল তাদের রিভিউয়ের সুযোগটি হারিয়ে ফেললো চতুর্থ বারের খেলা চলছে যাচ্ছেন পরের বলটি করার জন্য করলেন এবারে ব্যাটের ফেস ওপেন করে খেলেছেন মিড অফ অঞ্চলে স্টেট টু দ্য ফিল্ডার কোনো রান পেলেন না কুইন্টন ডি কক বারোটি বল খেলে এখনো পর্যন্ত দুটি মাত্র রান করেছেন রিভিউ আনসাকসেসফুল শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের চতুর্থ ওভারের খেলা চলছে দশ বিনা উইকেটে শ্রীলঙ্কা সাউথ আফ্রিকা ইনফ্যাক্ট সাউথ আফ্রিকা দল তারা ব্যাট করছে দশ রান করেছে পর্যন্ত তিন দশমিক দুই ওভার ব্যাট করে কুইন্টন ডি কক একটু কসাস বারো বল খেলে দুই রানে তিনি এখনো পর্যন্ত অপরাজিত স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে রয়েছেন সর্বশেষ সাতটি ম্যাচে শ্রীলঙ্কাকে পরাজিত করেছে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দল অর্থাৎ দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা কিন্তু দারুণ ফর্মে এবার কিন্তু পুল করতে চেয়েছিলেন একেবারে ক্রস ব্যাটে পুলটা করতে চেয়েছিলেন ব্যাটে বলে করতে পারলেন না আরও একবার সৌভাগ্য কুইন্টন ডি ককের জন্য কুইন্টন ডি কক কিন্তু রিদম পাচ্ছেন না ঠিক মতো ব্যাটে বলে হচ্ছে না যেভাবে খেলতে চাচ্ছেন ঠিক সেভাবে পারছেন না এল বি ডাব্লিউ আবেদনও হয়েছিল রিভিউ নিয়েছিল শ্রীলঙ্কা দল শেষ পর্যন্ত কিন্তু সেই রিভিউয়ে সফল হতে পারেনি তারা বোল্ড আউট হয়েছেন এ পর্যন্ত বাইশ পার্সেন্ট তার যতগুলো ইনিংস তার মধ্যে এল বি ডাব্লিউ আউট হয়েছেন চার পার্সেন্ট কট বিহাইন্ড হয়েছেন ফিফটিন পার্সেন্ট অর্থাৎ কুইন্টন ডি কক তার একটা গ্রাফিক্স আমরা দেখছিলাম তিনটি ডেলিভারি থেকে তিনটি ডট কুইন্টন ডি কক স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে তেরোটি বল খেলে এখনও কিন্তু রান করতে পারেনি আর একটি বল করলেন আবারও কিন্তু ওই রক্ষণাত্ম ভঙ্গিতেই খেললেন কুইন্টন ডি কক বল চলে গেল শর্ট পয়েন্ট অঞ্চলে সেখানে ফিল্ডার ছিলেন কুড়িয়ে ফেরত দিলেন কোনো রান হলো না চোদ্দটি বল খেলে এখনো পর্যন্ত দুটি রান করেছেন কুইন্টন ডি কক চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফিতে শ্রীলঙ্কা এবং দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এ পর্যন্ত তিনটি ম্যাচে মুখোমুখি হয়েছে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা জিতেছে দুবার শ্রীলঙ্কা একবার ধন্যবাদ মোহাম্মদ ফারুকুর জামান নানা রকম তথ্য দিয়ে তিনি আমাকে সহযোগিতা করছেন এই মুহূর্তে চলছে চতুর্থ ভারের খেলা দশ বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা টসে হেরে প্রথমে ব্যাট করছে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এবং রান তোলার গতি কিন্তু মন্থর এটি কিন্তু কোনো বিষয় নয় আমরা জানি যে ওডিআইতে শুরুতে যদি উইকেটের পতন না ঘটে পরবর্তীতে ব্যাটসম্যানেরা অবশ্যই যথেষ্ট রান তোলার সুযোগ পাবেন এবার কিন্তু কুইক একটা সিঙ্গেল একেবারে মিডা পঞ্চলে বলটিকে পুশ করেই দ্রুত দুই ব্যাটসম্যান নিজেদের মধ্যে জায়গা পরিবর্তন করলেন রান আউটের একটা চেষ্টাও ছিল তবে রানটি সম্পন্ন করতে পেরেছেন দুই ব্যাটসম্যান কুইন্টন ডি পকের ব্যাট থেকে রানটি এসেছে তিনি পৌঁছে গেছেন তিনে পনেরো বল খেলে তিন রানে অপরাজিত দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার দলের সংগ্রহ বাড়লো এগারো বিনা উইকেটে চতুর্থ ওভারের খেলা চলছে এভারে পাঁচটি বল থেকে একটি মাত্র রান এসছে এখনো পর্যন্ত সুরঙ্গা লাকমাল ডান হাতি ফাস্ট মিডিয়াম বোলার তিনি বল করছেন এই মুহূর্তে এবং এভারে একটি মাত্র রান দিয়েছেন প্রথম ওভারে দিয়েছিলেন তিনটি এই ওভারে একটি ওভারে শেষ বলটি করবেন তিনি তার ব্যক্তিগত দ্বিতীয় ওভার ইনিংস এর চতুর্থ ওভারে শেষ বল হাসি মামলা ডান হাতি ব্যাটসম্যান তিনি এখন স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে করলেন এবারে কিন্তু লেগ স্টাম্পের উপর পিচ করা বল ক্লিক করেছিলেন অবশ্যই মিড উইকেটে ফিল্ডিং হয়ে গেল একটু হাওয়ায় ভেসেছিল সামান্য সেকুকে প্রসন্ন তিনি কুড়িয়ে নিলেন কোনো রান হলো না এবং সেই সাথে চতুর্থ ওভারের খেলা শেষ হলো এগারো বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এখনকার জেনারেশনের চাই সবকিছুই লেটেস্ট লেটেস্ট ফোন লেটেস্ট ল্যাপটপ লেটেস্ট গাড়ি তাহলে ত্বকের উজ্জ্বলতার জন্য লেটেস্ট টেকনোলজি কেন নয় উজ্জ্বলতার লেটেস্ট টেকনোলজি হলো লেজার লাইট আর এখন ফেয়ার অ্যান্ড লাভলি অ্যাডভান্সড মালটি ভিটামিনের উজ্জ্বলতা লেজার লাইট টেকনোলজির মতোই এটি লেজার লাইটের মতো ত্বকের গভীরে গিয়ে ডার্ক স্কিন সেলস উজ্জ্বল করে আর দেয় চমৎকার উজ্জ্বলতা তাহলে এখন ত্বকের উজ্জ্বলতা লেটেস্ট ফেয়ার অ্যান্ড লাভলি অ্যাডভান্সড মালটি ভিটামিন শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের অধিনায়ক উপুল থারাঙ্গা আজকে টসে জিতে প্রথমে ফিল্ডিং করার সিদ্ধান্ত নিয়েছেন দলীয় অধিনায়ক অ্যাঞ্জেলো ম্যাথুজ তিনি আজকে অবশ্য একাদশে নেই ইঞ্জুরির কারণে দলের বাইরে রয়েছেন আজকের এই ম্যাচে উপুল থারাঙ্গার কাঁধে ক্যাপ্টেন্সির দায়িত্ব যথারীতি মালিঙ্গা তিনি আক্রমণের দায়িত্বে রয়েছেন প্রথম বলটি করলেন স্ট্রেট ড্রাইভ করেছেন কুইন্টন ডি কক পরবর্তীতে অবশ্য মিড অন মিড অফ দুইজন ফিল্ডার দৌড়ে এসে করিয়ে নিলেন কো
দুই উদ্বোধনী বোলার শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের লাসিত মালিঙ্গা এবং সিরাঙ্গা লাকমাল তেত্রিশ বছর বয়স লাসিত মালিঙ্গার এবং তিরিশ বছর বয়স সিরাঙ্গা লাকমাল দুজনেই ডানহাতি বোলার ডানহাতি ফাস্ট বোলার লাসিত মালিঙ্গা এই মুহূর্তে তিনি বল করছেন অত্যন্ত অভিজ্ঞ একজন বোলার দুশো একানব্বইটি উইকেট তার ঝুলিতে একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেট এখনো পর্যন্ত কুইন্টন ডি কক স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডের বলছেন ষোলোটি বল খেলে তিনটি মাত্র রান করেছেন খুবই সতর্কতার সাথে শুরু করেছেন তার বিরুদ্ধে একটি এল বি ডাব্লুর আবেদন হয়েছিল সে আবেদনে অবশ্য রিভিউ নিয়েছিল শ্রীলঙ্কা শেষ পর্যন্ত সেই রিভিউয়ে সফল হতে পারেনি তারা যাচ্ছেন পরের বলটি করার জন্য এবারে কিন্তু মিডল স্টাম্পের উপরে ইয়র্কাল্যান্ডের ডেলিভারি ছিল আবারও ডিগ আউট করলেন উপল থারাঙ্গা দলের অধিনায়ক তিনি মিড অফ থেকে দৌড়ে গিয়ে কুড়িয়ে ফেরত দিলেন কোনো রান হলো না আরও একটি ডট বল সতেরো বল খেলে তিন রানে অপরাজিত কুইন্টন ডি কক মনে পড়ছে তামিম ইকবালও কিন্তু প্রথম ম্যাচে একসময় সতেরো বল খেলে তিন রান করেছিলেন পরবর্তীতে অবশ্য একশো বিয়াল্লিশ বল খেলে একশো আটাশ রান করেছিলেন তামিম ইকবাল ঠিক একই ঘটনা কুইন্টন ডি ককের ক্ষেত্রে ঘটলো অবাক হওয়ার কিছু নেই পঁচিশটি ইনিংসে কিন্তু তিনি এ পর্যন্ত শত এবং অর্ধশত আদায় করে নিয়েছেন পরের বল আবারও কিন্তু স্ট্যাম্পের মধ্যে আবারও কিন্তু ড্রাইভ করার চেষ্টা অফ ড্রাইভ মিড অফে উপল থারাঙ্গা লন্ডনের সেই নাগরদলা যাকে বাংলা ভাষায় আমরা বলি সেটির হাইট কিন্তু অনেক বেশি এবং ইলেকট্রনিক নাগরদলা আমরা বলতে পারি সেটিতে কিন্তু লন্ডনে যারা যান একবার তারা সেটিতে চড়ে দেখেন কারণ হাইটটা এত বেশি যে পুরো লন্ডন শহরটা কিন্তু উপর থেকে দেখা যায় যাচ্ছেন মালিঙ্গা ওভারে চতুর্থ বলটি করার জন্য পঞ্চম ওভারের খেলা চলছে আবার কিন্তু একেবারে মিড উইকেট বরাবর বলটি ছিল কুইন্টন ডি কক তিনিও মিড উইকেটের দিকে ঘুরিয়েছিলেন অবশ্য স্ট্রেট টু দ্য ফিল্ডার কোনো রান পেলেন না উনিশ বল খেলে তিন রানে অপরাজিত কুইন্টন ডি কক এভারে চারটি ডেলিভারি চারটি ডট গতকাল দুশো একানব্বই রান করেছিল নিউজিল্যান্ড পঁয়তাল্লিশ ওভারে সবকটি উইকেট হারিয়ে এবং শেষ পর্যন্ত নয় ওভারে অস্ট্রেলিয়া দল তিপ্পান্ন রানে তিনটি উইকেট হারিয়ে ফেলে সেই জায়গায় বৃষ্টি এসেছিল যার কারণে বেঁচে যায় অস্ট্রেলিয়া তাহলে তা না হলে হয়তো পরাজয় বরণ করতে হতো গতকালকের ম্যাচে অস্ট্রেলিয়াকে যাচ্ছেন মালিঙ্গা ওভারে চতুর্থ পঞ্চম বল এবারে কিন্তু কাট করেছেন তার মানে ফিল্ডার কুড়িয়ে ফেরত দিলেন একটি রান পাবেন এক্ষেত্রে কুইন্টন ডি কক চার রানে পৌঁছে গেলেন তিনি দলের সংগ্রহ বাড়লো বারো বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা পঞ্চম ওভারের খেলা চলছে বিশ বল খেলে চার রানে অপরাজিত কুইন্টন ডি কক হাসি মামলা এখন স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে ছয় রানে অপরাজিত নটি বল খেলে লাসিত মালিঙ্গার এটি ব্যক্তিগত তৃতীয় ওভার তৃতীয় ওভারের শেষ বলটি তিনি করবেন এ পর্যন্ত আটটি রান দিয়েছেন কোনো উইকেটে দেখা অবশ্য পাননি উইকেটে দেখা পাওয়ার কোনো কারণ নেই কারণ দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার কোনো উইকেটের এখনো পতন ঘটেনি যাচ্ছেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা পরের বলটি করার জন্য হাসি মামলা এখন স্ট্রাইকিং এন্ডে যিনি ছয় রানে অপরাজিত রয়েছেন এই মুহূর্তে নটি বল খেলে খুবই সতর্ক একটা সূচনা দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার জন্য পঞ্চম ওভারে শেষ বল করবেন মাত্র বারোটি রান এসছে এখনো পর্যন্ত স্কোর বোর্ডে ওভার দুইকেট মালিঙ্গা যাচ্ছেন ওভারে শেষ বলটি করার জন্য বলটি করলেন কাভার অঞ্চলে ড্রাইভ করেছিলেন সফট হ্যান্ডে কাভার ড্রাইভ অবশ্য সরাসরি ফিল্ডারের কাছে যার কারণে কোনো রান পেলেন না হাসি মামলা এবং সেই সাথে পঞ্চম ওভারের খেলা শেষ হয়ে গেল বারো বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দলের দুই ব্যাটসম্যান উদ্বোধনী দুই ব্যাটসম্যান তারা দুজন কিন্তু সতর্কতার সাথে শুরু করেছেন ছয় রান করে এখনো পর্যন্ত অপরাজিত রয়েছেন হাসি মামলা এবং চার রান করে অপরাজিত রয়েছেন কুইন্টন ডি কক অতিরিক্ত থেকে দুটি রান এসছে সব মিলিয়ে বারো বিনা উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এই যখন খেলার অবস্থা প্রথমবারের মতো ধারাভাষ্যে পরিবর্তন আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি মোহাম্মদ সালাউদ্দিন আপনাকে অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ ডক্টর সাইদুর রহমান টস জিতে শ্রীলঙ্কা দল আজ ফিল্ড করার সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করেছে আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ ট্রফি দু হাজার গ্রুপ বি প্রথম ম্যাচ যে ম্যাচে প্রতিদ্বন্দ্বিতা করছে আইসিসি একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেটের র্যাঙ্কিং এ এক নম্বর সাউথ আফ্রিকা এবং সপ্তম নম্বরে যারা রয়েছে শ্রীলঙ্কার মধ্যে শ্রীলঙ্কা সাবেক বিশ্ব চ্যাম্পিয়ন এবং আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফি দুই সালে দুই শ্রীলঙ্কা অবশ্য দু সালে শ্রীলঙ্কাতে যেটি অনুষ্ঠিত হয়েছিল সেখানে 
যৌথভাবে ইন্ডিয়ার সাথে শ্রীলঙ্কা চ্যাম্পিয়ন হওয়ার গৌরব অর্জন করেছিল প্রথম যে ফাইনালটি হয়েছিল সেখানে শ্রীলঙ্কা প্রথমে ব্যাট করে পর নির্ধারিত পঞ্চাশ ওভারে দুশো চুয়াল্লিশ করেছিল পাঁচ উইকেটে এবং ইন্ডিয়া দল কিন্তু ব্যাট করে বেশিক্ষণ খেলতে পারেননি অর্থাৎ অল্প কিছু ওভার ব্যাট করেছিল এবং চোদ্দ করেছিল কোন উইকেট না হারে দুই ওভার ব্যাটিং করেছিল বৃষ্টির জন্য পরিত্যক্ত হয়েছিল দ্বিতীয় দিনে শ্রীলঙ্কা সাত উইকেটে দুশো বাইশ করেছিল পঞ্চাশ ওভারে তবে ইন্ডিয়া আট ওভার চার বল খেলে আটত্রিশ রান করেছিল এক উইকেটে শেষ পর্যন্ত আইসিসি অফিসিয়ালটা ডিসিশন নিয়েছিল যে কো চ্যাম্পিয়ন করেছিল উভয় দলকে অর্থাৎ ইন্ডিয়া এবং শ্রীলঙ্কা দুইটি দল চ্যাম্পিয়ন হয়েছিল প্রক্ষান্তরে সাউথ আফ্রিকা বাংলাদেশে যে অনুষ্ঠিত হয়েছিল প্রথম আইসিসি নক আউট চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ ট্রফি সেখানে তারা প্রতিপক্ষ ওয়েস্ট ইন্ডিজকে চার উইকেটে পরাজিত করে প্রথম আসরে চ্যাম্পিয়ন হয়েছিল পরে বল এবারে খেললেন লং অন দিয়ে বলের পিছনে ছুটছেন অবশ্য শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের খেলোয়াড় নোয়ান প্রদীপ শেষ পর্যন্ত দুটি রান সংগ্রহ করলেন পনেরো সাউথ আফ্রিকা কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে পাঁচ ওভার দুটি বল খেলা হয়েছে হাসিম আমলা স্ট্রাইক এন্ডে এগারো বল থেকে আটটি রান তিনি সংগ্রহ করেছেন একুশ বল থেকে পাঁচ রান নিয়ে কুইন্টন ডিকক তিনি রয়েছেন ওই নন স্ট্রাইক জোরে কুইন্টন ডিকক এই মুহূর্তে একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেটে যে ব্যাটসম্যানদের র্যাঙ্কিং সেখানে চতুর্থ স্থানে রয়েছে এক নম্বর রয়েছে তার স্বদেশী দলীয় অধিনায়ক ওই এবি ডি ভিলিয়ার্স এবং ফ্রান্সিস টু প্লেসিস যিনি রয়েছেন তিনি ষষ্ঠ স্থানে এবং দশম স্থানে রয়েছেন হাসিম আমলা অর্থাৎ এক থেকে দশে চারটি আসনে চার দশটি আসনের মধ্যে চারটি আসনে অলঙ্কিত হয়ে আছে ওই সাউথ আফ্রিকান ব্যাটসম্যানরা হাসিম আমলা পরের বল কবজির মোচরে ওখানে ষাট মিডেকে রান চলে ফিল্ডিং হলো একটি রান সম্পন্ন করলেন তিনি প্রান্ত বদল করে চলে গেলেন নন স্ট্রাইক জোরে বারো বল থেকে ন রান করেছেন হাসিম আমলা সাউথ আফ্রিকা ষোলো কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে অনেক সাবধানি আজকে শুরু এই মুহূর্তে যে লন্ডন ওভালে লন্ডনের যে আকাশ রয়েছে সেখানে কিন্তু ক্লাউডি ভাব রয়েছে এবং সেটি সেই দুপুর একটা স্থানীয় সময় পর্যন্ত থাকবে দু প্রান্ত যে আজকে বল করছেন বোলাররা একটি প্যাভিলিয়ন প্রান্ত যেটি দক্ষিণ পূর্ব দিক এবং অক্সফোর্ড অক্স ভক্স হোল প্রান্ত উত্তর পশ্চিম দিক যেটি রেলওয়ে স্টেশনের কাছাকাছি রয়েছে এই মুহূর্তে শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের সুরঙ্গা লাকমল তিনি এখন পর্যন্ত দু ওভার চারটি বল করেছেন আটটি রান দিয়েছেন ভালো বল করছেন আটো শটো বলিং নিঃসন্দে আমরা বলতে পারি টস জিতে ফিল্ড করছে শ্রীলঙ্কা পরিবেশ পরিস্থিতি পর্যবেক্ষণ করেই তারা আজকে ফিল্ড করার সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করেছেন যদি এই দুটি দলের মধ্যে বর্তমান বিশ্ব একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেট র্যাঙ্কিংয়ে যদি দিকে আমরা তাকাই তখন দেখব যে কিছুদিন আগে হোম কন্ডিশনে তাদের অ্যাওয়ে কন্ডিশনে ইংল্যান্ডের সাথে দুই একে সিরিজ হেরেছিল সাউথ আফ্রিকা ইংল্যান্ডের মাঠে তবে জানুয়ারিতে যে শ্রীলঙ্কার সাথে দ্বিপাক্ষিক সিরিজ হয়েছিল সেখানে পাঁচ শূন্যতে শ্রীলঙ্কাকে পরাজিত করেছিল পরের বল আউট সিঙ্গার ডেলিভারি ব্যাটসম্যানের নাগালের অনেকটা বাইরে দিয়ে বল চলে যায় ওই উইকেট কিপার গ্লাভসে এবং সাথে সাথে আজকে ম্যাচ অফিসিয়াল আলিমদার পাকিস্তানের বংশোদ্ভূত আম্পায়ার দুয়াতকে প্রশস্ত করলেন ওয়াইড থেকে অতিরিক্ত অতিরিক্ত একটি রান ওই সাউথ আফ্রিকার স্কোরবোর্ডে যোগ হলো আলিমদার এগারো একশো এগারোটি টেস্ট ম্যাচ একশো চৌরাশিটি একদিন আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেট ম্যাচ এবং টি টোয়েন্টি একচল্লিশটি ম্যাচ তিনি পরিচালনা করেছেন অত্যন্ত অভিজ্ঞ আম্পায়ার তা আজকে সতীর্থ আম্পায়ার ইয়ান গোর যিনি ইংল্যান্ডের উনষাট বছর বয়স্ক তিনি টেস্টে ষাটটি ওডিআই একশো আঠারোটি টি টোয়েন্টি সাঁত্রিশটি ম্যাচ আম্পায়ারিং করেছেন পরের বল ব্যাট চালিয়েছিলেন ওখানে অনেক দিকে ইনসাইডে যে বল চলে যায় শর্ট লেগ অঞ্চলে শর্ট ফাইন লেগ অঞ্চলে সেখানে একটি রান সম্পূর্ণ করলেন কুইন্টন ডিকক স্ট্রাইক এন্ড হাসি মামলা নয় রান নিয়ে খেলছেন পাঁচ ওভার পাঁচটি বল খেলা হয়েছে ষষ্ঠ ওভারে খেলা চলছে একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেটে পাওয়ার প্লে তিনটি বিভাগ রয়েছে প্রথম দশ ওভার পাওয়ার প্লে এক এগারো থেকে চল্লিশ ওভার পাওয়ার প্লে দুই এবং একচল্লিশ থেকে পঞ্চাশ ওভার পাওয়ার প্লে তিন কিছুটা সাবধানী অবশ্যই আকাশ যেত মেঘলা রয়েছে সঙ্গত কারণে যে আকাশ মেঘলা রিক্স নিচ্ছেন না কোনো দলই পরের বল এবার কিন্তু কিছুটা ইনকামিং ছিল আস্তে করে ফ্রন্ট ফুটে গিয়ে পুশ করলেন ওখানে শর্ট এক্সট্রা কাভার অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডার ছিলেন বলের লাইনে ধরে ফিল্ডিং করলেন এ বলে কোনো রান নয় স্কোরবোর্ডের কোনো পরিবর্তন ঘটল না অর্থাৎ ছয় ওভার শেষে আঠারো কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এটা আপনার খেলা আপনার জীবন আপনার জীবনের কষ্ট আপনার একাগ্রতা আপনাকে নিয়ে যায় সেই স্থানে যেখানে আপনি হয়ে যান আপনার প্রিয়জনের উৎসাহ মানে গ্রাম মানি ট্রান্সফার আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফি দুই হাজার সতেরো অফিসিয়াল পার্টনার
টস জিতে শ্রীলঙ্কা দল ফিল্ড করার সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করায় ব্যাট করছে হাসিম আমলা এবং কুইন্টন ঠিকক উদ্বোধনী ব্যাটসম্যান অত্যন্ত সতর্কতার সাথে ইনিংসের গোড়াপত্তন করেছেন ওভালের এই স্টেডিয়ামে যে স্টেডিয়ামটি প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয়েছিল আঠারোশো পঁয়তাল্লিশ সালে ২৬ হাজার আসন বিশিষ্ট এই স্টেডিয়াম অত্যন্ত পুরাতন স্টেডিয়াম প্রথম টেস্ট হয় আঠারোশো আশি সালে সেখানে ইংল্যান্ড অস্ট্রেলিয়ার সাথে মোকাবেলা করেছিল এবং শেষ টেস্টটি হয় দুই হাজার ষোলো সালের অগাস্ট মাস ইংল্যান্ড পাকিস্তান খেলেছিল সেই ম্যাচে এবং একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ম্যাচে প্রথম যে ম্যাচটি এখানে অনুষ্ঠিত হয় সেটি উনিশশো তিহাত্তর সালে ইংল্যান্ড ওয়েস্ট ইন্ডিজের বিরুদ্ধে খেলেছিল এবং শেষ একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ম্যাচটি আজকে হচ্ছে এবং আজকের আগের ম্যাচটি ছিল ইংল্যান্ড এবং শ্রীলঙ্কার মধ্যে সেটি দুই হাজার ষোলো সালের উনত্রিশে জুড়ে অনুষ্ঠিত হয়েছিল ফুটবলের এফএ কাপ ফাইনাল হয়েছে স্টেডিয়ামে যতক্ষণ পর্যন্ত ওই ফুটবলের আলাদা স্টেডিয়াম তৈরি না হয়েছিল ততক্ষণ পর্যন্ত কিন্তু ফুটবল রাগবি এই ওভালের মাঠে অনুষ্ঠিত হয়েছিল পরের বল লাসিত মালিঙ্গা চেঞ্জ অফ পেজ যাকে বলি আমরা অর্থাৎ বলের গতির পরিবর্তন ঘটালেন একজন ফার্স্ট বোলার বলকে ধীর গতিতে করলেন বলটি ব্যাটসম্যানকে বিভ্রান্তি ফেলার চেষ্টা করেছিলেন ব্যাটসম্যান কিন্তু পরাস্তই হয়েছিলেন আস্তে করে বল পুশ করার চেষ্টা করেছিলেন সৌভাগ্য যে ব্যাটসম্যান ছিলেন কুইন্টন ডিকক ব্যাটকে স্পর্শ করে বল যায়নি যিনি উইকেট কিপার রয়েছেন আজকে ওই নিরসন ডিক ওয়ালা তার হাতে যে জমা পড়লো যদি স্পর্শ করত নিশ্চিত একটি উইকেটের পতন ঘটতো ভালো বল ছিল নিঃসন্দেহে ওই হাসি মামলার কাছ থেকে ওখানে লসিত মালিঙ্গের কাছ থেকে আমরা লোক পরের বল এখন ইউর কার্ড ধরনের ডেলিভারি ডিগ আউট করলেন কিছুটা আস্তে করে কবজির বছরে তিনি কিন্তু ওখানে শর্ট মেডিকেট অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডার ফিল্ডিং করলেন এ বলে কোনো রান নয় ডট বল ছয় ওভার তিনটি বল খেলা হয়েছে এখন পর্যন্ত বাইশ করে উইকেট না হারিয়ে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা টস হেরে ওয়ালের মাঠে আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ ট্রফি দুই হাজার গ্রুপ বি প্রথম ম্যাচে শ্রীলঙ্কার বিরুদ্ধে প্রতিদ্বন্দ্বিতা করছে আজকে বাংলাদেশ বেতারে মাইক্রোফোনে আমরা পাঁচজন রয়েছি শ্রদ্ধ ডক্টর সাইদুর রহমান মোহাম্মদ পলাশ খান রেজওয়ান ফরদ্দ জিকো মোহাম্মদ ফারুকুজ্জামান এবং আমি মোহাম্মদ সালাউদ্দিন ষষ্ঠ ওভারের চতুর্থ বল আবারও চেঞ্জ অফ পেজ গতির পরিবর্তন তবে গতি বেশি নয় কমিয়ে দিয়েছিলেন এবং বাঁহাতি ব্যাটসম্যানের জন্য আউট সিঙ্গার ডেলিভারি ছিল আস্তে করে লেট স্পর্শ করলেন কাট করার মতো করলেন বল চলে গিয়েছিল সরদার ম্যান অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডিং হল ততক্ষণে একটি রানের জন্য প্রান্ত বদল করলেন কুইন্টন ডিকক হাসিম আমলার সঙ্গে দলীয় সংগ্রহ বেড়ে দাঁড়ালো তেইশ করে উইকেট না হারিয়ে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা ছয় ওভার চারটি বল খেলা হয়েছে গতকালকে আপনারা জানেন যে আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ ট্রফি দুই হাজার সতেরো গ্রুপের অস্ট্রেলিয়া এবং নিউজিল্যান্ডের অত্যন্ত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ ম্যাচে বৃষ্টির কারণে শেষ পর্যন্ত ম্যাচটি পরিত্যক্ত হয় টস জিতে ব্যাট করে পঁয়তাল্লিশ ওভারে সব কোটি উইকেট হারিয়ে দুশো একানব্বই রান সংগ্রহ করেছিল কিন্তু শেষ পর্যন্ত ওই সাতান্ন তিন উইকেটে অস্ট্রেলিয়া যখন নয় ওভার তিনটি বল খেলা হয়েছিল এরপর ম্যাচটি আর মাঠে গড়াতে না পারায় শেষ পর্যন্ত পরিত্যক্ত হয় আর ডুরেক্ট থ্রো করেছিলেন রান আউটের একটি সম্ভাবনা ছিল স্ট্যাম্প সম্ভবত পড়ে গিয়ে ভেঙে গিয়েছে এখন পর্যন্ত কোনো সিদ্ধান্ত হয়নি পাঁচ ছয় ওভার পাঁচটি বল খেলা হয়েছে অর্থাৎ পাওয়ার প্লেয়ের প্রথম পাওয়ার প্লেয়ের খেলা চলছে রান আউটের একটি সম্ভাবনা ছিল হাসি মামলা ছিলেন অত্যন্ত দ্রুত গতিতে এসে ব্যাট প্লেস করেছেন বলটি অনেক পরে তবে বল কিন্তু স্ট্যাম্পে লাগেনি জিকো যদি স্ট্যাম্পেও বল লাগতো তাহলে কিন্তু আউট হতো না ব্যাটসম্যান নিরাপদ স্থানে পৌঁছে গিয়েছিল অত্যন্ত সতর্ক সাবধানতার সাথে ইনিং শুরু করেছেন হাসিম আমলা এবং কেন্টন ডিকক উদ্বোধনী দুই ব্যাটসম্যান ওই সাউথ আফ্রিকা দলের পরের বল এবারে কিন্তু স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে আর লসিত মালিঙ্গা এক ভিন্ন ভঙ্গির কিন্তু বোলার সারা পৃথিবীর মধ্যে তাকে আলাদা করে চিনা যায় সেই সাথে সাথে সপ্তম ওভারে খেলা শেষ হলো চব্বিশ করে উইকেট না হারিয়ে সাউথ আফ্রিকা লসিত মালিঙ্গার কথা বলছিলাম যে ভিন্ন ভঙ্গির এক আলাদা বোলারের নাম কিন্তু লসিত মালিঙ্গা দুই হাজার পনেরো সালের পর নি ইঞ্জুরি জড়িত কারণে তিনি ওই আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেট থেকে তিনি বাইরে ছিলেন এবং দীর্ঘদিন পর যখন সুস্থ হয়ে আবার ফিরে আসলেন তখন কিন্তু অনেকটা আশার আলো দেখা শুরু করলেন শ্রীলঙ্কা ওই ক্রিকেট টিম এখন পর্যন্ত শ্রীলঙ্কার সঙ্গে সাউথ আফ্রিকার বাষট্টিটি একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেট ম্যাচ অনুষ্ঠিত হয়েছে যেখানে একত্রিশটিতে সাউথ আফ্রিকা জয়লাভ করতে সক্ষম হয়েছে উনত্রিশটিতে শ্রীলঙ্কা একটি ম্যাচ রেজাল্ট হয়নি একটি ম্যাচ টাই হয়েছিল তবে চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ ট্রফিতে যে তিনবার 
একে অপরের মধ্যে পরস্পর মোকাবেলা হয়েছিল সেখানে ভার কিন্তু সাউথ আফ্রিকার দিকে বেশি সাউথ আফ্রিকা দুবার জয়লাভ করেছিল শ্রীলঙ্কার বিরুদ্ধে প্রখান্তের শ্রীলঙ্কা সাউথ আফ্রিকার বিরুদ্ধে একটি ম্যাচে জয় দিয়ে শেষ করতে সক্ষম হয়েছিল আজকে চতুর্থ সাক্ষাৎ আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ ট্রফিতে এই দুই দলের মধ্যে পরে বল আউট সিঙ্গার ডেলিভারি ছোট্ট একটি সুইং ছিল সোরাঙ্গা লাটমল ছিলেন বলের অসাধারণ বলিং করেছিলেন বিভ্রান্তিতে পেরেছিলেন ওই হাসি মামলাকে স্পর্শ বট ব্যাটকে খোললেই বল কিন্তু সরাসরি উইকেট কিপার নিরসান ডিক ওয়ালা তার হাতে যে জবাব পড়েছিল আউটের জন্য আবেদনও তিনি করেছিলেন সৌভাগ্য হাসি মামলার অযথাই অফ করিডোরের বল কিন্তু সমীয় করতে হবে ভালো বল খোঁচা দিতে গিয়েছিলেন খেলতে চেষ্টা করেননি এই ধরনের খোঁচা যে কোনো সময় বিপদের কারণ হয় ব্যাটসম্যানদেরকে সে ধরনের যে বিপদের আশঙ্কা তৈরি হয়েছিল হাসিম আমলার জন্য কিন্তু সৌভাগ্য বল ব্যাটকে স্পর্শ করে না যাওয়ার কারণে শেষ পর্যন্ত হাসি মামলা অক্ষত দোষ শুরু করেছেন সোরাঙ্গা লাকবল দীর্ঘকা এই বোলার ডান হাতি ফার্স্ট মিডিয়াম বোলার পরের বল স্ট্যাম্পের উপরে ছোট্ট করে পুশ প্রথম অবস্থায় ফিল্ডিংয়ে ফার্মলিং হলো কিন্তু হাসি আমলা নন স্ট্রাইক জোটে যিনি রয়েছেন ওই কুইন্টন ডি ককে নিষেধ করলেন অযথা রান নিয়ে একটি কন্ডিশনটিকে খারাপ করার প্রয়োজন নেই ঝুঁকি নেওয়ার কোনো দরকার নেই হাসি মামলা দশ ষোলো বল থেকে দশ আঠাশ বল থেকে এগারো রান নিয়ে নন স্ট্রাইক জোটে কুইন্টন ডি কক একজন রয়েছেন একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেটে ব্যাটসম্যানদের যে তালিকা সেখানে দশ নম্বরে রয়েছেন হাসি মামলা এবং চতুর্থ স্তরে রয়েছেন কুইন্টন ডিকক এবিডি বিলিয়ার্স দলি অধিনায়ক তিনি রয়েছেন এক নম্বরে হাসি মামলা এই মুহূর্তে তিনি রয়েছেন স্ট্রাইক এন্ডে সাত ওভার দুটি বল খেলা হয়েছে অষ্টম ওভারে তৃতীয় বল করলেন সোরাঙ্গা লাকমল আসতে করে লেট কাট করলেন বল চলে গেছিল শর্ট টার্ড ম্যান আঁচলে ফিল্ডার ছিলেন প্রস্তুত তিনি কিন্তু কিছুটা গোলরক্ষকের মতো লসিত মালিঙ্গা ড্রাইভ দিয়ে ফিল্ডিং করলেন তত করে প্রান্ত বদল করলেন হাসি মামলা কুইন্টন ডিককের সাথে দলীয় সংগ্রহ পঁচিশ সাত ওভার তিনটি বল খেলা হয়েছে কোনো উইকেটের পতন ঘটেনি যদি উইকেট অক্ষত রেখে দশ ওভার পনেরো ওভার উদ্বোধনী জুটি এই আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেটে খেলতে পারে তাহলে টি টোয়েন্টি ভার্সন ক্রিকেটে বিশ ওভারে কিন্তু অনেকগুলো দল একশো আশি দুশো রান সংগ্রহ করতে পারে অর্থাৎ প্রথম তিরিশটি ওভার কত উইকেট কম হাতে রেখে বেশি উইকেট হাতে রেখে যে দল ভালো ব্যাট করবে তারা কিন্তু শেষের দিকে শেষ পর্যন্ত তিনশোর অধিক রান করতে সক্ষম হবে লাসিত ওখানে সোরাঙ্গা লাখ পরের বল কবজির মোচেরের শর্ট ফাইন লেগ অঞ্চলে বল ধরেই স্ট্যাম্প ভেঙে দেওয়ার চেষ্টা কিন্তু স্ট্যাম্পে লাগেনি তার আগেই নিরাপদ স্থানে পৌঁছালেন দুই ব্যাটসম্যান কুইন্টন ডিকক এবং হাসিম আমলা ছাব্বিশ দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে অষ্টম ওভারের চতুর্থ বলটি শেষ করলেন সোরাঙ্গা লাকমল সোরাঙ্গা লাকমল কথা বলছি এখন পর্যন্ত বাষট্টিটি ম্যাচ খেলেছেন চুরাশিটি উইকেট তিনি সংগ্রহ করেছেন তিরিশ রানে চার উইকেট ক্যারিয়ার সেরা একটি ম্যাচের পরিসংখ্যান পাঁচ দশমিক চার সাত করে ওভার প্রতি তিনি একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেটে রান খরচ করে থাকেন বা দিয়ে থাকেন সেই দীর্ঘাকায় ডানহাতি ফার্স্ট মিডিয়াম বোলার সোরাঙ্গা লাকমল এই মুহূর্তে প্যাভিলিয়ন প্রান্ত থেকে বল দৌড় শুরু করেছেন বল করার জন্য সোরাঙ্গা লাকমল পরের বল স্ট্যাম্পের উপরে একেবারে অফ স্ট্যাম্প থেকে কিছুটা ছোট্ট করে আউট সুইঙ্গার ডেলিভারি ছিল অল্প করে অত্যন্ত সতর্ক হাসিম আমলা ব্যাটকে ফুল ফেজ অফ দ্য ব্যাট ওপেন করে কপি বুক ফ্যাশনে রক্ষণাত্মক ঢঙ্গে বলটি মোকাবেলা করলেন ঝুঁকি নিচ্ছেন না ভালো ব্যাটসম্যানদের এই গুণটি সবচেয়ে বড় জিনিস ভালো বলকে সমীহ করবেন যেই বলের প্রাপ্যতা গুণাগুণ বিচার করে খারাপ বল থেকে রান তুলে স্কোরবোর্ডকে সমৃদ্ধ করবেন সেই কাজটি আপাতত চেষ্টা করে চলেছেন যদিও সাত দশমিক চার ওভার খেলা হয়েছে ছাব্বিশ রান যদি ওভার প্রতি ইকোনমিক রান রেট দেখে সেটি তিন দশমিক বেশি নয় এখানে হবে হয়তো তিনের কিছুটা বেশি রয়েছে পরের বল মিডল স্ট্যাম্প এবং লেগ স্ট্যাম্পের মধ্যে কবজির মোচরে খুললেন ডিপ ব্যাকওয়ার্ড স্কোয়ার লেগ অঞ্চল থেকে ফিল্ডিং করলেন ততক্ষণে একটি রান সম্পূর্ণ করলেন লাসিত মালিঙ্গা সেই সাথে সাথে ওভার শেষ আট ওভার শেষে কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে সাতাশ দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা শ্রোতাবিন্দু ইংল্যান্ডে যে চারটি মাঠে খেলা হবে সে প্রত্যেকটি মাঠে কিন্তু অত্যন্ত ঐতিহ্যবাহী মাঠ এগুলো এবং গতকালকে আমরা দেখেছি বাস্টন ক্রিকেট গ্রাউন্ড যেটি চতুর্থ লার্জেস্ট ফিল্ড ইংল্যান্ডের ক্রিকেট যে গ্রাউন্ডগুলো রয়েছে সেখানে চতুর্থ স্থানে রয়েছে আজকের এই স্টেডিয়ামও যেটি সারে কাউন্টি ক্রিকেট ক্লাব তারা এটি অপারেটিং করে থাকে ছাব্বিশ হাজার আসন বিশিষ্ট এবং প্যাভিলিয়ন এড এবং বক্স হল এন্ড রয়েছে দু প্রান্ত থেকে এবং এইখানে ফুটবল ক্রিকেট 
ক্রিকেট রাগবি তিনটি খেলা হয়েছে এফএ কাপের মতো ফাইনাল খেলা দীর্ঘদিন অনুষ্ঠিত হয়েছে এফএ কাপের ফাইনাল খেলা এবং আপনারা সকলে জানেন যে নতুন করে দুই হাজার দুই সালে এটি ডি ইনোভেশনের কাজ শুরু হয় এবং এখন কিন্তু অনেক আধুনায়কন করা হয়েছে এখানে প্রদীপ ওয়ান প্রদীপ স্ট্যাম্পের উপরে আবার রক্ষণাত ঢঙ্গে খেললেন হাসিম আমলা ফলো থ্রুতে বোলার নিজের বলে নিজেই ফিল্ডিং করলেন এ বলে কোনো রান নয় ত্রিশ বছর বয়স্ক ডানহাতি এই ফার্স্ট মিডিয়াম বোলার নোয়ান প্রদীপ তিনি আঠারোটি ম্যাচ খেলেছেন আঠারোটি উইকেট সংগ্রহ করেছেন একচল্লিশ দশমিক নয় চার ম্যাচ প্রতি তিনি রান দিয়ে থাক উইকেটের প্রতি রান দিয়ে থাকেন ছয় দশমিক এক এক ওভার প্রতি রান খরচ করে থাকেন এই আঠারোটি উইকেট সংগ্রহের জন্য তিনি অবশ্য উনপঞ্চাশ রান করে খরচ করেছেন সেই রান প্রদীপ ডানহাতি ফার্স্ট মিডিয়াম বোলার পরে বল স্ট্যাম্পের একের অফ স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে আসতে করে পুশ কাভার পাওয়া ওখানে শর্ট এক্সট্রা কাভার অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডার প্রস্তুত ছিলেন বলের লাইনে ছিলেন বল ধরেই তরিত গতিতে উইকেট কিপার জেরে রয়েছেন নিরসন ডিক ওয়ালের কাছে ছুঁড়ে দিলেন বলটি রান নেওয়া থেকে বিরত রাখলেন দুই ব্যাটসম্যানকে অর্থাৎ স্কোর বোর্ডে পরিবর্তন ঘটেনি স্কোর বোর্ডে যা ছিল তাই সাতাশ করে উইকেট না হারিয়ে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা টস হেরে আজকে তাদের এই আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ ট্রফি দুই হাজার সতেরোর দলীয় নিজের প্রথম ম্যাচটি তারা প্রতিদ্বন্দ্বিতা করছে শ্রীলঙ্কার বিরুদ্ধে ওভাল লন্ডনের মাঠে দোষ শুরু করেছেন রান প্রদীপ পর বল এবার কিন্তু কিছুটা স্টেপ আউট করে অফে সরে গিয়ে অন দিকে খেলার চেষ্টা ফিল্ডার প্রস্তুত ছিলেন ওখানে ফিল্ডিং করলেন ততক্ষণে অবশ্য কোনো রান হয়নি ফিল্ডিং হয়ে গেল মিড অন থেকে ফিল্ডিং করলেন এ বলে কোনো রান নয় অর্থাৎ স্কোর বোর্ডের কোনো পরিবর্তন ঘটেনি এখন পর্যন্ত সাতাশ কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে শ্রীলঙ্কা ওখানে সাউথ আফ্রিকা দল আট ওভার তিনটি বল খেলা হয়েছে এবং আপনারা আমাদের শুনছেন বাংলাদেশ বেতার টিউন করে আজকের প্রকৌশল দায়িত্বে রয়েছেন মোহাম্মদ আলী হায়দার ও মোহাম্মদ শহীদুল্লাহ প্রকৌশল তত্ত্বাবধানে মোহাম্মদ কবির হোসেন পাটোয়ারি তত্ত্বাবধানে জনাব মি শাহ আলম নির্দেশনায় জনাব সালাউদ্দিন আহমেদ স্পন্সর বিজ্ঞাপন ব্যবস্থাপনায় জনাব মোহাম্মদ গোলাম রাব্বানি প্রযোজনায় মোহাম্মদ রফিক উদ্দিন আকম মাইক্রোফোনে এই মুহূর্তে অবশ্য আমি মোহাম্মদ সালাউদ্দিন আপনাদের সঙ্গে রয়েছি সুপ্রিয় শ্রোতাবিদ্ধ যেখানে ক্রিকেট যেখানে ফুটবল যেখানে খেলাধুলা সেখানে কিন্তু বাংলাদেশ বেতার প্রত্যেকটি খেলা সরাসরি লাইভ সম্প্রচার করে ঘটন প্রত্যেকটি ঘটনাবলী আপনাদের কার্ড করে পৌঁছে দিচ্ছে এবং সারা জাতিকে অন্তত যুত যুব সমাজকে এই ক্রিয়াঙ্গনের সাথে সম্পৃক্ত করে একটি উন্নত শক্তিশালী বাংলাদেশ গড়ার জন্য অগ্রণী ভূমিকা পালন করছে বাংলাদেশ বেতার আমরা সকলে ধন্যবাদ জানাই বাংলাদেশ বেতারকে সেকুস প্রেশান্ন আজকে দলে অন্তর্ভুক্ত হয়েছেন মূল একাদশে আঠাশ সাউথ আফ্রিকা এখন পর্যন্ত এই আঠাশটি রান সংগ্রহ করার ক্ষেত্রে তেরো সংগ্রহ করেছেন আমলা ডি কুইক ডিকক তিনি করেছেন বারো ব্যাটসম্যানদের ব্যাট থেকে এসেছে পঁচিশ বাকি তিনটি অতিরিক্ত থেকে পরের বল বাতি ব্যাটসম্যান মিড অনে ব্যাট করলেন ফিল্ডিং হলো মিড অন থেকে এ বলে কোনো রান নয় নোয়ান প্রদীপ এই তার নবম ওভার দলীয় নবম ওভারে এসে প্রথম তিনটি বল ডট চতুর্থ বলে একটি রান পঞ্চম বল ডট করলেন ভারী আটো সাটো বল করছেন আমরা গত দুই ম্যাচে লক্ষ্য করেছি যখনই সান শাইন থাকে সূর্যের কিরণ থাকে মাঠে ব্যাটসম্যানরা কিন্তু স্বর্গ মনে করেন মাঠকে তবে আজকে এই মুহূর্তে বিশ্ব একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেট ও র্যাঙ্কিংয়ে এক নম্বরের ওই সাউথ আফ্রিকা যথেষ্ট সাবধানী সতর্কতা অবলম্বন করছেন পরের বল অফ স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে আউট সিঙ্গার ডেলিভারি বাঁহাতি ব্যাটসম্যানের জন্য ফলো থ্রুতে বোলার নোয়ান প্রদীপ নিজের বলে নিজেই ফিল্ডিং করলেন সেই সাথে সাথে নবম ওভারের খেলা শেষ হলো কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে আঠাশ দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা টস হেরে আজকে ব্যাট করছে প্রতিপক্ষ শ্রীলঙ্কার বিরুদ্ধে আজকের এই গ্রুপ বির প্রথম ম্যাচে গ্রুপ এ দুটি উদ্বোধনী ম্যাচ হয়েছে প্রথম ম্যাচে অনন্য তামিমের অনন্য শতকের পর বাংলাদেশ কিন্তু শেষ পর্যন্ত বড় ব্যবধানে হারলেও বিশ্ব ক্রিকেটে একটি হোংকার বা থ্রেইড বলে যেটি আমরা বলে থাকি সেটি কিন্তু তারা প্রদর্শন করতে সক্ষম হয়েছে সমীয় আদায় করছেন বড় বড় টিমগুলোকে আমরা জানি যে এরপরই বাংলাদেশ খেলবে অস্ট্রেলিয়ার বিরুদ্ধে আগামী পাঁচ তারিখ এই এই মাঠে ওভালে খেলা হবে যদিও তামিম ইকবাল আজকে ওভালে যে ফুটবল মাঠ রয়েছে সেখানে কিন্তু আজকে ওভালে কিন্তু এই মুহূর্তে বাংলাদেশ রয়েছে ক্রিকেট টিম ওই তামিম ইকবাল কিন্তু রাতে যে ম্যাচটি হবে ওদের জন্য দিন সেই সেখানে জুভেন্টাস খেলবে হলো রিয়াল মাদ্রিদের সঙ্গে চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফির ফাইনাল সেই ম্যাচটি দেখবেন এটি একটি ভালো জিনিস এই ধরনের বড় ম্যাচ সৌভাগ্য হয় না খেলার ফাঁকে এনজয় যদি করতে পারেন এবং নিজেকে ফুরফুরে মেজাজে রাখেন তাহলে কিন্তু ভালো পারফর্ম করা যায় পরের বল এবং শেষ পর্যন্ত বাড়ি সুন্দর একটি ফিল্ডিং আমরা লক্ষ্য করলাম শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের ওই ফিল্ডারদের কাছে কাপু গেদারা চামারা 
চেম্বারে কাপু গেদারা তিনি ফিল্ডিং করলেন অসাধারণ ফিল্ডিং করলেন ভালো জোর ছিল টাইমিং ভালো হয়েছিল কিন্তু ফিল্ডার যথেষ্ট ভালো ফিল্ডিং করেছেন রান নেওয়া থেকে ব্যাটসম্যানদেরকে বিরত রাখলেন যেটি ভালো দিক ব্যাকওয়ার্ড ওখানে ঠিক ব্যাকওয়ার্ড পয়েন্টে ঝাঁপিয়ে পড়ে অ্যাক্রোবেটিক ফিল্ডিং যাকে বলা হয় গোলরক্ষকের মতো ঝাঁপিয়ে পড়ে নিশ্চিত একটি চার অন্তত রক্ষা করলেন চামারা কাপু গেদারা পরে বল ইনকামিং ডেলিভারি গ্রিডল্যান্ড থেকে অফ স্ট্যাম্পে মাছ পরে ঠিক মেডেলে গিয়েছিল সতর্ক হাসি মামলা বিশ্বে যে ক্রিকেট ব্যাটসম্যানদের র্যাঙ্কিংয়ে খামা খাইত জিকো দশ নম্বরে জানি হাসি মামলা এর একটি কারণ ব্যাট করেন পারফরমেন্স তিনি প্রদর্শন করেন স্টেজে গিয়ে সেই পারফরমার কিন্তু এই মুহূর্তে অনেকটা সতর্ক অবস্থান করছেন যদিও জানুয়ারিতে এই যে সাউথ আফ্রিকাতে দ্বিপাক্ষিক সিরিজ হয়েছিল সেখানে কিন্তু পাঁচ শূন্যতে পরাজিত করেছিল এই দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা সাউথ এই শ্রীলঙ্কাকে এর আগে অস্ট্রেলিয়াকে যেটি অনুষ্ঠিত সেখানে কিন্তু অস্ট্রেলিয়াকে পাঁচ শূন্যতে পরাজিত করেছিল সাউথ আফ্রিকা তারপরই তারা বিশ্ব একদিনের আন্তর্জাতিক ক্রিকেটের র্যাঙ্কিংয়ে এক নম্বরে চলে আসে পরের বল ইনকামিং ডেলিভারি নিচু হয়েছিল কবজির মোচরে খেললেন শর্ট মিডিগড় অঞ্চল থেকে ফিল্ডিং করলেন লসিত মালিঙ্কা এ বলে কোনো রান নয় দশম ওভারের খেলা চলছে অসাধারণ ফিল্ডিং করছেন শ্রীলঙ্কা দলরা টস জিতে ফিল্ড করেছেন সিদ্ধান্ত যিনি সঠিক আজকে নিয়মিত যিনি দলীয় অধিনায়ক তিনি কিন্তু আজকে নেই অ্যাঞ্জেলো ম্যাথিউস তিনি কিন্তু গোড়ালির আঘাত জড়িত কারণে আমরা আগে থেকেই অনেক কথা শুনছিলাম জল্পনা কল্পনা আলোচনা শুনছিলাম যে অ্যাঞ্জেলো ম্যাথিউস হয়তো খেলবেন না শেষ পর্যন্ত তিনি আনফিট ছিলেন ওয়ার্মার ম্যাচগুলো খেলেননি এবং তার পরিবর্তে উদ্বোধনী ব্যাটসম্যান উপল থারাঙ্গা তিনি অধিনায়কের দায়িত্ব পালন করছেন পরে বল ইনকামিং ডেলিভারি লেগ স্ট্যাম্পের উপরে কবজের মোচের গ্লান্স করলেন শর্ট ফাইন্ড লেগ অঞ্চল থেকে ফিল্ডিং করলেন একটি একটিও রান সংগ্রহ করতে ব্যর্থ হলেন অর্থাৎ স্কুল বোর্ডে যা ছিল তাই রয়েছে বল একটি বৃদ্ধি পেয়েছে নয় ওভার চার বল শেষে আঠাশ কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা আপনারা আমাদের শুনছেন বাংলাদেশ বেতার টিউট করে বাংলাদেশ বেতারের সঙ্গে থাকুন আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ ট্রফি দুই হাজার প্রত্যেকটি ম্যাচের লাইভ কমেন্ট্রি শুনুন তেরো হাসি মামলা সাতাশ বল থেকে তেরো একত্রিশ বল থেকে বারো রান করেছেন কেন্টন ডি কক সুরাঙ্গা লাকমল আক্রমণে পরপর চারটি বল ডট করলেন দশম ওভারে এসে যথেষ্ট সতর্ক পাওয়ার প্লেয়ার প্রথম পাওয়ার প্লেয়ার খেলা চলছে দুজন খেলোয়াড় বৃত্তের বাইরে রয়েছে পরের বল এবারে কিন্তু চার হয়ে যাবে কবজের বছরে ডিপ মিড উইকেট অঞ্চল দিয়ে অ্যালং দ্য কার্পের সীমানার বাইরে দীর্ঘক্ষণ পর একটি চারের মার আমরা লক্ষ্য করলাম হাসিম আমলার ব্যাট থেকে আঠাশ বল থেকে সতেরো রানে পৌঁছে গেলেন ওই হাসিম আমলা বত্রিশ দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে কি পজিশন বল যখন খেলবেন তার আগেই কিন্তু তিনি পা সাফল করে বডি ব্যালেন্স তৈরি করে নেন এবং বল দেখে কবজির মোচরে ডিপ মেডিকেট অঞ্চলে পাঠিয়ে দেন এক ড্রপ দুই ড্রপ শেষ পর্যন্ত অ্যালং দ্য কার্পেট সীমানার বাইরে চলে যায় এবং চারটি রান চলে আসে তার ব্যাট থেকে দলীয় স্কোরবোর্ড সচল হয় বৃদ্ধি পায় বত্রিশ দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে দশম ওভারের শেষ বলটি সুরাঙ্গা লাকমল এবারে চেঞ্জ অফ পেজ টিটার স্লো ডেলিভারি অফ স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে ছোট্ট করে আস্তে করে ব্যাটকে ফুল ফেজ ওপেন করে রক্ষণাত্ম ঢঙ্গে মোকাবেলা করলেন এ বলে কোনো রান নয় দশ ওভার শেষে বত্রিশ কোনো উইকেট না হারিয়ে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এটা আপনার খেলা আপনার জীবন আপনার জীবনের কষ্ট আপনার একাগ্রতা আপনাকে নিয়ে যায় সেই স্থানে যেখানে আপনি হয়ে যান আপনার প্রিয়জনের উৎসাহ Moneygram Money Transfer ICC Champions Trophy 2017 official partner দশ ওভার শেষে বত্রিশ দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা টস জিতে ফিল্ড করার সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করেন শ্রীলঙ্কা দলের আজকের অধিনায়ক গোপাল থারাঙ্গা তিন দশমিক দুই করে রান দিচ্ছেন বোলাররা আজকের ম্যাচে তবে সাবধানী দুই উদ্বোধনী ব্যাটসম্যান দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার কুইন্টন ডিকক এবং হাসিম আমলা বত্রিশ করে উইকেট না হারিয়ে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দশ ওভার শেষে এই যখন খেলার অবস্থা তখন মাইক্রোফোনে আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি মোহাম্মদ পলাশ খান আপনাকে ধন্যবাদ মোহাম্মদ সালাউদ্দিন কুইন্টন ডিকক এবং হাসি মামলা এই দুজনই কিন্তু একটা সাবধানী ইনিংস তারা শুরু করেছে অনেকক্ষণ তারা ক্রিজে রয়েছে আমরা দেখছি এবং খুবই ধীর লয়ে তারা এগিয়ে যাচ্ছে অনেকগুলো বল মোকাবেলা করেছেন বিশেষ করে হাসি মামলা উনত্রিশটি বল মোকাবেলা করে সতেরোটি রান করেছেন লাস্ট যে তার শটটি ছিল সেটি অবশ্য বাউন্ডারি হয়েছে যার কারণে সতেরো রান হয়েছে অন্যদিকে কুইন্টন ডিকক যিনি একত্রিশটি বল মোকাবেলা করে মাত্র বারোটি রান সংগ্রহ করেছেন অর্থাৎ সংযমী ইনিংস খেলার শুরু করেছে করছেন তারা সেটি নাইন হচ্ছেন এর এর সুফল অবশ্য পরবর্তী ব্যাটসম্যানরা পাবে আমার যা মনে হয় বলতে বলতে পরবর্তী বল এবার কিন্তু অনেকটা উপরে উঠে গেল নোয়ান প্রদীপ 
एक हत्रे बॉलर चिलें दीतियो बॉल बैट्समैन अवश्यो जानिए दिलें बाउंसर इति तुम ही दिए चो बोत्रिश बिना उइ के टे दीतियो पावर प्लेयर खेला शुरू होलो तत ऐगरो तो मो ओवरेर खेला शुरू होलो नुआन प्रोदीप तिनी बॉल कोचेन पेविलियन प्रांतो थे के नुआन प्रोदीप तिनी खूब बेशी दिन खेल चेन ताना है। अखुन पुत जन तो ओडिया इते मात्रो आठ होटी मैच खेले चेन। आठ होटी विकेट तिनी लाभ कोडे चेन। एक उस राने दो विकेट तार कैरियर शेरा। स्ट्राइक के चिलेन डीकॉक एवं रन होलो अथात चौथीश राने पहुँचे गालो दक्षिण अफ्रीका। डीकॉक तिनी चौदह टी रन अखुन पुत जन खेला हो भी प्रथम पावर फिल्म हम रा जानी एक थे के दश ओवर पोत जून तो एवं चौलीस थे के पौरवते ओवर गुलो हो भी तृतीयो पावर पहले साउथ अफ्रीका तारा टॉचे हेरे बैटिंग बैटिंग कोचे एवं उन्नो देखे श्रीलंका टॉचे जीते बोलिंग करा शिद्धांतो ना है डी कॉक चिलेन स्ट्राइक है एवं कोबजीर मोचरे � दुजोन बैट्समैन तारा किन्तु सेटी नाइन होती थी लेन अनेक खून थोड़े क्रीजेटी के आचन ये वो शु डाइव थी लो एक बार डीप एक्स्ट्रा काबर ऑन चल दिए शिमन अरबाइडे चले गए थे ये वों डीको केर बैट थे के इचाट्टी राने शे थे दो शुरू कर लेन बोला डान हाथी बोला ऑफिस ऑफिस टाइम पेर बाइडे � रान नॉय, रान शंखा जा चिलो ताई क्विंटन डीकॉक तिनी दक्षिण अफ्रीका रहे तिराशिटी मैच खेले चेन ओडिया इते एवं तीन हजार चार सौ आठ शतर कोरे चेन उन्नो दिका हाशी मामला ओविगो कैंपेनर एक सौ चौन नोटी मैच खेले सात हजार रुपये तिनी रान कोरे चेन एवं ए मूर्ते स्ट्राइकर रहे चेन क्विं आठवीं रन करें चंन बॉल को ले नेवर किंतु मेडल स्टाम्प पेरो पड़े चिलो कोबजीर मोतोरे के लचन बॉल चोले गालो मीड विकेट ऑन चोले खूब अनाश भूंगी ते दो बैट्समैन जागा पड़ी बात तो न कोल लेन रन हुलो एक टी उन्हों चोली शाने पहुँचे गालो दो दक्षिण अफ्रीका ऐगरो तो मो ओवर शेषे इन्हीं ओवी को एक जोन बैट्समैन दो किना अफ्रीका तबे हाशी मामला को था बोलते हैं अनेक दिन थोड़े तीन किंतु दो किना अफ्रीका डॉलर शेवा करे आश्चर्य अनेक मैच खेले चेन ओडिया कैरियर तीन ये अखंड पोज़ जन्तु डॉलर हुए एक्शन चौन नोटी मैच खेले चेन आगे भी बोले थे सात हजार रुप you would come back exhausted, wouldn't you? From all of the athletes, we get paid. And a coach ran a two wicket that career shared. Even Suranga Lakmal, Onno Pranto, the kid, Jini Ball caught ten. Basho Titi Mas, Jini Khela ten. Two in Africa, who is? Even Churashi two wicket paid ten. Ja, Tirish ran a four wicket that career shared. Touche, Jite Balling Korar Shiddan to nai. Sri Lanka, Khela hot che. Titi O Mas. ICC Champions Trophy third match एटी ग्रुप बी खेला एवं प्रथ ग्रुप बी प्रथम मैच साला दिन भाई बोल चिलेन ग्रुप बी प्रथम मैच अवश्य ही एटी एवं कैनिंगटन ओवर लंडन में खेला होते हैं एवं प्राय तीस हजार पांच सौ ऑफिशियल जे धारण कहाँ मताए स्टेडियम में एटी के दी ओवर बोले डाक्टर भालो बाशे लंडन बाशी एवं शेटी वाला है ओनो चौलीस रन एकुन पोज़न तो शंग्री ही तो हुए छे दुजोन बैट्समैन खूब शंग्जोमी ये ओपनिंग जुटे तारा खेल छेन एवं दुजोनेरी शामुत्थो आचे आम्रा जानी एवं दक्षिण अफ्रीका ओडिया रैंकिंगे जड़ा एकुन एक नंबरे रोए छे ये एवं बैट्समैन हिसाबे उ दारुन बैट्समैन रहे चे रैंकिंग है आम्रा जो दी देखी ताले विश को एक जोन बैट्समैन ऐसी चीजे रैंकिंग है दोषिर मुद्दे रहे चे प्राय चार जोन बैट्समैन है बंग दो जोन बोलर किंतु रहे चे ये ऐसी रैंकिंग है पुर्तुम दार जोन है मुद्दे दो जोन रहे चोनो देखे सिलोंका किंतु अनेक ट 
তারা কিছুটা হলেও একটু পিছিয়ে পড়েছে কথা বলতে হবে স্ট্রাইকে ছিলেন টিক অফ এবং সামনে দিকে বাড়িয়ে দিলেন রান হবে এ বলে এবং রান হলো দলীয় রান পৌঁছে দাঁড়ালো দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার একচল্লিশ বিনা উইকেটে বিনা উইকেটে একচল্লিশ রান সংগ্রহ করেছে কুইন্টন ডিকক যার একুশ এবং অন্যদিকে রয়েছেন সতেরো আমলা উনত্রিশটি বল খেলে গুণারত্নে তিনি এসেছেন বল করতে ডান হাতি এই স্পিনার বল করলেন অফিস স্টাম্পের বাইরে বাক নিয়েছিল একেবারে ইনকামিং ডেলিভারি ছিল সামনের দিকে ছোট্ট একটু বাড়িয়ে দিয়েই পয়েন্টের সামনে কাভার পয়েন্টে বলটি পাঠিয়ে দিয়ে দ্রুততার সাথে একটি রান নিলেন এবং কুইন্টন ডিকক একত্রে ছিলেন ব্যাটসম্যান বাইশ রানে পৌঁছে গেলেন ব্যক্তিগত এখন স্ট্রাইক নিবেন আমলা হাসিম আমলা সতেরোটি রান তিনি করেছেন উনত্রিশটি বল মোকাবেলা করে বল করছেন গোনারত্নে গোনারত্নের এটি চতুর্থ বল হবে বল করছেন তিনি প্যাভিলিয়ন প্রান্ত থেকে এবং অপর প্রান্তে রয়েছেন হাসি মামলা অভিজ্ঞ ব্যাটসম্যান দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা দলের কয়েক কদম দৌড়ে এসে বল করে থাকেন আয়ন দা উইকেট বল করলেন এবার কিন্তু একটু বাক নিয়েছিল ফ্রন্ট ফুটে এসে সামনের দিকে বাড়িয়ে দিলেন শর্ট কাভার ফিল্ডার ফিল্ডিং হয়ে গেল কোনো রান নয় রান সংখ্যা বিয়াল্লিশ বিনা উইকেটে দুজন ব্যাটসম্যান একেবার খুব সংযমী ইনিংস খেলছেন বারবারই বলছি এই সেটিন আইন ইতিমধ্যে অনেকগুলো ওভারে অবশ্য খেলে ফেলেছেন তারপরেও তারা নিজেদেরকে আরও মানিয়ে নিচ্ছেন লং হ্যান্ডেলে খেলার থেকে বিরত রয়েছেন কিছুটা খুব অনেকটা এক দুই এভাবেই নিচ্ছেন বিগ শটে আমরা জিতে দেখছি না এই দুই ব্যাটসম্যানকে হাসি মামলার ব্যাট ব্যাট থেকে আরও একটি রান হয়ে গেল আঠারো একত্রিশটি বল থেকে তিনি সংগ্রহ করেছেন তেতাল্লিশ রানে পৌঁছে গেল দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা গোনারত্নে অ্যাউন দা উইকেট ডান হাতি এই স্পিনার বল করলেন এবার কিন্তু বাক নিয়েছিল ফ্রন্ট ফুটে এসে কবজির মোচরে খেললেন বল চলে আসলো মিড উইকেট অঞ্চলে দ্রুততার সাথে একটি রান অর্থাৎ আরও একটি রান বেড়ে দাঁড়ালো চুয়াল্লিশ রানে পৌঁছে গেল দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা বারো ওভার শেষে এখনকার জেনারেশনের চাই সবকিছুই লেটেস্ট লেটেস্ট ফোন লেটেস্ট ল্যাপটপ লেটেস্ট গাড়ি তাহলে ত্বকের উজ্জ্বলতার জন্য লেটেস্ট টেকনোলজি কেন নয় উজ্জ্বলতার লেটেস্ট টেকনোলজি হল লেজার লাইট আর এখন ফেয়ার অ্যান্ড লাভলি অ্যাডভান্সড মালটি ভিটামিনের উজ্জ্বলতা লেজার লাইট টেকনোলজির মতো এটি লেজার লাইটের মতো ত্বকের গভীরে গিয়ে ডার্ক স্কিন সেলস উজ্জ্বল করে আর দেয় চমৎকার উজ্জ্বলতা তাহলে এখন ত্বকের উজ্জ্বলতা লেটেস্ট ফেয়ার অ্যান্ড লাভলি অ্যাডভান্সড মালটি ভিটামিন গুণারত্নে ডান হাতি এই মিডিয়াম ফাস্ট বোলার ইতিমধ্যে এক ওভার বল করেছেন পাঁচটি রান দিয়েছেন কোনো উইকেট পাননি কোনো উইকেট কেউই পায়নি অবশ্য এখন পর্যন্ত কয়েকজন বোলারকে ব্যবহার করা হয়েছে সুরাঙ্গা লাকমাল লাসিত মালিঙ্গা নয়ন প্রদীপ এবং শেষ পর্যন্ত আমরা দেখলাম গুণারত্নে তিনি বল করলেন প্রদীপ তাকে আনা হয়েছে বল করলেন এবার কিন্তু অফিস স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে ব্যাটের কানায় লেগেছে আউটের জন্য অবশ্য আবেদন হয়েছে ক্যাশ কিন্তু লুফে নিয়েছেন এবং শেষ পর্যন্ত চুয়াল্লিশ রানের মাথায় দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার প্রথম উইকেটের পতন হল কুইন্টন ডিকক ব্যক্তিগত তেইশ রানে তিনি আউট হলেন এবং দলীয় রান যখন চুয়াল্লিশ ঠিক তখনই কিন্তু নোয়ান প্রদীপ সফলতার মুখ দেখলেন তিনি এটি তার এখন পর্যন্ত তিনি আটটি রান দিয়েছেন এবং একটি উইকেট দখল করেছেন একেবার গ্লাভস দিয়ে লেগেছিল উইকেট রক্ষকের হাতে এসে তিনি ধরা পড়লেন পিছনে রয়েছেন ডিকোয়ালা নিরসন ডিকোয়ালা শ্রীলঙ্কার উইকেট রক্ষক এবং তিনি বলটি লুফে নিতে ভুললেন না ব্যক্তিগত তেইশ রানে আউট হয়ে যাচ্ছেন কুইন্টন ডিকক নোয়ান প্রদীপের বলে অর্থাৎ প্রথম উইকেটের পতন হলো ৪৪ রানের মাথায় এই দুই ব্যাটসম্যানকে আমরা যেভাবে অনেকটা সংযমী ইনিংস খেলতে দেখছিলাম হাসি মামলা এবং কুইন্টন ডিককে তাদের কিন্তু অনেকটাই খোলসের মধ্যেই ছিলেন যদিও বারো ওভারের খেলা শেষ হয়েছে এখান থেকে তারা বের হতে পারছিলেন না পারছিলেন না ঠিক এরকম অবস্থাতেই কিন্তু উইকেটটির পতন হয়ে গেল আমরা জানি কুইন্টন ডিককের হাতে প্রচুর স্ট্রোক রয়েছে সে ধরনের লং হ্যান্ডেলে খেলতে পারেন তিনি কিন্তু সেভাবে তিনি খেললেন না অন্যদিকে হাসি মামলা তিনিও কিন্তু খোলসের মধ্যেই রয়েছেন এখান থেকে বের হয়ে 
যে একবার লং হ্যান্ডেলে খেলবেন বলকে চার ছয়ে পরিণত করবেন সে ধরনের কোন বডি ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অবশ্য আমরা তাদের মাছ থেকে দেখছি না অত্যন্ত সংযমী ইনিংস খেলতে খেলতেই কিন্তু একটি উইকেটের পতন হলো যখন দলীয় রান চুয়াল্লিশ কুইন্টন ডিকক ব্যক্তিগত তেইশ রানে তিনি আউট হয়ে গেলেন নন প্রদীপের বলে ডান হাতিয়াই ফার্স্ট মিডিয়াম বোলার এটি তার ব্যক্তিগত তৃতীয় ওভারের বল ছিল এবং জিনিস আমরা জানি যে বড় আসরে আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ যে নক আউট উনিশশো আটানব্বই সালে সেই টুর্নামেন্ট বাদে এই সাউথ আফ্রিকা কিন্তু কোথাও জয়লাভ করতে সক্ষম হয়নি ফাইনাল খেলেনি এবং সেই ধরনে আজকে কিন্তু অনেক শেকি ভাব যদিও আজকে ব্যাটিং প্যারাডাইজ উইকেট নয় এই উইকেটে ব্যাটসম্যানদেরকে কিন্তু স্ট্রাগেল করে রান করতে হবে সেটি করছিলেন হাসি মামলা কুইন্ট ডিকক কিন্তু শেষ পর্যন্ত বারোবার পর্যন্ত টিকে ছিলেন তবে টু হান্ড্রেড এইটটি যদি রান করতে পারে এটি কিন্তু একটু ফাইটিং স্কোর হবে আজকে প্রতিপক্ষ শ্রীলঙ্কার জন্য এই ধরনের উইকেটে অবশ্যই এবং নতুন ব্যাটসম্যান হিসাবে মাঠে প্রবেশ করলেন ফাব ডুপ্লেসিস এবং অন্য প্রান্তে যথারীতি রয়েছেন হাসি মামলা উনিশশো আটানব্বই সালের আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফির কথা বলছিলেন সেটি কিন্তু আমাদের ঢাকাতে অনুষ্ঠিত হয়েছিল এবং বঙ্গবন্ধু স্টেডিয়ামে আমার মনে আছে এবং দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার একটি ম্যাচ তারা কিন্তু চ্যাম্পিয়ন হয়েছিল এবং হেন্সি ক্রোনিয়ে দলের নেতৃত্বে ছিলেন সে সময় আমরা জানি বলতে বলতে পরবর্তী বল নোয়ান প্রদীপের এবার কিন্তু ইনকামিং ছিল পরাস্ত হয়েছেন ফাব ডুপ্লেসিস এক্ষেত্রে আমি বলবো শেষ পর্যন্ত ব্যাটে নামিয়ে দিয়ে এ যাত্রায় বেঁচে গেলেন এবং ভালো একটি বল ছিল নোয়ান প্রদীপ কিন্তু জ্বলে উঠেছে এই মুহূর্তে অবশ্যই শ্রীলঙ্কার দলে নবাগত বোলার আজকের ম্যাচ সহ আঠারোটি ম্যাচ খেলছেন উনিশটি তিনি উইকেট সংগ্রহ করেছেন প্রতিভা রয়েছে প্রতিভা বড় স্টেজে মেলে ধরার মতো সক্ষমতা রয়েছে ঘরোয়া ক্রিকেটে তিনি ভালো খেলেছেন সংগত কারণে ক্রিকেট বিশ্লেষক বিশেষজ্ঞ যারা রয়েছেন শ্রীলঙ্কা দলে তারা কিন্তু নোয়ান প্রদীপকে দল অন্তর্ভুক্ত করিয়েছেন এই সাউথ আফ্রিকার কথা আপনি বলছিলেন ওয়েস্ট ইন্ডিজের সাথে আটানব্বই সালে বঙ্গবন্ধু জাতীয় স্টেডিয়ামে যে ম্যাচটি হয়েছিল সেখানে প্রথমে ব্যাট করে দুশো পঁয়তাল্লিশ করেছিল ওয়েস্ট ইন্ডিজ এবং শেষ পর্যন্ত দুশো আটচল্লিশ করে সাতচল্লিশ ওভারে ছয় উইকেটে এবং চার উইকেটে জয়লাভ করেছিলেন সেদিন ওই হ্যান্সি ক্রয়নে যাকে বলছেন তিনি কিন্তু একষট্টি রানে অপরাজিত ছিলেন সাতাত্তর বলে চারটি চারের সাজে কার্যকরী একটি একষট্টি রানে ইনিংস খেলে সেই দিন এই দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকাকে আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়ন নক আউট চ্যাম্পিয়নশিপ ট্রফি চ্যাম্পিয়ন করানোর জন্য অত্যন্ত মূল্যবান অবদান তিনি রেখেছিলেন হ্যান্সি ক্রয়নে ঠিক তাই এবং সেই মাঠে আমরা দেখেছিলাম জন্টি রো রোডস তিনি কিন্তু খেলেছিলেন কি অসাধারণ ফিল্ডিং তার ছিল সর্বকারের সেরা ফিল্ডার কিন্তু তাকে বলা হয় এবং চর্মচক্ষে তার খেলা দেখার সৌভাগ্য অবশ্যই হয়েছিল আমাদের আমার মনে আছে চুয়াল্লিশ এক উইকেটের বিনিময়ে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার সংগ্রহ হাসি মামলা তিনি আছেন এক প্রান্তে স্ট্রাইকে রয়েছেন এই মুহূর্তে ফাবডু প্লেসিস পরবর্তী বল এবার কিন্তু অফিস স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে ছিল বল চলে গেল স্লিপের দিকে দ্রুততার সাথে একটি রান প্রথম রানটি নিলেন ফাফ ডুপ্লেসিস অর্থাৎ আরও একটি ওভার তেরোতম ওভার শেষ হলো ৪৫ রান এখন পর্যন্ত সংগ্রহ করতে পেরেছে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এবং একটি মাত্র উইকেটের পতন হয়েছে যে উইকেটটি ইতিমধ্যে ওই কুইন্টন ডিককের উইকেটটি এবং কুইন্টন ডিকক ব্যক্তিগত তেইশ রান করে তিনি আউট হয়ে যান এই মুহূর্তে রান রেটের দিকে যদি আমরা তাকাই রান রেটটা খুবই নিম্নমুখী রয়েছে তিন দশমিক চার ছয় এই মুহূর্তে রান রেট আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি শক্তিশালী দল বলতে হবে আইসিসি র্যাঙ্কিং এ শ্রীলঙ্কা এই মুহূর্তে রয়েছে ষষ্ঠ অবস্থানে যদিও মাঝখানে কয়েকটা দিনের জন্য বাংলাদেশ ষষ্ঠ অবস্থানে চলে এসেছিল এখন অবশ্য বাংলাদেশ সপ্তম অবস্থানে শ্রীলঙ্কা ষষ্ঠ অবস্থানে যদি আজকের এই ম্যাচটিও যদি দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার কাছে পরাজিত হয় শ্রীলঙ্কা তাহলে কিন্তু আবারও তারা সপ্তম অবস্থানে চলে যাবে তবে লাস্ট সাতটি ম্যাচের কথা যদি আমরা মনে করি শ্রীলঙ্কার সাথে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার যে মুখোমুখি হয়েছিল তাতে কিন্তু প্রত্যেকটিতেই শ্রীলঙ্কা পরাজিত হয়েছিল এবং আইসিসি র্যাঙ্কিংয়ের এক নম্বর দল যেখানে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা
তারা ভালো খেলবে এটাই স্বাভাবিক পলাশকান বোলারের ধরন কিন্তু পরিবর্তন করেছেন সেকুস প্রেশারকে আমন্ত্রণ জানিয়েছেন দলীয় অধিনায়ক গোপাল থারাঙ্গা এবং এই লেগ ব্রেক বোলার প্যাভিলিয়ন এন্ড থেকে বল করছেন প্রথম বলটি করলেন চোদ্দতম ওভারের এ বলে কোনো রান নয় ডট বল দিয়ে তিনি তার স্পেলের প্রথম ওভারের প্রথম বলটি করলেন ছত্রিশ ম্যাচ খেলেছেন ত্রিশটি উইকেট সংগ্রহ করেছেন সেকুস প্রেশার এটি ওয়াইড হয়ে যাবে লেগে স্ট্যাম্পের বাইরে দিয়ে টার্ন ঠিক মতো ছিল না হাসিম ও যিনি ছিলেন আমি আলিমদার তিনি দোয়াতকে প্রশস্ত করলেন আরও একটি রান ওই দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার স্কোর বোর্ডে ছেচল্লিশ এক উইকেটে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা ঠিক তাই একেবার জাস্ট কয়েক কদম দৌড়ে গিয়ে বল করছেন সেকুকে প্রসন্নে এই স্পিনার ডান হাতি এই স্পিনার এখন এই মুহূর্তে স্ট্রাইকে রয়েছেন ফাফ ডুপ্লেসিস বল করলেন এবার কিন্তু অফ স্টাম্পের উপরেই ছিল ফ্রন্ট ফুটে এসে ড্রাইভ করলেন বল চলে আসলো লং অপ অঞ্চলে রান হবে একটি এবং দ্রুততার সাথেই রানটি তারা সংগ্রহ করলেন এবং সাতচল্লিশ রানে পৌঁছে গেল দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এক উইকেটের বিনিময় এবং চুয়াল্লিশতম রানের মাথায় অর্থাৎ চুয়াল্লিশ রানের মাথায় প্রথম উইকেটের পতন হয় প্রথম উইকেটটি যায় কুইন্টন টিক অফ উইকেট রক্ষক ব্যাটসম্যান দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকার বোলিংয়ের কিন্তু বারবার আমরা পরিবর্তন দেখছি এই শ্রীলঙ্কা দলে একটি কারণ যাতে ব্যাটসম্যানরা বোলারকে খুব দ্রুত রিড করতে না পারে পরবর্তী বল প্রসন্নের ব্যাক ফুটে গিয়ে হাসি খেলি ড্রাইভ করলেন এবং বল চলে এলো শর্টকাবার অঞ্চলে ফিল্ডিং হয়ে গেল কোনো রান নয় হাসি মামলা তিনি ছিলেন স্ট্রাইকে সাতচল্লিশ এক উইকেটের বিনিময়ে দ্বিতীয় পাওয়ার প্লের খেলা চলছে এবং চোদ্দতম ওভারের পঞ্চম বলটি করলেন ব্যাক ফুটে গিয়ে কাট তিনি পৌঁছে গেলেন চৌত্রিশ বলে বাইশ রানে ওপেনিং ব্যাটসম্যান অনেকক্ষণ ক্রিজে আছেন অনেকগুলো বল মোকাবেলা করেছেন তাকে তো খোলস থেকে বের হতেই হবে না হলে কিন্তু তিনিও তার সতীর্থ কুইন্টন ডিককের মতো হতে পারেন এটি কিন্তু এখন তিনি বুঝতে পারছেন বোলার প্রসন্নে বল করলেন আবেদন হয়েছে স্ট্যাম্পের উপরে বল ছিল এবং ব্যাট প্যাড হয়েছে আবেদনে সাড়া দিলেন না আম্পায়ার এক্ষেত্রে এবং আজকে দুজন আম্পায়ার মাঠে রয়েছেন আলিমদার অন্য পাশে রয়েছেন ইয়ান গোল্ড ইংল্যান্ড থেকে এবং আলিমদার যিনি পাকিস্তানের আম্পায়ার দুজনই কিন্তু অভিজ্ঞ আম্পায়ার এবং টিভি আম্পায়ারের দায়িত্ব পালন করছেন পল রাইফেল অস্ট্রেলিয়া থেকে আগত ম্যাচ রেফারি ডেভিড বোন অস্ট্রেলিয়া থেকে আগত এবং রিজার্ভ আম্পায়ার যিনি রয়েছেন অক্সেন ফোর্ড তিনিও কিন্তু অস্ট্রেলিয়ান আম্পায়ার খেনিংটন ওভাল লন্ডনে অনুষ্ঠিত হচ্ছে আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফির বি গ্রুপের প্রথম ম্যাচ এবং আইসিসি চ্যাম্পিয়ন্স ট্রফির তৃতীয় ম্যাচ দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এবং শ্রীলঙ্কার মধ্যে অনুষ্ঠিত হচ্ছে ইতিমধ্যে একটি উইকেটের পতন হয়েছে একান্ন রান সংগ্রহ করেছে দক্ষিণ আফ্রিকা এখন পর্যন্ত এক উইকেটের বিনিময়ে the strongest bowling attack that they could possibly put out they've gone with their proper strike bowlers they've got five strike bowlers rather than you could possibly you could get Fetter Quayo and Aptar Jibonet Koshto Aptar Eka Krota 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 He is, he is more in the side as a, as a lower order hitter who can yeah. bowl some. Yeah. Um, but I think, they've, uh, I, I think they've done the right thing going in with, um, with, their, um, with their strongest attack. They've got, they've got the, a pretty well-balanced attack. So they've got, obviously, Rabada, who's on fire at the moment. Uh, Morkel, who's always tricky to play. Parnell, if he can get the ball to move in as he did uh, oh, he at Lords. So he bowled really, really, really well brilliantly. Yeah. Um, and uh, Chris Morris, who used very quick and also kind of has that sort of slightly awkward thing that Morning Morkel has where you're not quite you can't quite get forward to it and then uh, Tahir is one of the best spinners in limited overs cricket and we're all looking forward to a Tahir celebration I hope um, yeah. I think he'll, he'll run from the oval to tooting and back again if he's, he takes a he's toned them down a bit has he? It, wow. I don't remember I don't remember him doing quite so many laps of the ground in the IPL yeah, has he turned them down, or is it just the size of uh, mod modern outfields means yeah, he just can't get a good it. run these days? He is well, 38 it, years old. Well, so. he might run into the beef eaters if he's not careful, or indeed the flames. Do we have any more tweets, Alec? Um, we have a few. Um, apparently, Decock isn't going deep enough. Oh. Yeah. Um, 
There's also an awful lot of uh, queries about the difference between love and live and, and typos and avoiding decock and bugger in the same sentence. Ah, yes, all makes sense. All yeah. makes sense. We're seeing the Lankin bowling figures here, and they are excellent. Malinga uh, went for 14 in his four overs. Lakmal, who was extremely impressive, went for 17 in his five. Pradeep, who's got the wicket, has gone for nine in his three. And Gunnar Ratner, coming on to uh, get through some middle overs, has gone for five in his single over. And Prasanna who bowled one bad ball and a wide but otherwise was impressive has gone for six in his one over to date um, these drinks breaks get longer and longer um, this one is still going on as Amla has yet to put, put all his kit back on but uh, I think Faf has come out and had a long talk to Amla about the condition of the pitch the outfield and what kind of targets they'll have in mind they'll probably have a target for 25 or 30 overs they'll certainly have one for 40 and uh, then the assault will come um, as we know from some of our statisticians Dr Scott if you're uh, listening that um, doubling the score after 32 overs is the modern way in ODI. I wonder if that may have changed a bit because that ODI was was the last knockings of only having four out in the, in the last yeah. 10 overs so the scores are actually got supercharged yeah. so I wonder if that might have actually the acceleration doesn't happen maybe. Or, yeah, or gone back to the old school 30 yep. I can tell you as the GPL closes we have had two entries Philip White and Dutch Bird Kate within six runs of each other uh, so uh, we'll keep an eye on that, and uh, you two can duke, out, duke it out for glory. Here's the impressive Pradeep, who again gives no width, but uh, Faf rocks onto the back foot and punches this into some of the open spaces square at the oval, and the ball runs out towards the leg side, and they're through for two. I mean, that, that shot itself indicates conditions, because I, mean, I think we all see a lot of cricket at the oval. The, the entire playing area of the oval in the middle is now wickets. They're mm. either practice pitches or pitches used for cricket. And the ball goes across them like glass normally. But that one just went at a kind of mm. normal pace over the uh, outfield. I think it will quicken up as the game progresses, the outfield. Faf's got no timing with this one. Pradeep tidies up of his own bowling, no run. Paranga said exactly that at the toss, which is, Indeed. that's why he said he bowled first, because they figured that the, the sun would burn off some of yesterday's um, downpour. Yeah. And that it would get quicker and quicker to bat on as the, as the day uh, progressed. Any club cricketer who's played early season will know exactly how Absolutely. that works. And Upal Taranga is, of course, extremely experienced as well in English conditions. He must be on his fourth or fifth tour, I would guess. To oh, England he's been playing for a long time. He has indeed. So make a hundred at Lords ages ago. As uh, this ball goes through to the keeper, uh, over shoulder height, but not head height. Um, that's another impressive element of the uh, Sri Lankan bowling. Your margin for error with a bouncer is very limited. Over head height, you get called wide. Over the shoulder, you'll get called one for the over. And indeed, that was overhead height, so he got away with that a little bit, Pradeep. Should have been called wide, wasn't. But um, he'll take what he's given, and uh, so the bouncers of, that you need to bowl in order to stop the batsman just coming forward all the time have been bowled well. Faf looks up, gets a little bit of width, but just like de Kock is failing to really middle it and picks out the man at short extra who knocks the ball down. That's all you need to do, really. And there is no run, so um, three dot balls in a row. A little walk out towards uh, square leg from Faf Plessy, whose brow is furrowed. Yeah, uh, yeah. just going back to Upal Tharunga. Upal Tharunga was opening with his son at Jai Saria yeah. in 2006. Yeah, I think that's the match I saw. Yeah, they chased down 230... Uh, in no, 30 overs. 286 in 32 overs. Yeah, yeah I remember it. Uh, so this is on the leg side, and uh, Faf's happy to get that and just turns it off the hip down to Malinga, who's hidden away at third man. And I'm afraid these days there's two to Malinga, more or less wherever he is in the field, because he is uh, he's the Mornay Morkel of the uh, Sri Lankan lineup. Um, you see Morkel fielding these days, and it's, he's very much a marionette. Somebody's working him on string. And uh, I think two people are working him on strings. Neither of them have been introduced to each other. Yes, no. that's right. They're, they're back for two. Um, I was amazed that I, I, heard, I heard a preview show uh, on the BBC radio and they had uh, Philip Tufnell and um, I think Michael Vaughan and Graham <laughs> Swan. And they talked about the different teams. I'll just come back in a moment. As Pradeep is in and this slower ball defended and... Uh, Duplessis gets no runs. The end of the over, 55 for one. Um, not once did they talk about the fielding uh, options in the sides. And I think one of the advantages that England have and one of the things that makes them, I think, legitimate favourites at the moment is that England are possibly the best fielding eleven in this tournament. Mm. The South yeah. Africans are not great in the field. Uh, the Lankans uh, are not I'd great. I'd say it's between India and New Zealand. 
Yeah, New Zealand are good. I, I agree. Australia are always good in the field. Uh, they're not as Smith good. Warner. They're not as good. They've now, got. They've got. Well, I mean, Warner and Maxwell are outstanding. Yeah, they slip they, from uh, a high base. I think is Australia because normally yeah. they're the ones setting the standards, and now they're just a very yeah. Good I mean, I, I, I'm not sure that Hazelwood's that good in the field. They do drop catches much more than they used to. They do have outstanding fielders, and if you had to pick three of the top five fielders in world cricket, you'd probably have Smith, Warner, and Maxwell in there. But often it's not about the. the the mm. eye-catching fielders. It's about the camels yeah. that you've got to hide. Yeah. Uh, Prasanna's in off this complete lack of run-up, and he's on leg stump again, determined to give no width, and it's just uh, pushed into the leg side. The ball again going slowly over the uh, over the square, and it's fielded by Prasanna, and the through for a single. I mean, that's kind, of the, mile, I should say. that's kind of the issue with India. They've got some excellent fielders. Jadeja is outstanding. Uh, Rohit Sharma is very good. Ashwin, is one, Ashwin is uh, terrible. He's a good slip fielder, but can't isn't yeah. very mobile. Yeah. Uh, Kohli's a good ground fielder, but isn't a great slip fielder, which is interesting. Uh, this ball drifts in from outside off stump onto the off stump, and that's a rare hit and run to the man at mid on there. That's what the Australians score a lot of runs by hitting the ball straight to mid on and running. But the South Africans haven't really done that until lap delivery where Faf knew there was a run there and took off straight away. Of course, um, Hashim Amla is not the quickest these days between the stumps. He's handy, but he's not lightning. No, but usually the ball's going to go towards the um, non-striker's end anyway, which is where you're aiming at for. Yeah, and uh, Amla gets a half volley, which he misses out on yet again. And South Africans have done it plenty in this match, picking out the man at short extra on the drive. The predictor's down to 293, which I think is more legitimate than the 307 we saw earlier. And an inside edge from Amla, who was playing away from his body as the ball drifted in. And uh, Malinga, somewhat untidily, but effectively, runs round and fields there. A little unlucky for Prasanna. He'll put that down as a moral victory. Was that a wrong and that Amla didn't pick? It might be. It's hard to yeah. tell. He doesn't turn his deliveries that far, does Prasanna. No, it was no, a leg, leg break. break. But he's getting plenty of drift. The next ball is full and it's just pushed to short extra and it is no run. And we're seeing the wind on the caption there. So perhaps Sky have also picked out this mm. drift that uh, Prasanna is getting. He's in again and this ball drifts again into middle stump from outside off and uh, it's just a single. If you're wondering why I'm talking about drift from the leg spinner, um, you recall that uh, certainly in his, his later days that Shahid Afridi was as much a, a drift bowler as a spin bowler where he would get the ball to drift mm. into leg and then often but not always uh, straighten with the leg spin. Um, he's a different kind of cricketer altogether and different frame as Prasanna but he's, the ball from hand to bat does have some of the Afridi dip and drift uh, about it. Okay, so a few tweets. Um Jonah says, apparently it's antisocial to be listening to the gorillas on your earphones whilst watching on TV. Not a date No, it now. isn't. It's fine. It's actually worse to be listening on your earphones whilst um, your other half is trying to watch something like The Handmaid's Tale and you jump up and shout, yes, at really inappropriate. Uh, I think it would be less antisocial to listen to it on a speaker. Yeah. Yes, it uh, would. And if you want to, um, if you have the kind of television where you can pause and then um, play, then uh, you can sync us with your television pictures. Um, stop it just as the bowler is bowling and we do like to or at least we try I was say, do you want to give a little cue yeah to cue I'll, I'll give you I'll give you six cues in this over as Pradeep with the impressive figures of one for 13 off four off this uh, relatively short runs in he bowls and this is uh, on a length and uh, he stands up straight does Faf du Plessis plays it with a vertical bat but yet again the man at short extra who's getting plenty of work does the fielding 59 for one at the sun drenched oval after 16.1 overs, uh, Faf finding it no easier than de Kock did. He has eight from 17. And Amla, um, bolstered by a couple of fours, has 24 from 38. So Gunnar Ratner was just to change Pradeep's end. Yeah, was that... Uh that it. As, uh, Pradeep is in. Bowls. And down the track comes Faf du Plessis. The ball's gone high, high off an edge. It's a man underneath it. Oh. And it's Malinga who can't field. I've already told you that. And it goes straight through his fingers. It wasn't an easy catch. It never is with the white ball in a sunny sky. But really, he didn't even get a hand on that. Think Monty in that first test of his.
I mean, it was a bad effort from Malinga. He stepped back onto the boundary rope and then realised that the ball was not going to go for six. Had to make ground. Uh, the next ball is delivered. No run to short extra. And um, he made an absolute mess of that. I mean, to be honest, if he'd, pretty much, if he'd stayed where he was, that would have landed, hit him in the stomach. Yeah. Yeah, he had too much going on there, the Bilinga. And I know it can be confusing with the boundary just in front of you, but the first job is to catch the ball. And it was actually landing three yards inside the boundary. And yes, I mean, the ball just hit the ends of his fingers as he dived forward. And um, as they once said on the day today, that was a naff effort. As uh, this ball is just pushed into the leg side and uh, they're through for a single. I'm sorry I haven't queued all of the mm. deliveries. I'll try and queue the last two of the over. Yeah, Malinga's drop required some explanation. Yeah. Um, I, far be it from me to go crystal ball gazing at this stage of the innings, but that that could be the, one of those match-defining dropped catches. Yeah, it could be, but uh, Fafti Plessy, the reason why he got the swirling top you edge is he came down the and baseball the ball up in the air. I mean, it was a shot of a desperate man, really. He knows this game is sliding through the fingers of South Africa as the ball slid through the fingers of Malinga. Uh, this ball is short, and uh, Amler is able to uh, pull off the front foot, and it goes down to deep square, and there is a single. We're getting lots of replays yeah. of this for Malinga, it does doesn't get any better. But that's precisely why it could be such a... Yeah, the plan had worked. That's exactly yeah. what Sri Lanka were bowling for. Yeah. Uh, and Pradeep had been let down quite badly by uh, by Malinga there, uh, as had the rest of the, the Sri Lankan team. And, you know, if Puff Duplessis uses that life, as we've seen other batsmen do in so many other games... Pradeep's in. He bowls. And uh, Steve Schmitting it is uh, Faf Duplessis getting well outside his off stump and then he just opened the face and ran the ball down to third man the first bit of nous we've seen from a player who isn't short of nous Duplessis he gets himself to third man for one of these one two three four and that's a better option than trying to baseball the uh, the mm. shot over cow corner he now goes to 15 and he'll be feeling a little better about life from 21. Amla has 25 yeah. and 39. The uh, South African 67 for one. Tweets. Um, uh, Lawrence Grasty says, Lord's trying to flog me tickets to see Afghanistan play MCC, which could be entertaining. I'd go, go. I'd go oh, watch yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I don't see Rashid Khan. Afghanistan got beaten quite badly by the West Indies yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got bowled out for 110 in the T20 and West Indies traced it down mm. fairly but, easily. Then they also beat the West Indies. As uh, this ball is slightly wide of off stump and Amla gives himself a bit of room, uh, the South Africans beginning to move around in the crease as they start to try to manipulate the ball rather than simply stand and deliver and they're through for a single it's, yeah they beat the West Indies at the last World T20 didn't they in their final group game they did yes yeah. um, excellent innings from Mohamed Shazad the, uh, the big hitting wicket I mean, keeper their problem is they just don't get enough international cricket play they're getting a fair bit these days but I, I do take the point Prasanna is in and uh, again there's an attempt to manufacture a cut here from Faf and it goes out to the man sweeping on the cover boundary and they're through for two so a bit of a change of plan here I see from the South Africans they're not going to let Prasanna just bowl to them now they're going to give themselves some room by retreating outside the leg stump he got two for that did uh, Duplessis and um it, this sets a challenge for Prasanna. Will he change his line? He's on off stump this time, and it's just pushed into the offside by Duplessis. No run. Uh, so we're seeing the cat and mouse. Mm -hmm. It's often seen white ball cricket as being a bit formulaic, but um, in matches like this, which is not just crash, bang, wallop, we're seeing the batsmen and the bowlers try different tactics. Flung outside mm, nice. off stump from nice. Prasanna. And, uh, Owns out of that bad boy. Talk Sport no 2. And the You're listening to Talk Sport 2, the new 24 hour uh, sports radio station brought to you Prasanna by the people the who make Talk of, uh, his seam is Unfortunately, yeah, the event. Uh, this ball is on middle and leg. It's just defended onto the, into the offside. The other thing Prasanna does, he gets through his overs terribly yeah. quickly. And as a batsman, you, you look up and all of a sudden. There's 19 overs up, or in this case, 18 overs, where you thought there were only 15 overs bowled. So Prasanna's in again, and uh, Faf gets one that he's able just to knock to point, and there is no run. I'm glad he opened the window again there. That was good. It's the end of the over. 18 gone. South African 70 for one. Tweets. OK, lots of Dikok puns coming in. Oh. So not much hope when you're up against a hard catch from Dikwala. Dikok was pulled out prematurely. 
available to hear no in the United clock, Kingdom. Normal programming fact, will resume as soon as the current the event end. is finished, but from uh, 2020 cricket to European to football and everything in between, TalkSport 2 is the new home of sports broadcasting. And it's mammal. It's hard on to cock, but he did Bob to <laughs> the bones out of that bat. De Cock was impotent today. Dick Well are oh, on the other hand. Uh, absolutely. Well, um, Dick Weller, Paul's younger brother. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you know, far be it from me to complain about uh, puns with my record. But uh, yes, they were a variable quality. Um, and where uh, Andy Zaltzman is crying. We've, got, um, we've still got a long way to go in this tournament with two more South Africa matches. So uh, you want to you wanna keep your... Uh, your keep, powder dry. Yeah, your, your puns uh, sheathed for the time being. As Gunnar Ratney is back with these comedy stylings, he's in round the wicket and the ball eventually arrives at Amla, who cuts one from slightly outside off stump, backward of point. Again, the ball travels relatively slowly over this uh, lush outfield, and uh, they're through for two. Asela Gunaratna. Can I suggest that they may not want to have Gunaratna bowling at uh, Div- AB De Villiers? Could be, and uh, there's, a, there's half a look of, of whether that was a catch or not. Um, Amla hit the ball straight back at Gunnar Ratner, but uh, I don't think it was a catch, but he's getting lots of uh, taps on the back. And he, uh, the uh, bum taps that we see in cricket that uh, you don't see outside South London pubs on a Friday night very often, except, oh no, I won't go there. I won't go there. There is a certain pub I, not I think far, I know which pub you're talking about. Not far about. from the Oval. Yes. I work very close to this area. Yes. Uh, we, see, we are seeing... Uh, it was mentioned earlier, Hendo mentioned it, that the steer down to third man, the sort of the backward facing forward defensive, if it, as it were, down to third man, has become a shot. Uh, now we're seeing um, the likes of Root, Amler, and I think Kane Williamson is the absolute best in the world at that shot. Yeah. Ian Bell got a lot of runs from it as well in his day. Uh, this ball's on middle stump, and Amler, it's a slight sort of Arnold Palmer finish there to that shot. Um, Punches it into the leg side. He walks single. Amla has 28 from 43. Faf has 17 from 26. They're still bottled up, are the uh, South Africans. They haven't been able to get that big over. You, you, you feel that this innings will start when they take 16 or 18 off and over. Um, but the boundaries have been few and far between. And to be honest, so have the singles. As Faf looks up again, and he's got Gunnar Ratney coming in. Bowling his 10th ball of uh, his work and uh, Faf just again punches it into the wide open spaces on the leg side and they walk an agreed single. The Lankans will be content to concede singles at the moment. Mm. The score 74 for one in the 19th over. This is a great time to sneak in if you were a Gunnar Ratner. It is, it is. He doesn't look particularly threatening, Gunnar Ratner. Uh, perhaps the... Uh, the leading edge is the most likely source of a wicket, but he's in again and uh, lifted Shot. by Amla. It was a half volley, and that's what South Africa have needed. A bit of aggression. He just leant back. He stood and delivered. The ball picks out a South Africa fan in the crowd. It gives it to a Sri Lankan fan to return the ball. That's lovely to see. A very London moment, but it's one of these. You know you're alive. As, uh, it's a six for uh, Amla. He doesn't hit that many of them, and when he does hit them, he does tend to hit them down the ground. And he didn't get absolutely all of it, but he got plenty enough. And it's always a good hit for six at the oval. Um, they very seldom have the boundaries in uh, as near as they do at some grounds. And uh, I think we need to see a bit more of that from the, uh, the uh, South Africans. They need to put pace on the ball themselves, particularly from Gunnar Ratner. And you were talking about sneaking and over in from Gunnar Ratner. Yeah, that, um, that one, the cover's been blown. Yeah, I think it has. Ten so far off this over. Uh, Amler will probably try and take a single off this. It's round the wicket and wider the crease goes Gunnar Ratner. And there is that leading edge that I was expecting all the time, but it goes along the ground, and um, Amler does pick up the single. Um, he goes to 36 from 45. Gunnar Ratner now has none for 16 from his two overs. I suspect that will be the end of the Gunnar Ratner uh, overs. The, the South Africans 81 for 1 19 overs gone we'll have a change at the end of this over even I'm tired of my voice and believe me I like it as uh, we go to tweets 
Okay, um, some more jokes, but not so many to cock ones now. So, Moon Mr. Moon says, butter my fingers. Uh, Imagine says, surely Malinga could have developed his newly developed pouch to take that cat. Oh, yes, he could have. Um, we've got uh, Dr. Dan Diaper has uh, shared a sketch of Quinton to cock starting poorly. I'll retweet that one for you guys. And Peter Ward says, too right, Gary, we gorilla listeners should keep out of cocks to ourselves. Ah, yes, indeed. Well, Prasanna is continuing this excellent spell of, I hesitate to say leg spin bowling. It's more kind of leg drift bowling, uh, for want of a better, uh, or off drift bowling, I should say. As uh, this one again sort of slightly drifts in and it's driven. And Prasanna attempts to field off his own bowling, but um, he has to concede the single as uh, Amla... Um, now beginning to beginning to look a little more comfortable at the crease. He goes to 37 from 46. And uh, Prasanna, very quick in his work, stands right next to Alim Dar as he starts his uh, run-up. Uh, on the sweep from one wide of the off stump is Faf, and uh, it can only get it to the man sweeping on the leg side, and they're through for a single. Um, the South Africans content here, it seems at the moment, to milk the singles and then look for the one or two big shots in the over as A.B. de Villiers broods on the player's balcony. And again, it's just a milked drive to long off and they walk an easy single. Would you say brood? Or are they going for uh, smolder? Smolder? I think he smolders. I think um, maybe, maybe. I don't think he's quite got the, the look for the smolder. I think Coley smolders on the boundary. Uh, uh, Coley, uh, no, no, Coley um, as this rages. Ball is, <laughs> as this ball is swept by uh, Faf Duplessis, and the boundaries are beginning to come now for the Lankans. He had to fetch that from well outside uh, off stump, and uh, he got it to deep square for one of these. One, two, three, four... And uh, one of the beef eaters on the boundary there is wearing an earring, which I suspect is not an uh, authentic beef eater outfit. As uh, this ball is just pushed by Faf, um, hit the boundary, hit the single, and uh, goes to long on mm. for a single. So he's getting milked a bit now, Prasanna. Um, how will... Uh, is Chandamal captaining the side? Taranga. Taranga's captaining the side. I think he needs to change the bowling here. Certainly at one end, possibly at both ends, because the Lankans are be just uh, the South Africans are just beginning to look comfortable as uh, Amla gets another quick single. Again, the difference between hitting the ball directly to the man and hitting it a yard to his right hand. Just that bit of confidence, just that bit of change in momentum. South Africa, 90 for one after 20. We'll have a change. Che Guevara, Sangakara, Joseph Sali. Douglas Jardine, Robespierre, Darrell Hare, Vladimir Lenin, O'Brien Kevin, Guerrilla Cricket. So, uh, Alex going to remain uh, in the tweet seat. I, Knuckle and Pandy, have moved to ball by ball. And for the first time in far too long, I am uh, on, uh, on commentary with Al Hodge. Welcome. Knuckle. Long time no see. Indeed, indeed. He'll be uh, doing your jingles. When was the last time we commentated together? Uh, that would be during the World Cup. Oh, yeah, that long ago. Did we not do it during the Ashes at some point? Work has been frenetic. Did we not do it during the Ashes? Possibly. Or yes. Okay. Yes. The Ashes, back in the, those uh, heady days when uh, uh, my wallet got lighter and my liver got heavier. Where, 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 where men were men and we did this in a pub. We did, we did. Um... It, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Halcyon days. Uh, good run is continuing. Uh, this time. There is a short mid wicket in which, uh, given the uh, possibilities of popped up catches off this uh, extreme dibble, uh, is uh, probably a good idea. But uh, Amla just worked this one up to long on for a single. He's been quietly sneaking up on a runner ball now, 40 off 49. We're seeing some uh, lovely uh, advertisements for Pims uh, from the uh, from the balconies around the oval. Other. Stereotypical summer drinks mm. are available. Uh, Duplessis with that backlift pointing towards cover point uh, just worked this one into the leg side. They'll come back for two, Ooh. mostly driven by uh, uh, Duplessis. Uh, Amla was a little bit reluctant, but uh, not quite as reluctant, it seems, as Malinga coming in off the square leg boundary, who uh, uh, got to the ball but then did very little uh, with it. Uh, easy two to Duplessis, moves to 26. With that missed catch, if you'd have tried to eat it instead of catch it, 
I think he would have done the better. He job. really could have just sort of stood there and fallen back with it. It wasn't. It wasn't his greatest moment. No, he uh, he made it look far more difficult than it needed to be. Uh, Duplessis Plessis making this look easy, isn't he, at the moment? Or easier? Uh, certainly easier than De Kock ever managed. That one drifts onto the legs. And uh, will they come back for two again? No. Uh, this time uh, a uh, slightly faster fielder than uh, Lasset Malinga uh, does the work at square leg. So it's just a single. Yeah, Duplessis got the pace of this pitch very quickly. Well, he might have the, the match of the Sri Lankans because in their five-match series early in the year, he scored back-to-back -back centuries. And one of them was a huge century as well, over 180. Yeah, uh, South Africa battered Sri Lanka in that series uh, quite unceremoniously. Yeah. A good runner comes in from very wide uh, when he's uh, bowling over the wicket. He sort of skitters in uh, on a diagonal. And again, with that uh, angle into the right-handed batsman, it's an easy clip to leg. Armland picks up a single. Uh, that is the 50 partnership from uh, 52 balls. A runner ball 50 partnership with really only one shot that anyone will remember. Um, this, is, this is classic middle overs, uh, limited overs batting. Uh, Duplessis awaits uh, in comes Gunnaratna bowls again drifts into the powers this time worked finer uh, Malinga's up in the circle there at, uh, on the 45 but uh, it was uh, far to his left so could not prevent the single six runs off the over with minimum fuss a boundary here and uh, South Africa's uh, game plan for the over will be complete this is very this is this really is sort of traditional hit hit the bad ball for four, hit one boundary and then work the rest around. Well, it, with some of these balls from Gullah Ratney. Uh, that's a slow ball, which uh, it's actually quite a good slow ball. That's the first one off stump uh, all, all over. But uh, Amla's, uh, uh, the amount of time that Amla has to play is uh, measured glacially, really. So he just works that one up too long on for a very easy single. And uh, uh, right on cue, Gary has uh, given me a coffee. Thank you very much indeed. Tweets? So, um, Colin Rosenthal says some classic malingering on the boundary today. Hey. Hey. Nestle Boy says, um, I see that Alec has uh, yet to find his optimum seating position on the tweet lounge. That's partly because I've got huge bloody great uh, boots on and I don't want to kick anyone or any expensive equipment. Um, uh, uh oh, and I was just about to give Alec a swear test on tweets. Um, yeah, careful, I might get a bit uh, sweary. Uh, but apparently uh, Jonah ha wants us to say hi to my six-year-old Helena or Helena. Uh, she's listening in for the first time today, um, but apparently she already knows that swearing is an essential part of sport. I'll try and keep it clean, especially as my family's listening in, and I get told off quite a lot for swearing around my six seven-year-old niece. Well, welcome to the party, Helen. Hi, Helena. Yes. Yep, absolutely. Every listener is uh, crucial, so I uh, hope she uh, stays in. Uh, uh, swearing is not big, but it is clever. Yes. Uh, Prasanna continuing bowling his fifth over. This one uh, skids on to uh, Amla, who uh, just makes some room and guides this one out to the uh, very lonely man. I think that's Saranga Lukmal on the cover boundary. No fielder within 20 yards of him. Uh, easy single to uh, Hashim Amla. So I'll give you the feel. There's a man up at short third man. There's a man up at backward point. Man up at cover. Man back at long off. Man back at extra. Man back at long on. Man back at deep square. There's also three up in the ring on the leg side. In comes Sukuke Prasanna, short and uh, crashed through the offside by Faf Duplessis, but uh, Lakmal again fielding uh, lone and uh, isolated manner out on the cover boundary. There is no, there is an easy single, rather. He is going to get a proper workout. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, li that line and length from Prasanna, he is going to run all day. He's got 30 yards either side to cover. That one's crashed straight to cover point by... Uh, Hashim Amla. Again, Prasanna just slightly too short here. He's trying to really whip these in and get some drip, but uh, Amla's camping on the back foot. Uh, this time camps on the back foot and uh, tries to muscle this over the leg side. He's not quite got all of it, but he's managed to find a gap in the leg side. Uh, uh, Pradeep, who is also not a particularly quick mover, uh, is out there on the sort of mid-wicket square leg boundary and had to make up a lot of ground to his, uh, to his left. Uh, two runs to Amla. Dave? place the pitch quite central so there's no short boundary no there isn't which seemed to help in the first game yeah it wasn't that, it wasn't sh it wasn't short short no I think we were, we were only one one square away Zindagi weren't we uh, this one is cut Samalo. hard and straight through the man at cover point uh, the field was well placed but uh, if the fielders don't actually field the ball that doesn't particularly help you he field the name is life coach Sharad and in the show we are talking about activity and book of living and dying a classic guitar that our love coach Rahul Makin behind square with two fielders in the ring yeah get through that 
Ball runs all the way. Fellow could just can't cover on the boundary. No, I mean he's got he's got about thirty yards to cover either side. I mean that was really poor from the man at um, a couple point. I believe Alec was about to be scathing. I, he feels that exactly like I'd feel that. I getting down just just on time to feel it slip through your fingers. Yeah, yeah. It's the it's the long barrier, but instead of going instead of being any kind of barrier, it's more of a gate. <laughs> and uh, off the back foot, uh, uh, Hashim Mamla pushes out to uh, cover. And oh. uh, an easy single to bring up yet another 50 for Hashim Amla. Uh, so that's this 34th 50 uh, to go with 2400s in 153 ODIs. <laughs> <laughs> from the IPL, isn't it? Yeah, well, uh, the, the England ODIs were a continuation of that. I mean, he, he looked magnificent throughout that series. It, the difference between form and class is about the time you look at Federer in tennis and the mm. like and you just you look at him and you just go it's a completely different game a completely different game. it is and it's for a guy who when he first came into international cricket did look rushed mm. uh, his his early iterations as a test batsman were not hugely impressive but he uh, he got he certainly he can be fairly said he's got through those early stages he averages over 50 in both forms of the game mm. and is I was looking at he's fastest to pretty much every um one day international milestone as uh, fastest to 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 yeah, I think all the way up to 8,000 runs it, it, in terms of innings it doesn't, in look like he's made any, doesn't look like he's made any corrections technically it's all up in above it, the shoulders. It's just a computer isn't it? Yeah. He knows exactly where the fielders are not. Uh, Gary was speculating a few overs ago that they might, uh, Sri Lanka might have to go on the attack here to uh, with this partnership looking to settle in that's exactly what they've done I think they've uh, the man with the ball in his hand is uh, better off there than anywhere else in the field one suspects absolutely she asked me why I'm just a hairy guy Malinga. Uh, three men up on the offside three men up on leg that one is uh, Way too leg sidey and easy for Hashim Amla to clip this around the corner. Will this go for four? It will, despite the headlong dive. Uh, Mog, Mog's four boundary uh, jingles. Are they all in the thrash metal style? No, they're not. They're very. Um, that's he's very wide ranging is musically. He a, eclectic. He very much is. That's technically uh, dance metal or dance. industrial metal. It's Rammstein. The you see, I, you just lose track of all this. Have they put those fireworks on the top of some terraced houses that <laughs> went off when that... that I, I do hope so. Uh, in comes Malinga. I'm saying very leg side of this one. A slow ball. Uh, Malinga breaking out his uh, into his box of tricks early on. And uh, Amla just takes the bottom hand off it, defends into the offside. There is no run. If I, was, if I was in that crowd, I would leap upon the opportunity with those huge fireballs and create toast for everyone they are massive I worked not that far from the Oval and we could see them from our office the, the fireworks every time a, a boundary was hit or a 50 yeah, or something long fork yeah giant marshmallow yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't think they last long enough for toasting but certainly you could get some good marshmallow oh, action yeah. in there marshmallow action I think yeah. it would be a sort of clump of marshmallows like a sort of marshmallow kebab as this one uh, drifts into the pads of Amla again this one uh, clips to uh, leg but there is a man out there on the square leg boundary Saranga Lukmal again clocking up the mask I think that's Saranga Lukmal out there I hope I haven't been misidentifying him uh, and uh, Amla's come back for two I believe Malinga does seem easier to hit after he's bowled four overs yeah he's showing that T20 really is well and also game. they don't have to hit him a guy they don't have to try and hit him for sixes no yeah. he uh, just looks and he can't he can't bowl four Yorkers and over for ten overs it's just too easy. Uh, in comes uh, Malinga, very tight to the stumps and very tight to off stump is the delivery and just uh, guided down that uh, sort of forward defensive through third man that we've been uh, talking about. Uh, Amla now 57 off 60. Um, Hendo was saying he's not moving the arm. It's no. just It's essentially just a, a redirection. It takes, it takes the, the risk of pushing at the ball, edging, it takes that completely out of play. Because you can you can put the whole bat there. Yeah, and, and it, you you don't even push as hard as you would for a forward defensive. Yeah, you just, you, just you, 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 you sort of angle it slightly back towards yourself as the as uh, upon impact. Kane Williamson is absolutely brilliant at it. Well, Williamson is pretty good at most things at the moment. Uh, this is true. Uh, one of the great sights in world cricket. Slow ball, wide outside off stump, and uh, 
hit hard into the ground by Faf Duplessis and uh, it ricochets off that hard oval uh, square into the hands of Point. There I, is no run. I, I was giving it some thought yesterday. The person with the most difficult job in world cricket at the moment has got to be Luke Ronke because you've got Guptill opening mm. and then you've got Williamson coming in at three and really everybody wants to see those two guys back together and everybody's kind of looking at Ronky and going well go hard or just you know get out let me see the big that's big the pack. thing uh, whatever Ronky does he's got to do it quickly yeah. and uh, that's a fantastic oh, stop from the man up at 45 who is that you know, is it, uh, it's uh, Gunnar Ratner uh, like all great dibbly dobblies he's a, he's a <laughs> clearly uh, got into the side at least partially through his fielding it was a short ball from Malinga which was pulled uh, very uh, fine and very hard by Amla but a full length diving stop to his left from uh, Gunnar Ratner wrong handed kept them uh, to one but nevertheless that's eight off Malinga's uh, return over uh, he's gone for 22 off his five after 23 South Africa 114 for one and starting uh, to recover some of the ground uh, they uh, they missed earlier mm. so Messi Jess has uh, sent us uh, an image saying uh, Corbyn now looks less like a perpetual graduate student and more like your dad while Theresa May looks like a home county's vampire who has to be back in sorry before the sun rises and he says um, is this true if so Gorilla Cricket's election coverage could be very exciting uh, I'm not sure what to say about uh, whether or not Theresa May is a home county's vampire as Ther Theresa May is many things to many people not uh, all of them positive Prasanna yeah. continuing uh, held back outside off stump and uh, driven with no power or timing uh, to cover there is uh, no run. The cameras are trying to make that hot dog look uh, much bigger than I think it actually is by putting it in the hands of a small child. Uh, again, held back, but uh, that's a very nicely placed shot by uh, Duplessis. Slightly improvised sort of pick-up sweep over the mid-wicket region. The mid-wicket is up, so there's an acre of space uh, into which uh, to hit that, uh, and that's exactly what Duplessis has done uh, to the tune of one of these. From the man who brought you Ramstein. Very good. <laughs> Very good. It's certainly a better use of uh, the output of uh, Blurred Lines than uh, the actual song itself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a song that's much better parodied than actual. Uh, yeah. It's a, yeah. Uh, down, the lyrics are questionable. Uh, Midwicket's now gone back in response to this. Uh, uh, so, uh, Prasanna. Uh, favouring the offside this time. I was expecting that for all money to be pushed for two to mid-wicket, but no, it was outside off stump, and instead uh, uh, Duplessis in very angular and axe-murdery fashion crushes that one to deep cover for a single. Oh. Uh, we are having the, the inevitable trail for the uh, the big duel from Edge Baston Tamari, India versus Pakistan. You can hear every ball here on Gorilla Cricket um. from 10.25am GMT. Got a, got so this one slides... Uh, into the pads of Amla, defended into the leg side. There is no run. Got an opinion on that game, Knuckle? <laughs> I've got many opinions on that game. <laughs> got, a, uh, got a horse in the race? Uh, <laughs> it could be fair to say, yes. <laughs> I've actually got a bet on India to win the tournament at 9-2. to two. Uh, As this one, uh, again, on middle and leg, and you know, flicked wristily by Hashim Amla, but there is a man at short midwick who does oh, good work there. Save the one. Uh, save the one uh, very well indeed, uh, diving full length to his right. Uh, he was definitely looking at the single. I think there might have been the one had it been uh, someone slightly quicker than Hashim Amla. Uh, it's going to Ratner again in the short mid wicket region. So he's uh, he's done his job reasonably well thus far. We'll see how he goes with the bat later. Oh, is, um, has Katie got in touch with a prediction? Not as yet. We uh, we await the findings of the Scottometer, and uh, the Scottometer may have to be uh, cranked up a couple of notches because Hashim Amla said, "I've had enough of this." A uh, couple of steps down the track, hooked over the leg side, six runs. Let's talk about six. Let's talk about six. Let's talk about six. Let's talk about six. Nothing wrong with that ball. Held up outside off stump. Perfectly decent delivery. Actually, probably did beat Amler in the flight. His feet were nowhere near it. Had he missed it, would have been an easy stumping. Uh, but instead, it went uh, flying over the mid-wicket boundary. Just dismissive. Yeah, it really was. Just be gone with this ball. Yeah, I fetch like me. Uh, I do not like this ball. Fetch, fetch me, me some other. Yes, exactly. Uh, to quote uh, Brian Blessed from the first series of Black Adder, which I don't think that many people have seen. Indeed. Uh, it is on Netflix, which is interesting. Yeah. I don't, I don't quite know why they picked... They picked the first and second. I'm not quite sure why they picked the first. It, it's would, a bit spotty. They they actually cancelled the Blackadder series after the first uh, after the first se uh, season. Yeah, and watching it back, as I have a couple of times, you can see why. Uh, Malinga is continuing and uh, beats uh, Faf Duplessis there with one that uh, was uh, far too close to cut. 
Uh, really, di it, Hamdov was beaten in the flight there. He didn't yeah. get anywhere near the pitch of that, and it dipped on him, but he, he trusted his uh, hands, and, uh, and uh, rightly so, judging by that. Full commitment. Lesson for us all. Yeah, exactly. Um, Inza Mom was magnificent at doing that. If he didn't get to the pitch of the ball, he'd just go through with the shot and he'd try and hit it harder. Uh, Duplessis facing up to Malinga. Uh, Duplessis looks a lot less comfortable against Malinga than Amla does, and he uh, clips this one wristily with a great break of the bottom hand into the leg side. Can find only short mid wicket. There is no run. Better lines from Malinga, tight to the off stump. I think that was the, one of the things about Inzaman, that you either were supporting Inzaman or, as the rest of the world did, just found him incredibly annoying to play against. I love watching him bat. I oh, really did. Yeah, yeah. And, just and it, the, it's lazy brutality and 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 a who's who of run out victims. Absolutely, and not forgetting the hit wicket. Ooh, Ooh yes, of course the uh, the Monty induced hilarity and that one uh, slipped out of Malinga's hands uh, somewhat and drifts harmlessly down the leg side for a wide. <laughs> good Sri Lankan contingent in the crowd as one might expect uh, well anywhere really they, uh, they were a very good uh, travelling support but particularly in South London what were there more of Inzaman Brunouts or Shane Watson LBW reviews I think Inzaman Brunouts I think it's 35 in one day international cricket or 36 and this one is uh, guided off the inside half of the bat into the leg side by Duplessis moves to 36 someone did a super cut of all of the Watson ones in fact, I think the, the reason I know that you and I commentated in the Ashes is because we were both there for what turned out to be Shane Watson's delivery in, last delivery in Test Cricket, where we got that. It was he'd already reviewed one in the first innings, horrifically, and it was inevitable he was going to review the second one, and we led the whole bar in a chant of review, review, review. Yeah. One of the greatest moments on this show. And, and like a Roman crowd in the Colosseum baying for blood, we got what we wanted. Yep, and uh, the thumb went down and... Uh, uh, Shane Watson, who was about to die, was not saluted. As this one uh, comes as uh, a slow ball, which Amla has to wait an age for and just uh, guides down to third man for a single. Uh, we're seeing that uh, Amla's had the better of uh, Malinga in one day international cricket. Not many people have a strike rate of 91 against Malinga. No, I mean, you go. You, so, strike rate of 91, he's only been dismissed three times. Another way, um, it's, well, it tends to be the, it, it's the real class players who have a. A great record against Malinga. Virat Kohli was the first of India's batsmen to really master Malinga. Mm. Uh, taking, I remember him taking 24 or something off and over of his. And that is, oh, very... Was that a bump that. ball? Uh, Amla crashed it through the offside. I think it's, uh, judging by the lack of reaction, uh, what Kapil Gethera pulled off there at point was a fantastic stop rather than a catch. I think that is a bump yeah, ball, was, yeah. yeah. Uh, a flying effort from a couple Gethera at backward point and... Uh, has sort of tipped that one uh, round the corner, saved his, um, his team three runs there. An excellent commitment there from uh, from the man at backward point. Uh, Duplessis picks up a single, moves to 37. I'm always wary about the gentleman who's holding the baby in one hand and will then go and try and catch the six with the other hand. <laughs> uh, well, he's, he's holding the baby and the water bottle in one hand already, so he's a uh, uh, good coordination there as uh, Amla just clips this one uh, into the leg side five off the over including the wide after 25 South Africa 130 for one and are now in a, a really dominant position mm. so going to the tweets quickly first we take Manhattan is giving us um, an update early break for Del Potro uh. now leading Murray 3-2 um, that's uh, going to be tough yeah to which um, Chris the choir says is Murray already doomed meanwhile it's all about the serve in the Carl Evan uh, match one set all mm -hmm. who's Edmund playing I cannot remember um, Ravi Nair says Blackadder Series 1 shows how much Richard Curtis had to learn about funny from Ben Elton uh, plus 2-4 to four were cheaper as they were filmed on indoor sets yeah That's rather true. than Anik Castle right. um, we've got some advertising from Ralph Schmidt who says how can transformation development happen if um, at sports at um, ATS ABC does not even do a radio broadcast tune into um, Gorilla Cricket thanks yeah thank w you thank you for the plug and welcome, all over the world and welcome to uh, anyone who is uh, joined in who is joining us through uh, Mr. Schmidt and um, according to First We Take Manhattan um, Del Potro is absolutely mauling Murray with his forehand at the moment not sure how long it continues um, it is a five setter though so there's plenty of time for Murray to fight his way back yeah I mean those two guys played a classic in the um, in the Rio final, yeah. you, so 
And aren't, and aren't they both more or less coming back from injury as well? Well, oh, Del, Del Potro has been permanently coming back from injury Del, for the last Del, two Del, years. Del Potro is one sneeze away from his body completely falling apart. Yeah, there's a lot of body and a lot to go wrong. Yeah. yeah. A bit like Flintoff by the end of his career. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot going through those knees, certainly. Yeah, so I think Del Potro is a shoulder, isn't it? Uh, it was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. No, no, I can see that going... Yeah. It, it, I mean, obviously, if Murray loses, he'll be devastated, but there are worse players to lose against. Yeah. I mean, considering what happened to Djokovic yesterday, I mean, I know he went 6-1, 6-1 in the fourth and fifth, but if you consider that Nadal won 6-1, six 6-1 love, six six love in 90 minutes beforehand, you know... N- everyone... Nadal, Nadal's got this sort of clay force field. Well, yeah. he, there's a, well, this sort of sense to 2017, Federer is all the way back interesting that he takes the French off to concentrate on Wimbledon and the US Open and then Nadal turns around and goes oh Clay I remember how to play on Clay Let, have at you to the rest of the world and no one's got an answer uh, it would seem not uh, back controversially in the sport we're actually being well we're not being paid to cover although we True. could be patreon.com forward slash gorilla cricket if you want to uh, help us keep going and in a couple of quid a month or however much you can spare or however much you think we're worth we are a uh, a self-funded and listener-funded operation. We have no uh, sugar Every... daddy or uh, or indeed sugar mummy. Uh, back around the wicket is uh, Gunnar Ratna bowling very wide on the crease, continuing that sort of diagonal skitter approach. And it's uh, clipped from outside leg stump. Probably would have been a wide if Amler had left it, but no. Clips uh, the single. Kusal Mendes fields out on the... Uh, square leg boundary it's a bit death by a thousand cuts this innings isn't it and leg glances and there isn't been yeah. there's not been the huge aggression no just a couple of well timed well, well controlled shots. sixes yeah, yeah. but uh, otherwise it's just you know what I yeah think, you know it's the type of thing where you earn your right to play and then earn your right to play in rugby and then you yeah um, yeah the Malinga drop is getting ever more criminal uh, clipped to short mid wicket there is uh, no run by Duplessis. I think there's also a short cover, which uh, makes perfect sense uh, given the uh, given the style of bowling and the likely uh, likelihood of uh, chips to short to cover and leading edges and so forth. Im- Imran Tahir, who we just saw there on the coverage, he's the man I'm interested in seeing today. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, is this one uh, again outside leg stump? And Duplessis uh, run the first one hard. They're going to try and come back for two. Uh, the throw was pretty decent, and there was a slight hesitation, but uh, Duplessis was home comfortably. Uh, for the second to come back to your point with regards to how people fielding the way that I would feel the, the bowler there just had a look of like that ball's really thrown quite hard and the ball's quite hard I'll just let it go yeah that seems quite reasonable uh, Gunnar Rutter starts his uh, run up from uh, round the wicket almost behind the umpire and then sort of darts out and uh, shuffles wider at the last minute uh uh, the result is, of course, a clip to square leg because that's uh, been uh, pretty much the story of Gunnar Ratner's last few overs. Uh, there's f- uh, five men on the leg side, three men back, one at uh, long leg, one at deep square, one at long on. There's also a man up on the 45 and a man at sort of mid-wicket-ish, um, but slightly squarer than the traditional uh, mid-wicket. We'll try and give you the field as much as we can. For those of you who are, are unfamiliar with our operation, there's also a short mid-wicket. Uh, this one's a clipped to leg. Uh, a sort of strange leg theory thing that Gunnar Ratner's got going. It's like Ashley Giles to Tendulka. It's but less effective. Well, he's he's encouraging the angle of just the glance for ones and twos on the leg side. Seems a bit. Whether it is that he's decided I'm taking the four and the six out of the equation. Uh, yeah, play across me if you want. Yeah, or um, I guess leading edges um, yeah. to to extra cover but there's not really that much happening off the pitch as yet the uh, the early life has seems to have uh, gone out of it somewhat or maybe Gunnar is just not uh, uh, the kind of bowler who uh, can bowl in a way to extract said life is clipped for a single so that's uh, six off the over with absolutely no effort at all from Duplessis and Amla. Duplessis 41 of 47 Amla's 67 off as many balls after 26 overs uh, in this first game of Group B of the ICC Champions Trophy, South Africa are 136 for one. So, um, Jonah says, just eaten six chicken legs for supper. Got me thinking, I wonder how many chickens one eats a year. Mm. Um, well, that's at least, least three. Well, yeah, I've, my Italian colleagues uh, at my uh, day job, they seem to get through a, a, a whole farmyard every couple of weeks. Um, also, apparently we haven't mentioned the Lions, who narrowly beat the New Zealand Barbarians. Looks like a long tour. That one always is. 
it, it, yeah, it, come back to me when they've played a Super 12 team. Yeah. Now that's just, get, you've got the rust off. Yeah, it doesn't look pretty. A win's a win. Absolutely. On to the next one. Yeah. Um, uh, da, da, da. Christ the Choir um, gives us an update on the Carl Edmund game. Apparently he's playing Kevin Anderson. Similar rank, but much more experience. Yeah. Evan Mutt looks more like Flashheart than Blackadder. <laughs> Uh, Woof. Yeah, which apparently takes me mean he's about to wander off with Kevin Anderson's girlfriend. And um, first we take Manhattan says, I think I'd probably boycott you if you were reliant on an Alan Sugar Daddy. Oh. I, I, I don't... Yeah. Oh. That doesn't bear thinking about, does it? No one. Not, uh, e not even the Sugar family want to be reliant on Alan Sugar as a Sugar Daddy. No, we do have a change of bowling. So Malinga, just the just a couple of overs... Uh, uh, short stints, isn't it? Yeah, uh, from the, uh, I think that's from the Vauxhall end. Short ball and uh, uh, greeted with absolute contempt by Faf Dupassi. Uh, it was a long hop outside off stump and it really it got the treatment. Crashed over mid-wicket for four. Uh, we'll jingle up the bowler, although after that it barely seems worth it. Yeah, so here we go. <laughs> Yep, bowled very well in his uh, in his opening spell. Uh, very uh, very good lengths, getting that ball to nip around, as we have seen on a couple of Sri Lanka's Test tours to this country. Uh, so with uh, so he'd gone for what seventeen or five overs before uh, before that uh, punishing boundary from Duplessis. Maybe everyone gets the same idea, whether you're a Test bowler. Yeah, you know, seven you know seventeen or five overs. You come back for your second spell and you go, I've got this. Yeah. And then... Oh, wait, no, I oh, don't. Wait. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, talk to Jason Holder about that as uh, Lakmal in uh, right arm over the wicket to the right-handed Faf du Passy, who tries to repeat the trick, but this one doesn't get up on him quite as much, and it's just uh, uh, shoveled out to uh, deep square. There is no run. That man who I thought was Lakmal out there uh, is not Saranga Lakmal. Uh, number 55 out there on the... Uh, on the deep square leg boundary. I was confused by the number because I think I've seen Luckmore wearing 55 uh, through his career. So that's lovely. Uh, oh, he's got it. Lovely signs up at the uh, That's the top of the OCS. And uh, uh, yeah, there was a decent LBW shout from the, the little kid, but it was a no ball. Well, I, I didn't think his arm was straight as well. Uh, did we find out what OCS meant? Uh, I think it's outsource client services or outsource client solutions. This one uh, beats Hashim Amla's uh, rather flat-footed prod outside off stump. Uh, he does occasionally get drawn into that. There's the rather indeterminate shot outside our stump, and this one uh, whistles past the edge through to De Quella. There is no run. If the C does stand for client, then all I can imagine is Rog Pineapple turning around and just going... <laughs> yeah, I, 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 <laughs> Every time I, I, someone says client. I, I wonder if that's why Rog asked us to, to guess it. Mm -hmm. Possible. Possible. Uh, Luckmore short, pulled by uh, Hashim Amla, but... Uh, didn't really time that properly, and it's just uh, fielded easily by the man out there at Deep Square. It's uh, Kusel it Mendes or Kusel Pereira? There's two Kusels in. No, it's Kusel Pereira because we saw Kusel Mendes earlier, who has K Mendes on the back of his shirt. So that is the lonely man out there on the uh, on the boundary, just a single to Hashim Amla. How uh, do we think Mendes is going to do? I like. Uh, there's, there's a lot of good talk about Mendes. Oh, uh, his 100 and, 178 against Australia in that uh, on that uh, hilarious Australian tour of. Uh, Oh, Sri Lanka was a magnificent innings. Um, no one else really scored any runs. He's a very fine batsman. Uh, uh, there's some decent talent in the in the Sri Lankan uh, uh, lineup. There's this one short again from uh, like on the straight and length throughout this over, and just uh, helped into the leg side by uh, Faf Duplessis. He picks up two. So they've got uh, Chandamal's a class act. Taranga's got a lot of experience of uh, one day cricket and has had some big. Some big scores, part of some couple of famous uh, opening partnerships, particularly against England. They got Kusal Mendes, they got Kusal Pereira, and uh, that is the uh, 100 partnership up. The, f the 50 partnership came up off uh, 51 balls, I believe. But this one, the 100s come off 90. So the slow acceleration is uh, uh, beginning to happen in ominous manner for um, uh, for South Africa. Short again from Lucknow. Uh, it's just, it's just, just, sat it's just sitting up here and. Uh, I uh, can only assume this is a tactic. It's pretty much every ball's been banged in, but he's not bowling at any great pace, and there isn't any great life in the pitch. It's just an easy single. So that's pretty much five out of six banged in short, and that is four, seven, nine uh, off uh, his return over, 145 for one after 27. Uh, Ravi Nair says, the stumps behind you play C look as though they're leaning in. Are the zing bales shorter? What are the rules? 
having having checked myself, I think they are perfectly normal. There's no problem. I think it's just the foreshortening effect of the camera from yep. certain angles. And Peter Ward says, Lions play the Auckland Blues Super 12 team in midweek with Sonny Bill Williams due to play. Could well be a long tour. Be interesting about whether Williams plays well enough to get in the squad. Yeah. Um, I, to be honest, I don't watch a huge amount of rugby. I think uh, my other half sets limit at cricket and Formula One and the occasional wow. bit of tennis. Uh, Gunnar Ratner continuing. Uh, he's, uh, of course, bowling fairly full. This one... Uh, Actually, angling across uh, Duplessis, he probably would have been would have missed off stump, but uh, with that angle, it's an easy clip to mid wicket uh, for Faf Duplessis to bring up his fifty uh, of fifty-two balls. Uh, very solid, very uh, calm innings after that uh, initial start, uh, slow start, and that uh, hideous drop by uh, Malinga. And uh, he's just uh, anchoring the innings and has uh, put his side into a very strong position. So, one one wicket down, half the innings left to go. Two batsmen going at a runner ball, get one of them out. The ominous presence of ABD just looms. I know, right? There's such a fear factor that surrounds that man. This was clipped slightly really aerially by uh, Hashim Allen, not that far away from the man at square head leg. Head. Uh, just got, gonna wrap, I got that one to stop on him a little bit, I think, but uh, it, there is, uh, it, it was far enough away from the man that there was no t- uh, chance of even a dive, and it's an easy single to Amla. How much of uh, De Villiers, though, on current form is fear of what he could do a year and a half ago and how much is and you know and it as we wait for another ball yep that one's full on leg stump this time and again clipped into the legs by uh, by uh, Faf Duplessis yeah. uh, picks up a single I mean he he showed glimpses in the England series of what he's capable of still it's, uh, it's, he's never going to be that far away yeah mm. it's it's one of those things where an average innings yeah. might end up being half century at a runner ball yeah that's exactly what happened in the England series in fact before he uh, unfortunately get picking out fielders uh, nice bit of work from the man at short mid wicket diving to his right to uh, it's not going to Ratner because he's bowling so they've obviously got at least one other person who can field uh, but uh, could not prevent the single because Amla placed that one very nicely to his uh, right hand it's a very good uh, that's throw a very good on throw. the dive yeah. uh, uh, who is that man? I, um, we're going to have to familiarise ourselves with the uh, so Sri Lankan fielders without trying see, to, without reading the their names. Uh, Slow ball, uh, possibly a slight leg cutter or an attempted leg cutter from Gunnar Ratner. Uh, it seems to be bowled sort of split fingery, but again clipped this time straighter up to long on. Uh, Gunnar Ratner being uh, steadily milked here, uh, but then they wouldn't necessarily be that unhappy about that. But he's not been taking any huge punishment. He's going at uh, let's say he's going around seven and over. Um, the uh, oh. South Africa's uh, acceleration is really on 83 balls for the first 50 uh, 47 for the second and 37 for the third and really as Al was saying they've done it with minimum fuss uh, clipped out to Pradeep another single into the leg side uh, that is the end of the 28th over I'm uh, wondering whether it is the familiarity of playing five times in February there isn't there isn't anything that we don't know we know how you're going to play we know more or less about how you're going to bowl how your fields are field set so from that perspective slow start no problem yeah. 50 overs well to... I think they did well to ride out that early period because uh, Lankmal and Pradeep um, in particular bowled pretty well at the start of a and actually Malinga bowled well in his first in his first bowl but they they rode it out they didn't do they it could you do sometimes see in that situation a, a, a load of wickets go down in a heap mm-hmm. as it has happened with England in the uh, and, in the third ODI and New Zealand uh, and yeah. New Zealand a bit yesterday that was slightly different that was towards the end of a the innings thrash. Uh, yeah. but it could have been very easy for South Africa to be three down for not very many but um, um, but they, they they rode out they rode it out they rode their luck obviously with that with that drop catch that we. Uh, We'll try not to harp on about, but we'll uh, yeah. almost certainly fail. Yeah. Uh, and they've, uh, as, um, as you're absolutely right, they've earned the right to uh, to play with comfort. Uh, so Messi Jess says, um, dangerous phrases to be used on commentary. Uh, number two, my other half sets the limits. Uh, that's, that's a fair point. I mean, the thing is that no, no, mind, when we got no, to no, no, no. <laughs> when we got together, I was a Doctor and Star Wars nerd who could recite the entire of the original trilogy. She was not signing up for cricket nerd as well. As long as she embraces your nerd. Nerd is a state of mind. Yeah. It's not It's not about what you're nerdy about. It's about how nerdy you are about it. As this one uh, from Lung- Luckwell is fuller, but outside off stump, and it's an easy just uh, guide down to third man by Armler. 
There is no run. We're all a nerd. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just about how you embrace it. Absolutely. It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm paying her back. We're, we're joining a Dungeons & Dragons group, so... Uh, nice. Yeah. I played D&D for the first time last year. Have you, uh, so have you built the dungeon? <laughs> if only. Have you built the dragon? <laughs> the, the dragon's proving a little bit trickier. <laughs> uh, in comes uh, Suranga Lakma, right arm over the wicket to the right head, and Hashimamla bowls and uh, tries to crash this one through the leg side. Has he got this one uh, wide enough for the man at mid-wicket? No, he hasn't. It's uh, uh, Kusal Pereira out there doing uh, doing the work, going uh, making up some, uh, some quite a bit of ground to his left and it, flings the ball back in. Easy two to Amla. In 10 or 15 overs time, that's a four. That's what's going to happen. Through, through him just being just, knackered. Through, yeah, through just fatigue and running. And it's just tw 30 yards, 30 yards. Just there probably be about maybe 50 or so. But it's that feeling of that the same shot will pay greater dividends because yeah. of the way they've played. And a lot more is going to go through cow corners towards the end of the innings. Given who they've got. The likes of De Villiers, the likes of Miller. Morris. I mean, Morris, it's going to go over the state, over the, the stadium. I might catch it. it here. I think it's true. <laughs> he is ridiculous. Yeah, it stays hit for a long time. I remember a shot that Chris Gale hit at the Oval in the, in the World 220 in England off Brett Lee, which cleared the, uh, cleared, the cle roof. cleared the street and hit the Archbishop Tennyson School on the bounce. Uh, down the track comes uh, Faf Duplessis trying to absolutely flat that mow this uh, back over uh, Luckmull's head. He missed it entirely. Uh, in fact, it was a really ugly shot and uh, probably not one that uh, was entirely necessary in the circumstances. It was a long hop that could have gone anywhere. Yeah, a bit out of character. A bit out of, you know, out of sorts for the, 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 his innings to date. Yeah. But he looked yeah. like he was expecting to bounce more than actually did because Lamar seemed to bowl it in, you know, bang it in quite short, but it just didn't get up. It was a slow ball bounce, wasn't yeah. it? It was the slower off cutter, which I don't think Duplessis read. I think it's been a recurring thing. That was, it was the, quite similar the, to the, about yeah. the bounce. It was quite similar to the shot he got out to, wasn't it? The sort of the, the pull from nowhere. Uh, this time it's again uh, Paul, but I think he's got this fine of the man that, uh, no, no, excellent work by. Uh, uh, by Kusal out there uh, again uh, well the, the throw was good the keeping wasn't and Dick Weller completely sort of forgot <laughs> to catch the ball as it, as it was uh, flung back in a perfectly what? fine throw why have I got these other mitts on <laughs> oh wait hang on a second yeah. it's to catch the ball in major division oven gloves easy two to duplicy expert view Sean Pollock there are two phrases that should not uh, go together I don't know Sean as, as the ICC's um, sort of collection of ex-pros go I quite, Sean Pollock's alright Sean Pollock could be given an exam. I have one question. What is your name? And I guarantee you we'd score no more than 75%. Harsh. It's very harsh. Very fine cricketer in his day. Oh, not disputing that. Very, uh, really but, underrated as an all-rounder. But as I found, you know, uh, someone in a coaching capacity turned around to me and went, you know, was one of the players that they were coaching. Uh, outside off stump and uh, Duplessis uh, camping on the back foot and uh, just... Uh, crashing this one out wristily into the offside walks a single yeah so this coach about one of the players on his team turned around and went Albert Einstein on the court Mr Bean <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the right million dollar arm 50, 50 cent, cent head, head. Yeah. yeah it's from Bull Durham it applies it applies it's not for everybody although if you're an ex-England captain then please proceed to Sky do not pass <laughs> yeah or in, uh, or in this case an ex-South Africa captain well, indeed and uh, a man who uh, cannot read a Duckworth Lewis sheet, famously. Uh, the offside field uh, closes in and uh, Amla's beaten. That's a decent delivery outside off stump. But just uh, after the sunny diet of slower balls, Amla was slightly surprised by that. And again, flat-footedly poked at it outside off stump. Six runs off the over in, that, in those circumstances is okay for Luckman. He's gone for 32 off his seven. 29 overs gone. South Africa 157 for one and in desperate need of a wicket. Okay. Uh, Men with Ben says, uh, re nerdism who would claim the title of alpha nerd? I well, think, well, we'd have to have uh, a, there's a, lot, there's a spreadsheet. Uh, there's that, a isn't lot there? of competition in this room. There's a yeah. spreadsheet for in alpha nerd. House. I mean, I'll, I'll give you a PowerPoint presentation about alpha nerd if that's okay. Okay, no, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and, uh, I'll give you a Google Doc. <laughs> Messenger says, I'm do joining a Dungeons and Dragons group next week. Have we tra travel back in time? Remember to take your Rubik's Cube. No, you don't need a Rubik's Cube, just need a 12 sided dice. Yeah. Um, and your imagination. Absolutely. And a good DM. We, we, Our DM was excellent. We do it over Skype these days. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Google Hangouts. Absolutely. Well, there you go. Lesson learned. 
I, 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 I enjoyed it. it. I, I enjoyed it. I quite like to do it again. And yeah. we've got another sketch from uh, Dr. Dan Diaper, literally just come through of um, Saranga Lakmal being economic. So that is uh, going to be retweeted for you all to check out on our feed. Sikuko Prasanna, the leg spinner, has been very ineffective uh, so far today, just a little bit too short in length. And so Gunnar Ratna is probably having to bowl more overs than Sri Lanka might have uh, liked him to. Uh, he starts a sixth over of being milked for a single into the leg side. And that is exactly what happens. Uh, would have been a wide if Duplessis had left it, but is, no. Is there a sixth option? A uh, couple of there I've seen bowl, uh, not for a while. Uh, obviously, Angelo Matthews would have been a, a bowling oh. option, uh, but he's obviously unfit. I'm trying to think who else. Most of the rest of the South African side are wicket keepers. Yeah, They've yeah, got just... five wicket keepers in the squad, which is quite impressive in a 15 man squad. Uh, again on the pads and again clipped through the leg side by Hashim Amla. Has he found the gap out there? No, he uh, no, he has not. The man comes around from uh, mid-wicket to, to it beat the man up on the uh, sort of uh, deep square and uh, is uh, an easy two for Hashim Amla. Moves to 74. Uh, Sri Lanka really have nowhere to go here. They tried to bring Malinga back and he wasn't looking particularly threatening. They have no Sandakan, so they don't have that mystery spin option and Prasanna has not been uh, very effective uh, they could get a little bit stuck there is that leading edge into the leg into the offside off the uh, clip to mid wicket that we've been talking about for about 20 overs uh, but of course it missed the man at short cover and I'm the walk to single you see every every blind squirrel finds an ankle <laughs> <laughs> so 161 so the is it the convention double after 32 Ish. Yeah. Um, People take. When I started my. Uh, hold on. Uh, Gunnar Ratner in again bowling uh, as far from uh, from as far wide of the stumps as he possibly can from that angle and uh, is uh, guided down into the offside controversially this time by Hashim Amla. Uh, there is a man up at short third man, but he had no chance of cutting that off. You were saying, sorry, Alex. So, yeah, I think when we started our, our spell uh, after 10 overs, um, there was the prescri uh, predictor was uh, suggesting 317. So that's looking pretty good, I yeah, think. I should say so. Uh, we are having a change in a couple of overs. I've been uh, talking for some time now, and that's a good piece of fielding by uh, uh, the man at uh, square leg, diving and uh, collapsing on top of it, preventing the single. First time in a while that Gunnar Ratner has uh, not uh, conceded a, uh, a run off a delivery. I think he's gone for 40 it, off his 40 off his six. nearly six overs. yeah and he hasn't done a lot wrong but there isn't really there's no real threat there uh, it's, it's as like, uh, Amla crabs across his stumps clips this one fine to the man up on the 45 walks a single after 30 South Africa 163 for one Amla 67 uh, 76 rather Duplessis 59 I will uh, love you and leave you in the uh, capable hands of uh, Gary Naylor and the bear So the game is beginning to slide away from the Lankans here. Um, it's a cliche to say it, but they do desperately need a wicket. But on the other hand, you don't really want to welcome A.B. de Villiers to the crease, do you? Um, well, I think, Alec, you need to come back. Alec's doing ball by ball and he's yeah. just run off. <laughs> but we can cover for him while he's not here. There you go. We, we, we can. Now, um, I don't know where you are up onto the tweets. Um, but I've got Kappa de Guerra, bowled two overs, none for 33 in a warm-up match against New Zealand. I think he's very much a last resort. Do we have that? Oh, that's how I do ball by ball then. Okie dokie. You can. Confusion once again. So um, 30 overs gone. Um, this is the point at which uh, the stats suggest you should double the score. But with only one wicket down, um, you get the idea that the South Africans have constructed this platform for a reason and that they're going to press on a little harder. Well, they've got a couple of biffers and heavy hitters to come, haven't they? So, um, I would say that, annoyingly, I had over the fall of the work first wicket at 44 and a half and then fucking the <laughs> cock edged one through to the keeper. But I did have Amler over 52 and a half and I got him because he's still there. I've got uh, South Africa over 3 through 2 and a half, which is now looking likely. Uh, as long as they do keep those wickets in hand and the biff has come in. I imagine that this is the problem. I, I was listening whilst I had to go and open the gate at the back of my house. <laughs> and Malinga sounded in his second spell like he wasn't as effective as in his first. 
No, he bowled, he bowled with a lot of nous in the first spell. He's not as uh, threatening as he used to be. He's uh, certainly carrying a bit of timber, as they say. Um, but he's still got all those years of white ball cricket, both in international and in APL. Uh, I imagine his nous will come back into it at the end, at the death overs. Well, that's always been his, uh, his great strength, isn't it? hasn't yeah. it? You know, we all remember the four in four. God, that must be the end of ten years ago now when he got four in four. Was it? I'm sure someone will tweet us and tell us it was a couple of years ago. Uh, anything between about 2014 and about 1987 is all sort of all uh, one to me. It's a blur. All, yeah, it's all, uh, it's all the same time. They must be having a drinks break or something. In I'm which sure case, they are. Uh, I sh- yes, you give us some tweets. Yeah, I don't know where we got up to um, because uh, we've had a three-man change and we were out uh, talking to other people. So um, Jack Pryor says, all this nerd talk is delighting me immensely. More, please. More nerd talk. Thank well, you. we've had a three-man change. Uh, <laughs> we are the nerds. And uh, do you remember that film, Revenge of the Nerds? I yes. Think so. Oh, what a great film that was. Um, Kyle Deck says, I'm in Florida and I've just found your coverage very pleasing. Um, is that what he said? He just went off the. Uh, well, I hope it's our coverage that's very pleasing much enjoying as it. well very as much being in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'd prefer to be in Florida. Martin Runeckles joins us and says, Captain Gadera bowled two overs, number 33 in the warm up match against New Zealand. I think he's very much a last resort. So there you go. Florida should we can be quite hot at this time of year. It can be a little uncomfortable, I think. Should we talk about? Should we talk about uh, how people can give us some money? Well, I think Ooh, we should. Why uh, not? Well, uh, we won't do the tune because I don't think we've got time now. But if you go to patreon.com, that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com forward slash gorilla cricket one r two l's, um, you'll be able to show your gratitude for our wonderful show by giving us a little bit of money every month. And that's what keeps us going, because we need lots of new equipment. Our computers are falling apart. Um, our commentators are falling apart, so they need lots of vitamins. Chairs. Uh, chairs are falling apart. Uh, everything is falling Everything's apart. Everything's falling <laughs> apart. <laughs> so we need more money, uh, desperately. And the only way w- that we'll be able to keep this going is if... Um, well, we've got various other ways. We've got a merchandise store. You could go and buy a T-shirt. That would be nice. Join the archive. Join the archive. Play 20, the GPL. £20. Uh, play the GPL, which, well, you can't today because we've already passed the uh, deadline for that. Um, but otherwise, if you want to show your gratitude on a sort of regular basis, you can go to patreon.com. And um, if you wanted to give us £5 a month, we'd be very grateful for that. And if, um, if quite a few of you did that, it would make such a big difference to us because we're always struggling to find the money to replace things and to... Uh, keep this uh, organisation going. It's no easy task. So we would be very grateful if you could spare anything um, on our Patreon crowdfunding page. And we know that many of you listening already do so. I'm very grateful to you. Absolutely. Uh, Murray has broken back, apparently. Uh, It's now five all in the first set. Uh, He's playing Del Potro, isn't he? He is. Rerun of the uh, gold medal match in the Mm -hmm. uh, Olympics. And the Davis Cup match. Yeah. Uh, I think I've heard this morning their last two games have lasted over nine hours. Yeah. (laughs) I think they're uh, particularly well suited to each other's styles. This is why neither of them can win it, because they're too exhausted by the time they get to the final. I think they are. By the way, Hendo, your lead has fallen out there, so your screen will go blank very soon if you're not uh, careful. Well, these batsmen have got up to a round of runner ball. And we're back in live play. And Prasanna is bowling. He's gone none for 42 off six. Uh, 6.1 now. And uh, Amla is facing up. He's 76 off 79. Sri Lanka 163 for one in 30 overs, which would imply a score of about 330. Uh, I think that's probably low if they keep wickets in hand. That's uh, played out to the man at deep mid wicket. And there will be a single. Well, you must remember that A.B. de Villiers is the next man in. He's yeah. a man capable of scoring 131 balls. Indeed. Indeed. David Miller's capable of scoring 100. Chris not many Morris. fewer. Yeah, there's yeah. plenty. Chris Morris. Chris Morris. Uh, presumably, Edwin. Uh, Bahadian is not playing. No, he's not. No. <laughs> he no. was fucking hopeless the other day. He didn't look at yeah. all in the right class. Uh, the Plessy's 59 off 60. I like this tweet. Um, I'll do it after this ball. It's, it, it's a cracker. Okie dokie. Uh, the Plessy faces up. Uh, Pisana's at the end of his uh, run-up. He's got a two, three-step run-up, rolls his arm, and uh, gets hit through the offside. Uh, on the bounce, out towards that deep to cover, and that is a shot and a half by De Plessy. He's pierced. There's a man at wide, long off. There is a man quite square at deep cover, but he pierces exactly between the two's extra cover boundary. Four more runs. It was great placement, but I will say that that man running around from square... Uh, should have shown a bit more athleticism. He could have put in the dive there. He, he could have put in the bother, dive. Did he? Couldn't be no, bothered. he didn't. Looks like Angelo Matthews, but it can't be him. Uh, worked into the leg side. 
And there is a man on the boundary. They're going to come in for two. It's one of those shots where he didn't time it very well. And the man's all the way out. And there isn't a standard mid-wicket, which is really dumb. And um, they managed to scoop back for two. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've seen, compared to when the sun was uh, not yet traversed the midday mark of the uh, day, that uh, batting is now much easier with the sun having uh, baked the pitch a little. Absolutely. Um, just tipped around the corner by De Plessy. Gets himself a single. You've got to remember that Sri Lanka bowled first, probably because it was going to be sticky at the beginning of the day. Um, there was a lot of rain in South London yesterday. It came down. It was biblical, man. And um, I imagine some of that got into the groundwater and the pitch would have been covered overnight. And so it's probably a bit of a sticky dog to start with. I mean, I'm surprised they're starting these matches at 10.30. There's no There's problem no with the to. light. There's no need I know. I, I was kind of weird about that too. It means getting here just that little bit earlier, which is also annoying. As that's cut out to point and there's no run. Is that something to do? I, I'm, I'm sure it has to have something to do with uh, television around the world. Well, maybe. <laughs> But surely an extra half hour doesn't really make you that much thought, difference. In a seven-hour game, eight-hour game, it doesn't really make that much difference whether you start half an hour later or earlier. But the half an hour does make a big difference to us. Um, well, it makes a big difference to the pitch as well. I mean, a pitch, a pitch, even starting at 11 rather than 10.30, is that the, the pitch is, is easier earlier. Um, but there's an argument for starting at 11.30. Well, I mean, especially in these days of floodlights. Um, again, although there are sort of uh, regulations that... Um, and they had our floodlights on yesterday, didn't they? Yeah, they did in Nagypur. You can play at quarter past nine. Yeah, yeah but you... Yeah, well, if it's... Yes, it can be light but enough this time they'll, of the day. They'll be playing at... I mean, it's going to be the longest day of the year nine. shortly after this tournament finishes. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be dark at about... Yeah. Well, sunset's going to be about 10 o'clock by the end of the tournament, maybe even later than that. True. Uh, we've had a tweet from Mark Cole, who says, I'm driving home from the theatre with my teenage daughter here in Melbourne, Australia. She hated cricket until now oh, oh, you that's see wonderful we can help everybody whipped into the leg side by the Plessy with a lot of bottom hand there is a man out at uh, well traditionally you call it cow and um, it goes along the ground to him and he gets a single yeah, Graham Smith who was uh, doing some work for media would have enjoyed that shot albeit uh, Faf is right handed and Smith is left handed uh, Graham Smith's made a lot of runs at the Oval over the years yeah with, annoyingly uh, so with that bottom hand coming through closing the face and was it the Oval the where the, the no ball rule for Finn came in was Ooh, that the Oval I was I away when that happened um, that was really annoying wasn't it I do I'm, I am uh, gratified that we are now finally breaking the teenage girl market yes I think that's, that's the one we've been struggling with <laughs> for a while <laughs> careful Hendo careful I don't mean it that no, way. of course you don't uh, that's whipped out there is a man at mid wicket my word and uh, he stops the ball from going anywhere for any runs great man the message so, says, no run. the chairs are falling apart maybe fewer pastries would help I'd better get mine reinforced for your ashes visit oh yeah you might need oh I don't know. What about bean bags? That'd probably help. That'd bean be good. Bags. Bean bags would be great. We'd all sit here with yoga mats and exactly. bean bags. Yeah. Like Cross-legged. We were, yeah, we feel like we're hippies, wouldn't we? Yeah. Um, That'd be quite entertaining. Um, we all dress up in sort of 70s <laughs> Olivia Newton-John outfits. Um, uh, that's uh, whipped off the legs by Amla. Uh, over the top. It didn't seem like it was a very particularly clean hit. It seemed mm. to bobble along to the boundary, but there isn't anyone dead square on the leg side. There's a long leg and a deep mid-wicket. Bisects perfectly both of those two. Gets four more runs for Amla. One, two, three, four. And from a strike rate, even when he was on 35, nearly 40 balls, he was running along a nearly a 50% strike rate. He's virtually up to 100 now. And I was going to try and put some money on him getting 100, but he was only on 60, and then he had six to four odds on for that. Mm. Well, of course, I saw um, him make 300 at this venue. Yeah, I know. Got dropped then as well, so didn't did he? So Gur- did Ratney, uh, <laughs> flicks that round to long leg for a single. Every time that Amler gets massive runs against us, he gets dropped at least two or three times to get there. I mean, in that innings, he got dropped at leg slip, didn't he? On about 45. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the innings he got in South Africa after Stokes got his um, two, uh, 250, 258 yeah. or whatever yeah. it was, uh, he got dropped, what, three times before he was at a ton? Yeah. And we, in fact, dropped 11 catches that innings um, and then got ourselves in trouble at the end. Uh, that's a uh, leading edge by De Plessis. Uh, he's trying to tip it into the leg side, but instead it goes out to cover, and they get a through for a single. They're just drifting a bit here, the Lankans, in the yeah. field. They're just waiting for something to happen, and it's fatal in all forms of cricket to wait for something to happen, because against class men, then um, things will happen, but they'll happen to you and not because of you. Mm. they got some hitters, though. Um, they've got a fa- you know, uh, if the pitch is easier to bat on, uh, Amler works that into the leg side. He really does. Out to square leg and there's a single. Gunnar Ratney, I mean. He's just a roller. He's a roll. He's a he's village style, yeah, isn't he? It this, is, is this is definitely the tour in the West Country. This I could is. be bowling. 
Uh, you could. Uh, better, probably. Yeah. Um, Jane with a Y says, I'm in Florida, and I'm still furious about yesterday. Yeah, well, that's because you're a New Zealand fan. Yeah, they were looking good on for that mm. as well. But um, that's the, always the luck of the Aussies. I was it? surprised at the side that Australia put out, I must say. It didn't on, look the strongest to me. On Rike at, um, I, I batting know, at four. four. He's, I got a, you know, an average of six in sort of eight years of playing one-day international. I just don't get it. they got much better players than that. I mean, I know the, the other people were talking, they were tweeting in and saying Faulkner completely lost four. He's, um, you know, he's lost his central contract. But you're wondering why, to a certain extent, why Henriques has a central contract in the first place. What yeah. about Chris Lynn? Is he not getting the gig? Well, I suppose he, he was on the bench, wasn't he, yesterday? Was yeah, he? I mean, they, he's a great, you know, he's been a great batsman in the IPL and apparently in the Big Bash as well. But um, the argument was that, you know, they need someone who can bowl a few overs as well. And so in that yeah, case, so. Stoinis would be the man who would come in. Well, the Australians always point and giggle at us for our bits and pieces, man. So. Well, exactly. I mean, they're so bits and pieces. Uh, that skids on from Pasana. Um, but Amla goes on the back foot, forces it out to the man at deep cover, and gets himself a single. Chris uh, Quire says, uh, counted at least seven waiters on the ground for the drinks break. No wonder it takes so long. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? That's yeah. the Jared Kushner position, is it? Deep cover. <laughs> Deep back channel. <laughs> uh, and of course, uh, yeah, the Trumponian fuckwit has pulled out of the Paris Accord, doesn't he? Uh, down the track comes the Plessis. He doesn't get hold of it at all, but works it up to mid on. They get through for a quick single. No problems at all. Uh, Sally R56 says, playing Google Doodle cricket while listening to Gorilla Cricket during the boring middle overs. Well, yeah, that's um, you, you can multitask on that if you like. You can indeed. So, um, I read that... Uh, oh. It after this ball, uh, tossed up wide of the off stump. Um, Amra sort of plays outside it, really gets a inside edge that goes back to the bowler, and there's no run. Of course, the real reason Trump has pulled out of the Paris Accords is that he's stupid. Yeah, well, of course, he's, the, he's the a ostensible reason. Cafefe is all I will say. Yeah. Uh, that's worked out to mid weekend, there's no run. It's, it's partly to protect the United States coal industry. Um, apparently, there are more yoga instructors in the United States than there are people working in the uh, coal, coal mine. industry. Uh, that's too short and wide, and Amna um, quickly is onto the back foot, cuts it out to the man at deep cover. They think about two, the place standing there in a very statuesque fashion. And there's a palm up to Amla to say no for the second run, and they only get one. There's an excellent video of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's very much off his long run, explaining exactly why it's an. An, an error in terms not just of the morality and environmentally, but an error economically to do what he's done. Uh, Schwarzenegger, uh, an ex-governor of California, of course. Beautiful drive by the Plessy out to long off. They'll only get one for it, though. Um, yeah, I don't know, there's three times as many workers in the eco sector and uh, eco power in Pittsburgh, as he was saying, he wanted to save Pittsburgh the miners as well. He's just a fucking idiot, I'm sorry my language but Trump is a bumbling fool and yes long term listeners you will have just uh, heard the bear apologise for his language um, how many years now eight years bear? eight years that's Look, the first time I've ever heard I read somewhere that swearing is a sign of intelligence yeah this is genius. Yeah, I must yeah. be the most intelligent man on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you, you have to look at where that's come from. You probably wrote that article yourself. No, Viz. I didn't. <laughs> Viz. In, in a, in no, it wasn't. It was a, a survey it was, it was conducted inter- by the bear of Sydenham. It was an intellectual um, study somewhere. Intellectual study by It was. Uh, can someone bring me a beer? I've had one now and my, my appetite is wetted. And me, please. Um, I'd like a bottle as opposed to a can. Either uh, will do me. Bottle for me. Anything that has lager in it. Uh, past, good. past president of Surrey County Cricket Club there in the president's box. Whichever. That's uh, Trevor McDonald. Bottle for me. Who's uh, on his uh, glass of uh, Chablis by the looks of it. Bottle, yeah. Uh, he was there yesterday. He's obviously enjoying... Uh, was it yesterday? Or was it... Thursday. He'll be in the Oval. Of course, Thursday. we had a Laconic Jim today who'll be umpiring somewhere. Laconic yes. Jim? Laconic Jim? Jim, Jim was, was our Kiwi. He came in with eight cans of Fosters yeah. and he had four by about did midday. A, did he have a crooked finger? No, no we didn't did have a crooked about finger. That. We asked him about Billy Bowden and um, he was quite entertaining. He was, he was very, very Laconic and very dry. He was very good. Hopefully he will return. Hopefully yeah. he will return. <laughs> he said he's not doing any work at the moment, so... Uh, He's got no excuse not to come back. Thank you very much. He was doing Merchant Cheers. Taylors versus Eaton or somebody, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merchant Taylors versus Eaton. Yes. It's, hard. it's a hard life, isn't it? Uh, Messi Jess says, over here, a 10.30 start is very welcome. Annoyed that Australia Bangladesh is day night. Um, Chris Wallace says, do you lads do a floppy hat? My GC cap is doing nothing for my sun-baked neck. Ah. Ah, can we get a floppy hat done? We should uh, be I want to have a look. I can probably add a floppy hat. Um, that is... 
guided by the Plessy down towards the man. They run the first one hard. Should we jingle him? Maybe not all the jingle, but it's always a good one. Oh, it's a brilliant one. Second ball of the over, it's guided again by Amler down towards third man for a single. If I remember rightly, that was one of the first two or three jingles that we got sent from Jeff. Was it? That was, uh, yeah, he, he came to the, to the scene, didn't he, in uh, mm. the Sri Lanka series, sent us the Harath Heroes one that was about four minutes long, was the first one we got from him. <laughs> Um, we've got a good one from Richard Peel. Have you seen that one today for the changing of um, when we get out of the chairs and move it? We'll Is he the one who sent us a load of stuff on the... What's her name? SoundCloud. Yes, I think so. Yes. I don't know if we can get it from SoundCloud, but uh, he sent us the actual file. Driven square. Beautiful shot by the Plessy. It was aerial. It went over the man at point. I don't know if it flapped through his hand, so I think it went over him or wide of him. And it's gone down to the point boundary. Four more runs for the Plessy. Yeah, it's all just going at the moment. Now yeah. The South Africans. <laughs> I mean, it was aerial and yeah, it wasn't well in, over the top in of enormous point. control. But, I mean, it's not quite kind of free hit territory. But with, uh, with A.B. de Villiers to come and with uh, David Miller, who's in scintillating form as well, um, if either of these two get out, it's hardly a disaster. So Chris Morris is a biffer too. They could, have a, they could have a lot of fun here in the next five overs or so. Pradeep in, bowls, pulled this time. Out! He's gone! De Plessis been caught. It's a good catch. He didn't quite get hold of it. He pulled it. It was a bit sluggish off the bat. It was a good leap on a man. Chandamal. Chandamal, I think. It was a Chandamal. And you know where he was? He was at mid-wicket. <laughs> in at the wicket. Yeah, the Plessy is cool. You kind of got the feeling that the South Africans were going to have a go at everything and uh, didn't last five overs. It only lasted one ball after I suggested it might last five overs. But he, didn't get, he didn't get a hold of that, did he, really? No, quite half of the bat, wasn't it? He's yeah. done the right thing. He's tried to hit the short ball over mid-wicket. Didn't get a hold of it, as you say. And uh, the man did a job. Decent catch from Chandamal. So he was concentrating. And that might just give the Lankans the lift that they're looking for. Um, but it's never pleasant when this happens. Uh, we've just uh, seen uh, Captain Mike Yates directing HD first to Gorilla Cricket, which is non-geo blocked. You can hear us around the world, and he says thank you very much. Indeed. So hopefully we've got him as a new listener. Uh, Ravi Nair says beef going into the oven. Guess how long it will stay in for? I don't know. Probably about three days. Knowing you, Ravi, um, <coughs> are you slow cooking or are you uh, searing and then uh, roasting? Lovely. What sort of beef is it? I don't know, but it looks creamy. It looks mm. like it's got a creamy sauce and mushrooms and things like that. Oh, okay. Um, I may be wrong. Messi Jez says bean bags are fantastic until it actually comes until it comes to actually trying to stand up. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, bean bags are great when you first get them. As soon as the beans squash, once then, the bean is squashed, yeah, then you once the beans out of the bag, exactly, then you're screwed. Well, the new man is that AB De Villiers. AB De Villiers. And uh, let's see what he can do. Uh, I imagine Amler's now going to try and bat through pretty much the entire innings and get about 160. He's the world ranked number one in ODI cricket as AB De Villiers. I'm not surprised. He's got uh, 2400s, 53 50s. Good God, man. And Pradeep is up to his first ball, and he smashes it through the offside. But good timing out towards Deepak to cover. They'll get one. Uh, he's a rabbit between the um, sticks, but Amler's not so much. Jonah asks, Kirk, uh, from what we've seen, can we predict an eventual winner of the tournament? I wouldn't have said at this stage. I mean, no. only on, on what we sort of have hunches about before the tournament begins. Um, well, I, still, I still think Australia have got a great chance. I know they didn't play particularly well yesterday, and they maybe their, their batting lineup isn't as long as we feared. But I think you know they've got those three at the top who could really come off. Uh, left alone, he ducks underneath the Amla through to the keeper. There's no one. Uh, for what we've seen, um, 
I was interested by Grubby Joe's. Uh, if you like betting, go to our tips page, and um, you can click on any of the banners there. And if you want more than one account, there's like four offers on that page, or there should be maybe there's two, and there's two going up later. Um, but you can get yourself a lot of free money from bookies. Grubby, interestingly, went for New Zealand to get to the semis, and he could lay it off because he got nine to one. Well, if New Zealand gets to the semis, then one of England and Australia has to miss out. Well, it could be Australia. Mm. I mean... Uh, could be England. They, mm, New Zealand do have a good record of getting to semi final. They do. They do, as do South Africa. Yeah. Um, I think England have got a lot going for them. Yeah. Well, home advantage, obviously, but um, Ben Stokes they is a not, compelling I mean, the thing is, England, ball. if you look at the sides as pure cricketers, England have the best all-round side. They have genuine... Because they have so many genuine all-rounders... They I mean, bat deep and bowl deep. I mean, you've got... You've got a lot of even bowlers. Even with Wokes that. out, you've got six genuine bowlers and ten genuine batsmen. Or nine genuine batsmen. Spin options are limited. That's the... Well, I mean, oh. it'll do all right. I mean, it's not gonna, spin's not going to play a big part here like it does in other places. Uh, that's driven out too long off by the Villiers. Gets himself off the mark. Uh, it didn't look that way when uh, I was at Lords on Monday and England were 20 for six after 25 yeah, minutes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Adil Rashid was in within half an hour of the start of a match. A man who had batted 10 in March. I know. Well, we did have a week inside. It was, uh, we, it was a dead rubber. Uh, it's played in the leg side and there's no run and it was uh, slap happy cricket. Yeah, and I think that England do no have run. A, a high risk approach to the game. They yeah. will occasionally sort of clatter down the stairs and end up in a big heap at the bottom. And whether you'd rather do it the day before the tournament starts yeah. than you would in the tournament. And uh, I always believe that there's a failure just around the corner. There's, there's three fifties posted more often than ever they were. Uh, oh, uh, de Villiers is already shuffling feet as he does that on his third ball, second ball. Uh, gets a thick outside half of the bat and it goes off towards third man. He'll get back for two. Give us a tweet, Hendo. Yeah, we're getting miles behind. Uh, Liz Yates has tweeted, so there's a try your hand at commentary booth at the Oval and the best will win tickets to the final. Something for Hendo to try on Monday. Yeah, well, I think well, <laughs> that might be a bit of fun. Yeah, that's the MoneyGram thing. That's the one thing I went to. Oh, you didn't turn up to. Um, it? Yeah. Uh, oh, now, Amy the is going to get himself out here. Oh. What a fucking Muppet. Uh, <laughs> he has got four or four balls, and he's gone to smash down the leg side. The most exciting uh, ODI player in the world, who was going to bound to get 100, has gone himself up for four or four balls, tried to slap down the leg side, got a big top edge, just looped up to the man at cover. AB is gone. I mean, that suggests that the that pitch a... is not quite as, oh. as trustworthy and it hasn't quite quickened up as much as we thought because... Either that, or you could say that A.B. De Villiers has faced four balls and decided that yeah. he's God and he's going to smash that ball out of the ground without yeah. actually really looking at it too oh, much. Got the, yeah. didn't, didn't, get himself, timing in. didn't give himself time to get the pace. No, he's got yeah. plenty of time. He to go like that. It was a leading edge, didn't it, that... that uh, that saw his downfall and the leading edge often suggests the ball hasn't come on as much but I think you're right well, no, that, I mean just, yeah but if you're just giving too, yourself too keen to get 15 balls to play that cross yeah. batted shot against a leg spinner and then maybe you'd have timed it better I don't think necessarily the pitch is to blame for that as much as the man's head I would point out I would point out that was exactly the way that I got out in the uh, last sofa game oh god like, you're uh, A.B. de Villiers yes I'm A.B. de Villiers <laughs> <laughs> um, Jonah says Piggy getting properly stuck into his bowlers in the old press that's interesting I'll check that out later uh, what have they been? What has he been? Uh, saying? Hazelwood got six wickets yesterday, didn't he? Yeah, Hazelwood did. But uh, Cummins took a real smashing early on from uh, Luke Ronke. That was uh, that was great fun to watch. Uh, Kyle Deck says yes, it's very hot in Florida. Thanks to Trump, it's only going to get hotter. Uh, <laughs> Ravi Nair says uh, fucking counting buggery Facebook always chooses times like this to update itself, uh, take over Wi-Fi, and make you drop out. I didn't know Facebook did that sort of thing. Um, Kate Scott says they're playing one of our out jingles at the ground when a wicket falls. Oh, for God's sake, is nothing safe. <laughs> Sacred. And what are they playing? Every bloody time we come up with something, these bastards nick it. And do they ever credit us? Mm -mm. No, they fucking don't. Well, here's a jingle for this man. David Miller. Yep, and his first ball, he drives up, ooh, up past mid off. Uh, he's up in the circle and it goes all the way to the boundary for four runs. And that's a conventional shot. Yes, and... Uh, four! Good God, yeah. Are we, um, are, we, are we allowed to play a whiter shade of pale for a South African? Oh. 
Let's don't not know. go there. Let's not even think about well, that's that. That's what the jingle was. Yeah. I don't think it's because it's, it's someone that mentions the Miller. Oh, yes, it's it? not, yes, it's oh. not. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, don't worry. It's all right. We're we're politically correct. If you notice, uh, driven again, straight same shot. Uh, this time, Midoff uh, comes across and picks it up, and I, there is no run. I like Miller. I think he's a very fine player. Yeah. He's been unlucky enough to have played more Red Bull cricket. Um, he's played a lot in England, of course, and I've seen him score big runs uh, live. And uh, he gets on with the game. Um, he's neat and tidy. He's not flamboyant. Um, but when he hits the ball, it stays hit. And uh, he doesn't get the reverse sweep out very often. He's not one for the, the no, he's through the scoops. Arc. He's he just hits the ball bloody hard. And through the arc, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And very, very flat indeed as well. When he's hitting in the air, he still hits very flat a lot of the time. I think you'll find. He's 27 now, so he's he, by no means is he sort of in the twilight of his career. He's played a lot of one-day cricket, but... Um, I'm surprised he hasn't played more test matches. Well, 10 and over from here, we're getting him up to nearly 350. Um, I imagine a slight less than that, maybe 330, 340. Uh, Chris Morris is still to come. It's Chris Morris next in, then. Uh, that's whipped down towards long leg by Amla. They'll think about one, they'll think about two. Yep. They don't get it. They'll play Dominey, unless maybe there's three or oh, four. Oh, it's Dominey in the go. side. Too. Yeah, yeah your man, Dominey's there, man. He's hopeless. You love him. Oh, he's not. I quite, quite oh, like Dominey. Oh, man, Dominey's hopeless. I I, he never kicked on to be the test player we all it's thought he might be after that Because he's flat-footed outside his off stump. Yeah, he had that extraordinary partnership with Dale Stain in Australia where I think he made 170. Yeah, that's the only thing he's ever Stain done. I've 80. never seen him do anything, hardly anything against England. He's had a... He's had a better run over the last 12 months, I think. Yeah, he's, got a hundred, he's already got 100. Everyone always got a tells me that when I'm coming to a series against South Africa, and then he proves me right what, every time. What I think with Dominey is that I think his bowling has improved quite a bit, and these <sighs> flat left arm slings are Yeah, they're fine quite in ODI cricket, but they're not in tests. Yeah, of course they are. It's ODI Oh, stuff. beaten on the outside edge by uh, a good ball across him by Pradeep. He's uh, bowled very well, Pradeep. He really has. He's, he's got two for 29, and... 6.2 overs. He had the terrible drop off uh, by Malinga oh, down at long leg. I mean, he's he's deserved better than that. And the figures, well, put it this way: the figures don't flatter him. Two for 29 off 6.2, which are pretty good anyway. Uh, we've got some quotes from the Herald Sun that's been sent to us by Jonah saying Smith says I thought it was probably one of the worst bowling displays that we've put on for a very long time. Because you had shit bowlers. We bowled both sides of the wicket. Uh, yeah, you got away with a few as well. Slashed at by Miller. Outside is off stump. Hung out wide by Pradeep. We gave them a lot of uh, freebies. And it was pretty ordinary, to be honest. Yeah, through the keep and no run. Let's hope it's rust and let's hope it's gone. Well, it just looked like an ordinary side, Piggy. <laughs> yeah, bloody Enrique's bang at four. directly to Piggy. Yeah, well, I mean, you, they, they are going to be right, reliant on... Smith, Warner, and Finch coming off. Well, they never used to be. Did they? No, no, they are. I mean, they, they used to bat down deep and recognisable people. Stark was in at nine. I mean, Stark is at least as good a hitter as Chris Morris here. Where we're all expecting him to, well, to he's probably, quite a 40 well, he, or 50. He's probably a better hitter than bloody Henriques, and he? he's at four. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was an odd. odd an, oh, I think it's just a really odd selection by Australia. A bunch of, as you say, they've gone for the um, uh, short ball pretty deep. Uh, ducks underneath Miller, no run. Um, what's his name? Your favourite, number eight, Patrick Cummins. No, uh, he used to uh, he used to play for Australia. David Hussey. Hussey. Yeah. Hussey. <laughs> David Hussey option. And they've gone for the Hussey options all the way down, and I just think you're wrong, Gary. As I told you at the time, <laughs> and I still believe you're wrong. Um, but they seem to have gone for that very early. Uh, I just think it's not the right way to go. I think Australia have got a much better side than that. They could play in ODIs. Um, Stoinis is uh, in the wings, just need to come in for Henry Kersif. Yeah, uh, Pradeep's option. up to the crease, bowls, Miller plays it out to the offside. They go through for a quick single, and if that had been fielded correctly, that would have been a close call for a run out if he'd hit the stumps. But none of that happened, and he actually scooted through for an easy single. And the 200's up for us. Uh, Australia, South Africa, uh, 200 for three of 35.5, 14.1 overs. I need 123 runs. Oh. Yeah, Amla needs to get on with it a little bit here. The reason I'm saying that is that no batsman has come in and found it easy to time the ball. And Miller has played and missed a couple of times already uh, in this over to Pradeep. Uh, Amla has 88 off 93. Um, he needs to go at least a run a ball here for two or three overs just to let Miller settle a little. 
Well, yeah, uh, short ball. Um, Amla goes across his stumps and that's not a wide. Oh, wide. That's ridiculous. And that's strange, isn't it? We saw lots of balls that were short and wide down leg side yesterday from Australia. They got away with and. Um, he just ducked underneath that and it's been given as well, a wide. he's gone right across his face. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think it was that. It's for height or no. Well. I think that was given purely for height. Yeah, he, went, know, but he went across his stumps. He decided to dig it in really short. Uh, I'm not convinced it was a wide, but... Um, Hey ho, that's the umpires for you. Short again this time. Did it is pulled by Amlet uh, to deep square leg. There is a man behind square there on the boundary, so there'll only be one run. Ravi Nair says uh, we could bring us up to date on uh, what it was going into the oven. He says it's beef marinating in a sauce of full fat live yogurt, not cream. Potatoes to go in last. Eight hours is the wasp. <laughs> Eight hours slow cooked that, in yogurt. That's is hours. that sort of a tikka? I'd have run out of interest by eight hours. I mean, I I, I wouldn't be hungry anymore because I'd have had to eat something in the meantime. Well, you would be do. Terribly, that's, di- that's dinner for later, isn't yeah. it? You know? It's going to be terribly late out in Mumbai. In yeah, it must be. What is eight it? Hours it's like one of these beautiful hot countries though, where everything is you know what? moves on by six hours, so you don't actually start doing anything till eleven or twelve in the day, and then everything's open till two in the morning. I like that kind of lifestyle. I'm a very much a late night person. Yeah, me too these days. Uh, according to GC Listener, who met, who met him in real life, says Jane with a Y, uh, met him in real life during the IPL, Marcus Stoinis does indeed look like a Greek god. And uh, first we take Manhattan. Were you swooning? Yes. Uh, clipped by Amla. Out just wide of the man on the 45. They get through for a single. He's a strong boy, is Stoinis. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we were talking with uh, Jim yesterday about that incredible innings he played at uh, Eden Park against... New Zealand uh, back in the winter where they were completely out of it Australia they'd lost loads of wickets he came in and just kept smacking sixes to the short boundary and uh, almost won them the game second highest score from number seven I think was it something uh, driven by Miller up to long on they'll get a single uh, news from the tennis is that Murray has won the first set in a tie break 10-8 oh wow Ooh, he says incredibly nervy from both players yeah I'd be, I'd be booking him for bed and breakfast in that match it's funny isn't it because Murray's been pretty poor he's been awful he's been awful but last, you know big uh, tournaments when you're back and it's the kind of thing that you know even if he doesn't win it he gets a decent run he'll probably feel much better for it mm. uh, whipped by Amna up to wide long on gets himself another single the entire entire world of tennis are all in bad form. It seems incredible, but they're all well, Rafa, in bad form. Rafa, Maybe isn't Nadal isn't. No. no Almost it, everybody else in the women's and the men's game are in bad form. If you didn't see that stat at the bottom, in overs 41 to 50 in uh, ICC uh, sanctioned cricket. cricket games, uh, and the strike rate is 180 in the last 10 overs. Wow. Uh, so they want him there. They'll want him there for that, yeah, won't they? Yeah, they will indeed. Uh, Pasana in. Down a track comes Miller. Does what he does best. Hits it long, oh. flat. That's a genuine smackson. That is a genuine smackson. Um, it's hit flat and hard and over the man at mid-off. He's up in a circle. And it's a smackson. Smack it, smack it in the air. Smack it, smack it. And what maximum that, fabulously yeah. uh, flat, wasn't it? <laughs> what that was all about was bat speed through the ball. It wasn't a particularly long swing. It wasn't a slow, lazy swing. It was a real punch with bat speed. Getting the, and that's why it went so flat. And that's one of the reasons why I like Miller very much. It's, it's almost a risk-free six because um, he's, he's not... <coughs> The bat isn't travelling that far. You, you should be middling the ball when you're not swinging it quite as much as that. Still went a long way. Comes down the track again this time. He can't get to pitch the ball well bowled by um, Pasana. And uh, he just plays back to the bowl and there's no run. Ravi Nair says, why did Australia play Hastings when Pattinson was fit? Mm. Uh, that's a good question. Maybe they wanted someone who took the pace off the ball a bit. Uh, Beef went in at 17.30 hours local time. Might take it out at 2am. Nice. 2am. 2am. Maybe it's going to be cold tomorrow. Good on you, Ravi. Thanks, I'm for breakfast. Uh, or maybe he's just following the cricket and so he's going to have dinner at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah. There's, no, there's no reason why you can't eat when you're listening to us. Uh, floated up on leg stump by Pisana, whipped by Miller out towards deep mid wicket, who's pretty straight and uh, they've got a single. Although, as we know from Dutch Bear Kate, we should not eat while you're listening to oh, us. Indeed, indeed not. That would be a cardinal sin. Uh, I'm going to move on to 13 off 10, and Amla's 91 off 96. It was good. I mean, a batsman who can come in and uh, hit those kind of shots from early on without, you know, he's got one six in 13 runs. I mean, 
I wouldn't try and hit a six until I'd got about 120. Yeah, well, that's the difference between you and David Miller. I I think I is, I but there's a lot other differences. Yeah, well, there are. <laughs> I think I 30 hit, years younger and fit. Yeah, I think one I one hit one yeah. six in my career. It was a rare match I was captaining. Uh, I was playing for my school, and we needed sort of six off the last over, and I swept, uh, slog swept. Wow. For six, which I think very actually, rare for me. I think the only six I've ever hit was in my innings, my highest ever score of 83, and I was in uh, my uh, captain at the time, and I was 15, I had a back injury, and I'd just taken five wickets. And the captain said, do you want to open? And I said, yeah, all right. What a day. And what a day. And he said, uh, uh, playing the senior team when I was 15, um, oh, fenced that by Miller, through to the keeper, and there's no run. And so he said, do you want to go over and over? And I said, yeah, right. He said, well, every run you get over, I can't remember what it was, 20 or 10 or something, I'll give you 50p or something. <laughs> That's how to motivate the bear. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just went out and pinched it, really. Threw the bat at the ball as a young man would. And uh, just cleared the man an extra cover for a four in the first over or something. And then just belted one with my magnum. I had a magnum in those days. Oh. Duncan Fernley magnum Ooh. that was really heavily linty to <laughs> a massively heavy log. <laughs> Smashed it as a 15-year-old over the man at long arm for six. Uh, Pradeep in, bowls, driven by Miller, square on the offside, out to the man, building it deep cover, gets I, himself a single. You see some of why I think we enjoy watching Miller there, because that was a classical cricket stroke. That was the foot to the pitch of the ball, uh, back close to pad, uh, extra cover drive. There was no clearing of the front leg there. That was a shot that would have been played in a test match as well. And he is... But it, but a man who scores as quick as he, he does, he's fairly orthodox as Miller. He'll probably now get out reverse sweeping or something, but... Um, I wouldn't imagine just yet. I think Pradeep's given him a little bit to think about. He's beaten him once or twice outside he the has. Time, hasn't he? He has. He's yeah. bowled very, very Shot. well as Pradeep. They did create and he does seem to have a surf at a pair, He was dropped yeah. Yeah. by Nick Bamberlinga nice, with nice the short ball. I think it's also uh, just maybe we've been talking a lot about and, uh, the captains and the bowlers need to stay Anna aggressive throughout the, the bowler, wickets. No run. Nice little uh, running of the fingers over the ball. Was I felt the there. Although the speed was coming into was 87 yesterday. miles an hour, it looked like a slightly slower ball. <laughs> Chris Drew says, um, I've also been discussing food over in another place. I'd love photo evidence of the result, Ravi. Uh, that's to Ravi now. He's making Six from um, a wonderful thing they involving meat, yogurt, hands. and um, mashed potatoes. Uh, we're, we're just getting uh, some graphics about David Miller's bat speed on that six, but um, it didn't actually show what it was. Mm. Well, short so arm pull by Emma out to deep square leg, gets himself a single. One can, of course, have too much information, but yeah, certainly of course. to the naked eye, Miller has got very, very high bat speed. It's, uh, he has something of uh, Owen Morgan's uh, speed of bat through the ball where the, the wrists break and... Uh, and just gives that extra bit of momentum. Ravi has uh, sent a picture of his, He says, will do. I'll let you see the result. This is my last, be last beef casserole. Current one is not a casserole as such, but still a type of stew. All I think also maybe that they're bowled with mud on and mud off in the ring. Maybe that's the you feel the restrictions. Herb, You've got well, to have that extra man in. Uh, that's the Just mixed one it up. Out to Stop the South Africans from using their feet, um, charging down. Delivery yesterday from Farm Drop. 25, 25 quid off a 50 pound delivery better which think is pretty a good bit. direct from the farmers mm. and uh, Linus is making uh, fruit salad today I've charged him with that before I get home yeah so we used to get that from Abel and Cole and we never used to end up using any of it yeah I mean it's a bit like Abel and Cole um, but it looks it looks quite good he's got some pears some apples some strawberries some mango to work with so I'm hoping he'll, uh, he'll make a good one uh, pretty last ball of his eighth over and Miller drives that with no timing up to mid on. There's no run. You two nap, I'm just uh, you know, nipped a little boys. Really. <laughs> well, um, Linus is doing his GCSEs at the moment, and um, he seems to be taking it rather casually. I have to say, he's going out skateboarding, and he's teaching himself guitar off his phone, and all this kind of thing. Over, I've just two singles him, from it. But, um, 14 just because to he's three. brilliant, and he is brilliant in lots of ways with the, with the academics, as Linus. Then he can't just rely on that to get him through his GCSEs. But um, my the pudding will be in the eating when the results come out. But, um, he's taking a little clear man, refreshing mentor Shambrito. Um, dandruff do got it. A dang double freshness. Clear man, zero dandruff, double freshness. Maybe the record. Yeah, this is the high score. Yeah, so no, we're going to do the second camera. Stoinis is the inning in that game. Yeah, Hazelwood wants to get Stoinis uh, on the strike uh, for the final over and got run out by Kane at uh, deep mid on. And we have South Lanol, who's Lanol, who's listening to us in a beautiful down setting, to. which I, I, well, I don't know that I can actually pronounce this. Yelbil Vashita in Norway. 
Oh. It sounds very Norwegian, but uh, sounds more Indian to me. It'd be very nice in Norway uh, with uh, with very long days in June. As Gunnar Ratner comes Gunnar Ratner in, throughout, and uh, this is on so far. middle he is stump, the foot but right across from around the wicket it to long leg, generally used uh, helping himself to an easy single from the, the hard-hitting Miller back on strike, and the hard-hitting bear only in one side is back. back. Surface with um, I have to say about Gunnar Ratner is that I get the... South Africa rotates the strike really well, and I thought there was a period around would take about 8 to 30 from 24 to overs in an afternoon. Over. One of those little dibby dobbers, he just floats Nassim it up Linger there. Just finished and, uh, the spell. And it was an opportunity for either Dupasi or Anna to, of, uh, to really either show the stumps, open up the well, offside, try and be more aggressive against him, turn 6 into 10. And maybe force her anger to get bring back Almost as last a, a, a left someone arm, else. Sorry, I think right for me, when I watched the Villiers come out, it was yeah, almost like a blade of that frustration yeah. of that, that, that little uh, period. It almost floats so out. So you're there. not happy that uh, South Africa have let him bowl seven overs and 49. He's not as a quite, he's been slightly saying, slower than we've got to go after this CZ Harris. And he doesn't have quite so eccentric an action. Better angles for Miller, maybe over that offside. It's like, just trying to knock him around. It's like much more hard. I mean, you take that at the end of his career, though. At the end of his career, he bowled fast off breaks, essentially. Ravi as well, bowling cutters, Ravi for power. I just felt that off from 10 to 28, they did so well, 100 rod positive, both in on 60s, 70s, but there was a moment that maybe they could have pressed their head down a little bit against the slower ball. Forced to run to make a slow ball. There's a lot of batters still left in the shed. There's a lot of power. Miller, one of the most Underrated cricketers it's in the world, cricket, and what I've seen is world class. Doesn't have to be taking on a long on, long off, trying to hit for six. Um, Show him his stumps, fielders in, in on the offside. And I guess it. Yeah. Then he gets down and sweep him because he's bowling class, slow off spinners with a longer runner. He certainly you know, maybe just look to transfer a little bit more pressure to uh, him. Uh, maybe he turns six and over to ten and over at that stage. It gets through. For a single as the man you know, comes in for the man. I've always got to put in the equation, how many has Malinga got left? A red ball ball. I still remember him having a bit of a left. nightmare, wasn't it, in the World T20? Also, at the moment, he's not on the field. Uh, that always in the in equation, the linger at the death. I think, a terrible, terrible I think the other thing you've got to uh, take into the equation by Malinga is the fact that was, on the 40th over, uh, the next power play kicks in and Sri Lanka can send another Malinga. man out into the, onto the boundary. Doing something on the boundary. I think it's just uh, about recognising uh, small moments sometimes in games. Right right the fifth bowler is going through his overs quietly. Now. Maybe it was and, an opportunity. Uh, 16 off 16 without going mental yeah. apart from the flat he, uh, he hasn't played any test cricket as uh, Miller. Ready to come back on. That may be explained by a first-class record, which is nowhere near the kind of level that we might expect. He has only five first-class hundreds. He averages uh, 35.6 well. in first-class six away. Um, so he's nowhere near the kind of um, numbers that uh, that you're often 50 looking 50 for in a test player. Uh, Tip around the corner by Amla after the man long leg gets himself a single end of 39. Over 219 for three. I still think he's a, over there. I still think he's a very decent uh, batsman. His figures in ODI milking. cricket, by the way, he averages 39 at a strike rate five of 103 in the over. with 400s and 950s. So he's not. Um, he hasn't put the numbers up that you might imagine his talent suggests, but he often comes in quite late in the in the order for the uh, South Africans. Of course, he's got A.B. de Villiers and Faf ahead of him. Sometimes he's got J.P. Dumini ahead of him as well, but not today. Well, I'm just going to have a look at the odds on today's game. Uh, and see where they're at. Sri Lanka 8-1 to one on. Sri Lanka 5-1. to one. Well, I think It's a bit poor. Sri Lanka forget it 8-1 on. Uh, no, it's just changed. 7-2 Sri Lanka 5-1 to one on. Five to one on South Africa. With only 39 overs gone. I mean, even a score of 330. I mean, Taranga, if Taranga gets in and goes mad, there's, no, three. there's no score big enough because he, he just clatter everything. I mean, so I know that's, he doesn't do it all that often, but he's a, you know, he's a very handy player. Yeah, they might be pushing harder now. Stick uh, up you, you, and, you and Alec come in for um, Bear and me. Alec to do ball by ball. Uh, Malinga in bowls and driven I, mean, I would Alec hope that they're not mates to, uh, to press. I mean, batting first, you don't know what a good score is. Yeah, South Africa have got to be slightly careful here. Of course, they've lost a wicket and we've seen the and we six also, from And we also Miller. know that but, uh, as I the oval is a beautiful place to bat in the afternoon. The outfield will pick it up. Um, the pitch is drying um, out a little bit from the sponginess this morning. boundaries at the moment. And, it just takes one better to get off to a good start. It's a Ranga to get 100 up front and one better around in. So I don't think you can afford to, to look at it that way. Uh, Recognising yeah. moments, being aggressive um, in moments, being able to adapt. Those are the keys to the tournament. Good leadership and, and aggressive mindset. I mean, they're playing 
the way you would expect back them to play on the field in the and back into the attack with three wickets down except we're in the 39th over well one of them yeah down. I mean I imagine that Amler is the man selected to go through for at least another five overs without taking any risks um as he's the set man on 100 and I think that Miller has to be the man to make the decision to go for it himself yeah I'm not sure what the boundary count is for the South Africans let me just see if I can find it well Malinga's economy rate in the last 10 overs is pretty poor 10.11 uh, in ISO, ICC World Championship games um, small sample sizes there uh, Malinga is up to the crease, he's got three overs left after this. This is driven at by uh, Miller. So only hit the man. Uh, we've seen 14 fours by the, the South Africans the and three sixes now. In we'll use large 40 overs, I think that boundary count is a little Force. low. Um, I don't think Ball they've going across him, gripping the seen surface to generate half volleys hit straight at fielders and we haven't seen much moving around in the crease. We've seen very little unorthodox, and that's usually a good thing, but I can't recall a reverse sweep. We Mid haven't seen any scoops. And um, place. I think they, they may end up 20 or so runs short of where they could be as a result of not hitting enough boundaries. Really uh, guided by Miller down clock. towards the man. And and a bit through for sink. And some of that is credit to the South African bowlers because they haven't bowled as many four balls, particularly on width. Um, you mean they so haven't, they haven't, you haven't seen much of since slash backwards or forward of points uh, from wide uh, on the crease because they just yeah, haven't had the, the arms the free often enough to do so that. That's a good score happens, at the oval. Yeah, I, you, I, I'm what, not sure what, what the what stats are, but I suspect first. if you've well, only lost three wickets in 40 overs, you would expect to have scored more than the fourteen fours and three sixes that we've seen so far. The crease coming to Malinga. Good Yorker type delivery. And it's dug out General at the oval, it's not been as high as Malinga. Yeah, it was. Recently That's how he's made his name. The boys used to come on nicely. With that low slung Yorker. Still think the seam right. rotating in a kind of horizontal pitch. plane, if you like, which means Outfield that its swing quicker. is somewhat Big unpredictable. You can yeah. run threes and twos comfortably. I'm going to play in the IPL, didn't he? Yeah, yeah I got 200. Yeah, point, yeah I you've got a lot. I'm trying to find the T20 World Cup. When was that? The Sri T20 Lanka's World Cup was the beginning of 2016. That's what I thought. Never Why really can't I find it? Why can't I find it? It's called the World so T20. That yeah, may it's help. it's not on there. It's not on here. I can't find it. Hmm. Uh, this is driven by Amla up to mid-off. A good timing. Oh, too hard. He's Malinga uh, at his best. It's filled it there. Yeah, so we have a real switch. Yeah, yeah, switch yeah, yeah, now. Control the commentary now. More than a no, I, I'm going to do commentary. I'm going to stay on the... Uh, on the jingles, just while we do switch over, I'll just make a remark about Amla because special. when I was in the green room Scud there, Masala Amla was up toes. on the ball. About, that's about an hour ago. Now it's nothing worse getting out of LBW and a sore toe. You get a ball. He's 96 off. from 106, and uh, it's yeah, hard well, to criticise a man who's, who's that you, actually, scored yeah, 96 I've done it once uh, <laughs> runs, and I'm not really criticising him. It's just that the level that someone like Amla, who's been one of the leading ODI batsmen in world cricket for what, eight years or and so. Again. Um, it's whether, Just two it's of the overs, so two very good overs very for Sri Lanka, 221 for three. Uh, here, he should really be going on a little. Um, but we were to go a um, four and a half, four and a half, 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 and a and a half, is it two bounces you're allowed now on the bowling? easier for the captains and the bowlers. The mm. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, I know it's over shoulder height, but below head height. Yeah. Um, I'm up to so some batting up to, to that. come. Dumini, Morris, Parnell. Twenty two in England. A beautiful day in so South West. Ratney comes in and uh, it's worked into the offside to mid off uh, by Miller. There's no run. Now Miller is a bat speed man, so all this pace off from Gunnar Ratney shouldn't make that much of a difference to him because he should have the power. And he should have that acceleration through the ball to hit it 
through really or slow over the boundary. Sure, the um, match referee will get involved at the end of the game. There's a specific Gora time. You've got to bowl to Taranga, maybe not used to captaining from Miller this time. At this and level, so going he's done it square. when Angelo it's Matthews has been injured, which has been quite hot recently. To the keeper, and they've taken they are just really the slow. Um, as a Miller jingle, 20 minutes um, to bowl 10 overs. From uh, a little night music by Stephen Sondheim. Like one of my favourite songs. Well, if you want to read more about the Miller's Son, then uh, if you go to herecomesthesong.com, you'll find me writing about why I like happens. the Miller's Son. It's it's a half hour an hour interval or throughout this tournament. Or so Steve Miller Bandit. Okay, and it's going to be slow and he's in again and the bowls they will. slightly leg side and it's just worked onto the leg side by Amna, but there's no run. So they're hoping for some magic from Miller. South Africans. He did do abracadabra, didn't he, Stephen? Thanks, sir. That's a shot. So. Let's take this question next. Calling for ah, more for the right hander or earlier in the day, trying to play him like an off spinner. Uh, from the comedian's yeah, days. Just to open up very long hair. Parts of the field. I mean, I think he's been. Game he's had a clear the game plan. This time they take a single. No, he's not going to go two, uh, three runs and over. He's trying to control it to six. Roll into that leg stump. The leg side field. Two to the linga. Also, they're going to take on the longer boundaries. I can sympathise with that. Oh, we have the three to me. So who am I to say? Malinga would love the tweet of the food that's been sent to us by Josh Robinson. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's he? What, what, well, you know how food is partially with the eyes. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. very. I'm. I'm hungry. Looking at this picture. <laughs> it's a. It's a mez inspired lunch. So more. More on the. Uh, the casserole. Gunaratni is in. Again, work through to the uh, leg side behind square. They come in. Uh, no real urgency for Malinga there. Uh, just take the single this time, though. Yeah, there, there might not always be two to Malinga, but there is yeah. more often than there should be yeah. two to Malinga. It seems to be a casserole day with Ravi on casserole duty out in Mumbai. Every day is a casserole uh, day. Every day is a casserole day. So Gunnar Ratney um, looks like he's going to bowl through. He's in his ninth over now. Mm. I didn't expect him to bowl all, all mm. his uh, compliments. Well, not bad as he's in again. It's uh, worked through to the offside by the left hand of Miller. Um, mid off though, uh, fields quickly. There's no run. End of the 41st over, and the score is 225 for three. Uh, Ravi Nair confirms that Abracadabra is indeed by the Steve Miller band. Good. Jane with the Y waves at the, at the, the Kyle deck, surely the only GC listener in Polk County. Polk County? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where Polk County is. Florida. Yeah. Florida. I remember her living in Florida. One, uh, of I... the, one of the funniest Twitter feeds to follow is at Florida Man. At Florida Man. Oh, yeah. You know how there's always a silly news story about someone doing something particularly uh, yes. stupid? Yeah. Well, chances are, if it's from the States, it's a man from... It usually starts with a man from Florida. A man from Florida. A, and part due to um, Floridan... Uh, freedom of information laws, which are much more permissive than they are in most parts of the uh, English-speaking world. Oh, so yeah. it's a lot easier to get these kind of stories uh, from the authorities. Oh, speaking of which, I don't know if you mentioned it. Did you uh, did you see the twi the Tiger Woods footage? Oh, don't, oh. don't, don't, oh. don't. He's a man in he's a man in trouble, and it, it's easy, you know, the tall poppies to chop him down. But he's a man in difficulty who mm. needs our sympathy rather than our derision. Mm. I, su I suggest. Absolutely. So and um, what I was thinking of, of where Polk County was, I was thinking of Married with Children, you know, Al Bundy. Yeah. But um, he yes. went to Polk High School, yeah. I think, when he was the quarterback. Yeah. So uh, Lackmal, is, is he uh, on to bowl or is he continuing a spell? No, he's yes. new. OK, so he's uh, coming in. Uh, right over the wicket and uh, to Amla who pushes it off into the off on side fielded by uh, uh, sort of short mid on for no run we've had a tweet from uh, Aslam Raud so apologies if you're if I mispronounced your name thanks very much for the commentary from Cape Town no live radio commentary in South Africa oh. right you oh, can oh. find us however all over the world Yep, no geo-blocking at no all blocking. anywhere. No blocking for us. Oh, that is apparently blocked at my brother's workplace. Wow. So, um, Lakmal is in, and he bowls, and ooh. He's out. So that looks like he might be out. The keeper is convinced he's feathered behind, but oh. Alim Dar is not interested. And if, if only you had a review. Yeah, there's no review, uh, so that is the end of that matter. Heads on, uh, or rather hands on heads from the South Afri uh, the Sri Lankans, and they're, they're not the most demonstrative of bunches, the Sri no. Lankans. They don't uh, really do the hissy fits that some sides do, so we're having a look at it again here. The Sri Lankans are convinced they had Amla, but you uh, seem to miss looks, it. Yeah, it does look like there's uh, daylight between bat and ball. Hold on. So, yep, it's coming in in super slow motion. Yeah. Mm. Oh. 
I, th I think that's missing. I th it's very yeah. close. Yeah, there's nothing on the ultra edge. It's just one of those on first yeah. glance. It looked. Okay. Yeah. It looked good as a Lakmal is in. It's worked into the onside behind square leg, and he gets his 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Congrats. So, sixth completed in innings of the tournament, and the sixth uh, century, I think, as well. Yeah, um, he likes this ground, does Hashim Amla. He, uh, he's got a triple here in, I think, 2012, where um, South Africa racked up the small matter of 637 for two declared. Oh, God, yes. Uh, I saw every single one of those 637 yeah. runs. Sorry, not, not sixth century, fourth century. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many games we'd had. Um, Jonah, at Jonah Jones 75 could you help me align my TV to the commentary, please? If you've got Sky Plus, I would... Pause, your, pause the sky, and then as you listen to us commentate, then hit the play button, and then you'll be fine. As you, yeah. as you hear us say, he bowls. Then so, Alec, if you can try and cue, will, cue yep. some people in. See what by, I can do. Yeah, as the front foot lands, you say, he bowls. So, oh, uh, fewest innings to 25 ODI hundreds. Top list, apparently, with 151 innings is uh, Hashim Amla. As he comes in and he bowls. And, oh, he's kind of taken a thick outside edge, and, yep, he's caught. So that is, uh, Miller is out for 18. Um, so, yeah, he, uh, Bowler came in, and he just uh, hit it on the inside edge to the uh, on side behind the wicket, and it was uh, nicely taken. And it's another wicket off the leading edge. I know A.B. de Villiers was a little uh, hasty in giving it the charge, but David Miller's been in for 22 balls, and he also uh, got a leading edge. It spiralled high and was caught. But um, That was a horrible, horrible shot. Isn't yeah, it was. It was. Uh, having said that he played orthodox shots, he certainly tried to manufacture a stroke mm -hmm. there, played across it. But we're seeing, we're seeing quite a bit of uh, leading edges even now, quite late in the uh, in the innings, and that suggests that this pitch is still a little bit uh, stop-start. A little, yeah. there's a little bit of of a capricious nature that's yeah. hiding in this pitch. It seemed to square him up a bit as well. He wasn't quite expecting it to be that high, and, and he was left with nowhere to turn but trying to sort of give it a bit of a slog. And by that point, it was just too late. This might be the flaw in the South African strategy, though. Yeah. What they've got, they've got half it. They've got the they've got the set batsman, hundred, and a push on to maybe 120, 130. What you then need is the supporting cast chipping in with runner ball, better than a runner ball, yeah. 20s, 30s, 40s, and that's not happened. We've well, had Duplessis give a runner ball 60, and apart from that... Mm. But they've still got two cards to play. Yeah. Uh, the first one is this man. Too many broken hearts in the world There's too many dreams have been broken into J.P. I mean, what, one could argue they've got three cards to play because there's Dominey who's just come to the crease, who's a runner ball man in these circumstances. There's Chris Morris who hits a long ball, and Wayne Parnell has no mug with the bat. Uh, you wouldn't fancy Parnell to get a 50, but 30 off 20 is well within his compass. Uh, uh, Lackmal is in, and the right handed Dominey just pushes, sorry, Amler pushes it into the off, offside behind uh, Pines Ground on the offside. It comes in, and they take uh, two runs. I'm all for a little unorthodoxy, but if uh, JP Dominey was lining up right handed, that really would. Be, yeah, <laughs> really would be, be going going early with the orthodoxy. Yeah, uh, of course. In baseball, they have switch hitters who come out and bat what, what either you, side of the uh, they, plate. They're they? by either side of the plate, but they declare which side of the ah, plate they're going to bat before yeah. the at yeah. bat begins. You can't yeah. once you've started the at bat, you can't switch. Yeah. Oh, I love my baseball. I, well, I, I enjoy the baseball as well. There used to be a free game on L MLB every day. I'm not yes. sure if that's still the case. So as uh, bowler is in and it's pushed through uh, quite straight to the wicket and there is a shy at stumps, um, uh, but uh, no run. No, he got back uh, quite quickly yeah. there, did Dominey. He needed to be concentrating. He's only just arrived at the crease, hasn't faced a ball, so he recovered his ground well. We've got some geography answers. Polk County is halfway between Tampa and Orlando, the leader in A Man from Florida Stories. Nestle Boy um, registers disappointment, shall we say, in the latest dismissal with ah. some colourful metaphors that I'll leave to one side just for one second. Um, 
I was surprised Nestle Boy's watching. I would have thought he might have uh, Murray and Del Potro, but well, uh, he maybe he's got an he eye on both. He may be, he may be talking yeah. about that. Um, Jonah says, cricket almost unwatchable in Oz adverts and now a sports roundup. Oh, Thank goodness. the Lord for GC commentary. Ah, well, you yes. pay for Channel 9, you get Channel 9. Absolutely. Yeah, well, we it's on Foxtel, isn't it, over in the state, over in Australia? Is it it's on uh, Foxtel? I think, um, in, I think outside of Australia, it's it's, it's left to the mercy, tender mercies of Rupert Murdoch. Yes. Um, Jane with a Y tells us that if you're looking for something to see in the Florida region, Orlando Fringe does a one-off midnight benefit show called Florida. Okay, as um, Gunnarachny is in, and uh, Dumini sort of just uh, gently paddles that behind the onside, and uh, I imagine they'll take uh, one run. What? Oh. Almost an over-the-shoulder shot, that from Newton, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, Jamie oh, Wise, very active in the uh, Florida fringe and uh, various cultural activities out yeah. there and uh, supports them very well. It's yeah, always right. pleasing to read of them. Right. Uh, sorry, no, they took uh, two runs, so uh, Jiminy's on two from one ball as uh, Gunnar Atney is in again, and he bowls, and that is uh, worked through to the offside, and it's uh, intercepted at uh, uh, mid-off, and they've taken single. Yeah, Gunnar Ratney will bowl through, which I don't think any of us expected when he uh, essayed his, uh, his village, what can we call them, that they look like they should be medium pace, but they're actually off breaks, aren't they? Yeah. Of, of a long run with a busy arm. Uh, I have a correction. Nestle Boy was not disappointed uh, with, with the outshot. He was responding to a tweet from uh, Illy North End ah. uh, about the, uh, them using one of our jingles at the ground. Oh, I see. Yeah, Ooh, Katie, Katie Scott is there. And, wave uh, to us, Katie. Yeah, <laughs> wave. No, wave. I'm looking forward to wave. seeing you here. Good luck. It's been a while, Katie. Been is in. Uh, Amla works that through into the uh, onside. It's, oh, there's a shot at the stumps. And, oh, that looks like he could well be out. Yep, uh, Alim Zahar is giving, giving him out. He's so. just giving him straight out there, yeah. no upstairs or anything like that. Amler's flat on his, uh, his front. Um, Unless he had arms like Mr. Tickle, he won't make him that. No, no. Well, it's all going slightly uh, off beam here for the uh, South Africans. They, uh, there's still a woodish way to go in this innings, but... Um, Yeah, he was outgut by a good two feet there. He made a desperate slide when returning, but uh, he was intercepted far too quickly by the keeper who's you know, took the bails off with plenty of time to spare. That's happened twice in two days now. Yeah. Centurion, immediately upon getting 100, get yourself a run out. And yeah. It's a surprising decision from Aliem Dar there because he was his view was obscured by Dick Weller, who did a good job behind the stumps gathering the ball and uh, whipping off the, the bails. Um, but he could not have seen the moment that the bales came off, but presumably because they're lit up, yeah. he's very much watching the bat, and in your peripheral vision, as soon as you see that light, you look at the bat and it gives you that, well, uh, well, that frame. But it was, it was quite a tight call. Mm. The, that's the problem with TV reviews, because if you watch Rugby League, where they can go to the video referee for tries, inherently they go to it all the time. Yeah, I know, it gets too much. Um, yeah. Just on the subject of your free game on MLB TV, today's free game is the Tampa Bay Rays at the Seattle Mariners. Um, although that will be at 3 a.m. BST. Thank you very much to uh, Martin Runnicles for uh, that. There's an away trip, eh? Tampa yeah. Bay to Seattle. Yep. <laughs> I've, I've been to Safeco Field. Marvellous stadium. Marvellous stadium. In Seattle? Yeah. Beautiful place. Fantastic. Uh, never been to Seattle. I have been to Tampa. It is bloody hot, even in November. S Seattle is beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. A lot of good bands from Seattle. Indeed. There's a, there's a fantastic uh, rock and roll museum there. Uh, Gunnar Antony comes in. He uh, bowls out, so straight back to the bowler. Um, Dumini runs back to uh, make his ground, make sure he's not run out. That is a really bad way to get run out. Can they know it's Christmas time at all? The man with the brass eye is in. Yeah, absolutely. So Gunnar Atney is in. He bowls. And, uh, oh, there's an appeal. Uh, it's, it's signalled wide, um, but uh, Morris sort of attempted a sort of cheeky um, over-the-shoulder kind of thing, but uh, to no particular avail. That 
Dick Weller was trying to be smart there. Mm. It was uh, obviously a wide, but I think he just put the appeal in there to see if he could just distract Gunnar Gould from his wide yeah. call. Amlet almost gave himself out there as his head dropped on realising he was run out, going for a second that was never really there. Um, but they've got to press on here, yeah. South Africa. But there is still seven overs and two balls to go. Gunnar Ratney is in again, and he uh, uh, just smashes it back to the bowler, and uh, there is no run. So I did say they had three cards to play. Um, these are two of the three who are in now with, uh, with seven overs and one ball to go. One has the feeling that one or other of these two have got to go on and make sort of 30 or 40 here. If Absolutely. Skinneratney is in, and that's a sort of smash through on the uh, offside. Uh, it goes to deep, uh, deep mid off, and they take a quick single to end the over. So Gunnar Ratney finishes with 10 overs, none for 64. He'd have taken that at the start of the day, mm. wouldn't he? I suppose so. I mean, Ravi Nair makes a great point. Pratia should have been ashamed. Should have reached 320 minimum. Don't look like getting that now. We've got a hello from a Jessica Benzing. Another hello from Florida. Brand new to cricket. Glad I found you guys. Oh, right. The so. more, the merrier. We are in an inclusive crowd. Yeah, I come tell you one, what, it, come on. It should swing, shouldn't it, in Florida when you think of the humidity there. If they play cricket, and of course they have played cricket in Florida. Yeah. I think West Indies played, yeah. didn't they, there? You'd expect the ball to swing with all that sort of uh, precipitation in the air, the marshlands, the Everglades. They're in Florida, aren't they, the Everglades? Yeah, Florida. Yeah. Down in the south. I think I read American tabloid. I didn't get on with it particularly mm -hmm. well. Uh, James Elroy, and he paints a rather bleak picture of uh, Florida in that as being particularly inhospitable. James Elroy, though, does paint an inhospitable yeah. atmosphere of almost yeah. everything. I, yeah. think that's, uh, I think that's so, true. Uh, Lackmal is to continue. It will be his uh, ninth over. Score is 234 for five. Are they highlights in Lackmal's hair? Yeah. I think uh, they, they are. Are they highlights or are they frosted tips? It, it, it's... Uh, yeah, there's, there's some questionable dying choices as he comes in to bowl over the wicket uh, to uh, Morris, who uh, works into the offside behind square, oh, oh. and they take a... That's a lovely... Two plus two is on man! Uh, he's a bit more than just a hitter, as Chris Morris. You could see yeah. he waited for that ball there. I think um, it was from Lackmal, a, a long hop. Yeah. But he didn't, uh, unlike A.B. de Villiers and David Miller, he was aware of the fact he could have played that too early and got the edge to it. But he just decided to deflect the ball. It went right off the middle. Um, he's certainly... He's certainly an eight or maybe a seven and a half okay. is uh, Morris. Black Mal is in again and uh, worked in, uh, to point by uh, Morris for no run. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of, uh, little bit of feedback here if the, the bear can hear us, but um, it seems to have gone, yeah. gone quiet again now. By, by that, I mean that, um, that, that Morris, um, you should be able to rely on him to construct an innings, mainly yeah. as opposed to just going in and playing shots. For a number eight, it's fair enough. They go in and play shots, and a, a good eight should be able to get a 50 at times when you need one. But Morris is probably just a bit better than that. Well, T20s talk, seven and eight. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Lattman is in again. It's a bouncer, and Morris ducks out the way. The, even with seven overs to go, there's a construction, even yeah. in its most basic form, is still yeah. possible. Yeah. They'll be looking at some point here, South Africa, to get a, an over with 18 or 20 in it. It will make a difference. Mm -hmm. And they've got to decide which over they're going to get that. And at the moment, you'd expect them to go probably with the 47th or 48th over. They'd try and go big. They probably won't go big in the next over because it's, it's still too far out. And you know, they don't really want to lose a wicket now. That man is in over the wicket and uh, takes the outside edge a bit there. But uh, they run through and... Uh, they think about taking a quick single, uh, but no. So yeah, hit hit nicely into uh, the offside behind us, behind point. Terrible catch, terrible attempted catch by uh, Malinga. Notwithstanding, they've been pretty sharp in the field. I think I think they've given away some twos. I mean, you always do at the Oval. Um, I've mentioned it a couple of times with Malinga. Um, they've given away possibly a handful more twos inside the circle than they should have done. But they affected the run out. Um, they haven't. They've, they've taken some good catches as well as Malinga's horrible drop. But, you know, I give them. I give them seven and seven out of ten in the field. Mm -hmm. Maybe eight out of ten. We've had a Barnaby Shepherd get in touch with us. Tell us that he lives in Los Angeles or Los Angeles. 
the guys who run the 7-Eleven down the street from him are Sri Lankans and the only people he actively sledges on a regular basis. Brother, sister, can we not come together? Absolutely. So, uh, Lakmal is in for the fifth ball of the over. He bowls, uh, worked off the hips by Dumini into the leg side and they go through for a quick single. Well, I hope the, uh, the lads in the 7-Eleven in Los Angeles are, uh, are listening to us. I should imagine. <laughs> City of Angels. Um, I think it's in, is it in the, um, I'm trying to remember the name of the film now, where Angelica Houston is, is in it, and she always refers to Los Angeles with a hard G throughout the film. Grifters? Grifters, uh, that's the one. John Cusack and, uh, good film. Only good in a pub quiz. So final ball yeah, of the excellent. over, and Lackman is in. He bowls, and that is pulled uh, through into the onside by Morris for... And I think we've seen Morris take two balls that are not hugely different and hit a four backward of point and a four yeah. in front of square. And that, that shows that he, he is a bit more than just a hitter. Yeah. It was I mean, an attempted slower ball, that from Lackmal, and it was on the leg stump, and it did deserve that stroke. But uh, Morris found the right stroke for the right ball and just rolled his wrists on it, old-school style, to keep it down. That's, that's not bad, because I think there have been a few stupid dismissals in the South Africa series from both England and South Africa where... Where they have let, where they have played across the body and um, just let the ball fly into the air. So, yeah, he's uh, certainly learned the mistakes. I think that Joe Root and possibly De Villiers in the first match le- had to learn the hard way. Yeah, Every, everybody uh, needs to learn those lessons every once in a while. Yeah, uh, there's Chris Cairns in the crowd. Ra- Ravi Nair <laughs> recommends Carl Heisen for you if you want. Uh, if you want, yes, if you want yeah. Florida man satirical. So Malinga, uh, Malinga is bringing himself back for the 45th over. There is so, so, so much stuff I need to read. I'm not going to live long mm. enough to do it, but... Um, I, uh, Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman is mine. Yeah, is Neil my, Gaiman is my, is my, is my, recommended me. And, if, and, you know, my girlfriend and I were watching American Gods at the moment. I can heartily recommend that That's series. That's really yeah, good. I've been told. I'm, I'm still catching up with Game of Thrones. I'm yeah. on series, uh, season four now. Uh, um, well, That's do you a reckon one. you'll get up to date? By the time season seven starts? Yes, yeah, only two more series to go. As uh, Malinga is in, and he's uh, going uh, over the wicket, and it's worked into the offside by Dumini. Uh, it's uh, fielded at uh, sort of uh, deepish mid-off, and they just uh, take the one run. I almost had to stand and applaud in one of the later episodes in season three where Tyrion Lannister responds to Cersei with uh, a withering, nobody likes a late flowering philosopher. <laughs> Just tremendous line. I'm also reading the books, um, and I'm slightly ahead now with the TV as I am compared with the books, but there's some excellent writing. It's not just uh, pulp from our man, George R. R. Martin. No, um, I've been given um, Colm Eagleston's books by my brother to read as well. Okay. As uh, Malinga is in, and it is uh, hit through to the offside by uh, Morris, but it's uh, stopped uh, uh, by a uh, short mid-off. Uh, yeah, Malinga's, uh, Malinga's figures are pretty good, really. 7.2 overs, only giving away 30 here. Hasn't bowled many four balls. There's a, certainly a few no ball or wides in there from early on. But um, I think we were all slightly... Rid- well, I was certainly ridiculing the paunch or the pouch of uh, Malinga, as Hendo described it. Um, and his fielding isn't up to much. But uh, the, old, the old stager knows how to... Uh, play this white ball stuff as he's in and it's a hit through to the side there's a, a diving attempt to stop by an extra cover but it goes through for one of these one, two, three, four. and uh, Chris Morris is playing the uh, the innings his captain wants here he's yeah. he's played a, a, a a no risk 14 from 10 balls here which is pretty good turns yeah. out there's a lot of space on either side of these fielders <laughs> yeah <laughs> You know, one of the things that gets me, and I know I bore on about this, so forgive me, regular listeners, is how batsmen these days hit the ball in the air straight at a fielder who then catches it and they throw their head back. Say, oh, God, really, really? Why don't they just you miss see, the fielders the way see, Brian Lara did well, for, you see, for you, 15 years? You see it in all sports. So, Melinga is in, and uh, so that threw into the offside behind point, and they run through for a very quick single. I, I'm not, I mean, I know it's difficult, and I know the game is, is tough, but when they've got the amount of invention that these players have, and they can, they can do all kinds with their wrists, and they can 
play 360 degree cricket and yet so often hit the ball straight at the fielder who catches it and they walk off in high dudgeon. Derek Willis, uh, for South Africa. hello to you, sir, living in Maryland. Maryland, sorry. Uh, get his teas from a very nice cricket-loving Sri Lankan gentleman who sells at a farmer's market. I hope he sells some cookies to go with it. Uh, Barnaby Shepherd gets back in touch with us. Rick Monday, who's the Los a is the Dodgers commentator, uses right. a hard G as in Los Angeles. Okay. You must be missing... Uh, Melinga is in, and it's uh, worked through uh, by Jimini uh, behind uh, point, and it's gone straight through for a single. Smart shot. Uh, sorry. So nicely dab behind, uh, sort of behind mid off, really. Not mid off. Oh. Behind but third man. There we go. Barnaby, you, if you're listening to Rick Monday, you must be really missing Vin Scully on those Dodger broadcasts. Uh, Jane Dodgers, with, perhaps then. Yeah, Jane with a Y. Um, has, uh, have my tickets to this year's CPL matches. No BMAC this year, uh, but not going to miss seeing Kane. Um, Mog. There sure is some excellent writing in GRM's uh, books, but there's way too much of it. Yes, that's true. As Malingra's in, final ball of the over. It's a bit of a full toss, and it's uh, hit through into the offside by Jiminy, who, uh, and they take a single to end the over. It is 255 for five after 45 overs. What a, what, what a, I mean, I'm not surprised that would be wrong, um, but I'm impressed with how George R. R. Martin can conjure a sense of place. His description of, of the different environments in Westeros and then over the seas are, are, are very pleasing to read and, uh, and very well done. But yeah, he doesn't do economy, that's true. 255 for five, five overs left to go. Do Sri Lanka get 300? Well, South Africa get sorry, 300. Sri, uh, do South Africa get 300? Eight times out of 10, I'm saying yes. Mm -hmm. How about now? Now I'm saying yes. I think they get. Uh, I think they get 315. I think there's 60 to be had. Okay. In five well, overs. How about you? I, I think they're gonna. I think they'll probably get the 45 runs for 300. I'm not sure they're going to get much more than that, though. Okay. I think three. I think 310, 315 is going to be quite a long way away because there's not a lot of batting to come after this. Parnell can still hit a long ball. I he, think. Um, yeah, he can also spoon it straight up. He and can. Back down again. Uh, Rabada hits a long ball. Admittedly, you know, he you wouldn't want Rabada in with any more than an over and a bit or so yeah. to go. But these two have, have batted very well. They've batted with invention as well. They've played. Uh, all around the ground. We've they've seen only, deflections as well as lusty blows. They've only played 17 balls between them, though. Yeah, they, and they've scored 25 off yeah. those 17. So if they continue at that rate, and one could argue they should accelerate, because they did block a few back yeah. early on, so, then um, 3.15 is on. Yeah, but uh, so it's uh, Lackmouse final over. He's uh, just uh, moving his fielders around. So, yeah, he's on one for, for 45. Uh, he's had a... Uh, Five and over, that's pretty good going, especially on quite what is quite a fast at over lap ground. Now that the uh, now it's dried out quite a lot, you can definitely tell it's uh, picked up in speed. So, yeah, there's no, none of the Lankans have been collared, none of them have been hit out no. of the attack. Pradeep's been very much, I think, the pick of the bowlers, but uh, none of them have bowled badly by any means. Uh, Lakmal is in over the wicket, and uh, Jimmy just again, similar shot to the, his last one, but went for. It's a difficult start, though, for Lachmal because he's been hit for four off the first ball of the overs, so that puts the pressure on him. Is that him. an edge? Uh, it's an under edge. There's no way that was getting out. Yeah, that, that, you know, I'm just, just wondering about whether that was a, a false shot. He was playing it late. I think he was looking yeah. to hit it behind square, but yeah. it was the edge that brought it so fine, Yeah, I think. But it puts the pressure now back on Lachmal. I said they'd be looking for one over with... 18 or 20 I was predicting the 47th or the 48th well we're in the 46th now and with a four to start the over off one has the feeling that two more boundaries in this over will make it a very big one for the South Africans so they're uh, just moving uh, Thuranga uh, back behind the keeper in sort of a, sort of a slip or go yeah they're giving him a slip yeah they're just trying to stop him running the ball to third yeah. man so yeah oh and uh -oh. Uh, yeah, he's uh, is in, and it's been hit behind uh, behind square on, on the offside again. Although this time they've only got a single. Yeah, Prasanna um, seems to be somewhat animated there. He's the man who's in that backward point position. I think uh, he, I think he thinks he's had a chance at that. Yeah, I think he th he's thinking if I went in the five yards I was asking to go in, that he would have been in with a chance of catching it. He wasn't in control of that shot, Dominey, but um, he got enough bat on it to get it into the kind of area he was looking. Hmm. And um, 
I'd be interested in your view, gentlemen, about uh, a cliche which I'll come out with in a moment. Um, but I heard being rubbished by Graham Swan the other day. Well, do we need to really talk <laughs> about it if that's your precursor? Okay, uh, so Lackmal is in, and um, it's a little bit leg sidey that ball, but uh, all that Morris can do is work it through to uh, short mid on. He's got uh, away with that one. Yeah, he has. And there's that's no a, run. That's a that's a ankle high full toss on leg stump. Yeah, it's and a, it's a way it's way right. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit lucky not to be called wide really. Any further to the right, and that would have uh, been a definite wide. Well, I often find myself uh, here saying, "Oh, he's delivered the job description there because he's followed up the boundary with a single." And um, Graham Swan was uh, was saying that, that that was not true or not the case. OK, so Lackmal is in. And again, it's another sort of full but very leg sidey ball. It's worked through uh, behind behind him on the onside. And it's uh, picked up by the keeper who does his own fielding. Yeah, he doesn't want Morris to free the arms here. Mm-hmm. And uh, that makes sense. But Swan was saying, if you've hit a four off the ball, why can't you hit the next ball for four? Why is it a good thing to hit the next ball for you, a single? I remember hearing interviews with... Um, Legendary West Indian cricketers, and you know, it, they, you bowl them, this, bowl them the same ball in the same spot, and they would block it as if to go, well, I can just hit it for four anyway. I like. Yeah, my it, my thinking on the you hit a six or a four, and they follow it up with a single is as follows. Um, you you've hit the boundary. Yeah. The it's next ball. Black mile is in, and it, yep, yeah, it's uh, very very wide on the offside, but. Uh, uh, it goes over the bat of uh, Jiminy, and there is no run. Yeah, he was he was watching the batsman there. Was Only in one day cricket can you get a, a, a sweep shot played two foot outside off stump. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so the the reason why I think following up the boundary with a single is is a good option, is that any batsman in any part of any game would take a risk free five off two balls or a risk free seven off two balls. And when you've hit the boundary, you should get a risk free single next ball. So why not take it? So it's uh, oh, and it was going to be the last ball of, of Lackmal's over, uh, Lackmal's over, but uh, it's very wide on the leg stump, and it is rightly given a wide. He is three inches away from having him absolutely banged to right. Totally exposed this leg stump because he'd gone across too early, and Lackman's only just missed it. We give him this. Wide. Actually, maybe on reflection, six inches, but yeah. never mind. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's re- it really is a batsman's game. The batsman can move around as much as they like, but six inches outside the stumps bowler, go back and do it again. Yeah, so this should now be the last ball, and he's in. It's gained wide on the offside, but uh, there's no run. It's just straight through to the keeper. Silly, predetermined nonsense from Dumini, three balls yeah. in a row. Well, the, one of the reasons for that, and we've got to give Taranga some credit, Taranga blocked the run down to third man, so... The gap in the field is now on the leg side, so Dumini has to fetch the ball from outside the off stump into the leg side in order to score those easy runs he was picking up earlier in the over. But if so stay, I'll, if I'll he, give a nod to Taranga. If he stays where he is, though, all those balls are wide. That's yeah, if he stays where he is, I don't think like my balls in there. Oh. But I, I, I take the point. I take um, the point. I have some tweets to catch up on, so uh, forgive me for just a moment. Jonah... Uh, Jonah Jones turns around and says, fair play to Malinga with that terrible technique. I'm surprised he hits the wicket at all. They don't <laughs> ask how, they ask how many. Um, at Renikita, uh, people just don't buy fantasy books anymore unless they're brick-sized. It's soporific value for money. Yeah, Dr. Dan, Do- Dr. Dan has sent us a lovely sketch of Hashim Amla. Um, first, we take Manhattan. Uh, two and a quarter hours in, Murray had a break in the second set, but chokes it away, serving at 5-4, otherwise totally in control. Wow, it's tough. Tough tennis, though. It? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Messi Jez, Graham Swan and Truth have a very casual relationship. Yes. Oh, and uh, first up is a wide for uh, Malinga. Oops. Wow. <laughs> Really wasn't a good ball there. There was no attempt to sort of befuddle the the uh, batsman. It just just kept swinging further and further away a bit, rather. From uh, uh, yes, I, I, I again, I'll, I'll take that point. It's slightly in defence of Malinga. If you say, would you rather bowl it 
to Chris Morris and give away a wide down the leg side or be wide outside off stump. He'd give the leg side wide mm-hmm. away every day. Yeah. And he uh, comes in again, and um, this time it is a bit wide of leg stump, but Morris just steps back and smashes it straight through to the onside, uh, the offside, and they take a quick single. And again, Malinga's won that little battle there because Morris, uh, knowing that he couldn't to free his arms has retreated a long way to leg yeah. side and still couldn't free his arms because Malinga followed him with the ball and I'm sure you're going to say Al that had he left that alone it would have been a wide well, which is um, true first of all welcome to Raj Bahana welcome to the party Josh Robinson has um, t- t- takes exception to your to your logic Gary he, Go he goes the logic Gary Naylor is using implies batter should always take a single rather than going for a boundary no but I think, I think yeah. that's not quite what no, you're saying. No, it's just when you get the four or the six, take a risk-free single next ball. Yeah. You've got five or seven off two balls, That's which right. you'd take any day of the week. Malinga is in, and this is on the toes. It's it's almost York length, but uh, it's sort of pushed out into the onside uh, by Gimini, and they run through for a quick single. 265 for five. I mean, obviously, with the exception of that, if you're three down in the last over of a T20 or a 50, then, of course, you know, it's all guns blazing. But um, the rest of the time, you know, five or seven off two balls. Whew, yeah. Ruffy there says that the boundary single sequence, I suspect, is a, ban- a batsman self-control technique so as not to get too excited. Yeah, there there's a bit that. of that. There's, there's a, a bit of that. As Malinga runs in and he bowls, it is... Oh, well, well, that is... That's uh, full and filthy and it's another one of these. Wide. You know what he needs to do? He needs to bowl it closer to you or him. <laughs> Sorry, just, carpenters. Just, yeah. You were, I mean, for someone who was absolutely military straight for those first four overs, couldn't yeah. fault him. Couldn't fault him. He seems to now be maybe inside his own head a little bit too much. This yeah. is also the most bowling he's done in the game in about two years as well, to, to be fair to him. He's been out injured for so long in various formats as he comes in. And this is a much better ball. Oh, it spills through his hands. It's hit straight back to him. But uh, he's not quite able to uh, hold on. And, but still, just the one run from that. I'm, I am reminded of the last ball of the 1979 World Cup with the uh, West Indies playing against England. King and, Viv. And, and Viv hits it straight through Mike Hendricks. And Richie Benno says, very wise choice. Who wants to be a hero at this time of the <laughs> innings? Well, Ooh. when that ball was coming towards Malinga, he should have done this. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle. He should have waddled away. Oh. Um, he did get fingers to it, and uh, the fingers nearly went to the uh, fence. So Malinga technically has made two dropped mm-hmm. catches. Malinga is in, and uh, it's uh, on the ons- uh, hit through in the onside uh, to the deep fielder. Uh, they take another quick single. Now, here's a question for you guys. There's two balls left in the over. We've seen two wides, uh-huh. but there's been not even a hint of a boundary because of the line that Malinga has bowled. Yes. So is this a successful over? Is Malinga p- paid those two wides? Is that a, a reasonable uh, price to pay Let's for the fact that, that I, they I, haven't hit the uh, we've boundaries? We've got two balls to go. True. As, uh, Malinga is in, and Morris does try to free his arms this time. It's partially successful, but they're still only able to get single run as he s- hits the ball straight back. Uh, I, I don't think that you can place the value of the wides into... Uh, the the knock-on effect of the what so it's not like it's not like the where, where the wide has been bowled has turned around and influenced the batsman's decision. Oh, so uh, I think uh, I think it, all that it is is that essentially the the, va- the value in the two wides is only two runs to South Africa. But I think that that Chris Morris is back and away so far here because he knows that if Malinga's going to be one side of the stumps or the other, it's going to be the leg side. Malinga is in, and uh, they've, he's tried a ramp shot. It's been successful, and it's gone for one of these. Yeah, so it rather spoiled my point, but um, that was a different kind of boundary. And nope. I think that's kind of the problem. The problem is the wines, A, they give away free runs, and B, it's not like he's then followed it up with, with a couple of perfect dot balls. Each time they've been able to keep the strike rotating, and it only means they just need the one boundary from the over to get, you know, sort of yeah. nine and over. I mean, I, I, I absolutely take, take those points, but the damage at this time of the innings comes from boundaries. And I think the, the, a key reason why there was only one boundary in that over is that Malinga showed them that he was only going to be missing on the leg stump side of the wicket rather than the off stump side of the wicket, which means that the, bo- the batsmen have got to 
get outside leg stump themselves. Sorry, okay, I've got a couple of tweets. Um, Smooty, at Smooty68, I'm going to miss the BMAC jingle. Even my 10-year-old sings it at times. Today we had to go through over what a cute angina is again. So I hope everything is okay, Smooty. And I think we can find a way of probably playing you the BMAC jingle at some point today. Um, Jonah comes back and says he disagrees with the single after a boundary. Um, should play every ball on its merit. If it's rubbish, punish it. Well, I probably agree with you to some degree on that. Josh Robinson turns around and says it's a fallacy that throwing a six makes it less likely that you're going to throw a six another, another six next time out, except we're not dealing with consistent probability and it's about risk appetite and risk so, capacity. Uh, Bowler's now true. Pradeep, who is in, and he's uh, uh, pushed back, uh, sort of hit back over... Uh, to uh, mid off and they take a quick single uh, Ravinair also says that the Dhoni making your mind up jingle is also one I will miss lyrically now yeah. I know we've got some old jingles in our archive which is available for a small but yet reasonable fee um, okay. but I'm sure that we could uh, I'm sure that yeah. we could facilitate a, a BMAT jingle at some point in the day not not necessarily now, we're at no. the business end of the innings. but It's too exciting. Maybe I'll, I'll try and find it uh, before we sign off for a little break between Absolutely. the innings. Um, yeah, it's not quite... I'm not talking about six and six, like throwing the dice, because as you, you say, Al, it's the batsman's decisions about what to do with the ball. But we know that batsmen have their hitting areas, they have their run scoring areas, and they will take additional risk in order to put themselves in a position where they can move the ball into the run scoring areas. And what I'm saying is after you've hit the six or four, you don't need to take that additional risk because you can just help yourself to a single to anybody inside the ring even um, quick tennis update Del Potro has immediately handed the break back to Murray Murray has taken the second set with an ace 7-5 Murray up two sets to love two hours and 22 minutes though for two sets uh, seven, six, seven, comes five. in and uh as uh, Dumi, he free, he's able to freeze on a bit but he still finds the field uh, at uh, sh uh, sh um uh, it's sort of short on and they just take another single yeah he missed out there uh, Dominic yeah. it was a fairly long half volley and he did have the option he, he wasn't cramped for room but he, he got it a little too straight and it went uh, straight to the fielder and Chris Morris is uh, taking the long handed handle bat out I think there I mean, they do have options with the bats, and at this stage of a match, they often go for a longer handle and with additional weight low in the bat, knowing that the ball's going to be very full. So you want to make sure you've got plenty of weight at the bottom of the bat rather than in the sweet spot yeah. in, the, in the middle, or the traditional sweet spot in the middle. As Pradeep is in, and again, Morris is actually able to free his arms again, but he's still found, found the fielder in the deep for another single. Just, if, just a point about your point about a batsman moving the ball around. Isn't it necessarily that the batsman moves the bowler around? If you because the batsman knows where the batsman knows where he wants to hit it, but so does the bowler. Yeah. So it's the idea of that. Well, actually, if I can, I can maneuver you around and where you bowl around to free my but major you, scoring zone. If we take Stephen Smith, he will go so far out off outside off stump in order to get the ball into his leg side scoring areas. There's obviously a bit of taking a chance there even though Smith seems to do it all the time with impunity so, Leap is in he stays over the wicket and it's uh, hit nicely through by Dumini into the offside they take another quick single and, but he, he wouldn't need to do that if he's hit a six he knows that the next ball that comes up he can just push it in you know drop and run essentially if you like and think, then he'd be happy with it I think there's violent agreement that basically what you're saying is that you, you're playing the ball on its merit no, and if it's and if it's if it's a single, it's a single. If because it's in one day cricket, you don't always play a ball on its merits. That's the oh, point yeah. I'm trying to make. You as a batsman get yourself into a position on the crease, in front of the crease, the side of the crease, deep in the crease, where the ball is then your decision. What kind of ball that is? Pradeep is in, and Morris does swing his arms again. Oh, oh. and it looks like they, yeah, they've run through for a stupid uh, single, and it is another wicket. I mean, that was a great throw. It was a great throw. I mean, it went straight into the uh, into the stumps, but there was no way that single was on. That was a bit of desperate sloggery at the end. Uh, yeah, but you've got to take panic. you've got to take them on. Um, you know, he's he's going to hit the stumps what one time in five there. So you'd take a twenty percent chance, wouldn't you? And with with two overs to go and still uh, five. Five men to come in behind you. I think it's a reasonable chance. I'd, I'd, uh, on this occasion, I'd actually go the other way. I'd say that it, it would have been the first dot ball in near enough two overs. I think. I think on this occasion that the, the risk of exposing what is you know an elongated tail to when they should be looked to these slogging overs was I think too great. 
I think with JP Dumini likely to take most of the strike, you're, you're only asking a Parnell to face maybe three or four balls. I, I mean, I, I, I take the point. It was, it was literally you hit, I miss. Um, yeah. I, but I reckon the, the odds were about 80% that he would miss. He had to gather the ball cleanly. He had to throw down stumps looking at what one and a quarter stumps he had time the thing is he also had time, he had time. that he was had the time. main thing that that's he was close enough that he did yeah. have time well morris had given it up he was yeah. saying if I, if you hit i'm out um there was no chance for the bowler to get back and on balance i'd say it was it was fair it was fair enough to do that i mean i have a i have a thing about one day cricket which is you should always have at least one run out in a in an innings because if you're not having one run out you're not taking off chances with your runs if you see what I mean I you're turning down too many singles it's, that's slightly predeterministic yeah. and I've, it I've is. figured out I figured out what was wrong with go on what's been wrong about when you've been talking about this theory oh, of yours new batsman by the way Wayne yeah. Parnell <clears throat> is there's been something that's been annoying me about it and I couldn't remember There's, what it was uh, Pradeep is in and he's uh, staying over the wicket to the left handed Parnell who, to, to Dumini who uh, pushes it through to the offside for one of these yeah well done Dumini manipulating the ball well here. two plus two is the man two plus two is the should we jingle up the new bats I ah. think we should and that big butt rides to lane scuff scuff and I'm grinding hard like I'm fucking Wayne Parnell Wayne <laughs> Um, um, Parnell, like Wayne. Wayne Parnell. I think Parnell is a Muslim, is he? Converted to Islam. I uh, couldn't tell you. I'm not sure if he's observing uh, Ramadan. If he is, I think there are dispensations given to sports people to, to, athletes, to yeah. eat and drink. Well, there, there so. are several pil pillars of Islam. One of the traditional things is if you can't fast, you, yeah. you strengthen one of the other pillars, such as uh, charity. Yeah. And there's lots of um, big banners in Tooting making it easy for the local population to uh, make Ramadan donations. It's pleasing to see. Uh, Tim Everingham has tweeted in and asked whether Donny's jingle would be the Eurovision winning Books Fizz song, combining two loves, cricket and Eurovision. Yeah, it, uh, it very much is that. Gorilla Eurovision next year. Yeah, that we've talked to, about that, it. That has to be. We've talked about it. So, um, score is 281 for six, uh, the start of the 49th over. Malinga is to continue. He's on naught for 51 from his nine so far. So this is his final over of the innings. But he's going to have a rub down after this, isn't he, Malinga? They've, they've said that they, well, they've basically set their stall out, haven't they? We can defend 300. Yeah, yeah. 315 looks a long way off. That was yeah. my shout. As uh, Malinga is in and uh, Parnell backs away, he uh, hits it through into the offside and uh, the batsmen take what looks like a, a quick scamper two runs. And uh, Parnell got uh, outfoxed a bit there by uh, Malinga. He was expecting, again, no width to work with, but he actually got a wide ball and he was too far away to make a clean connection so they've they've bowled they've bowled smartly here of yeah. the uh, of the Lankans was it Chandamal who ran out uh, Morris there it I looks like so. it yeah it was a it was a very good throw as uh, Malinga comes in again to uh, Parnell who oh, he look he makes just hit that but then he leaves it and oh uh, they attempt to throw down uh, attempt to run out but he's uh, kept his bat uh, well grounded yeah he got done by the slower ball yeah. there he was through the shot and almost round round for a second go by the time yeah. the ball arrived I think if he had you know kept through that second attempt he would have just top edged it straight to any fielder yeah Dominic's just telling him to put bat on ball mate I'll do the job just, just get off just drop a single they had the um, the replay of Mar a close up of Morris's face yeah and he, he looked like it was the classic uh, line from Anchorman. I am immediately regretting that decision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Melinda is in again. Ooh, uh, and, uh, is that the same ball as before? Pretty much the exact same <laughs> ball. Uh, Parnell backs away. He tries to swing his arms, but he's on it too early. It goes over the top of the ball and it actually bounces on its way through to the keeper for do, no run. Do you mean he needs to go and have a word with him? Yeah. Every Just, time you try and act like a hero, it makes you look stupid. Yeah. We need runs. No, with Malinga keeping it on what is quite quite a tight wicket to wicket line, he might be better off. So just playing with a bit of a straighter straighter bat and working to his uh, onside, perhaps. Uh, this is for you, Al. That was a dubious point, <laughs> made with hyperbolic conviction by Gary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Parnell. Well, he's uh, eaten up two of the. Uh, two of the balls of the 49th over here by trying to hit the ball himself instead of dropping it and running. Yep, so he's in again, and this time he... 
<laughs> he tries to be a bit more uh, or, um, orthodox there. Again, uh, just gently pads it back to the bowler in the end, though, for well, no run. Well, he did try and drop it and run. The trouble is he was through the shot again too early, and yeah. it caught a, a leading edge. We've seen a lot of those. Yeah. And Malinga tidied up. And Dominey, to be fair, goes down, gives him the, the fist tap there, because Parnell did do what Dominey told yeah. him to do, but he just couldn't quite execute. Or do you reckon he turned around to him and went, have you batted before? <laughs> Do, do you know how it works? But there may be a change of plan now. There's only two balls left in the yeah. over. Parnell might as well go for the big hit now. Absolutely. As uh, Malinga is in for the pronouncement ball of his spell. And uh, again, that's a much better shot. It's a, much, it's a wider ball this time, but he swings his arms. He's able to connect. The, there's a chase uh, from is that, uh, Prasanna, who uh, chases down the ball and returns it to the keeper for two runs. Yeah, the Lankans are very hard to identify under the uh, hats, many of them yeah. with shades on, and without the uh, somewhat ill-advised uh, highlights that the bowlers are favouring, yes. it's, uh, it's quite hard to identify one Lankan from another. Um, but yeah, Parnell was just happy to get bat on ball, it went yeah. up in the air. I mean, it's, it's getting to the stage now almost where anything goes. Seven balls left, they'll be looking to get the 15 to get up to 300. I think so. And you're right, I think both... Both teams will be relatively pleased with that 300. I think, I think so. South Africa will be devastated. As, uh, as Malinga comes in and Parnell just uh, swings, it goes up in the air, but it manages to land safely. It's behind square on the leg side and on the onside, offside, and they run through and uh, they try for two, it looks like, but uh, there's been a throw down at the striker's end and they've uh, indicated to look for the run out. Well, he didn't get the dive out there, didn't Parnell? I think he mm -hmm. thought it was. Uh, he was in easily, but it was a yeah. decent throw that came back over the stumps. And if they'd made two, that is a well run two. Well, because it, it was, it was a, a tr a, an awful hoik, uh, which yeah. is a thick edge, but he caught it on one bounce and spun and threw pretty quickly. Yeah, so. and Dick Weller was very swift with the gloves, getting the uh, bails off. It's an oft underrated skill in a keeper. So Got yeah, up to the wickets back. quickly. I think this is in, yeah. This yeah, is it's in, in easy. Uh, uh, Easily, and you th I mean, there there were times That's when South Africa looked like they were going to get 340, but for most of these 50 overs, 300s looked a decent score because it's yeah. only really Faf and Amla who've got going on this wicket. Like uh, I said, no, certain Amla needed either Faf to be there longer, yeah. or he needed um, ABD Morris. I mean, to, to, to be around for, for longer. I mean, granted, also, Amla didn't need to run himself out on yeah. 102. But. Yeah, Dominey's got 27 from 16. On the face of it, that looks a good innings, and it probably is a good innings, but they, there's, hardly a, there's hardly been a time shot other than that spell in the middle when Faf and Amla were going so well. Otherwise, the bowlers have been pretty so, much on top. Pradeep comes in to Dominey, and uh, it's wide outside the off stump. Uh, there's an attempted sweep by Dominey, but uh, he misses entirely. It goes through to the keeper. Uh, but no run scores 287 for six uh, after one ball in the 50th over. And Pradeep really has bowled well here. He's in his 10th over. He has two for 42. Yeah. And, but he's, he's, he hasn't just bowled the tight line. We've seen him throw it wide of off stump quite a few times, but They've got away with it a bit because the way they've constructed the rest of the over means that Dominey's trying to hit that ball to the leg side. Yeah, there's. I mean, Sri Lanka, <laughs> I mean, Sri Lanka have shown that, that their skill and experience in the limited overs form here yes. with their bowling. 50 overs Pradeep, form. Yeah, with uh, Pradeep coming in and it's hit through <laughs> behind point on the offside and they've scampered through for a single, scores 288 for six. We've, we've had news from our oval correspondent, Katie Scott. Apparently, when the decision is playing, they are st they are playing. Should I stay or should I go? Ah, uh, Big um, Jones of the Clash. And from our French Open correspondent, first we take Manhattan. Murray is now a double break up <laughs> in the third set. This one's pretty much over. Played better so. as the match has gone on. Yeah, I think he's finding form. Well, I mean, I can't say because obviously I'm busy watching the cricket, but it does sound that uh, he's sort of just groping his way back to form and fitness. A well, he's an old hand tournament yeah. play now, and in these two-week tournaments... Um... As uh, Pradeep comes in, it's game wide of the offside. Uh, there's... Uh, just bounces over um, Parnell's bat, and there's no run. In these two-week tournaments, you really need to... Um really need to ease your way into them it's no good peaking too early yeah there's been some uh, it's, it's been some very good uh, death bowling here from Sri Lanka they've really not given away much at all especially in the way of uh, boundaries so oh yeah no he's not quite through that uh, shot early enough and uh, he misses entirely as Pradeep is in for the fourth ball 
and gain another attempted uh, sweep on the uh, from uh, quite a long way outside the off stump. Uh, but Parnell is able to scamper through for a single, bring Dumini on with uh, two balls remaining. By the time that uh, Parnell played that shot, Dumini was almost shaking hands <laughs> yes. with him. That could have been an embarrassing run out there. Um, two more tweets. <laughs> um, Jane with a Y uh, asks all the Twitter listeners out there, roll call, who's played Google Doogle Cricket? And what's your top score? I have played it, Jane with a Y, and I've uh, scored 68. 157. Um, 157. A working day well used on Monday. Absolutely. As uh, Pradeep comes in for his penultimate ball. Uh, shot. It's a lovely shot. Straight and down along the ground for one of these. Uh, or oh, not. Oh, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'd offer to sing it for you. It's... Uh, it's... <laughs> Four. 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 Yeah. I was trying to line up the uh, McCollum jingle. Not a huge amount wrong with that ball, uh, but uh, Pradeep sent it in on the uh, on the leg stump, on the off stump, but uh, just slow enough that Dumini could swing his arms and he just hit it straight along the ground. Uh, and it went nicely into the boundary bisecting the two deep fielders. Uh, Barry Goodman, it's Gary who's coughing up a lung. Last yes, ball sorry. of the over. And it's a, ooh, it's a bit of a full toss. And again, Dumini is able to swing his arms and it's straight into the crowd for one of these. Well, Sri Lanka would be disappointed in those last two balls. And uh, to be fair, Dominey was going to be on strike regardless. Yeah. He was calling Parnell through um, because he knew he had to do something off those last two balls. He hit one for four, one for six. Mm. The South Africans finish on 299, giving us a nice round and easy to recall target of 300. As I say, I think both sides will can take uh, some pleasure from that uh, score the South Africans getting up to 300 after what had been a very difficult hour and a half and the Sri Lankans by restricting them to 299 um, having looked like uh, conceding 320 or more for um, in the middle of the innings uh, so my feeling is uh, my feeling is this is a bit of a coin toss I've got uh, I'm 50-50 on how six I see this game going 6-5 to five in pick em either way Marg asks what's the big what's the verdict on Malinga's big return I think he bowled well. Um, yeah. He's not the Malinga that he was. He's not breathing fire and breaking bats with toe crushers, but um, I think he, I he's think got he a lot of nous. Exhibited a lot of uh, game smarts. Yeah. I mean, uh, My concern is that because he's got such an unorthodox uh, bowling action, that I don't know if in, in a history of recent interest. I'm not sure he can manage the whole tournament. And without Matthews and without Sangakara and uh, Char Wardner, they're very, very low on sort of experienced old hands who can uh, guide the team. Yeah, um, I think he, he did bowl well. He led an yeah. excellent bowling effort in which uh, only five bowlers were used, rare in an ODI. And between them, the most expensive was Prasano at uh, 72 and the least expensive, I think, was Pradeep with 54. So yeah. there wasn't much variation in the figures and there wasn't much variation really amongst the bowlers. who bowled to plans. The fields were well set by Upal Taranga. Um, the fielding wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. And um, I think the Lankans have, uh, have given themselves a shot in a match yeah. where they started out very much as second favourites. So I think, they've, uh, I think they're very much uh, on a level now. I think it, the South African innings was a firework that didn't quite go bang. Yeah. yeah. I think, it was, I think the, it was all there. And quite frankly, and then just... The last 15 overs, what we thought was going to materialise just never happened. Yeah, it's only two batsmen really got going. Um, there was uh, Faf and uh, the Centurion Amla. The next highest score was Dominey's 38, 10 of which came off the last two balls. Yeah. So um, nobody really collared the bowlers and nobody really looked in on an oval pitch that seems to be still a little sticky. Um, but we have had two requests. I, I, will, I will just 
I will show you the, 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 the way that information and the way you get it shapes how you feel about certain things. Barry Marshall I, McConnell I was, with you. I was, about to, I was about to say to Smooty that, that her... That their, Marshall their, McLuhan, their sorry. Google score, their Google cricket score, Score of, of 22 was, you know, and it was going to be laughed at compared to 130 odd. 157. 157. And then I got a, we got a tweet here from Sa at Sally R56, who scored 461. <laughs> <laughs> Lara esque. Okay, that we're going to give you two more work required. Two jingles before we take a little break ourselves. So I think this is the right one. So that was the innings of Brendan McCollum Scores lots of fours because you don't like to run them And here we are waving Brendan McCollum goodbye Whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, we are waving Brendan McCollum goodbye doing that for some time but if so. you if you want a bat like brendan mccullum you can buy one from the gorilla ah, merchandise very good very the, good the, the gorilla cricket bat is made by the same people who made brendan mccullum's bat and uh, he's doing a fine job on comms it has to be said uh, uh, oh. so you like to bat up high and then you want to bat down low then say wags in, then he's out, then you wear the gloves, and then you want to bowl. And soon you will find that there comes the time for making your mind up. Yeah. That is the genius that is James Sherwood, who has an election song, uh, which I'm sure you'll be able to find with a bit of help from Google. Because um, in the UK, on the uh, Thursday, 8th of June, we'll be making our minds up. Well, we're off to raise a glass of Bucks Fizz, or a version thereof. We'll be back on comms in about half an hour's time for the Sri Lankan chase of 300 in order to win this Group B match in the Champions Trophy. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Applause. Yeah. But and, uh, what a morning. 18.3 overs. Is that the record? 111 uh, balls. Yeah, that's that the record. Is, uh, that's, yeah. The two, shortest two ever first innings of a test match. Of a test match. Australia are all out for 60. Stuart Broad uh, has taken 8 for 15 in 9.3 overs. Poor Robbie's looking a bit distraught over there. He's hanging his head. His first visit to Gorilla Cricket, and uh, it wasn't, you it wasn't can stay. suspicious. You can stay. We'll buy the You're poor man a beer in a bit. Come back. <laughs> well, the crowd are on their feet. I mean, some people are probably uh, late getting in because of traffic or something, and they may have missed five wickets. But what a morning. Well, it's not even a whole morning. No. Uh, with, with England, as you say, are going to have a dodgy minutes. ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. Um, England, three for five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So at this well, point, you, you think New Zealand uh, you've should got have been given day, a, a longer series, shouldn't they? If you've got <laughs> third-day tickets, get them on StubHub, nice and quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, a good, comfortable catch by Stokes. It was a good height. Um, he hung the bat out outside the off stump. And Broad, well, I mean, as I say, a year ago, people were talking about his, his batting having gone completely and his bowling being ineffective. Um, but put him on an English seamer, and he's as good as anyone. Yeah, and he's uh, now equal Fred Truman's uh, 307 as well, isn't he? Caught well up done, with Stuart. the Fred stuff. Well done. That's very good indeed. With lots of power to add. Yeah. No. The bowling figures, 9.3 overs, 5 maidens, 8 for 15 for Stuart Broad. Wood bowled 3 overs, no maidens, 1 for 13. And Finn, 6 overs, no maidens, 1 for 21. Bit expensive, not going to be happy with that. No. And uh, Broad is being interviewed. I don't know why he's being interviewed. He should be getting his pads on just in case, the way wickets yeah. have gone down this morning. <laughs> he's getting that shower, mate. <laughs> Uh, a 9.3 over spell uh, in one hour and 40 minutes and he's just ripped apart Australia Australia are it's fair to say in dis a fucking ray can we find out what the best figures for an England scene bowler ever are does anyone know 
Ooh. Well, it just goes to the record uh, there. There'll be uh, eight, eight what, fillers eight, will be on the top for, of that. Eight for 43 was Bob Willis. Nine, uh, Devin yeah. Malcolm, oh, yeah. Devin Malcolm nine, Malcolm nine, yeah. Nine, yeah. Nine, nine for 50, was it? Some, 57, yeah. Um, well, it's up there with, with... I mean, they'll be talking about this for years to come, and they'll be saying, I heard it on the, the secondary feed of Mixler from Gorilla Cricket <laughs> because the tune-in was down. Yeah, we're going to have Mixler <laughs> as a permanent feature now, I think, uh, if it takes that many wickets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, well, what are we going to do? We're going to have a little change around before... Uh, Lunch, Hendo, do you want another spell? No. I, I thought it was Paul Bear, Bear, <laughs> Bear, do you want to do a bit of ball by ball before lunch? Mm. Uh, he needs to... Oh, OK, so we need some housekeeping. Ditch needs to oh, do right. some computer work. Oh, right. Uh, okay, Dan right. Lucas will stay on uh, tweets, and I think the Bear will come in... Uh, jingles, do some, jingles. You, yeah, you do jingles. Gorilla, gorilla <laughs> cricket are being bought a pint. I think I heard that correctly. <laughs> well, we, we're seeing most wickets for England. Anderson four one three, both them three eight three, and they took it off the screen just as I was looking. But uh, well, only three, five two, people. Five. five people have got over three hundred. Stuart Broad joined them this morning, and he joined them in the grand manner. And he yeah. joined Fred uh, Fred Truman on three hundred and seven. Yeah. Yep. It, it has yeah. to be said. I mean, Stuart Broad bowled well, yeah, and there was sideways movement, but but the Australian. Batted abysmal. Yeah, I thought, I thought they were they were poor. You know, the, I mean, oh. we said before the start of play about them pushing too hard at the ball, and so many of them were out in that fashion. You know, lack of foot movement, pushing too hard, playing with their bat away from their body, and you know, the only one who's really batted well in English conditions so far in this series for them, you know, it's Chris Rogers. It's Chris Rogers. I yeah. mean, Smith Smith got that 200 at Lords, but that was on a feather bed where you know my my grandmother could have got. You know, uh, 200 on that, and she, she, well, she's been, and she's been dead since 1987. You know, so, but uh, none of them are bad very well. You know, none of them are bad particularly well, and uh, you know, they've all pushed way, way too hard. Yeah, and well, for English well, I can hope that the England yeah, batsmen have watched that and 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 will learn the lessons that need to be taken from that. Yeah. Will Lyth, because that's how Lyth's out a lot of the time, isn't he? He he nicks off with flashing too hard. So uh, I would like to see England 20 for no wicket at lunch with. Every one of those runs have come off the outside edge along the ground through the slips <laughs> before. That, uh, sorry? Yeah, Kent are taking a hell of a beating from North Hans, says Dan Lucas. But no, no one's interested in that because North Hans are barely a county anymore, let's be honest. They're the sixth. Halfway the, to bankruptcy. They're the sixth, the best figures of all time for England, as Joe Wow. wow. Mm. So w w we had the two Laker ones, the uh -huh. nine and the ten. Yeah, we got uh, uh, Devon Malcolm's uh, Devin, uh, Loman, G A Loman. George Loman took nine for twenty eight. Gubby Allen ever take eight? Uh, and then the next one, the next one after that, uh, it was Devon Malcolm. Then it, then it was uh, S F Barnes nine, for, Barnes. nine for one hundred and three. Wow. Uh, and then the last one, uh, two more after that, I think, is it? Uh, yeah, Loman, uh, who took eight for seven, and uh, Briggs, J Briggs, Johnny took Briggs, eight for eleven. Johnny no. Briggs. Okay. Was, those were both Big against South Africa in 1896 and 1889, so a very, very long time ago. I think Johnny Briggs got <laughs> dropped for um, something similar that Monty Panesar did. Oh, did uh, he? Uh, uh, at some bounces. Not, not the bloke who played Mike Baldwin in Coronation Street. No, no, not that Johnny no. Briggs. Oh, no, right. no. <laughs> the the uh, England bowler who had a bit of a... bit of a reputation. But I believe that yeah. is the... Uh, if, if Briggs... Was a, if he was a seamer, it's the second best by uh, an Englishman in Ashes. Is that right? Second best. Right. Players? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, that's uh, Lake. Uh, well, Lake. No, Laker was it? Laker was it against Australia? Uh, uh, Old Trafford 56. And he did it. Actually, Laker did it twice in the same game. Like Ten and nine. Ten and nine. Yeah, yeah, of course, he did yeah, in the same 90. game. Yeah. And uh, then, yeah, that's apart from Laker. It's the best it, figures it, by an English seamer the, in Ashes history. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Apart from yeah, it is the best figures by Azima. Yeah, again in, in Ash's history. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Well bowled, yeah. Stuart Broad. Well bowled. Well done, Stewie Rui. Uh, right, I'm going to get out. Did anyone see this coming? Honestly, no. Uh, the bag uh, saw something coming, but I don't think it was that. He has had some bets. He wants me to do something, but I don't know what it is, and he's disappeared now. Uh, right, so I'm going to get out. Okay. Find out what's going on. Thank you, Ditch. And uh, I'll be back later. Yeah, the last person to take an eight for in uh, in Ashes over here was Glenn McGrath, wasn't he, for Australia at Lords when he yeah, went to us? That, yeah, that was that was terrific bowling. Um, but I think he probably he probably bowled better than Stuart Broad did. He did. Not to take it yeah, anywhere from Broad, did. but um, it was a damp one at Lords. I seem to remember yeah. for Glenn McGrath, and yeah. uh, he he was he was unplayable that day, wasn't he? He really was. He, he 
got bounce, he got sideways movement, and he was he was unplayable. And uh, what a good bowler he was. Well, so Australia 60 all out. Stuart Broad with eight for 15, and uh, you know as they say they are in disarray. And uh, England face a tricky 10 minutes here before lunch. Uh, uh, Hendo's they, joined us. They do, but what strikes me is uh, looking at some of those wickets again. They, I mean, Australia didn't play the, the, the ball very well this morning, but there was a bit of extra bounce, and, and, and with a little bit of movement and the the bounce, I think that's probably what caught them out as much. They as also they all play massively in front of their pants, don't they? They don't, okay. don't wait till the ball comes to them. Well, the only one was Chris Clark, but then he was driving. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, and then I think Chris Rogers does that most of the time. Yes. He, he went at one very early on, didn't he? And, yeah. uh, and well, losing him so early. In a way, Rogers was the uh, the other way, wasn't he? Because I think if he had played in front, he wouldn't have got that late movement that caused mm. him to uh, nick off to second slip. I mean, I think England bowled well enough to get five wickets there this morning, which is yeah. pretty good in itself. Yeah. Uh, but they've actually got a team out. That's that's incredible. Well, I mean, this is this is it, isn't it? I mean, Australia are shot now mentally. But, they but, must be mentally shot. But what is well, it about Australia? Is it the pitches, or is it the Duke's ball, or is it a mix of the both? I think it's or? a bit of both. Really. I, think yeah. I think it's a bit of all those things. But I, I do think that that, that that they will talk about the bounce here because I mean, even when playing, you know, I think if you look at. Um, the wicket that, that Scott Smith he, he was it was a ball that he prob probably wouldn't have played at if he'd been standing in an orthodox position and he's moved across we've said that but also it bounced more than he expected I think it's just I think they, that we've had that extra bit of bounce you could say though that Australia should be used to bounce having played on places like Perth and, and yeah. you know and uh, quicker wickets like that but um, I think it's been I think even when the ball hasn't moved that much it has bounced which has made it more difficult for them to control their shots both, both pitches uh, that suited England have had a bit more carry haven't they yeah. Edgbaston and Trent Bridge yeah. which not only goes sideways but they've, they've got a bit more zip in them a bit more uh, carry and not rocket pace as well I mean, yeah. I mean the Aussies should be able to bowl well on this yeah, yeah well, I, I think I Johnson thought, will be a The handful. problem is, I mean, uh, uh, 60 all out, you're massively behind the eight ball. I mean, even if we can fuck this up and get out for 170, we've got 110 yeah, run I, lead. I mean, yeah. I still I still don't think Australia bizarrely are out of this because they've got, they're getting out there to bowl when there's still going to be some juice in this wicket and it's still going to bounce. And these are guys who could make the ball bounce. I mean, you've got Johnson and you've got Mitchell Stark. Are they going to open with Johnson? Oh. Uh, Probably well, not. But uh, this no. batsman is at the crease. We'll not be short of an because we put in the team a lion. Yeah, Adam Lyon, top scorer in a series 37. His first ball is a swinger from uh, Stark. It um, starts on about leg stump, sling, swings into his middle stump, and he just plays it out to mid wicket for no run. Can we win a test match without your best players on the park? So bring Mitchell Johnson. And leave out Mitchell Stark. Yeah, trouble though, trouble. I mean, if we bat till lunch tomorrow, we got a handy lead. Oh, we? absolutely. But uh, this is is quite an important spell. I think this is a very important spell. Stark comes in second ball, driven at nicely by Adam sure. Lyon, doing what KP told him in the papers to play positive, and he drives that out to the extra cover boundary. Four runs, we're only fifty-six behind. Two plus two is on the I think if Edgbaston was a good toss to lose, this was a good toss to win. Mm. Indeed, indeed, indeed. That said, of course, you came in now and you see Lythe and uh, Coop batting, you think, oh, we've done quite well up to lunch, haven't we? We're probably about <laughs> 80 for no wicket. Yeah. <laughs> you, you think, well, you look at the score and go, oh, four for none, there's been a bit of rain or something. Yeah, really, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, very true. Um, yeah. Stark coming in to bowl his third ball is full and well outside the off stump left alone by line through to the keeper and there's no run swinging delivery too full if anything yeah and uh, too wide and too wide no well that's what they were complaining about wasn't it I mean the Aussies were saying that they're, they're, they're uh, they were too uncontrolled in the last they, they were striving for wickets but of course you are going to strive for wickets course, when you're, yeah. you know, I mean, so they were all doing a bit as well when I mean they were 100 and what behind last time they got 160 in the first things, didn't they? 130. No, they were about 145 behind, I think. I think Hazel would strive too hard for wickets at Edgbaston, and Stark, his radar goes, and his wrist sort of doesn't get behind the ball. Yeah, uh, next ball is swinging off. It's gone past it's very full again, and pretty quick by Stark. Left alone by Lyon through to the keeper, and there's no run. Of course, I mean, you know, Australia, they've got to feel moderately confident because Lyon has got no runs, uh, so they know that he's, his, his confidence is fairly low. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they've, they've bowled good balls in, in the main. I mean, I think probably two of his innings 
um, he threw away a little bit to wide balls he went yeah. after but otherwise he's been got even against New Zealand he's been got by decent deliveries very good, decent deliveries yeah Scott, I mean. Lyde's a bit like Moen Alley you know he's, he's, when he's on form he's glorious to watch you know mm. but he's, he's only sort of a couple of inches away from nicking off the second slip yeah, yeah well you know start full left alone this time by Lyde drags his hands away theatrically we even as I mean, he goes I, through the keeper no I, run I haven't seen a lot of Lyde batting um and, and I, I get the impression that me. he looks an attractive batsman. We, unfortunately, we we haven't had the chance to see how good he can be, no. uh, really, because uh, he's got out uh, far too early. There've been two, or, two or three shots just in, in these little innings, which have hinted at something. Yeah, and a lot then, of the, his wickets have been balls he should have left. Uh, I, think I, think, I only think two of those, to be honest, uh, well, from what I was looking at this morning when they did a whole whole reel of them. I think there were two. One in the last test. Uh, I can't remember when the other one was, but um, otherwise he's been got by pretty close to the off stump. Start full. Oh, wow, that's a good leave, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, arrowing in towards uh, off stump, shaped away a tiny little bit live, uh, knowing where his off stump leaves it through the keeper, and there's no run. End of the first over. England are four for none. Re- Renek Heater says, uh, time to rename Lords home of Australian cricket, if that's the only place in England they're comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a good call, actually. I mean, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, Lords, uh, the crowd's too diffident, isn't it, really? Hmm. Deferential? Yeah. Well, Going, going back to Lyde, it's interesting. At Yorkshire, you know, Lyde, Lyde sort of always had the ability and always had the shots, but never had the sort of the, or, you know, what they call the sort of mental application. That's well, quite un Yorkshire like. I also think uh, playing. Whereas Lees, Lees is, is more of an opener. He's like Cook. He's tall, left handed, and he's, you know, he's very straight. He's very solid, you know. So I think the other thing, playing all, all his cricket at Headingley, he's not going to leave that many balls. There's not going to be as much for him to leave there because it's not going to bounce as much, is it? It's not going to get up as high. You won't be leaving on length much at Headingley. Uh, we are, well, we have a new uh, bowl at the other end. We'll have a jingle after this ball. The first ball is on the pads, though, of Cook, who plays a lovely little clip off his toes out towards the mid-wicket boundary. It beats the field. It goes all the way there. It's four runs. It's a new bowler. It's all going very well. Oh, Who's the bowler? The bowler is, um, is uh, this man. Apples, hazelnuts, no, not that one. Raisins, coconuts, sultanas, Aussie crickets really going with a swing. George Hazel. Once hits keys with his stumps, he must be good. Josh Hazelwood. Much more thought in that one. Uh, the next ball is well wide though, too short, and uh, Cook just lets that through to the keeper, and there's no run. I saw something about uh, the people saying, "Oh, you know, the Australians think that Cook hasn't had a particularly good run in this series." Well, I think he's done all right. He scored at 96. I mean, the last mm-hmm. test, the, the second innings, he got out to absolutely and he, cork of a ball. And the first innings was just so bloody unlucky. I mean, freak. he smashed it straight into the midriff of. Uh, Voges, didn't he? And, uh, yeah. and it's stuck. Velcro so. Voges. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beardy Ed points out that Lees is having a crap season at present. Yeah, he is. That's true. Yeah, there isn't is. really anyone... Hazelwood bowls full and it's uh, defended stoutly out to cover this time by Cook and there's no run. But it, I mean, uh, for Lees, I mean, it, it's again, he's, he's still quite early in his career and you often find this and he found this with Lyle to a certain extent. He had one really good season when he first got into the Yorkshire team and then he fell away for a little while and that's because bowlers to a certain extent Bigger work you out. You out. Um, it takes them a season or so to do that. Uh, but then it's, it's really a case of how strongly they then come back after that. He's come back Talk now, nah, Glenn. He went, <laughs> he went and saw a sports psychologist live. And, Did he? Uh, they made him putt uh, golf balls into I'll tell you off his ball Hazelwood full outside off stump left alone through the keeper no run they made him putt golf balls from two feet away into uh, 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 you know into a hole and uh and he managed 212 in a row, uh, which was uh, from, a how far, good game. from how far away? From two, two, feet. two feet or two three feet away, which but it's, it's the actual sort of concentration they're trying yeah. to build up there. Right. Right? And it, it's, yeah. uh, it was a no ball, that one, by the way. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. look, we got another run. We're only 12 by 51. Over the line! Oh, a long way. Oh, oh, that's good. That was four Maham- inches, that. Mohammed yeah. Amir S. Yeah, it was only, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's on. He's on a spot fixing. Uh, that one's through the keeper and there's no run. People have been sent to prison for less, haven't they? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, hang on. Ah, so this is what it is. Australia all out for 60. Ah, is that, yeah. Yeah, is that a, a whiff of um, mm, something? Mm. Oh. Bit, of, bit of Hansy. Oh, bit of Hansy yeah, going. Yeah, indeed. Um, we should have, uh, we should have um, jingled up this man. Do a deer, a female deer. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Uh, uh, Matt Harrell um, instead he said left alone through the keeper once again no run says uh, any chance you could cut the Stark jingle short to can't win a test match 
Oh, good. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. We'll get, we'll get no, because we don't gloat. No. Uh, I'll be gloating at the end of no, this one. We're, we're, impartial. <laughs> we're impartial commentary here, yeah, aren't we? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. well, I'm having a celebratory beer, so I might... Uh... I always feel like, uh, if, you, if you really get down on the Australians because they're not doing very well, I, I feel, always feel a bit guilty about that because you feel like whatever you do, their press is probably killing them even more. You know. So. Yeah, I mean, I do like reading the Australian press when they're getting hammered. <laughs> it's quite amusing. Uh, here we go. Hazelwood in. Good ball. Then to uh, round about the off stump of uh, Cook. He gets up on his toes, plays it nicely out into the Offside cover and there's no run. I've noticed Malcolm Conn, who is the, uh, the most, birthday boy. He's the most jingoistic oh, wow, Aussie yeah. media Happy guy birthday, out Malcolm. there. <laughs> And uh, he's been tweeting a lot about Aussie rules, actually, recently. Is he just, oh, just trying to sort of yeah, divert the, yeah, attention. Yeah, the cricket perhaps, hasn't yeah. been sort of top of his agenda. How yeah, strange. It's yeah, uh, yeah. to be even less so now. Well, it does it? tend to happen in Australia, doesn't it? If they're not doing well, they kind of yeah. forget about it. Yeah. We should, well, uh, in fact, we should speak to Brett, because I said to Brett as being 3-1 to England uh, before this Ashes series. Mm. And he said, ha, ha. And I said, yeah. Hang on, Brett, it could still be 4-1. It could still be 4-1, exactly. I hope I'm right, though. It 3-1. could still be 2-2. It could still be... Yeah, well, yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, Juliet Clancy says, Good afternoon to my favourite anarchist commentators. Can't listen as tune in is down, but can uh, imagine whoops of joy. You can listen. We're on. Uh, so that's driven a little bit on the up and a bit on the outside edges. I imagine it bounced before it got to the line. Who's at point? There's no run. Can you tweet back to whoever that tweeted in? Uh, yeah. Juliet. Um, in fact, I'll do it from my phone. Lyth doesn't need to play that sort of no, shot. He doesn't. He's got two minutes before I lunch. Yeah. He's got two minutes before lunch. Get yeah. your head down. Mm. Leave as much as you can go to lunch and start again absolutely totally um, you know he's played one or two good shots already uh, and, and that seems to make him want to, to get on the ball doesn't yeah. he yeah. he gets excited he does he? I think he does I'll do yes. it from here uh, ok um, oh that's left alone um, by live outside is off stump and it goes through to Neville and there's no run this is, according to David Franklin, the first time in Ashes history that extras has top scored. Oh, God, how many extras were there? Oh, there brilliant. That's buys. fantastic. There were a few leg buys. A couple of no balls. A few yeah, there, were, there were a yeah. few, weren't there? I mean, yeah. uh, but, I mean was Johnson got, was the highest uh, scorer with the bat, wasn't he? He got 13. So what, how many extras were there? I reckon there must be, what, 15, 16, something like that? What were they? Leg buys, probably. Mainly they? leg buys, yeah. You'd imagine so. Yeah. Uh, Lyde faces up to Stark. Third ball of his second over. Uh, he comes running up to the crease now, delivers, and it's full. And uh, he thinks about drive. It looked like that. He Lift does. His, bat his eyes lit up. He does all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, well, well, he's got a big flash. It's, it's a, it's a full ball outside your off stump. You must think, oh, I'm going to come out of that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. But when you see what's happened no this run. morning, you have to adjust your expectations. I think there were 14 Instrats. extras, 11 leg buys, three no balls. 14 extras. So yeah, 14. Uh, Top score was Johnson. Uh, Johnson, 13. Yeah. Yeah. Clark with, with 10 so that was and did Lyon get into double figures no he got uh, 9, no, nine. Okay. that's a terrible score call 0, 0, 6, 0, 10, 1, 2 13, 1, 4, 9 extras 14 Australia's total <laughs> is actually lower than their country co- dialing code <laughs> <laughs> full now that's a good ball very full swinging pretty quick 89.4 miles an hour well defended by Lyon out to the offside and there's no run uh, I think the one thing I like about Lyle, I've got to say, is that even though he's had low scores, he still seems quite chipper. Oh, positive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, And he I often see, that's what I got annoyed about with Compton, you know. Oh. He seemed to be sort of... Withdrawn. Withdrawn. Yeah, going Com- to shell, yeah. Yeah. Compton, a colleague of mine once said, uh, Nick Compton is the only person who's ever asked him for an interview, rather than being approached to be interviewed. Nick Compton asked uh, him to do an interview. Oh, my God. It's odd, isn't it? It is slightly that's strange, odd, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Suggest someone low on confidence. Uh, Stark up to the crease, bowls again to live, leaves that again, uh, through to Neville, and there's no run. What well, time have we got to lunch? This be should be the last over before lunch, shouldn't it? Start, yeah. crank, cr- start cranking out to 88 there, so uh, he's, he's coming through quite sharp. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I see that Rod Marsh is still whistling and looking to the skies. Yeah. What was he hoping for? Rain or something? <laughs> <laughs> he's wondering yeah, what time the book is all over. It has brightened up. Although you wouldn't know it, because he's still got those wraparound sunglasses on. You think you get 500 to 1 on a very big space between his top lip and his nose where his tash used to be it looks yes, a bit odd on his face yeah. he should have a moustache shouldn't he yeah. I mean, he's, he's a man who should always have a moustache Stark in bowls oh, driven no. gloriously oh, by Lyth out to the extra cover boundary oh, like a tracer bullet all oh, the way like to the a, boundary uh, he again. looked like a left handed Ian Bell there yeah he did oh, 
for me. I must have two or three. I need four. That was just that was a sumptuous that was shot. Gorgeous, wasn't it? Yeah. That was gorgeous. Uh, I mean, you've got to got license to play, haven't you? Know when when that score on the board, you've got to be positive. I think. And that was the last ball before lunch. It was a bit aerial. If there had been a cover, traditional yeah. cover, it would have been straight into his arms. But uh, he probably wouldn't have had to move. But it wasn't one. Uh, and England go to lunch 13 for none after Australia got themselves all out for 60 it was a glorious morning and Scott comes in and goes what the fuck is going on <laughs> welcome back ladies gentlemen everything and everything in between to as I lose the uh, the fuzzy baffle off my microphone I shall endeavour not to say anything that starts with a certain letter that might cause some uh, audio uh, difficulty suffering succotash now can't you, <laughs> you, you you've lost your fuzzy end uh, the fuzzy end is uh, now back on. Oh, yeah, welcome back to Gorilla Cricket's coverage of the ICC Champions Trophy. You are listening to uh, uh, Sri Lanka versus South Africa, the uh, third game of the tournament. And uh, South Africa made, uh, after a decent start, made 299, uh, anchored by uh, a wonderful 100 from uh, Hashim Amla. Uh, uh, good uh, contributions also from Fav Duplessy. And uh, down the order, uh, of course, he scored runs when in imminent danger of getting dropped, J.P. Dumini. This means that uh, in order to cause what would be the first big upset of this uh, the tournament so far, Sri Lanka will need exactly 300 runs uh, to win. There at the Oval, we are in Sydenham in, uh, in uh, south-east London. Uh, I am Knuckle M. Pandey. I will be uh, guiding you through the first 10 overs and uh, to my left on the tweets. Uh, that would be myself. That would be uh, Alan Hotchkiss or at Al Hotch. Uh, it's a very gettable target, isn't it? Uh, I think it, it, the game is in the balance, I would say. Uh, what do you think, uh, Alec, to my right? Uh, I think, yeah, we could uh, see it going either way. My money moment is more on South Africa, I'd say. Were I a gambling man? Are you a gambling man? No. We, hence why I'd say, were I a gambling man? I, I was going to say that makes my next question redundant. OK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think... Um, I'm an occasionally gambling man, but I'm not uh, not on not on this game. I would I would probably have South Africa, um, 65 35, perhaps. Uh, that could all change very very quickly, particularly given the uh, the identity of uh, the man uh, who will be opening the bowling from the Vauxhall and the uh, recently uh, named the uh, the ICC's number one ranked bowler. He's just turned 22. He's a genius. He's this man. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. And the best bowler in the world starts with what almost certainly should have been a wide. Uh, the uh, Sri Lankan openers, who will jingle up in a second, are, uh, are frankly livid that that wasn't given a wide down the leg side. It wasn't a great delivery from Rabada. Um, not quite sure what Gunnar was looking at there. That's a clear one day wide. I think, uh, he, unless he's saying it's brushed his hip. He must have brushed his hip or something. Alec, if you go to the audio wall, the tab where it says audio wall, right, yep. there's a search function, a find function. Top left. Top left. The magnifying glass oh, yeah. there. And then just type in the... Uh, the jingle. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll jingle up the uh, Sri Lankan opening batsman. Uh, one of them just uh, pushes this into the offside. There is uh, no run. He's only taken sixty-four wickets in thirty-eight games. Mike, I've always thought I mean, Rabard, Rabard has been. Oh, uh, but two wickets a game is about right for a good uh, one-day the, international bowler. The, but for the best bowler in the world, who's got best figures of six for sixteen? Okay. Got the first. Uh, yep. uh, jingle. Yep, one of five uh, potential wicketkeepers in the Sri Lankan squad pushes this one into the leg side, gets off the mark. Sri Lanka's chase of 300 is underway. I think uh, Rabada showed on, um, on the, particularly in the game on Saturday, he was bowling deliveries that were too good to edge. So I think there's some of, there's definitely some of that going on. But I think two wickets a game. We've been, we've been all um, sort of beavering away in the stats minds. Um, in the run up to this tournament, and about two wickets a game seems to be about right for the for the for the very good bowlers. It's quite rare that um, ODI bowlers take more than three wickets in a in a game mm. on a consistent basis. Uh, wickets seem to happen around him, but not for him. Uh, good bowlers often take wickets at, at, at the other end, as it were. This one yeah. back of a length and guided out by the other Sri Lankan batsman, a hugely experienced man and uh, captain today, and also a potential wicketkeeper. He's not in gloves. So don't forget it. That's just a silly phase that I went through. And 
just because I got cold Ooh, Dickweller backs away. Good length delivery from Rabada. And Dickweller get, had an almighty swish at that, trying to smash it over the covers. Missed it completely through to the cock. Oohs and ahs. It sounded almost like a cry for help. Where the fuck is every shrink and that's going to keep? It's a fair point. Well, they've only got five bowls. One ball for the round yeah, four and a half if you count Gunnar Rutney. Uh, in comes Rabada, right arm over from the Vauxhall end. Uh, pushed across Dickweller, who pushes nicely into the covers. There was a slight hesitation in the running, but uh, the, uh, the man at cover didn't feel it cleanly, so they could come through quite quickly in the end, or quite easily, rather, in the end for a single Dickweller to two. Have we any tweets uh, after the resumption? Uh, we have uh, a couple of tweets, Ravi Nair, uh, disparaging of the now uh, usual huddle that happens. Um, Told them to get their magnificent asses into gear again. Uh, we've got a message from uh, Mark. Um, just found you lads online. Hi, Great Mark. take um, I'm not in gloves. Um, got a, a listener in uh, called Adam, listening from Bunbury in Western Australia. Awesome call, lads. Um, thanks to Adam and Steve, who obviously uh, put you on to us here at Gorilla Cricket. They've all got Sri Lanka winning easy. Easy? They've yep. got a, quite a talented... Uh, Top order there, Upul Taranga, Nershan Dikwela, Kusal Mendes, Dinesh Chandamal, Kusal Pereira, Chamara Kapugedra, uh, Gunaratne, and then into the bowlers, Prasanna, Lakmal, Malinga, and uh, the worst number 11 in the world, Nuan Pradeep. Uh, we, uh, from the uh, pavilion end, a uh, man who bowled beautifully the other day at Lords. He is uh, left arm over, we'll jingle him up in a second. Starts with a little bit of uh, swing as he did uh, get at Lords, just away from the left handed uh, Dikwela, both Dikwela and Taranga left handed. Clipped up to Imran Tahir at mid on. There is no run. This is his jingle. Parnell. Like Wayne. Wayne Parnell. Yep, it's not so little Wayne Parnell. Bowled fantastically the other day. Left arm swing into the right hand. Um, sorry, yeah, uh, back into the right hand. That one's very full and. Uh, a little bit of uh, shape again on leg stump. Dick Weller jabs the bat down and up to mid on. There is no run started well already, Wayne Parnell. The first bowler to get any appreciable movement through the air. Yeah. 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 There was, there was a little bit of swing earlier on in the uh, South African innings, but it was all from on the very rare occasion that the, uh, the uh, Sri Lankans were way outside. So, yeah. Um, he's, I mean, both Rabada and Parnell, right from the very beginning, bang on point. Yeah. Uh, Rabada's not. Uh, usually a swing bowler, just usually just a little bit off the uh, off the pitch. But this is uh, definitely arcing uh, uh, from leg to off for the uh, the left-handed batsman. Dick Weller tried to make room and uh, use that swing, but could only find uh, point. There is no run. Slightly risky from uh, Dick Weller because he opened himself up a lot there, left all three stumps exposed. If, uh, if that one just dips under the bat, he's a goner. Absolutely. So there's two slips in the set by A.B. De Villiers. There's also a man at short third man, a man at backward point, a man at cover point. Uh, mid on, mid off. I imagine the two men back then are in the sort of square leg region and the cover sweeper region. This is nicely pushed down the ground by Dickweller, but a, uh, a good sliding diving stop uh, from is that Umar and Tahir yeah. at uh, uh, mid on. Uh, some uncharacteristically strong fielding from uh, from the leg spinner and uh, Dickweller moves to three. I think Anna, as Tahir goes, South Africa will go because I think he's one of the few genuine bowlers who can take wickets in those middle overs and do it so, and do so in a cluster mm. as Indeed. well um, yeah um, Sikuge Prasanna we actually all sides have been sorry have been reluctant to use spin in the tournament so far Australia didn't play Adam Zampa uh, this is uh, two legs sidey from Wayne Parnell trying to get that one to do a little bit too much trying to get that magic ball the, uh, which swings from leg and hits off and it's just uh, clipped around the corner to uh, the uh, baby giraffe on ice skates that is Mornay Morkel at long leg Taranga is... Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, Tequila on three. Oh, no, sorry. What am I talking about? Uh, the, uh, the Chiron was a little slow to switch over. Uh, that was indeed Taranga who clipped that one around the corner. He's two off two. Uh, a contrary point to at Mark OEL. Uh, Gorilla Cricket, he says, uh, South Africa to bowl Sri Lanka out for 180. 180? That, wow. that, that would be a crushing victory. I could see that happening. Uh, down the track comes Tequila. Carves this one over the offside. There is no man at... Uh, at deep cover, so this one will race away for the first one of these of the uh, uh, the Sri Lankan innings. Uh, not not now particularly well timed. Going. Great guns, I hit the ball. Four runs, I 
Yeah, I don't think it was perfectly timed from uh, Dick Weller, but he uh, he knew the space was there over the covers, so as long as he got it over the infield, uh, the oval uh, surface, which is quickening up a little bit, would do the rest after two. So Sri Lanka, nine for no loss. Uh, we've got two tweets from Jane with a Y. Um, talks about New Zealand only having four keepers in their team, so obviously needing to, uh, <laughs> to up the game. Um, she also talks about, uh, Nakul, you've just reminded her of the uh, hilarious uh, Pradeep dismissal from a few years back. So I'm not entirely sure about Yes, about uh, on, uh, on the England tour that preceded uh, uh, India's tour in 2014, this one is uh, from Rabada, just back of a length on leg stump. Taranga clips into the leg side. There is no run. Facing up to a bouncer, uh, Nuan Pradeep uh, tried to hook slash flail, missed completely. And ended up toppling backwards onto his stumps and smashing the stumps with his bat. Nice. Um, and falling like a like a tree. Reminds uh, me of the famous Botham dismissal that got uh, that got John as in, oh well. in, a, in, a, in a flash. Oh, Alan, do stop it. Uh, in comes a Rabada. Short ball and... Oh, Rabada's dropped it. He's actually dropped it three times, to be honest. Uh... It was a pull shot that uh, Taranga was through way too early, spooned it back to Rabada. The first catch he dropped would have been tough, uh, going back against his own momentum, uh, going to his right when trying to get off the pitch to his left, but he parried it up in the air, and then the uh, the second and third attempts to drop it uh, were not uh, successful either. <laughs> Slightly comedy stylings, yeah, back of a length, banged in. Actually, oh, no, 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 no. I think we were fooled by uh, Rabada's... Um, jelly-legged attempts to take that. That was actually a much easier catch than uh, uh, I they thought it was in real time. It's a lot easier in uh, slow motion. Uh, yeah. it's just, it, it went straight back to him, uh, right in the bread basket. Court and balls are never easy when they're smashed back at him, as this one is uh, defended back to him. There is no run, yeah. but that's that's about as easy as you could hope for as a fast bowler. I, th- I think Dick Weller has managed to uh, hit him in the safer spot, <clears throat> which is in the hands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're obviously seeing this uh, again. It's another, oh. it's, uh, another uh, gun fast bowler dropping a relatively simple catch. Oy. Oy vey. Yep. Uh, but uh, good signs of life uh, in the in the oval uh, pitch. It is starting to quicken up a little bit, perhaps, or maybe that's just the impression of Rabada. Oh. That one's quickened up. But that's a wonderful take from Quinton de Kock. Uh, that's hit some sort of hidden trampoline and uh, gone ballooning over Taronga's head. And uh, I don't know how Quinton de Kock has managed to jump and stretch and pluck that one out of the air, but he has. Uh, it's a wide, obviously. Why? Taronga would have needed another Taronga on top of him to, to be able to hit that one. Do you think he's bold with emotion there? Hmm? Uh, yes, I think there's a little bit of extra sauce gone into that one. Just a little bit. All well, of the chilies in the kitchen have been... Yeah, unless it, unless it was Shaquille O'Neal who was batting there, it would have been a, a yeah, wide. It would have been a stretch. Um, this one, uh, and that's exactly what de Kock had to do, is this one is uh, very tight to middle stump, and uh, Taranga hurried into a defensive shot. Uh, Mubadi going bowling with good pace and... Uh, Good aggression here, trying to cramp up Taranga, who is uh, very, very strong through the offside, uh, particularly off the, uh, uh, particularly off the back foot, uh, in classic left-handed opener fashion. Uh, we have doggerel. We do. Well, end of, uh, end of the over. End of the over. Yeah, it deserves its own space. In comes Kahisa Rabada from the box all end in bowls uh, down the leg side, and uh, well, that really should have been just clipped around the corner for four by Taranga, but again, just hurried it a little bit and. Uh, it uh, bounces off the splice, really, uh, down through where short leg would have been had this been uh, a, uh, a test match. But obviously, uh, no such aggression uh, in these early stages of a one-day international. There is no run. I uh, love watching Rabada's run up. He's, he's it's holding just so he? effortless. Holding esque. You can tell he's an athlete. Yeah, it, impeccable balance. It's not a particular. It's not a hugely long run up, but just a. Some perfectly balanced strides, and then that coil and release of flow through the crease. This one is uh, pushed into the offside. Taranga examines the bottom of his bat. Uh, just the one uh, off it, with the, which was that, uh, that tennis ball-y wide. And uh, Sri Lanka have survived the first three overs just about intact. Doggerel away. Doggerel away. <clears throat> Dr. Dan's words. Uh, sigh. Sri Lanka's greatest sin was not to keep de Kock in. Amla starts slow with the bat, then a century. That's that. And that's all we've got. Ah, short and sweet. Short and sweet. Interesting idea about uh, keeping in a non, uh, the batsman not in form. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily expect that you'd want Quinton de Kock around for too long if you were the fielding side, given his um, 
given his record. Uh, Jane with the Y says that Trent Bolt would have caught that one. <laughs> Trent Bolt's a wonderful fielder. Uh, Parnell continuing from uh, the pavilion end. Uh, bangs it in uh, back of a length. Uh, defended again into the offside by uh, Dick Weller. He's favouring uh, staying outside leg stump and uh, trying to work through the cover region. Uh, there is no run. Ten for no loss after the first ball of the fourth over. Yeah, I've seen Trent Bolt take some ridiculous court and bold catches. And actually um, in, the, in the sort of gully region as well. Mm diving far, full far, length far more aggressive intent from Sri Lanka as compared to the start of the, Sh- the South African innings uh, yeah just a little bit I mean the uh, ooh, uh, <laughs> ooh. certainly there from Dick Weller who uh, seems to be wanting to uh, get on with things certainly perhaps uh, thinking he might not survive that long trying to defend uh, this one is uh, attempted slash over the offside it uh, takes a flying top edge goes miles and miles over the slip cord and then down to the boundary for one of these two plus two is on man Dick Weller very much not in control of that shot in any meaningful way. He's trying to back away to the leg side and give himself some room, but uh, I think Parnell saw him coming and followed him there and it just cramped him. He's, and that really could have gone anywhere. He's batting like he's got a restaurant reservation for half past six. Yeah. And uh, why not? In Ooh, that's a hideous delivery down the leg side. Uh, uh, Dick Weller moving around and uh, just combobulating Wayne Parnell, who fires this one down the leg side for another wide. Wow. Even Nirosha and Dickweller couldn't try and get leg side of that one. Uh, we are, for some reason, seeing uh, this in uh, this flying top edge over the slips in uh, fairly hideous slow motion. He was, was in no sort of position to play that shot and crash it through the covers as he was intending. But he's uh, ridden his luck to uh, 11 of 12. How long will it last? This one, uh, he comes leg side and there is uh, a gap at mid wicket. The man uh, there is back on the boundary, so it'll be an easy single to Nirosha and Dickweller. Uh, Parnell uh, ruminates upon life as he uh, trudges back to his mark. Uh, hasn't uh, he's been a little bit back of a length in this over thus far, not to, not giving it the chance to swing that we were seeing in the first over. I know these uh, white balls don't stay shiny and swingy for that long, but uh, still four overs seems uh, excessive. Uh, this is Fuller and does swing a little bit, but uh, it's still too, started two legs side. It's an easy clip off the hips from uh, Upal Taranga. Moves to three, down to fine leg. Have we any tweets? Uh, Ravina is uh, alerting all of us to the, the good news that Andy Murray won in straight sets against Del Pocho. Seven, six, seven, five, six, low. Yeah, we saw the final knockings of that in the, in the green room. A, uh, uh, a slight capitulation from the Argentine there in the third set. Um, Mog says, please note the football team I shunned going to see tonight to listen to you actually won. Uh, so it was the right choice. Yeah. There's a certain amount of self-denial there. It's not, uh, we're seeing uh, the identities of the uh, offside ring for uh, uh, South Africa, who can only watch that one as it uh, goes flying over their heads. Dick Willow again backing away. Got slightly more in that, but it's again slightly... Uh, uh, outside edgy, outside halfy, but uh, they, what do they say? If you're going to flash, uh, flash hard, and uh, he did indeed, and four more runs out to deep point. <laughs> if we're being generous, we'll say he picked the Wayne Parnell slower ball. I'm not sure he did entirely, but uh, it, uh, he managed to get enough on it to slice it away over the uh, the point region certainly the way you could see his, his wrists breaking as he hit the ball it was deliberate oh and uh, the Nereshan Dickwell has somehow uh, to contrived to uh, uh, clip that into the leg side despite the fact that he was in no sort of position to play any kind of shot to that he backed away miles outside leg stump Parnell followed him Dickwell I'm sure was looking to that hit that through cover until the last possible second when he just decided to clip it through the vacant mid wicket region a reasonably uh, decent over from uh, from Sri Lanka there, that's what, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 off the, uh, off the fourth over. After four, Sri Lanka 22 for no loss, chasing uh, a further 278. Uh, we are relatively light on the tweets, so please uh, please keep tweeting to us at, at Gorilla Cricket. Happy to hear your views on cricket or, you know, life, universe, anything. Yeah, uh, we're in a sort of post-prandial lull on the, on yeah. the, on the tweet machine. Yeah, you know, just... Ask a gorilla. Just anything you like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are here for you. Yeah. Uh, you even, yeah, homework questions, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's fine. 
Dick Weller taking a little bit of time to get set up facing uh, Hikisa Abada uh, up to the wicket now. Bowls and uh, hammered over the leg side by Nurishan. Dick Weller, has he picked out the man? No, he hasn't. The man at uh, mid-wicket is nowhere to be seen. Uh, another four to the, uh, the adventurous, shall we say, Nurishan Dick Weller. Yep, suitably uh, heavy metal jingle for uh, what was a real agricultural hoik over the leg side. Well, Some batsmen make that look elegant. I'm not sure Dick Weller did, but... Well, it's, uh, it's relatively risk-free. There's no There's no one anywhere near that. He just had to get uh, just, most just to of the bat the, on it. In a ring. Yep. There's no one in danger of uh, getting even a top edge. Oh, has Robada dropped Ooh. another Colton Bold? I think that one was a bit harder. It was much lower. Uh, so Dick Weller danced outside leg stump. Well, he danced outside off stump, then danced outside leg stump. Robada followed him with the full one uh, into the legs. Uh, Dick Weller trying to clip through the uh, the mid-wicket region has just smashed that back at, uh, at Robada here. And, uh, yep, he had to stretch out that left hand, and uh, it just didn't stick. That is one of those ones that does have to... Uh, it does have to stick first time, otherwise there's no chance. And, yeah, it uh, goes or it doesn't. Yeah, Rabada's, I guess you could say save four there, but uh, two dropped court and bowls, uh, one off each of the Sri Lankan batsmen, as uh, Dick Weller in more circumspect fashion just waits on that one from Rabada, which was uh, banged in, just clips off the hips for two. He's moved to 23 off 18. I think you're right. Um, Sri Lanka are taking, have taken a much more positive approach than either... Uh, de Kock or Amla manage in the first few overs I'm just a bit I'm a bit I'm questioning the field a little bit fine leg being one of the two back, uh, two fielders outside the ring seems a bit I suppose I they're, they're legislating I guess for Rabada's extra pace uh, deep in the crease goes Dick Weller and tries to smoke this through the offside but can find only De Villiers at mid I've got the throw away quickly but Dick Weller was uh, quickly off the mark and uh, uh, got the single and uh, Rabada has uh, overstepped so uh, Tadunga will have a chance to free his arms. It's a free hit. No, you cannot, but Rabada did, and uh, there was daylight between the back of the heel and uh, the front of the line. Uh, the field can obviously change because the uh, batsmen have crossed. So what's the field for the free hit? We've got a... We have, a, we have a sort of deep slip, almost short third man yeah. uh, region. There's a man uh, at backward point. There's a man at deep point. There's a man at cover. There's a man at mid off. Uh, I think on the leg side, we've got, uh, I think we've got long on, uh, mid on up. It's uh, uh, hit uh, hard by uh, Taranga from the, f- it's a full, uh, almost Yorker from Rabada outside off stump, but there is a man back on the deep cover boundary. So the free hit goes only for one. Tadunga kept his shape on that shot, uh, unlike a, a lot of batsmen facing the free hit, just try and swing themselves off their feet and end up missing it entirely. Uh, but uh, no, Tadunga keeping his shape and taking the, uh, the single that was offered to him. Uh, 31 for no loss in the fifth. Uh, de Villiers doing uh, a lot of the traffic redirection out there in the field. Uh, seems to be doing it with mostly with a smile at the moment. Rabada continuing over the wicket, strays down leg and... Uh, uh, there, the fine leg does uh, come into play. It's uh, Imran Tahir. Uh, in fact, it's a leg by it uh, just clipped off the thigh pad, which is why it uh, dribbled rather down to fine leg. And uh, they pick up the one leg by just a slight stray in line from Kahisa Rabada. Uh, Sri Lanka, I think, could be reasonably happy with their with their start as far going at uh, over a runner ball. Uh, Dickwell has um, been adventurous and uh, at times incredibly lucky as this one banged in short and Taranga camping on the back foot uh, tr- uh, was uh, beaten for pace as he tried to hook it through the uh, over the uh, leg side field uh, clangs off his shoulder into the offside uh, there is no run uh, but after five Sri Lanka 32 for no loss uh, Dickwell are doing most of the work on 24 Taranga on four just uh, content to let his junior partner uh, swing away merrily uh, first we take Manhattan, says, still with you. Uh, any tips for weaning oneself off a multi-sport addiction in pursuit of regular sleep? What I think you've got to do there is you've got to pick your sports at different times of the day. So you can start your day with some Australian sports like AFL, you know, uh, you know, National Rugby League and things like He's that. He's in Australia. And, well, in which case then what you do is you then go on to you know, your American sports, baseball. your baseball and basketball and stuff. And then finally, so it's about a kind of a 
you know, you generally, you know, you, you pursue the whole day in view of sport. But I'd say embrace it. Yeah, I'm the wrong person to talk to about uh, yeah. about running away from a sport addiction. Oh, me too. Yeah. Um, Paul Howarth, uh, I love Amla, but is there any danger he's made a bad century? I don't think it was a bad century. I think that he just got some bad help. Yeah, I, th- I think... It know, was a bad fall from A.B. de Villiers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Parnell... Uh, Continues. Uh, Dickwell has tried to smash this over the leg side. Uh, he's smashed it over some of the leg side, at least. Uh, Chris Morris was up at square leg. Uh, it went higher than it did long, but I guess there's not that much risk of being caught if you get most of it on, uh, most of the bat on it, and uh, that presumably was the calculation there from Dick Weller. Uh, it's a lot of work for two, but uh, it seems to work for him. Uh, that slightly top edgy clip over the leg side uh, from Dick Weller. It was slightly too short for the shot he was attempting there, I think. Uh, that's the sort of ball that uh, um, that's the sort of shot that you play to sort of the leg stump half volley just clipping it and drop kicking it into the stands for six still got the slip in still got the man up at short third man a man at backward point deep point cover mid off uh, in comes Parnell from the pavilion end strays leg side in it's uh, the work of butter moment to clip this one around the corner from Nirashan Dikwela oh no again off the uh, off the hip but uh, off the pad rather but uh, with that line, uh, bat or pad, the result was only ever going to be one of these. Some slight indiscipline here from uh, South Africa's opening bowlers, which we did not see at all from uh, Sri Lanka's opening bowlers. I think with regards to it, I think it's just it's a question of that Dick Weller is starting to move the, the field around. Uh, there's some of that, definitely. Uh, he's uh, slightly rattled Parnell, I think, a little bit here. This one's uh, fuller outside off stump. Uh, Dick Weller trying to guide this down to third man, but uh, can't beat short third man. There is no run. We've got a question from Ravi Nair. Oh, yes. Okay. Roshan usually means light, but knee tends to be a negator. So was Dick Weller born in darkness, or...? I think this uh, this is some, some Sinhalese that I'm uh, yes. slightly over my pay grade, I'm afraid. I'm, it's over mine, too. Um, Richard Peel. Uh, Parnell, that side off stump, a big inside edge from Nirashan Dikwila. Uh, sort of playing flat-footedly and with an angled bat at that one. It just seemed into him a little bit, and it's, uh, the thick inside edge takes it past the stumps. Uh, uh, Parnell looks uh, disgusted with life generally. Uh, yeah, lucky not to inside edge it onto his stump. Oh, hugely, oh, yeah. That could have gone anywhere. Yeah. It looked for all the world as though it was going to crash at the base of leg stump, but no. Singled up the fine leg, Dick Queller moves gratefully to 27 and uh, even more gratefully up the other end. Uh, Richard Peel uh, turns around and makes a, an impassioned plea to chuck Gorilla Cricket a couple of bucks to say thank you. They're really worth it. Cheers. I'd say we're worth it. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for that. You bet we are worth it. Uh, short ball and a nicely played by Taranga just uh, on the back foot. Uh, Swivel pulls this one past mid-wicket. Uh, uh, first one, Taranga's really timed out to the mid-wicket boundary for another one of these. Yep, easy pickings for uh, for Taranga there with uh, mid-wicket up and no protection on the leg side. This pitch doesn't seem to be quite the conundrum that it was during the first innings. Uh, no, the, the lengths haven't been the best from uh, from Parnell in particular. He's not quite quick enough to bowl at that back of a length that uh, Rabada was uh, doing. Another man reinforces the mid-wicket region, but this is pushed uh, to cover by uh, Taranga. There is no run after six. Sri Lanka, 43 for no loss. Uh, Ravinair, another question then. Um, sweet, strong black coffee as a sauce on vanilla ice cream. Interesting or sheer madness? That's an affogato, I believe. Yeah. Well, that's an espresso, I think, possibly over, I would, a, I would, over I would, ice cream. I would turn around and say more of that. Uh, first, we take Manhattan. Actually wants Gorilla Cricket to emulate NCR Tennis Podcast and do a jingle version of Eurovision in, pos- in podcast <laughs> form. <laughs> I think doing, a, doing an audio-only commentary of Eurovision where you can't hear the songs would be, would be weird even for us. Um, Mog, are South Africa getting their choke out of the way early? Early days yet, Mog, early days. I don't think they can afford necessarily a choke because with India in their, in their group as well as Pakistan, you could easily find yourself losing one match and then fo- losing a second or even a third. Uh, it kind of plays which, it also depends which order you play the teams in. This is hideous from Rabada going round the wicket and completely losing his line uh, down the leg side and... Uh, Gunnagool stretches the arms to signal one of these. Uh, 
Christ, <laughs> Chris the Choir um, turns around to you. First, we take Manhattan, who uh, talked about the multi-sport addiction, and says, it can be really infuriating thing when things like work, marriage, life in general gets in the way. Sometimes you just have to say no to sport. Never. Yeah. Uh, back of a length, Dick Willer backing away again and uh, carving this one to point. There is uh, no run. Uh, uh, Ebi de Villiers is sort of finding himself in a position where he feels he has one too few fielders. Uh, Gunnar Gould is uh, intimating that Rabada may uh, be encroaching on the danger area from... Uh, from uh, around the wicket trying to rough some life into this pitch which is uh, all of a sudden looking much more placid uh, perhaps the, the the cloud that was uh, hanging over uh, South London has uh, cleared a little bit and it's a glorious day in fact good Yorker from uh, Rabada Dick Weller, uh, leans uh, bodily down onto that one just to dig this one out back to the bowler there is no run we'll see if Rabada is indeed uh, uh, he's just uh, staying out of trouble there on that uh, area of the pitch that uh, first bowlers aren't allowed to follow through into but uh, Gunnar Gould's just giving him uh, a little bit of friendly advice it makes you wonder why they don't mark it eh? yeah. you've got to be careful these days because you get what one warning and then you get just pulled from the attack for the rest of the, the innings uh, back of a length that's a wonderful shot from Dick Weller uh, backed away I don't know how on earth he's managed to manufacture enough room to carve that one over the offside he's managed it and uh, really should have just, should have got four for that really it was a magnificently inventive shot as it was the man from third man came round it's Wayne Parnell down there and it's just the two from uh, Dick Weller but he's uh, he's matching some uh, some invention and some craft with his uh, with his boldness good bowling Good batting, good cricket all round. Yeah, you know, saw him coming, yeah. followed him, still managed to carve out the shot. Yeah, the the the, the, the battle between uh, Rabada and Dickwella is an engrossing one. Uh, in comes uh, Rabada. Uh, that's a magnificent shot from Nirashan Dickwella. Uh, there was nothing wrong with that ball at all. Just a length delivery. Dickwella may, well, maybe gave himself a little bit of room and swung this high over the leg side for a glorious six. Take that, best bowler in the world. Effortless from Dick Weller. He's been taking a step forward as well, hasn't he? He hasn't gone back into his crease to take that ball. He's uh, taken a step forward. Well, yeah, he's just he's just he's put those, set those feet wider apart just to anchor himself. And yeah, you're right. It's just uh, off the front foot, clipping Rabada for six over mid wicket, ninety meters. Uh, what will Rabada's response be here? Uh, well, his initial response is to be. Uh, uh, a, well, his, for his run up to be aborted as someone's moving behind uh, the bowler's arm Dick Weller just uh, taking a little bit of time out of the game here just uh, adjusting those, uh, let, let him those gloves let him steal yes, exactly. that delivery a little bit uh, Dick Weller crosses himself there so uh, well it is quick bowling so. <laughs> yeah, yeah quite pray to any deity available I think uh, uh, Rabada bowls full uh, smeared over the leg side again from Dick Weller there's no one anywhere near square leg uh, Two six four in consecutive balls off Rabada from Dick Weller. This is fascinating. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, vier. It is calculated. Mm. It, it, it's understanding that with the, the placement of the field, there is no one back deep on that whole leg side. So those two shots, if they go wrong, if they're mistimed in any way, there's no one there to take advantage. There's no one within 50 yards. No, if he'd got that wrong, it would have been two. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's a mistimed two. Uh, but he didn't mistime it. He, oh, no, he, uh, he got all of it and uh, uh, screamed into the mid-wicket boundary. Dick Weller, 39 off 29 uh, now. Uh, so he's uh, scoring almost entirely in boundaries. Cal uh, calculated batting thuggery. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think taking advantage of the fact that mm. you're right, you can only have two men, uh, two men out at this stage. Uh, uh, De Villiers has been reluctant to put one back on the leg side. Uh, there is now a man out to, to deep square. Uh, there's also a mid on. There are four men between uh, sort of short, well, short third man and cover point, uh, which makes Rabada's lines from round the wicket a slightly baffling. That's it. That's filth, I'm afraid. That's that is That's absolute filth. Yeah. That's a short ball, which has uh, gone miles down the leg side. I mean, that Rabada is wide, looking a little bit discombobulated all of a sudden. 
I love that AB de Villiers was beginning to joke about making the review sign for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was barely... Uh, Decock took that uh, sort of level with the edge of the cut strip uh, so far down the leg side, was it? Dick Weller just watched it disdainfully. Uh, actual last ball of the over is full, and uh, Dick Weller actually advancing at a Yorker there, which is uh, an interesting move, and turned it into a full toss. Clips the single up to mid-on, keeps the strike. Uh, taking the attack to uh, Kigisa Rabada here is, uh, is the Sri Lankan wicketkeeper batsman. Moves to 40. It's a one-man show. It is. And, and the, the next, I mean, I can certainly see that Parnell is going to get lifted from the attack. Yeah, we saw Mornay yeah. Morkel warming up in the captain's eye line there. Oh, he, he did that. I, I couldn't help but laugh seeing that all the time. It's just like, it's, it's, it's like a child looking for a, for a parent's attention. And yeah. Love. Uh, oh, well, it won't be, uh, Parnell won't be pulled from the attack just yet, despite going for 25 off his three overs. After uh, seven overs, Sri Lanka 58 for no loss. Uh, and uh, are really setting themselves up for a pretty handy platform here. This is back of a length from Parnell, quite straight. Uh, half a chance of a run out. The, the throw did hit the stumps, but uh, Dick Willow was home comfortably there for the man coming in from square leg. Uh, didn't really have much of a chance of uh, setting off the single. Nicely, uh, nicely placed by Dick Willow. They're just uh, taking the pace off the ball so they could come through for the single. Moves to 41. Uh, Taranga's just been watching the uh, watching the fun from the other end best basically seat. acting as Dick Weller's runner best seat in the house oh yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he's shared some opening partnerships with some uh, some very fine attacking batsmen in his day uh, not least Asana Jaya Surya and uh, Tilakaratne Dilshan and uh, this is uh, sort of in the Dilshan in, in that sort of mode isn't it it's not quite as you know Dick Weller's got a long way to go to match either of those two in terms of consistency but uh, in, in terms of the approach it's, uh, it's very much out of that school I know that I know that sort of great batch in '92 was kind of this sort of the inventor of that pinch hitter role. Ooh, a swing from Parnell. They're still getting the ball to swing away from Upal Taranga. Flat-footed waft outside off stump through to the keeper. There is no run. But the Shrikens have really that hard charging opener that can turn around and take the game away from you. Like batting first, batting second. It's, you know, with the likes, like as you said, with regards to uh, beginning with Jaya Saria and then. Moving on to, with through Dilshan, it, it, it seems to be something which is thoroughly ingrained, and there's somebody always there willing to take on that particular role. Well, it, it's a mould that's uh, it's a role that's worked for them. Uh, beautiful from Taranga. He is lovely to watch through the offside when he's in uh, when he's on song. That was a it was a half volley. It was a swinging half volley. It needed to be put away, but it was put away with uh, really a land from uh, Sri Lanka's standing captain. Four runs. The number of the day. Who could ask for more? The number of the day is four. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, minimum fuss, minimum effort from Taranga. Just a slight transfer of weight and uh, put the bat there and away the ball went. Parnell back of a length and uh, crashed over the leg side this time. Parnell's again gone short. Again doesn't have the pace on this pitch to trouble anyone. And uh, from outside off stump, Taranga has dismissively slapped this through mid on for four. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, vier. Alex is in danger. Um, Alex is in danger of getting RSI from <laughs> that four jingles he's had to play. From the first ten overs that I stood in, I was in that very chair. I, I, I only did batsman and bowler jingles. Uh, <laughs> Parnell has some recovery work to do. Uh, nothing, uh, no recovery there as uh, uh, clips, uh, sorry, Taranga clips into the leg side, picks up a single. Uh, Jane with the Y tweets that she, uh, she believes that no one in a fantasy league fell foul of any inappropriate names, but then no one tried Dickwella de Cock or Humping the Sexy Camel. <laughs> Um, Ravinair compares the rate of scoring. Uh, South Africa only reached 60 in the 13th over or so. Any fear of DLS? It is a pretty cloudless sky there over the oval, so I, I don't think anyone's anyone's expecting rain on the horizon. Mm. No, they certainly uh, put themselves ahead of the game. Uh, full from uh, uh, Parnell. When he's bowled full and got the ball to swing, he's looked all right, but uh, he seems to have uh, 
lacked the discipline and the consistency to carry that through properly. This one's just pushed to point. There is no run. Taronga's going at a run of ball, 17 off 17. Dickwell is going at considerably over that, 41 off 32. Sri Lanka is 68 for none after eight overs. And uh, really, if they, keep, uh, if they keep this rate going, they could, uh, they could get themselves into a position where they... Uh, um, they can make the sort of the middle portion of this game fairly comfortable. Yeah, uh, require 232 more off 42 overs to uh, to record what would be. Uh, you can't really say it's a shock, um, given that these are the best eight ODI teams in the world. But it would be a surprise as uh, Upal Tharunga takes the innovative lying down method of eating a banana. The, the there also seems to be a bit of a, an injury uh, assessment going on. Oh, uh, the hand with the banana is back. Uh, yep, there's some uh, work being done to. Uh, Upal Tharunga's uh, calf muscle. Uh, sorry, that's Dick Weller. Uh, perhaps just working out some of the kinks after fielding for 50 overs. Yeah. I'm hitting the ball too hard and it's hurting my body. Can you yeah. do something about it? Yeah. I pulled my Rabada 6 muscle. Absolutely. Uh, we do have a change of bowling uh, from uh, the Vauxhall end. It's uh, it's uh, Rabada who's uh, been uh, pulled out of the attack first, just to maybe just let him calm down a little bit, or possibly to stew a little bit, depending on uh, A.B. de Villiers' motivational style. And uh, fresh from London Zoo, it is the baby giraffe. comes around the wicket very full uncharacteristically full for uh, the traditional morning walk or length and it just uh, pushed uh, calmly by uh, Upal Tharunga up to uh, mid off there is no run uh, Mog asks if uh, there is a single Weller, rather if Mog asks if Dick Weller is the model and uh, the modern incarnation of Kalawatharana what punchy annoying opening uh, batsman wicket keeper aggressive hit it where they ain't yeah, uh, yeah. Kali Wittarna was probably a more annoying batsman to, to, to bowl to. He hit the ball into some very odd areas at times. And he was more the sort of traditional sort of the, the, the pudgy, chatty, annoying wicketkeeper. I don't think Dickwell is quite in that mould. Uh, Norkel aborts his run-up, presumably as uh, someone is uh, walking behind uh, I think you've got to have good the chat. The bowler's You've arm. got to have good chat, though, if you're a wicketkeeper, though. Uh, yeah, usually. Oh, that's gone miles in the air, but uh, there's no one down at third man. Oh, yes, there is. Uh, he uh, hoves into view at the last minute. Parnell takes a comfortable catch, and uh, Dickwell is entertaining cameo comes to an end. 41 of 33 has set this one up quite nicely. He's played his role to perfection, uh, uh, but uh, Sri Lanka might have been hoping it could have gone on for a little bit longer. But uh, he's royally entertained us uh, while he was out there. Yep, good discipline, line and length from Morning Morkel. Just a slight slower ball. Uh, Dick Weller tried to smash that one over the leg side, was through the shot too early. Took a, a steepling top edge and uh, easy catch for Parnell at uh, third man. Uh, in the ninth over, Sri Lanka are 69 for one. I think some pretty, pretty relieved South African, bat, South African fielders there. Oh, you could almost see Wayne Parnell uh, it's like, oh. smile as it, uh, as it settled in his hands. Uh, now we're into the sort of the the stroke makers as it were, the more orthodox uh, classy end of the uh, of the Sri Lankan batting rather than the, uh, the uh, crash bang wallopery of Nirishan and Dikwela. is it Mendes due to come in at three? Uh, I think it's Kusan Mendes is usually the number three in all formats he's obviously uh, uh, done fantastic work as a test match uh, number three that uh, uh, few who uh, who saw or heard or uh, we're in any way following his uh, his exploit against Australia. We'll remember. We'll uh, forget that 178 in a hurry. It's got to be at such an unenviable position. You've got. How do you follow Sangakara and Jaya Wardener? It's that. It's that feeling of. Well. Good luck. Hope it all works out for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm sure Sangakara must have felt the same way, and Jaya Wardener following Aravinda the Silva. Yeah, and Ranatunga as well. I don't think Ranatunga's not in that class. No. Okay, want a jingle? It is Kusal Mendes. It is this man. It is this jingle. Yep, go ahead. And get it to play. Oh, yeah. Mendes was a man who thought he was a keeper, so they played him as a number three. 
because that's where the selectors for Sri Lanka think a keeper needs to be. Get back, get back, get back to where you are. To back. Get back, get back, oh, back. get back to where you are. To back. Get back, Kusul Mendes. We can continue the jingle to its full extent as uh, Mendes backed away as oh. Morkel was uh, as charging in at him like an enraged giraffe. As he does come in, first we take Manhattan, says, still think Morkel's completely inexplicable pirouette. The start is run-up is my favourite meaningless player, idiosyncrasy. I love it. I love his little sort of pirouette. It's like he's trying to sneak up on the batsman. Not uh, going to see me... Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, sadly, they're not showing us the full extent of it uh, as he bangs this one in short and uh, Mendes pushes out into the covers. There is no... Right. Apparently, he turns a different way for a left-handed than a right-handed batsman. That, that explains that there's some thought behind it. But it's even when he's facing... He, I can sort of understand when he's starting his spell, where he, you know, he's getting back to the end of his mark. But even when he's already in position, he will turn and face the uh, the boundary, and then uh, and then pirouette in, and suddenly he's sort of turn on the sixpence. It is wonderful. Uh, in comes Morning Morkel. Sadly, we did not see the pirouette on that occasion. Uh, bangs this one in again, and uh, again just defended out to point to this time. There is no run. Dumini doing the fielding there at backward point. Do you think it's because they've got gre- the, the, the the they're in green? Do you think it's like? And you can't see me because I'm camouflaged with the grass end. He does it. He's always done it. He's always done this uh, little pirouette. I love idiosyncrasies. Inc- I love idiosyncrasies in bowlers' run-ups. Do you think he's got the look of Herman Munster about him? Well, Much, there's yeah. a certain air of the country about him. Or Lurch. Yeah. 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 There's an Adams Family thing there going Absolutely. on. Yeah, well, I, I think our jingle's from Deliverance. Yeah, well... <laughs> uh, Turned around. <laughs> Sneak attack! <laughs> in comes Mornay Morkel uh, over the wicket. Bowls up, banged in short, and uh, nicely played by Kusal Mendes. It was onto him a little bit quicker than he might have intended, uh, rather expected, uh, but he's somehow managed to uh, club this one through mid wicket for four. One, two, three, four. Uh, pulling a Mornay Morkel bouncer through. Uh, Mid wicket, mid on is uh, no mean feat. Uh, actually, I think I may have done Kusal Mendes a disservice there. He was just uh, leaning back away from that one so he could uh, extend the arms through it. It's nicely played. Yeah, you kind of the, the arms released through the shot mm. or, or kind of after the shot. Yeah, just to keep it down and uh, get it through the gap. I think that's some indication of uh, that the pitch is quite easy paced. Uh, Morka goes full and lovely from Kusal <laughs> Mendes. <laughs> Again, there's no one anywhere near that out on the leg side. No, just a, a lovely, just clip of the wrist and over the leg side it goes for four. Goodness me, oh, how it, easy, easy did that look? Oh, yeah. still head, uh, slight transfer of weight and... Uh, an effortless clip over the leg side for four. 77 for one off nine. Especially if um, they could have gone into their shells with the fall of Dick Weller and, and decide yeah. rather to, uh, to, uh, to maybe consolidate a bit for a few overs. Oh, but yeah. to, conti- to actually continue the attack suggests that they want to chase this down. They want to chase it down and make it look easy in the Absolutely. process. And there's just that air of... It, whether, it, whether it manifests itself in this innings or in later innings, you, you watch a shot like that and you say you're something special yeah uh, could, could we, we did that jingle on the when uh, Sri Lanka came here um, I think it, was, it must have been on the they played the they were the series before Pakistan uh, last year because Mendes uh, came in as uh, number three with he didn't really have much of a record behind him at the time uh, he looked like a decent batsman I mean, the Sri Lanka were in real trouble in, in May in those seeming conditions in the cold at Durham and Headingley uh, he looked like he had something about him uh, then, but then he, you watch the innings he played against uh, Australia. Um, Mitchell Stark had really ripped um, had ripped uh, Sri Lanka apart in the first innings. It was bowling brilliantly. Uh, no one else really scored uh, much of anything on uh, in that particular match, and uh, he was magnificent. Um, the, the guy can play. There's no yeah. doubt about that. He's played oh, all of those four balls from Morkin played on merit. Yeah. So the first two were banged in short, just comfortably defended into the offside, and then got a little bit of. Uh, I mean, sort of, you know, Morkel straight in line, for, length first, rather, pinged over the leg side off the back foot, straight in, um, and then gave him a length ball, pinged uh, over the leg side off the front foot. Uh, Parnell is continuing and has beaten uh, Taranga with a beauty. A little bit of bounce, a little bit of moving away from uh, 
uh, the stand-in captain uh, Tarango trying to drive that one off the front foot and uh, it uh, flies past the shoulder of the bat through to the cock there is no run best ball from Parnell in a couple of overs maybe the yeah. uh, maybe seeing Dick Weller go has uh, reinforced his, uh, his vigour for the fight maybe uh, he, he, he's looked good when he's bowled full Yep. He's getting. He's still getting the ball to move a little bit um, in the air and off the seam. Every time he's tried to change it up and go short, he's looked unthreatening. Uh, what will he do with this one? He'll go full and is driven. Oh, beautiful from Taranga. Uh, through the offside, through extra cover, four runs. One, two, three, four. I guess this is the issue with being a bowler who has to pitch it up and swing it, is that you don't have to miss your length by that much to be... Uh, uh, to be drivable uh, Tarunga's put Parnell into a really difficult position now the big difference between the two innings seems to be at the moment width yeah uh, there wasn't that much width on that but there was just enough yeah, it's uh, just Sri Lanka bowled very straight at the yeah. start uh, Pradeep and Lukmal especially and there goes the fire firework yep uh, that's knocked uh, a few thousand pounds off someone's house price beauty from uh, Parnell following that one up He's just, there is a spot somewhere on that pitch where uh, uh, Parnell can just get Taranga not committed forward not committed back get the ball to move away and has done so again but uh, missed the edge rather than took it which has somewhat been the story uh, uh, for uh, Parnell and Rabada this morning or this afternoon rather uh, and uh, they've just let their frustration show a little bit and strayed as Al says in uh, uh, in line in particular giving uh, Taranga and Dickweller the chance to free their arms uh, in comes Parnell, full and uh, inside out. Uh, Taranga just uh, carves this one up to A.B. de Villiers at mid-off. There is no run. Two balls to go until I will be replaced by somebody. Yep. Uh, we're going to have Al onto ball by ball and uh, Gary onto the tweet machine. Um, uh, Alec will come out to be replaced by a, uh, a willing uh, victim, sorry, volunteer. <laughs> uh, ben Ingham says, can see Sri Lanka going after to here later. Uh, and it backfiring. Was that that test at Headingley last year? Conditions ideal for Jimmy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he yeah. bowled very well. Um, in comes Parnell, uh, back of a length, and uh, Taranga staying, uh, staying very much in control of that shot, just uh, waiting for it and guiding it down through third man. Uh, Morning Morkel manages to coordinate his limbs, or rather the, uh, the four marionettes uh, manage to coordinate their limbs, and he uh, slides and prevents uh, any more than two runs being scored. Taranga moves at 24. Was Morning Morkel Jim Henson's last creation? <laughs> <laughs> Discuss 25 marks. Uh, it's Snuffleupagus without all the fur. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, last ball of a tenth over, the first power play. In comes uh, Wayne Parnell, back of a length, and uh, dismissively pulled by uh, oh, Paul Darunga. We know he's good through the, uh, through the offside, but that was lovely through the leg side as well. Camped on the back foot, swiveled it uh, through mid on four runs. And uh, after 10 overs, uh, Sri Lanka at 83 for one. Game on. Well, as Knuckle says, it, it is indeed game on. Well, I, I had a little uh, wager on uh, Sri Lanka before this inning started. Did you know? Did you know? Did you get good odds? Uh, Twelve to five. Twelve to five in a two-horse race. That's not bad. Where not we, bad at all. Where we reckon South Africa or under par. I think that's pretty good. And they've knocked nearly a hundred off already, haven't they? Well, well I was I was at fifty-fifty, as you know, at the uh, change around. Well, I'm very much uh, in the camp that the Lankans have got this to lose now. And the reason they've done that, uh, or the reason they're in a position where they've got it to lose, is they've hit the boundaries. Yeah, they've gone off fast, haven't they? They've got so 40 gonna... overs to get 200 and, you know. In comes Morkel again. Bowls just outside off stump. Guided away, just past Gully. Misfielded, and uh, they go through for a single. Yeah, the boundary count for South Africa was helped by a couple of big shots from uh, JP Dumini off literally the last two balls of the uh, innings. But... Um, the, uh, I think they missed out on too many four balls. We saw a lot of half volleys that were hit straight at the field, and um, the Lankans haven't. They've also thrown their hands through the ball, and the spiralling edges have gone for four, or, and indeed there's been a six or two, I think, uh, unlike the South Africans who didn't really throw their hands through the ball. There has been a difference of intent as Morkel spins and fires himself in, working around the wicket. Oh! 
bracket for now. Square, squares up Thuranga, who outside edges it to the uh, vacant third, fourth slip area. The third man there in place. Easy single, Sri Lanka 89 for one after 10 overs and two balls. The win predictor, though, only giving Sri Lanka a 53% edge. Um, just to, <laughs> point, bullshit, just to make the, uh, the boundary count um, clear, the South Africans made, uh, had 26 boundaries in their 50 overs. The Lankans have already scored 13 in their uh, 10, 10 and two balls. Morkel in again, just outside off stump. Played away by Mendes, but easily uh, fielded there for no run. So I know it's power play cricket, but it just goes to show that uh, that 50%, you know, they've got half as many boundaries as the South Africans in 20% of the, uh, of time, the available... Yeah. Uh, South Africans was quite an odd innings, though, wasn't it? I mean, they started off really slow and stoddily, and then they speeded up nicely, and then they lost their way a bit for about 10 overs where they kept losing wickets. Well, they only got two men in, really, which yeah. were Amler and uh, Faf. Morkel in again, wider outside off stump. Mendes able oh, okay. to uh, free his arms. It's gone through the fielder at uh, cover. Uh, JP Dumini there, the uh, the fielder at fault. Uh, Mendes runs through for a single. Sri Lanka now 90 for one. That was a poor bit of fielding, wasn't he? Absolutely. Jumped over top of it. You know my feelings on Dumini. Every yeah. time you think you're safe and he's going to get dropped. He pops scores up, runs. Pops up with a vital in. He, I'm happy with that. Well... The thing is, is that if he didn't score those runs, you know that he would have taken two vital wickets. Yeah, that's true. Well, I think he might bowl quite well on this, Dominey. Morkel in, around the wicket again. Ooh. Oh, giving Thuranga room to try and cut that away, but he misses and it goes through to the cocket keeper. I mean, I know everyone's sort of looking ahead at uh, Imran Tahir as being a, a key man, and he will be a key man. But I think Dumini, with the ball skidding a little bit and stopping a little bit, I think Dumini might be quite a handful. You know, bowling into the pads, round that round arm style he has. Mm. Whereas Imran Tahir will be bouncing in, and uh, the ball will be uh, bouncing a little higher. I think it brings in the horizontal bat shots, the cuts and the pulls. <coughs> the camera's picking out uh, Imran Tahir and Dumini now, so they're probably talking about this on telly as well. I would yeah. suggest. Morkel in for the last ball of the over. In on leg stump, and Thorang is able to just guide that in for an easy single there. That was the first over outside the power plan. Only got four runs off it. That's right. 91 for one after 11 overs. Yeah. Schreinken's well ahead. On the score. On the scoreboard. Yeah. Well, on the scoreboard, they're not, aren't they? They're only yeah. about 6% difference. So... Yeah. There's a, there's a, you can be caught between two stools here. You can turn around and go, well, aggression's got us this far. Oh, well, I would so carry, let's, let's keep going. Yeah, with only or, one wicket down. You or do you turn on. around and kind of take what we, might, what we saw for the approach from other teams, which is, well, let's ease the foot off the gas a little bit and then let's, let's keep wickets for the end. We've got a new bowler uh, beginning his first spell. Well, this um, is where you need the game intelligence because I think you're absolutely right, Al, is that uh, you know, the... Playing sh big shots has got them this far. Why not continue? But this is where they need to assess the, r r the risk and reward and think, well, if we can get through 10 overs without losing a wicket and, say, get 50 off it, wow, we're in the box seat. OK, new bowler coming in. Oh, an aborted run-up. Morris just forgot to let go of the ball. Maybe a, uh, an issue with regards to his, uh, his grip on his uh, delivery strike. It looks that way. We'll see whether today is the day-to-day... And it's oh, not the day today, we've changed it, it's, it's now this. Can they know it's Chris Morris time at all? I, I just love the day today. Yeah. I, it's one of my favourite shows that I've ever watched. I think Hendo hates that jingle. Morris in, just outside off stump, flicked away by Thuranga safely, though, through the vacant third, fourth slip area. Picked right. up by the, uh, by the third man fielder and uh, a single taken to uh, Thuranga. Kusal Mendes was still walking down the track some time after uh, Morris failed to uh, release the ball. I don't know if you saw it. He wasn't trying to steal a single or anything. He was just he not was, taking any notice. He was just wasn't taking any notice. I think it was the last thing anyone was expecting. Presumably now we're out of the power play to here we'll be in the attack quite soon, wouldn't it? They'll try and get another Well they've taken a power play. Uh, well, it's what's power play two is yeah, well, really. some power play. Morris in wide outside the off stump. Just allowed to go through by Mendes. 
No real uh, intent to play a shot there, just go straight through to the keeper, no run. But that's, they've kind of earned the right for that, because that could have been hit over sort of third man. The uppercut was certainly on for that shot, but they don't need to take those risks. No. As I say, they can sit in the game for 10 overs here and then reassess the position. I, I think that last ball from Morris, just a little bit back of a length, which just probably uh, allowed Mendes to see it through to the keeper. That's something we'd, we'd, we haven't really pointed out is... Morrison again, slightly fuller this time. Mendes punches the ball uh, through the offside, taken by the uh, boundary rider there on the uh, on the cover boundary, but uh, an easy single at this stage. Of course, all the dirty doublers that Sri Lanka had, they are always harder to get away than the ball coming well, onto the batter. Well, that's why I think Dominey might be quite useful because yeah. some will slide and some will stop. And uh, that was Wayne Parnell out there, who's doing plenty of work, and uh, as uh, your man. As the boundary rider on, in the covers, having just bowled five overs. You know, mm, huh? Absolutely. Morrison again, just on off stump, taken by a uh, quick single taken by Thurenga. Sharp ish fielding by the, uh, by the South Africans, but the, uh, the Sri Lankans safely through for the single. 94 and for one. It's more clever play from the Lankans who know their way around 50 over cricket mm. because um, they, unlike the South Africans, they're just dropping the ball in front of the fielders or slightly to the left and right and it's just allowing them to take these quick singles which uh, which the South Africans missed out quite a few um, De Kock was very much sort of stodgy and couldn't get going at all he couldn't hit the four ball, couldn't hit the uh, single Morris in for the fifth ball of the over full and caught at short mid off Mendes I think fooled by Morris's slower ball there threw the shot very early, trying to chip the ball over the uh, the short the short mid off there, uh, and a catch taken. Well, that's a bit disappointing. There, he was uh, he was going well, and I think he did just try and chip the ball yet again. I think the ball stopped a little bit in the wicket, and um, he's, it he's just threw the lifted. shot very early and a very good catch. Yeah, it was a very AB, good catch it taken. It was Ab de Villiers, and he had to time the leap correctly there to Davy de Villiers and he's such a ludicrously talented all-round yeah. sport if you're gonna if you've seen his record if, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna play that sort of shot you can't take you can't take your chances against um against a, a man as talented as de Villiers oh. yeah and he just caught it one-handed in his right hand at the top of his leap it certainly wasn't traveling at any great speed but um, that's the that's the wicket that they didn't need to lose. Exactly. And, uh, yet again, we're, we see the ball sort of coming off the bat too early. Not a leading edge this time, but just through the shot. And I think I think Billiers has got to be wise to this. He should know, having taken that catch, and he's he's got to think about Dumini here, yeah. maybe even before to here. I think I think it goes back to what you were saying though about that that feeling of situational cricket. Let the game come to you. Let don't. Just because you started off with a strategy doesn't mean you've got to carry on with that strategy all the yeah. way through the 50 overs. Well, let's give him a send-off. But it was not your fault but mine And it was your heart on the line I really fucked it up this time Didn't I, my dear? Didn't I, my dear? And, um... Have we got any, any tweets? Tribute to the wicket-taking Chris Morris. Nestle Boy says, For Al, giant elephant Isis woman destroys central Portsmouth. These are the headlines. <laughs> Happy now. <laughs> this is the news. Happy so now. Our, our new batsman coming in now, Chandabal coming into bandit number four. I always used to say the word horses to my kids in the style of Ted Maul, you know, with that tube report. Horses. They were said to be horses. <laughs> horses. Horses, loose. Under the London when, tube. When they were little toddlers, uh, Jesper and Linus would say, Horses! Every time was horses. Not you, knowing where it came from, of you course. Wa you want me to say it? Yes. Yes. The actual word. Say it! <laughs> it's war. Can you sum it up in a word? No. Can you sum it up in a sound? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, first we take Manhattan says, Nice catch. First thing ABD's done well today. Well, he did get out very True. well as well after four balls. So Morrison to finish the over. Chandamal throws his hands through at this outside edge. Difficult to know whether that was a chance there for Dumini fielding at the uh, backward backward point gully slash area. So uh, fantastic bowling change. Uh, Morris instantly successful. Only four oh, only four runs from that first over. 95 for two after 12 overs. A completely different slant on the game. Wow, well, it does. Um, well, we got several jingles for the new man to bat. Uh, Let's try this one. Okay. I'm 
I remember writing this is a song about Chandamal, or sung by Chandamal on the radio. Uh-huh. I, almost I, pop singing. I didn't have a clue there. Morkel in to start his third over. Typical Morkel fashion, slightly short of a length, wide. Chandamal safely watches that ball through to the keeper. Yeah, he seems to have been around for an awful long time now, Mornay Morkel, hasn't he? Um, well, still, he has. Still banging it in short of a length. Yeah. Great one handed catch by De Villiers. Made it look, in the end, simpler than it was might have looked a little foolish had he not taken it mind you yet his he was he, on he, full the stretch two, yeah. two yeah. hands yeah. weren't available no, because no. he needed his left arm to balance the flung out right arm Morkel in again slightly fuller but still outside off stump and Chandamal again watchful uh, to let the ball go through to the keeper slight Stephen Smith leave there did you see that with Chandamal big step forward outside big step off forward, stump but also the back came round yeah taking, left take, taking no chances Absolutely taking no chances at all. We've still got Cusel, Pagera, Kappa de Gaga, and Gunnar Ratney to come in. But no, someone it, I can hear a ball as well, can it's, I? It's by, it's, by no means, it's by no means a done deal, but it's, it's, again, it's that feeling of the big impact of a wicket. Morkel in again, round about a foot or so outside off stump, but again, short of a length. Chandamal again, no interest in playing that ball at all. So whether this is a period of slight consolidation and reinforcement by the Sri Lankans, kind of see an over, over, see an over out or something like that? Yeah, something well, like that. chandamal has been out in the middle for 50 overs and he's the, cap, uh, he's the uh, senior batsman in the side, aside from his captain, Taranga. Um, he knows that he's got the opportunity here to have a little look before trying to play the big shots. So Morkel in again. Worked away from outside the off stump onto the leg side, but well fielded, but... Unable to prevent the uh, the single being taken, so Chandamal uh, on to two there from five balls and bringing Thuranga back on strike. And um, the, Parnell looked like he'd fallen on his keys there. I think he fell on the ball, didn't he? Yeah, and he's just, right just his, gave, uh, gave that thigh. look of like As, my uh, leg hurts. The award-winning Ravi Nair says, "Are we sounding tense because we believe Sri Lanka's batting could fall away very quickly?" I'm hoping not. They're, they're no. pretty solid at this form of the game. I mean, when I saw that they lost to uh, Scotland in one of those warm-up matches, I was like, oh, please, don't be that bad. They might have needed to warm up, literally. Yeah, well, probably, yeah, true. Um, but then they had a couple of good games, didn't they? They crashed them the second time. Good warm-up game against... They lost to Australia, was it? I By think so. a couple of wickets. So Morkel in now around the wicket for the fifth ball of the over. Tries to cramp Thuranga up for room in the, uh, on the leg side, but he's able to guide that ball away down to fine leg and there's a single taken 97 for two with one ball left in the 13th over yeah, they've done that they've done that quite well I mean that was a decent ball from Morkel he'd be quite happy if he pitched it on a length give Taranga no room nothing to work with and yet Taranga did just get his bat in front of the pad and therefore allowed it to just run off, run off the face down to fine leg and take a single um, with with only two singles taken so far, important to get a good last ball in, and Morkel does exactly that. Again, just ever so slightly just outside off stump, short of a length. Chandamal with no interest in playing the ball whatsoever. We're able to watch that through. So two, only two runs taken from that over. South Africa fighting back? Uh, yeah, I mean, we could, we yeah. could say this is the boring middle overs because they're not supposed to be any more boring middle overs in the wow. supercharged 350-plus world of um, of uh, ODIs these days but Sri Lanka have earned themselves a few boring middle overs well, is that, I was just about to say they, they don't have to force it they've gone off quick at the top and they've then lost a quick second wicket they're still ahead of the game mm. um, they can afford to um, work themselves in Par- looking at the uh, the bowling uh, figures there Parnell really taking some stick there in his five overs for 45 but Morrison again starting his second over probably pitching outside leg stump hits the ranger on the pad um, a, a strangled appeal um, ball squirts out into the offside no run taken still 97 for 2 yeah Morkel's about 6'6 six, six, and Morris probably 6'4 6'5 six, six, no I think he's 6'7 he's I think oh, it's, it's clipped him on the back pad yeah, you know, it's still it's, high it's still, outside yeah. leg but um, Sri Lankan batsmen probably won't often have faced the ball coming down from the kind of height 
that more Cullen Morris are delivering it. So Morris in again for the second ball of the over. Slightly wider outside off stump, a thrash from Thuranga. Makes no contact through to the wicket keeper. And we have some tweets coming in. Mayank says, rain here at the French Open. Thank the cricketing heavens at Gorilla Cricket is on to entertain me on in this cold, wet weather. The gang is indeed here to yeah. entertain you. And so. there's, 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 there's plenty of entertainment in Paris, even on a cold, wet uh, June day. Uh, our very own Paul Howarth, Grubby78, is with us. Next cab off the rank for England, Livingston, I presume. Mm. So, Morrison again, straighter this time. Thuranga able to take the ball short of a length and oh, confusion in the ranks there in, in South Africa, where the, there seemed to be not only no fielder in play but no one really willing to go towards the ball well I think they were all giving Morris the eyes there weren't they feel like your own bloody bowling mate I, I mean I think De Villiers came in from the deep mid-wicket boundary absolutely yeah. there and Grubby points out that Liam Livingston Lancashire's captain Lancashire under the cosh in the Roses match has scored 129 off 83 for England A today well there ain't no coming back from 122 all out there is there no I don't think so not against that Yorkshire side no, Ben Highway Code with six uh, wickets yesterday. Morris in again, just on the off stump. Great line, just short of a length. Chandamal can really only block and defend and it's easily picked up for no run. 98 for two with just two balls left in the 14th over. There aren't many imaginative nicknames around these days, but uh, Code, C-O-A-D, Ben Code, the Yorkshire yeah, you just, you, bowler is known as Highway. Yeah, you're just going to have to, you know, so, some things just write themselves. Or, or Red, I'd like Red, Code Red. Did you order the code red? You bet I did. Is it a line? It's a few good men. Is it? Ah, oh, right. Fair enough. Right, yeah. Morrison again for the fifth ball of the over, straying onto the leg side, and Chandamal is able to work that away, and they're able to take two runs there as Rabada cleans up on the boundary. And that brings up the Sri Lankan 100, 100 for two in just the 14th over. Oh, they're well on course, aren't they? Absolutely. 200 left to get from your 36 ball overs you'd, and you'd, one ball. You'd have that. Yeah. If, you, if you'd offered that to the Sri Lankans with at the beginning eight, of the day. With eight wickets in hand. They yeah. would have absolutely taken it. Pretty, uh, good, pretty good balance. Do we know why Angelo isn't playing, by the way? Is he injured? Because in, in, he's a skipper, presumably, in, isn't he? Injury. Injury. Morrison for the last ball of the over. Full. Just outside of stump. Nothing that Chandamal can do but block it back to the bowler. End of the over, Sri Lanka 100 for two. At this point in the South, Af uh, the South African innings, they were 51 for one. Wow. So huge difference. Huge difference in intent. It was interesting looking at the, the, the rate at which the 250s were scored, even with uh, Dick Weller going That's quite crazy. on the charge that he did. They, they only scored the second 50 two balls slower than the first. Yeah. So it seems like they really haven't taken their foot off the gas at all no but but uh, yeah I suppose the end we, of we, we know that we know that Tahir and Dumini are coming well yeah you say that but, you know like all, a lot of subcontinental teams although uh, he's got a good googly they often look more comfortable against spinners than we mm. do for example or the sappers against proper spinners well, they and they all see them so much in limited overs cricket now and it's not the same as having four slips and a bunch of close in bats on a test match you can well, still get away with they, they will have talked shots. they will have talked plans for Tahir in particular he's a very impressive one day bowler he's been top of the ODI uh, bowling charts uh, in the past and they will have they will have said look we want to take Imran Tahir for three singles and the odd boundary in an over but we don't want to attack Tahir and end up getting out to his googly so Three, four and over off Tahir will be fine. They've now engineered a position where three or four and over off Tahir will be fine with the odd boundary thrown in there and they'll aim to get through Tahir. They probably take one for 51 from his yeah, 10 yeah. overs. I, I think the key and there's, there's still plenty yeah. of time to milk the others. I think the key aspect of that error is the one. He tends to take wickets in bunches and I think what they've got to do is they've got to prevent the slight middle order collapse. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's... I mean, it sounds almost too obvious to say, doesn't it? But uh, but the the wickets uh, the wickets column for Sri Lanka, if they're going into the last ten overs, um, needing even a hundred, and they've got uh, they're only two, three, four down, then they're they they're big big favourites. Whereas if they go into the last ten overs needing say seventy, um, but they're seven down, then then they're a long way behind. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. 
So we're going to start the 15th over with Thuranga 34 not out for just a just ever so slightly better than a runner ball. And Chandamal just uh, easing his way back into his innings there with a four not out. Uh, I seeing some highlights here of uh, Amler's uh, century. 103, but only five fours and two sixes. Yeah. And he, um, doesn't, he doesn't hurtle the singles. Well, right? Joe Root the other day, he's got his tiny only score far in one six and mm. four fours or something. And 133. He, so. AB de Villiers has still not gone to Imran to here, and he wants to, to hear to have some runs behind him when he bowls. Yeah, but I, I, I think he figures the later he can get him on. I mean, if I'm a spinner and I'm bowling in this situation, I actually don't want to come on before. 15, 16, 17 yeah. anyway because you want to bowl those middle overs where you really can exert pressure. Mm -hmm. They've got off to a yeah. start or whatever. You can oh, either so. pull them back or you can create the pressure to get yourself oh. some wickets. Uh, well, Nestle Boy says they are getting desperate. Well, Morkel is coming in around the wicket to start his fourth over and he hits that short outside the off stump and Tarang is able to get on top of the bounce and pull it away uh, to square leg where an easy single is taken. Uh, it's, uh, it's quotes from Michael Gove being... Um, being tweeted from the green room, so that's sparked a conversation between Nestle Boy and Chris the Choir. Nestle, if you're listening, how's, how's the pipe work? Are we oh, gonna, there, oh, was a, there was a picture of some pipe work. Oh, was it bad? I, I can't tell. I'm not an expert in okay. pipe work. Uh, yeah, yeah. Any chance you're going to make it down here? For a little bevy, Nestle Boy? I know you want to. Be good to see you tomorrow. You like the voice on the right shoulder. Morkel in, wide, wide outside the off stump, and Chandamal able to thrash that ball through... Uh, the square <laughs> through for uh, a, a lovely boundary. Hmm. <laughs> and as the tweet machine fails me in my moment they of need. They are one person. They are two alone. They are three together. They are four. I mean, that was a really bad ball from Morkel. Yeah, Morkel in again. Same width. A uh, bit less bounce and Chandamal watchful. Uh, not really willing to take the same cut shot on again as he took before. Interesting that it seemed to go through that backward square area where, where you would expect there to be a fielder, maybe even two. Um, but no fielder in sight there for, for the boundary. Cool. Um, Sri Lanka 105 for two halfway Eight through the 15th over um, De Villiers either is setting the wrong fields or he's getting no help from his bowlers everyone seems to be getting fair stick so far Morkel in again wide just short um, debatable I suppose whether that would be called a wide uh, Chandamal not interested leaving it through to go to to cock as the keeper that wasn't wide but it's interesting, isn't it? The, the role of the pinch hitter is still there if you want it in this game. Absolutely. Well, especially the likes of Sunil Narayan in uh, the T20 game. Yeah. I mean, Andy Ward and I and some others, and there was an article in All Out Cricket about it, saying if you can promote a hitter from, say, you know, eight or nine well, in the order, for and they come off, of the it's part. Of the start. Was, and if not, you've lost one of the wickets that you're unlikely to use anyway. Well, yeah, this, this is the thing, isn't it? It's um, Morkel in, just outside of some good length. Chandamal forward, but watchful in defence and able to be taken and fielded by Morkel. Oh, we have great news from Nestle Boy, who says, we have stopped the leak, now preparing for the... The clean off right, with Gorilla Cricket and the Copper. Nice. Nice. Um, my point being that. Uh, on egg one, group, this is fun. On egg, this is shame. You went along with that ball in the low space for a long time. Where he'd, um, he'd just keep going, he'd lose every wicket. And now, they've gone to a format Stop! where, with Scarf the advent of T20, Morkel in for the last ball of the 15th over again. Good length. Just outside the off stump. Morkel in for the last ball of the 15th over again. Good length. Just outside off stump. Morkel in for the last ball of the 15th over again. Good length. Just outside off stump. Chandamal can really only push forward at it. Able to be fielded by Morkel off his own bowling. End of the 15th over, 105 for two. You've got two stages of the game. You've got two wickets you can lose early on going for hits. And if that happens, you just cover up and then try to get 30 overs and then play it like a T20 anyway. So people are at a disadvantage and don't want to lose their wickets between the 10th and the 30th over. So kind of almost where you, as once you sacrifice two of those top order, you just kind of shut up and go along and then keep your wickets in hand to bash at the end well, it's that, it's that much game. more short form than it used to be yeah, it's that game intelligence again. yeah about. Morris in for the first ball of the 16th over able to be uh, cut away by Saranga fielded at third man wide third man by Rabada able to take a comfortable two though 
Uh, Saranga on to 37, not out. Messi Jez is wondering whether Highway Code's nickname is better than Chippy Nailer, which I take it as me. Um, yeah. Presumably because I spend all my time looking like, or look like I spend my time in the Chippy, which is true. Uh, Nestle Boy says, I will take a couple of days in lieu for this, so we'll come in on days that I haven't previously booked. Nice. So we will be uh, featuring Nestle Boy. Um, hopefully uh, coinciding with some of the French Open because he'll give us some commentary on that Absolutely. as well. Morrison again, slightly oh, full up, but thrashed away by Thuranga through again the uh, backward square area, but the boundary rider able to uh, cut the boundary off. Uh, only a single taken, uh, but, a, but a full expansive shot there by Thuranga. Indeed, as we see those kids with their... Can you recognise any of those... Um, squiggles? Squiggles. Judging by the look of them, I think they seem fairly happy with their haul of uh, yeah, autographs. Do. Getting off the outfield. Chandamel just preparing himself to uh, take guard for this uh, third ball of the uh, 16th over. Morris coming into ball now. Uh, oh, filthy down the leg side. Must be called a wide. And is. Yeah, much less. <laughs> Yeah, much less discipline in the South African seamers than we saw in the uh, Lankans. Yeah. And there's a little bit of frustration there under Cox's face. Uh, he always looks slightly upset with he, the world. He looks, yeah, like, he he looks, looks like, like he's about to cry he, the he whole looks, time. He looks like he's just received really bad news. Yeah, yeah he often does look it's like a, that. But he Interestingly, though, with the, the, wind, of the wind predictor, which I'll go into in just a second. But Morrison again, just outside off stump. Stump high, able to be blocked away, easily fielded in the offside for no run. But the win predictor is currently saying that Sri Lanka are 60% favourites to win. South Africa. South, South Africa. Sorry, the South Africa. Like, 61% like in the, the win predictor. Like the last incarnation of this sort of thing, it's just a bullshit predictor. It's just nonsense. And uh, Messi Jez says, in ours, a chippy is a carpenter, which seems appropriate for a nailer. I see yeah. where you're coming from. There Very go. good, Messi Jez. See, fourth ball of the over. Morris, probably slightly slower ball there. Chandamal able to push that out into the leg side. Easy single, but thought about two, but the fielder's on it in a flash. My win predictor would be at least opposite to that. Yeah. Probably 70-30. I reckon the Saffers have got about 30% winning this, and the Lankans 70 uh, instead, we saw South Africa as uh, six to four favourites, essentially. You see, the problem with the, these sorts of things is they use, you know, data sets from you know twenty, thirty years yeah. ago, where the run rates and everything were so much slower, and they drag yeah. everything down. And, and also, we've seen the pitch improve. Thuranga, Thuranga <laughs> beaten by a ball, ball by Morris just outside off stump, ball from a, around the wicket. Change of angle there seems to have squared Thuranga up, and it's taken by. De Kock as the wicketkeeper, but seemed to look a little bit more uncomfortable there yeah. with, the cha- with the change of angle. That's, yeah, he re- that straightened up off the seam. Yeah, he really dug that in, uh, Chris Morris, and uh, it did straighten a little off the seam, but it was so short that the batsman could really afford to play inside it. They're really only dangerous with that kind of half bat movement if you're pitching it up a little. Absolutely. Morris in, going to keep the around the wicket line for the last ball of the over comes in and bowls it's down the leg side cramping Thuranga for room but he's able to just squeeze it out away and De Kock is the nearest South African fielder but a comfortable single able to be taken Sri he's Lanka on to Nelson yeah, 111 looks, for two see that uh, over didn't seem like they got many runs but they're still with the wide they're still that's right. six, you know. six six off the over and they do that from here on in the home easy easy yeah. uh, one of the things I, I thought was the case there is I thought we were getting a leg by, but it's been given as a it's run. Been given as a single, and that yeah. made me wonder whether um, South Africa have picked up many leg bys because you know I was pointing out there weren't many sort of no, tip and run singles. Not they at got, all. They got one leg by and ten wides as extras. Well, the Lankans were already got five leg bys, five wides, and a no ball, so they're outscoring them on on Everything. extras. Uh, or rather their level on extras 11 11 all but again I think it's an indiscipline of line again that Mm. um, when the South African bowlers have strayed onto the leg stump they've hit the pads or they've hit the thigh pads whereas the um, Sri Lankan bowlers weren't quite that far across Morkel in for the first uh, ball of the 17th over seems to surprise uh, Thuranga in terms of the 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 height and he, he pushed it defensively but still aerially that you know it's it's one of those it, things that you see it if just a slight mistiming or well it's slightly it, it, stopped again in the pitch didn't it 
but uh, no run taken. And if there is any luck to be found in Nelson, then Morka will find it. Yeah. Mm. Not sure I want him to find it. Morkel in, uh, remaining over, uh, around the wicket, down the leg side. Saranga just tries to guide it away, but the uh, square leg is able to uh, come in and stop the single, and there's no run. That's yeah, a nice little bit of tidying up there. The uh, South Africans knowing they need to uh, be in tight on the ones here. They can't afford to to just let these overs go at four, five, and over, as you've said. The, didn't seem to be any shots played in the last over, but with the wide, it went for five. And you know, that, that very much keeps Sri Lanka on top going at four and five and over. Morkel in for the third ball. Wide, down again, leg stump. Umpire has no option but to call it a wide. Wide. You just have no... no there's no uh, room for error or mistake down the leg side. No, and you know, that's probably that's probably right. It was quite a long way down the leg side, and you just wonder, really, you know, why is why morkel has got a lot of moving parts. He hasn't had that much cricket, and uh, you know he's got a big job to do here. I, I'm not sure I would have picked more. Pursuing the around the wicket line, shorter Saranga able to uh, pull the ball away, half stopped by the fielder in the ring, but that drop catch. But, uh, I think it was aerial. I mean, it was a bloody good catch. It's it's I mean, like he's, a, he's a great fielder. It's going like a tracer. So we, uh, it's a no ball, is it? See the, yeah. uh, see the replay notes half stopped by Duplessis on the, uh, on the bounce. Yeah, it bounced in one of the practice wickets, which makes the kind of pace and the height it comes off the uh, bounce unpredictable. And you're going you're to get a bit of pain when you put mm. your hands out at those because it's not going to hit the fleshy part of the palm. Saranga was able to go through for the single, so Chandamal will face the fourth ball of the over. Morkel back over the wicket now. Onto leg stump, but Chandamal is able to work it away onto the leg side. A long, long run for the boundary fielder, but that will, for Parnell, but there will be two runs taken. Morkel showing no interest whatsoever in fielding the ball. That should have been a three, shouldn't it? You, maybe. I mean... Don't want to run out now. No, you don't want to run out, but no, no. if you're counting how they were running, they should have been before he picked up the ball. They should have been turning for a third. It, it's it's difficult to tell with regard. I mean, I mean, Parnell really did get the ball in quickly. We have boxing box on the TV now. If you know, wouldn't absolutely. We? More calling for the fifth ball of the over. Good line just outside off stump. Chandamar can only block that away into the offside, and there's no run. So there's another wide, the two and a one, that's four. You got that's another four. Single. Another, another a single, single or a, or a two. double. That, you know, even when it's a bit sticky, they're getting five, six and over. Mm. Uh, which is often the way in, in uh, ODI cricket. Uh, well, chipping away at it, one blow at a time, one over at a time. To carry on at this pace, there'll be uh, no problem whatsoever. Morkel does the okie and he turns around and he comes in for the last ball of the over and it's onto middle stump and Chandamal's able to uh, work that away down to uh, down to fine leg for the single 116 for two after 17 overs. Have we had any tweets, Gary? Well, we haven't. I've been keeping you uh, in touch with the ones that we've had. There's been a lot of retweeting and some conversations going on, but uh, you can tweet us at Gorilla Cricket as we see what may well be a pivotal moment in the match. Uh, now, so far in these games, there's been no real wicket taking that's taken place in those in those middle overs. There's been an awful lot of consolidation. I think if there's any man who's going to change that, it's going to be this man. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I will be right here waiting for you. Whatever it takes. Tahir! Tahir, 38 years old. I never really knew he was that old. Yeah, he was always old. He's a journeyman, isn't he? Journeyman. Just found uh, his home in South Africa. Found his Via home. Via us and what? Pakistan. And his wife. His wife's South African. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, it's always good to do this, so uh, let's see how I get on. South Africa, Delhi Daredevils, Dolphins, Dunlop, uh, Durham, second 11, Easterns, Hampshire, Hampshire, second 11, Lahore City, Lahore Lions, Lahore Ravi, Lahore Whites, Lions, Middlesex, Middlesex, second 11, Nottinghamshire, Pakistan A, Pakistan International Airlines, Pakistan under 19s, Redco, Pakistan Limited. To hear in for the first ball of his spell. 
Rising Tuna Super Giants, Shialcott, South Africa A, Staffordshire, Swede Gas Corporation of Pakistan, Sussex Second Eleven, Titans, Warwickshire, Warwickshire Second Eleven's Water and Power Development Authority, Yorkshire. <laughs> that, his team. that first ball worked away to the leg side, but no run. The second ball on off stump, no real spin. Misfielded. Oh, misfielded, but there was a no, e able to be recovered. Uh, the, the, the umpire is going to the uh, to the review. So have um, a very confident here. South no, I think D they're wrong to be confident. I think it was well past the stumps. De, De Villiers was the person who originally misfielded in the mid off position. Recovered very quickly. Got a, th a, a sharp throw into the stumps. Um, the difference of opinion between my uh, my co-colleagues here Bear seems fairly confident to hear doing his best oh, to get no, in the way not. and he is out oh dear oh dear Paul Rifle the third umpire who has a job to do considering that Tahir is trying to tackle Ali Mdar um, but upon, f upon further reflection the, the, the big difference that a direct hit makes and De Villiers has done the damage that's foolish. Never run on a midfield. Never run on a midfield. I mean, it was only the previous over we were saying that they don't need to risk the no. run out here. Um, that the game was in Sri Lanka's favour. And it's, it's two very experienced batsmen at the crease there who managed to screw this up. Chandamal's the man out. Um, and fielding does make a difference in these white ball games. It does indeed. And that's the balance has turned again. That's very foolish. Very foolish indeed. So, do we believe now that the South Africans are the favourites, or is it still 50-50 in your eyes? I think it's 50-50 now. I think it's 50-50 now. Is it Pereira's next man in? Possibly. Uh, well, we'll give you cricket vixen Liz Yates, who says, ICC shops selling ICC umbrellas that say Champions Trophy, so no buying from Surrey allowed. Arm and a leg for him. Yeah, I'll bet. And Josh Robinson says, listen to Aquarilla Cricket for the first time in ages. Reminds me that it's too long since I drank with at Gary Naylor 999. Well, um, there might be opportunities to drink together again coming up soon. Um, planning uh, an event uh, involving Gorilla Cricket and, and others. And there'll be uh, news coming on Twitter and Facebook and elsewhere quite soon, I think. I thought you were about to announce a drinking tour. A drinking tour? <laughs> Do, done one or two of those in my time. Indeed. The new batsman has arrived at the crease. It is Capidegra, the, uh, the new batsman, who uh, finds himself in the, the horns of a dilemma here. 117 for three. As we can see, uh, De Villiers misfielding, but then sharp as attack. Well, and we can see that, you know, not ball to ball, only, only faced four balls as a batsman, but one catch, one run out. So you can't keep him out of nobody, the game. Nobody throws a ball off balance better like, than yeah, maybe true. Lead. And uh, that was foolish. They hit it to him. Uh, they stuttered on the midfield and then decided to go. If they'd have gone straight away, they'd have got it. But um, a rash decision, in my opinion. Tahir into the left-handed Saranga. What may have been the googly there, I'm not sure. But he was squirted away and just fielded in the gully position. Sharp fielding, no right. run being able to be taken there. Hashim Amla standing quite close to the wicket there. Definitely on the one here. They're not trying to stand on the edge of the circle. No, they're, sque they're squeezing here. Yeah, they are. Tahir in again, able to be driven down the ground by Saranga. But the, uh, the boundary right over there at Long On will... Uh... Oh, Dumini there, they will able to... Uh take care of the fielding but an easy single able to be taken and Capadega will take uh, take strike for his first ball with the just two balls left in the 18th over yeah it looks it looks a slightly different game with the slow bowling on here I think he needs to go with uh, Dominey at the other end here does mm. uh, AB to here in oh spinning ball just outside of stump and given LBW Capadega gone first ball to here has made the difference two mm. wickets gone in this first over It's interesting, though. I'm not sure if this ball was doing too much. Very much out the googly. back of the hand. The googly. googly. And he is plumb as you like. He just played across Play, it. He plays just round his front pad. He just missed the ball. And uh, missed the ball. But, you know, there's, there's value in playing straight. He was trying to work a ball from the offside. It was the googly, and I think he did read it, but um, just got the front leg too planted and then couldn't get the batter 
down and across it. LBW, not absolutely plumb, but, you know, we're... we're that We're is. perhaps the last of the generation who say, you know, who raise any questions about LBW's given off I out off the front foot. I think that's hitting middle and leg less yeah, than halfway up. Middle and leg, but it's such a long way forward that there were there were times in my cricket watching life where you know, that would never be given LBW that far down the I, wicket, I, or at least you know Daryl Hare might, but nobody else would. I think that I think that you've got to be able to. I mean, certainly reflecting on even though how far forward he was, the bounce was seemed so yeah. low. No, I've got no no yeah. no problems at all with the uh, with the decision that uh, Alim Dar gave there. Um, but it is the case that uh, that those LBWs were not given until until really ball tracking came in about yeah. twelve thirteen years ago. Yeah, true. Well, how quickly the game can change in the course of one over. Well, Taranga's now absolutely critical. Um, I, I won't say he needs to bat through, but I think he's probably got to make a, a century here if the Lankans are going to get over the line. He's 41 not out at the moment. The new batsman in, left, a left-handed batsman again, Kusal Pereira. Coming in delicately poised there. There's no good time for a number six batsman to come in, but 117 for four is not the time last ball of the over to here tries to I think probably works that through a little bit quicker no spin again really and Pereira is able to block that ball out so to here one wicket one run one run out one over change the course of the game this man's batting game change another keeper batsman snuck out of the country while the replacements in a Sri Lankan blazer holders broke down so what do they send Another keeper batsman to join all his friends. Columbo's a go-go, but now he's in Soho. Poor little Pereira. Casul Pereira likes to attack. Casul Pereira don't like to slack. He's an outrageous, he cuts and he pulls. Pereira, let yourself go. Morkel in for the first ball of his uh, sixth over. Bouncer straight over the shoulder of the uh, over the batsman. A very good bouncer. That's evasive action had to be taken and through the very aggressive. You can see now probably the intent of the the whole team now in the South African team completely changed as a result of what's just happened in the last 15 minutes or so. And what's just happened, Chris the Choir points out, annoying how often boycott is right. I had two wickets this go and see what difference that would make. Well, that's when we were calling it as a, an even game. Yeah. We had two wickets to the score. It's probably not it's even the, it's the South Africans game anymore. Now. Morkel coming in uh, around the wicket for the uh, second ball of his over, firing it again down the leg side. No hesitation from the umpire. That's a wide. You'll have to do that again, boy. Wide. I know JP Dumney is a part-time bowler, but he really needs to get him on here, AB Divin. As we see, yeah, uh, Hawkeye shows that uh, Alim Dar was dead correct. Hit him in line and front of middle and off, and, and it's going to hit middle and leg. And so was Al. Middle and leg halfway up? Yeah. No problems. No, no, you look at that. And there's, there's no instinct like gut instinct, boys. Morkel in, short of a length, but outside the off stump. Thuranga tries to um, almost an aborted drive, and it just squ squirts through towards mid-off, and Rabada is unable to take to prevent the single being taken, and Sri Lanka move on to a 119 for four. Now, if, if Taranga was an Australian, and we should point out that they are the world champions in this format of the game, he would now try and hit boundaries, because the way the Australians deal with losing quick wickets is whoever is left at the other end they almost accelerate. They almost mm. think, right, I'm going to own the next two or three overs. So as we keep the rate up, we put the pressure back on the bowler. If Taranga starts thinking, oh, we need to consolidate a bit here and starts poking around and Pereira can't get off the mark and all of a sudden... Well, Pereira facing the next ball from uh, Morkel and he ooh, chips the ball airily through the offside, but able to be taken comfortably on the bounce by the man. Uh, riding the boundary, uh, only a single taken, but it looked like a, a relatively expansive shot. Certainly, Pereira's not coming in to uh, to block a few to uh, to get his eye in. Well, Taranga won't need to play any shots if Pereira's Pereira's going to play them all. Bling his hands through the ball like that. That was a bloody good bit of fielding by Avi the video. Just watch the replay again. He was virtually on his ass, wasn't he? On the ground, he, he was almost, he was almost going on. backwards, wasn't he? Yeah. Morkel changing his line for the next ball of the over. On leg stump. 
squirted out just five or so yards. Uh, thought by Thuranga for a single, uh, easily squashed by the by the field, and no run taken. And uh, Dr. Dan has uh, given us a sketch of a flying Wayne Parnell bowling. And I've retweeted that from our account, so you'll be able to see that. And I wonder if Dr. Dan might be working on a, on a prone A.B. de Villiers throwing down the stumps, because it, uh, yeah. it would be a fine sketch. Absolutely. Of course, Dr. Dan, you do plenty of stuff, so it's uh, no pressure, as they say. But uh, A.B. de Villiers, very much his signature fielding move is the, is the throw uh, whilst in midair horizontal. Morkle in, going back around the wicket for the fifth ball of the over. Short, oh. attempted pull just evading the fielder there at mid-off runs through and they try to take the second run Morkel awkwardly trying to field off his own bowling from a sharp throw by Miller unable to prevent the second run well it wasn't quite mid-off Al I'll have to correct you there sorry about that because it was quite important that it went to mid-wicket because he was through the shot again so early that the ball instead of going square with the pull uh, went off the kind of toe end of the bat uh, to mid-wicket and yet again we've seen a feature throughout this match of the ball simply not arriving at the bat at the same kind of speed in which the uh, batsman is considering us it is as let the man cream. go he let wants to eat his ice cream he's eating ice cream uh, last ball of the over outside off stop Thuranga able to gently push the ball uh, through and I think that was just the single taken. Yep. Uh, end of the over, 122 for four, Sri Lanka. But did you know, did you see that the guy in the crowd had exactly what these two batsmen want and for a while I mean South Africa had their own war a more important part of the game to hear in again this one does spin from outside off stump going wider um, mopping up the fielding there to uh prevent the single I believe uh, we'll have a change in the commentary at the end of uh, this over we'll be joined by colleagues from the green room absolutely to hear it again this time on leg stump and Thuranga is able to
Deliveries does the captain, the Lankans, 132 for four, 22 gone. A 50 years they've been married, but they can't wait for the 51st to roll around. Yeah! <laughs> Imran Tahir is appealing for the run out from the bowler's end. He's never, he's never knowingly under-celebrated as Imran Tahir. He's a great character and we'll miss him when he's gone. Because boy oh boy, he lives in the moment, does, uh, does Imran Tahir. <coughs> um, it's the end of the over. We haven't had an update on the um, new bowler, who, um, or rather the returning bowler, I'm sure it is Dominic, and sure enough it is, and he backs away, does Kusal Pereira, and this is what Dominic is doing, he's bowling that tight line, which means it's the batsman who has to make the room, and Kusal Pereira backed away again, he had no timing and it just went straight back to uh, JP Dominic, who's in again and uh, there's a sweep off a full toss, the ball was aerial for some time there was a man at backward square, it went over his head, and that's a pressure releasing four there to Kusal Pereira and uh, the Lankans needed that It's me, Sanshi It's me, Sanshi It was a quicker ball from uh, JP Dominey but uh, betraying his part-time status really it was, uh, it was a full toss and it was a full toss by some distance as uh, he's in again and this is more taken on the pads fuller and uh, Kusal Pereira was looking to turn it off the pads into the leg side for an easy single but he couldn't get it and uh, goes down in the book as a dot. Well, he's doing a good job for his captain here, is Dominey. He's in again. This is wide of off stump, and it's very full. And Pereira almost yorks himself there in trying to hit the ball hard. And like so many of these Dominey deliveries, it ends up back with the bowler. His, light, his eyes lit up there, didn't they? Yeah, they full did. Full wide. They did. Two more left in the over. As Dominey is in, and this is on middle stump, and it just comes off the inside portion of Pereira's bat and they look to try and release the pressure with a single but Hardian's on as well so they've got two substitutes on I didn't know such things were allowed he looks, he certainly, looks cold certainly the Hardian as well as uh, Maharaj are on and Dominey finishes a fine over with the uh, with a Yorker um, just the one bad ball that was put away for four as the Lankans have done successfully in this innings um, but uh, Dominey will certainly settle for that as will South Africa 136 for 4 the Lankans 164 more needed to get to their 300 target 27 overs available to them they're still well ahead of the rate aren't they massively if you look at this as a well that's the completed that, innings that Dick Weller uh, aggression early on it's really in put, power play yeah. cricket um, the ball flying high off the bat and this is a long hop from Imran Tahir it's the first bad ball he's bowled really that could have been hit anywhere by Taranga he chose to hit it to cow corner two bounces over the boundary sponge for one is I can only count to four I can only count to four I can only count to four got it what it deserved that one yeah and you know, the South Africans are ahead in this game but they can't afford to bowl four balls and we've seen one in each over from the spinners in the last couple of overs and uh, Taranga showing his experience there gets one full on off stump and is happy just to push it down the ground for the single backing up the boundary rotate the strike any more tweets there, Alec? Um, yep, we've got uh, David Bober saying, remember when both in play for Scunthorpe and uh, Wichita Lyman saying, I do indeed. Mm, I'll say, oh, it's a misfield there from, I think, Maharaj. I may be wrong. Running around from backward point. Um, no, it's Rabada, who's not as good in the field as he ought to be for a man of his athleticism. Um, he overran the ball a little bit, and he allowed the single to Pereira, who now has nine. Went down with one hand. It was a bit village, if truth be told, um, from Rabada. Should be doing better than that. Um, didn't field well at Lords, despite the fact that he pulled like an absolute dream last Monday. And here's Tahir in again, and this is wide of off stump, and it's driven hard by Taranga, but he can only pick out the man at uh, mid at short extra, and there is no run. Uh, Tahir's in again, and uh, this is a googly, and it's cut, and uh, it's beautifully fielded there by Chris Morris, who is a decent fielder for a, such a tall man and um, denying, the fact, denying the fact that we were calling him out in the ring so to speak did a good job there in saving the single and here's it again and uh, this is block driven by uh, Taranga 
down to the man offering the single at long off, and they walk it. That uh, brings the Sri Lankans up to 143 for 4, 157 more to win. More tweets? Uh, no more tweets, but um, currently uh, Hendo in the other room is going through and uh, tweeting out some thanks to our patrons. So if you're one of our patrons and you've asked for a, for a bit of gratitude, uh, check out the Twitter feed. You may well find your name popping up. Oh, thank yeah, you very much. That's, that's great. You can, of course, donate to us here at uh, Gorilla Cricket, and we rely on those donations to provide these beautifully upholstered chairs that we have to <laughs> sit in to do this. And uh, you can do so at patreon.com. Look for Gorilla Cricket, and you can make a donation, no matter how small, um, a nice little regular donation. Um, if you want to drop something into our bucket, then simply fold it up and drop it in. Our virtual bucket, and that would be, of course. Um, we seem to be seeing a, a, an absolutely regulation non-run out, which they're showing over and over again. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but uh, it's Taranga who will be on strike. 56 has the captain. And, uh, well, A.B. de Villiers has seen enough of... Um, of his six bowler, J.P. Dominey. Um, somewhat to my surprise, I thought Dominey bowled very well. But he's bringing back um, the previously profligate Wayne Parnell, who's gone at nine and over so far. But he's in left arm, and this is short outside off stump, and it's hit hard by Taranga, but he picks out the man in the Jonty Rhodes position at backward point, and there is no run. Parnell. Something of a boy. Like Wayne. Wayne Parnell. Something of a boy wonder. He graduated for the South African team pretty much straight after captaining the under 19s, where he was very much an all rounder as Parnell's in again. And this is a ball on a tight line, just defended by Taranga to the man at extra cover, who I'm sure is the captain, A.B. de Villiers. Um, he never quite came through, did Wayne Parnell, but he's still relatively young. I think he's 27. He's been around a long time. He had a few problems, didn't he? Yeah, he's had uh, he's had some issues to deal with, as they say. Um, fair enough. You know, it's never easy growing up in public. I'm glad uh, I wasn't playing international sport when I was 19, 20, 21. You really? Uh, no, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. <coughs> Living in a goldfish it. bowl. As uh, Parnell is on a length, and it's uh, driven um, slightly full of length, truth be told, but uh, Taranga again picks out the man at extra cover, and there is no run. Um, but he bowled so well at Lords, it was, it was a, not a revelation, but It was, it was gratifying to see uh, Parnell really achieve his potential in bowling at Lords. Certainly the best I've seen him bowl. And I've seen him bowl in county cricket as well as international cricket for a long time. Um, but he's not really backing that up today. Different conditions, of course. Um, but he's in with a chance of redemption, having given away nine and over in his first spell. And, um, oh, well, he's going to concede a run here. And uh, that's unfortunate. It's certainly not his fault there as uh, there's a misfield between Rabada and I think A.B. de Villiers who are both a little too keen to get to the ball at, um, at mid on. Let's see there's a diving over of it from de Villiers which deflected the ball away from Rabada who was just about to call out the fielder until he saw it was his captain and he, get, he stayed quiet. Did you see that? Quite, uh, quite funny. Rabada looked annoyed because he'd had the ball taken out of his hands by the sprawling fielder. Looked just about to give him a bit of peace of his mind. Realised it was the captain and kept stum. Anyway, one run is the upshot. Uh, 144 for four. That's a gross in old money. In, we're in the 25th over. Parnell's on leg stump and he's tucked off the pads by Kusal Pereira, who looks to take a steal a single, but the South Africans are all over the Lankans at the moment. And uh, the ball was flung in and scrambling Pereira back into his crease. Uh, the target 156 more to win from 25 overs. So they're, they're pretty much up with the rate. Yeah, you know, they're they approaching are, the halfway really. mark and they've got roughly half the runs they need. But they've lost roughly half their wickets. 
and they do have a particularly weak 9-10 jack in this Sri Lankan order as uh, this ball's on leg side and there's an attempt to take that two inside the ring but David Miller is an absolute gazelle in the field and he was over the ground like a gazelle over the savannah if I'm not pushing the African metaphor too far and uh, he stops the second it's the end of the over 145 for four uh, a couple of tweets. Uh, Josh Robinson says, it's been years since I regularly listened to Test Match Sofa. Norcross's departure to the other TMS has improved both, which I think is a little unfair. <laughs> <laughs> um, Canon Pandey says, uh, invest in some standing desks, ditch the chairs, to which I say I stand up all day for a living in retail, not a chance. Uh, and yes. uh, Ali Wallace says, Imran Tahir has the best uh, celebration among all Pakistani leg spinners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a... Uh, very animated when he takes a wicket. He is very animated. When really he thinks he's taken a wicket, he's a compelling character and he's in again is Imran Tahir. He's double teapotting that because he was driven uh, down to JP Dummany um, at uh, long off and they walk a single. Um, I've done standing on my feet for seven and a half hours. At, it's not um, much fun. At Waitrose no. in, uh, in my job. It's, it's a little Waitrose. We don't have seats behind the... Uh, the till, so we have to stand up, and it hurts the feet after oh. a while. This is in the air. It's going out towards deep extra cover, where it is pouched very easily by, I think, David Miller. Um, Imran Tahir is going round the ground. He's punching the air. He's scored the goal in the Champions League final tonight. Taranga has gone for 57 off 69. South Africa are all over the Lankans, and the Lankans, frankly, have not played well. I mean, he was, he was into that shot, Taranga, and then he kind of pulled out. It and it was just catching much straighter, practice. Didn't it? Yeah, it was just catching practice. He neither tried to hit it straight, nor did he try and hit it for six over extra cover. He just looped the ball in the air. I mean, it, it, you know, in these days, one has to be careful of saying he's offering catching practice. Um, I'm sure he was done a little in the flight from Tahir, but for a man who was set and a man who was faced as much spin bowling as Taranga has faced. That was a really poor way to get out. And, you know, you can't blame the man who scored 59 when the score's 150 or so for no. five. But he really... It was a brainless shot. And it, it was. It was poorly conceived and then poorly executed. And the Lankans, they're not completely out of it, but, um, boy, oh, boy, they're, they're, they're up against it now. They are indeed. Which is a bit of a shame. They were looking good to start with. I guess the win predictor is correct. It's not so much a bullshit predictor. Yeah. Um, in fact, it was the moment that we were calling out the uh, the win predictor, and it wasn't that long ago um, when I was saying that uh, you know it was rubbish. It had it had the South Africans at sixty one percent on the win predictor. I was calling them at thirty percent. Well, who's laughing now, well, Mr. Indeed. Algorithm? And it's Gunnar Ratner who's come to the wicket. A sailor, Gunnar Ratner. Who's 31, um, so he's been around the block a few times, and um, he has the he has the the bowling style of a Northern Leagues pro. Um, does he have the batting style? And uh, it was a decent catch by Miller, but he judged it well, and therefore he arrived with his hands in the right place as he ran in from the sweeper position on the offside. He did have to watch it into his hands because they were not under his uh, eyes. They were slightly lower than that, but he's a, he's a good fielder. He's a good all-round cricketer, as David Miller, and uh, there was no problem with it. As uh, Pereira, because the batsman crossed, just uh, knocks his first ball into the leg side. Imran Tahir has two for 15 off 4.3 overs. We did think it would be a turning point in the match, his introduction, and sure enough, it has proved to be that. An attempted cut there from Pereira, but he can only get a bottom edge, and the, the man at slip, well done, A.B. De Villiers, getting a slip in. Um, tidies up. The score 146 for five. As uh, Imran Tahir is in, he tosses this one up. It's aerial again, but drops five yards or so in front of JP Dummany, who perhaps in different circumstances might have sprinted in, dived, and attempted the catch. But he knows um, that uh, he's quite happy just to uh, let the ball drop and therefore avoid the possibility of the boundary. And uh, Pereira goes off strike, so Gunnar Ratner will face his first ball from Imran to here. I'm calling this as a googly, what do you reckon, gentlemen? More than nine, let's give him a jingle.
Acela Gunneretna. Mm hmm. It's a generic. Straight out of the elevator. Yeah. Not the frantic elevators, of course. What were the frantic elevators? What did they become? Either of you guys know? Never heard of them. No idea. Uh, so Imran Tahir is in again, and uh, it, was a, it was a leg break rather than the googly. Just pushed by Gunnar Ratne to a backward point, and there is no run. The frantic elevators became simply red. Really? Yep. Well, I'm glad I didn't know that. Yeah, possibly so. 26 overs gone, the score 147 for five. There's a prasana, and then there is a tail from which we can't expect a huge amount of uh, Lakmal Pradeep and Malinga. Uh, Malinga doesn't bat very often these days because he plays mainly T20 cricket. And frankly, if you listed to come in after Nuan Pradeep, then you really are out of nicking with the bat. But... Um, Again, a little like the South African innings, we've only seen two innings of any kind of substance. Dick Weller flailing away at the top with 41 off 33, and then Upal Taranga, who looked like he was going to bat through, play a captain's innings, but uh, lifting the ball in the previous over to David Miller, who did a decent job running in from the cover boundary. Not much from Mendes or Chandimal, and it's Wayne Parnell. Left arm over the wicket and uh, length, and it's met with the uh, full face by Pereira. No run. Any more tweets? Uh, a few. Um, so Mark Zip says, uh, uh, in, in response to uh, thanks for his uh, patronage, says, most welcome. Looking forward to visiting you in a few days. Oh, oh yes. that'll be good. Yep. Yeah. And, and Mark's uh, sister. I think is doing a, a gig at Wilton's Music Hall, which yeah. I'm still not sure whether I can go to or not due to my Down and uh, whopping, very it, peculiar no? circumstances. This extraordinary building, well worth a visit, as this is tucked off the pads by uh, Kusal Pereira, who gets one to the uh, ever energetic Imran Tahir, running in from the long leg boundary. Any more? Um, yep, uh, Cricket365 gives uh, us reason to hope. Gunaratne has uh, scored 100 in South Africa earlier this year. Excellent. And Chris the Choir says, um, la di da Gunaratne sounds like a character from ain't, It Ain't Half Hot Mum. Oh, we won't go with It Ain't Half Racist Mum, as we used to call it. Yeah. And, uh, there is a character that um, someone browned up to play um, in It Ain't Half Hot Mum, who looked a little bit like that gentleman who was picked out in the crowd. As recently as the 80s and 90s, people were browning up to play parts on BBC television. Disgraceful. As um, Quinton de Kock uh, just takes that ball, Gunnar Ratne let go outside uh, off stump. A little tempter there from Wayne Parnell. Not a, bad, not a bad move to a man facing his second ball, saying have a cut at that if you want, because I've got a keeper and a slip there if you edge it. He has uh, improved his bowling figures from non for 45 from 5 overs to none for 48 from 6.3 overs. Faf du Plessis, the man at slip, as uh, Parnell is in and uh, he just runs off the face of Gunnar Ratney. It goes down to third man where Imran Tahir does an entirely unnecessary but typically showboatish uh, pirouette before he returns the ball to the keeper. You've got to give it to Imran Tahir, isn't it? Doesn't he? Yeah. he gives entertainment, doesn't he? He really does. It's bloody annoying, though. You think he's annoying? Yeah. Oh, dude. I don't oh, that, think so. Oh, the celebrating just pisses oh, me off. I don't mind it at all. Right. I don't mind it well, at all. Well done, mate. You know, you're going to wick it. Yeah, but, you well, know, we can all do that. He, 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 his international career came quite late in yeah, life. He's making sure he enjoys that. every second I'm of it. Fine early Good on, on him. But, uh, Here's on. Parnell, and uh, Pereira just knocks it to the man at short mid wicket, who is the captain, who has a shy at the stumps. There's a man backing up, no trouble. Well, if you double it at 30, that's so far ahead of the rate, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Um, but with five wickets down, as you say, it's trouble. These two, if these two, if they're going to get anywhere near it, these two have got to pretty much ban out the rest of the innings. They? Yeah, I think they've got to score at least fifty each, which would put them within uh, within a, a kind of couple of lusty blows from Lassith Malinga um, to get them to the target. But uh, well, not many fifties scored in this match. In fact, only three of them. As uh, this ball is uh, an attempted pull but again the batsman is through the ball more quickly than the ball gets to him and uh, it just dribbles into the leg side there is no run it's the end of the over the Lankans have crawled towards their halfway mark of 150 they seem to have been within touching distance of it for about five overs but they're still not quite there any more tweets 
yes, um, Josh Robinson and um, uh, uh, Chris Acquire, in response to Josh Robinson's um, comment about Dan Norcross, says, sounds like the joke about how to improve the intelligence of the Netherlands and Belgium at the same time. Send a Limburger to, the, to Belgium. Yeah, there's a joke about New Zealanders yeah. and Australians and as well. And Josh says, uh, a, a statistical phenomenon common enough to be called the Will Rogers phenomenon. The Will Rogers phenomenon. It rings a bell, uh, but it, yeah. It, it's, yeah, not one, one which I'm intimately familiar with. There were seven overs, seven consecutive overs, in which Sri Lanka scored more than nine and over in the first power play when Dick Weller was particularly impressive, as this ball is just touched into the leg side by Gunnar Ratney and Rabada does the fielding. Um, we've seen nothing anywhere near nine runs and over for some time. The win predictor has South Africa at 92% which would be hard to argue with. Simran Tahir tosses this one up, but it was uh, googly that was read well by Gunnar Ratney, and uh, he just dead bats it, and it goes back to Imran Tahir via the hands of, I think, Faf du Plessis. Uh, A.B. de Villiers, like all captains, wants to be in the game, and so he's at short extra and encouraging his bowler and his fielders in the ring as... Um, Gunnar Ratney helps himself to a single. He keeps warming, warming up, up like he's going to have a bowl, A.B. Oh, de Villiers. let him have a bowl. I mean, if, if you haven't seen A.B. de Villiers bowl, he, he, he is very, very club cricketer with the bowling. He runs in and he has a big lean back and the Jeff Thompson-like sling of the ball and it gets down the other end at about 65 miles an hour. As uh, this ball is pushed up to J.P. Dummany, who's doing some good work there, coming in off the long off boundary, and they take a single. Pereira goes to 14. Gunnar Ratney still only has two. The Lankans are over the halfway mark. They are 151 for five. 27 of t their 50 overs gone. In fact, almost 28, because there's a dot ball off the fifth over of the 28th over. Fifth, fifth ball. ball of the 28th over, yeah. Uh, Imran Tahir in his excellent spell is continuing. Just bowled the one bad ball, I think, as Imran Tahir. And he's in again and uh, comes down the track. It's a big appeal for LBW. Um, the baton was coming well down the track and it hit him quite low on the pads. Um, he missed the ball playing across it. Uh, it's the end of the over. Sri Lanka 151 for five. Imran Tahir bowling absolutely beautifully. It was the googly. Again. We're seeing it again. It it's hit the probably front not pad. A bad shout, He's a so long, long way down the track. Yeah. And Imran Tahir has two for 18 from six overs. And the pressure that he applied to was certainly a, an important part of the run out, which has also taken place in his spell. So he is supposed to be a match winner with the ball, as Imran Tahir. That's why he's in the uh, team. And uh, he's certainly proving his value today. Any more tweets? Just the one. Uh, Josh Robinson explaining the Will, Will Rogers. When Oakies left Cal Oklahoma and moved to California, they raised the average intelligence level in both states. Uh, attributed to him. Excellent. Uh, so this ball's on leg stump from Parnell and... Uh, Pereira doesn't really get much of it. In fact, I don't think he gets any of it because it's given as a leg by as it goes down towards long leg and there is no run. Um, we're seeing a graphic of Vimran Tahir's ODI wickets since 2013. I'm not sure what it tells us, otherwise something other than something we already know, which is that um, if you bowl at the stumps, you're more likely to get a wicket. A lot now on a measure of LBWs. Yeah, LBWs, the odds are... Uh, the odd um, googly going through or a top spinner. Uh, this is very full, and uh, that, that kind of ball was getting hit for four, the half volley on uh, off stump, while the Sri Lankans were uh, having seven overs, scoring at least nine per over. Um, but that one was just blocked back to the man who was uh, fielding, and there is uh, at mid off, and there is no run. First time I've seen Alim Dar with the full beard on there. Looks, looks good. Looks suspiciously black to me. What? Not a, not, beard, not a hint of grey in the in the. Have not seen his hair? He has the most luxuriant hair I think I've ever seen on anyone. It, it is impressive. Five. I agree. As this ball is uh, punched into the offside, and uh, they run a single to I think David Miller, who is uh, doing the job sweeping on the cover boundary. But even if you have thick black hair, you tend to get a bit of grey in the beard. Um, but uh, but no no for Aliyam Dar. I think, I, I think somewhere uh, in, in Pakistan, in an attic, there's a portrait ge getting straight, steadily greyer. Yeah, I, think and so. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think so. Imran Tahir taking time out to sign autographs for the kids on the boundary. It's good to see. 
the man who knows his public. As uh, Wayne Parnell is in on middle stump and Pereira drives, but uh, checks the drive and uh, just goes into the offside. And it is no run to hear signing all kinds of stuff as the kids lean over the picket fence with a security guard keeping careful eye. And it's not a bad thing to do. There have been sports stars, as we know, Monica Sellers, amongst many others, um, with the crowds are not always as friendly as they appear. But uh, Imran Tahir doing his bit for um, public relations. And cricket needs it. As Parnell is in, this is short, and it's cut with strong Robin Smith-like forearms from Kusal Pereira. It just goes out to the man sweeping, and there's a single taken. It looks like the Lankans might try and start their innings again with yeah, 20 to go. Yeah, don't like that. There's um, 28.5 gone. We'll have a change around at the end of the next over. Yep. Um, Monica Sellers was stabbed, wasn't she? Yes, she yeah. was, yeah. Wasn't there another one as well who was stabbed? Uh, uh, that was Tonya Harding stabbed one of her competitors. Yeah, and Kavitova, I think there was a burglar broke into a flat yeah. and... Uh, that stabbed her or hurt her hand. Quick Ooh, single taken yeah. there. It was always there. Um, but um, is it gone? I think it's gone for four overthrows. No, uh, no I think... Didn't What's they happened? Fumbled, he What's just happened it when, here? When he, I think is, De Villiers just fumbled it. Yeah. Or maybe he just fumbled it. Yeah, we're seeing it again. De Villiers on the charge, attempts to pick up with one hand. He does pick the ball up, oh, and yeah. then it slips out of his fingers. So having praised him for being the world's best off-balance horizontal in mid-air thrower down of the stumps, he's just proved that he's human after all. And um, the ball slipped out of his hands. He went through with a full throwing motion, but without the ball. <laughs> so it was quite funny in slow motion. Um, perhaps the... Uh, the plastic matting covering uh, the wicket that they used, I think, on Thursday, possibly, or will use later in the tournament. Uh, maybe that had an effect. Anyway, it's just down in the book as a single. Uh, the Lankans, 155 for five, 155, the bus that goes uh, to Tooting, and uh, five wickets down at the end of the over were coming out. So I shall enjoy my last ball by balling with Imran Tahir as uh, he bowls a leg break and it's just defended into the offside. But the uh, South Africans very much on their toes. They're looking to block that single inside the ring and they're doing it well. Uh, Tahir, two for 18 off 6.1 overs. It's the kind of match where the, man of, where the man of the match award goes to Hashim Amla for his 100. But Imran Tahir has changed this game. He should be getting it really. And this ball is hit in the air. And as if to make my point, it just spoons off the outside part of the bat. Imran Tahir is running round. He scored the goal in the cup final again. As uh, Gunnar Ratner goes, um, surely this is all over. Bar the celebrating, and nobody's going to celebrate like Imran Tahir. South Africa have a wicket. Sri Lanka, 155 for six. Well, we just change over to uh, Hendo on commentary and uh, Knuckle on uh, tweet on um, jingles. Uh, Mark Zip says, listening to you and occasionally checking dodgy internet TV feed. Fascinated <laughs> by to hear his haircut, a lazy porcupine, a melon. No, what it is is he went to his barber with a picture of Bradley Cooper in the late. 90s, early 2000s, when he was starring in Alias, and said, "That, that there with the frosted tips, that's what I want, people. Please make me look like that." Ah, I haven't been, I haven't noticed his hair. I've been sort of uh, fiddling around with tweets and stuff, and uh, I haven't actually looked at the, the uh, cricket for a little while. The uh, David Beckham Alice Band is a, it's a particularly oh. nice touch as well. Uh, that's right. Well, it's all fallen um, by the wayside for Sri Lanka here, hasn't it? They were what 89. 89 for one? Yeah. After no. 10. After 10. And then 20 overs later, they find themselves only advanced by 66 runs and have lost five more wickets. Has he been bowling particularly well? Um, he, he's not been bowling badly at there, all. Is there, there much turn out there? There's not a lot of turn, but what he's brought is a heck of a lot of control. He's had one actual bad ball. It's, it's all been on a good length. Or, or Yorker length, it's all been right on the off stump, so there's been no chance to sort of either take some, you know, nudge it to, into the leg side for an easy single or anything like that. It's been annoyingly consistent. Yeah, and his googly has worked as well as ever. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, this is a shame. It looks like the game is over. It looks like we're not going to get a, a thoroughly entertaining finish, um, I'm afraid, and uh, we could do with one of those. We've had 
well, a relatively uh, easy run chase for England, or not easy, they made it look reasonably easy. Um, we had that washout yesterday when it could have been a very exciting game. And this one rather subsiding slowly. It's uh, death by um, several hundred cuts, isn't it, at the moment? Uh, talking of several hundred cuts, there's some beautiful pizza on the TV at the moment. Oh, that does look uh, good. Does but look it is Domino's, which means as good as it looks, it's not going to taste like that. <laughs> well, I've been known to order the odd Domino's. And very odd it has been. Um, okay. Now, India, Pakistan is coming up tomorrow. You'll be here for that knuckle. I will be. Are you shivering with excitement I can't wait it's going to be so much fun it is going to be great I won't be here I've got uh, other things to do and then I've uh, got to go to Australia Bangladesh on Monday so I'll be taking a little bit of a break from um, commentary anyway Prasanna who uh, has yet to face a ball has come to the wicket Prasanna hey Sana 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 Prasanna hey Sana Prasanna ASPSP, won't you pull for me? Sana Pra, Sana Hey, Superstar. We got a decent 100 in a test match not so long ago, uh, Prasanna. Um, he's got a long angled run up, hasn't he? Um, Imran to here. He's bought um, unusually for this form of the game, a man into silly mid off. Uh, here he comes then, in, bowls to Prasanna, tosses it up, he drives all the way along the ground and it. Goes past the stumps at the other end, but Dumini is quickly round at long on to prevent them getting anything more than one. So the score moves up to 156 for six. They need, now need 144 off 20.3. So we're looking at um, the seven and over, aren't we, basically? Yeah. So Kugo Prasanna has played one test match. His highest score is five. I'm talking of the other Prasanna. Is there another Prasanna who scored? Runs? There was a Prasanna Jaya Wardana who was a wicketkeeper. No, 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 I'm not thinking of him. Uh, defended square, in fact, uh, back with a point. Uh, Rabada, I think he's doing the fielding there. There'll be no run. If you're thinking of a spin bowling all round, uh, Dunjaya the silver? No, who am I? Th I have no idea. I had a feeling it was uh, that two. It was a game in which two of them got hundreds. Maybe it was the, that game where they, they, they came right back into. Uh, he's going to produce the reverse oh. sweep, and it's very well anticipated by the man at slip. Hashim Amalu dives away and stops that. And uh, so no run is scored. What great figures Imran Tahir has. Three, four... 18. That was a horrible shot, wasn't it? That last uh, dismissal. Um, you'd be disappointed with that on the village green, to yep. be honest. I did that in my uh, second ball of my uh, season this uh, year and got dropped. Oh, good. Um, this is tossed up, driven by the left-handed Pereira, up to mid-off or deep mid-off, long-off if you prefer. And uh, they take one more. Uh, that's the end of Tahir's seventh over and another good one it was. Just the uh, two runs and a wicket from it. He has three for 20. Any more tweets? The only other tweet we've got is from uh, Josh Robinson, who, believing that re um, repetition to uh, be the height of wits is uh, really pile-driving on with uh, this IQ stuff. New Zealanders who emigrate to Australia raise the IQ of both countries. Rob Muldoon, <laughs> possibly ap apocryphal. So uh, can we go back to the de Kock, uh, puns then, please, now? Ah, uh, well, surely we've already done the de Kock puns, haven't we? We've already done the broom puns yesterday. Um... I don't know. Anyway, what I think we'll do now, I think we'll just do little five-over stretches so that everyone gets to go on ball by ball before the, um, uh, the game's over. Parnell starts a new over. It's uh, punched into the offside by Pereira, but uh, it's fielded at square cover and there is no run. This isn't going to get any easier for Sri Lanka because uh, Chris Morris has seven overs left and Rabada's got six. Yeah. Oh, God, there goes the... I haven't seen, today. I haven't seen the Tahir celebration today, but I guess that's good... That's good um, box office for the, uh, for the people there. He's got his personal brand to consider. And he has got people down there, hasn't he? Seemingly supporting him. Parnell, left arm over the wicket to the left-handed Pereira. He punches this through mid on. Oh, well, I think that's uh, Morney Morkel who's put the dive in there. It uh, can't be easy for a big man like him to get down, but he has. And he saved that running away and saved himself a chase. Maybe that's more to the point. Um, and uh, it's just the single. Yeah, I think it, it's easier for him to, to collapse at it. Um, yeah. rather than sort of turn and sprint chase. after it yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh mind you going down on his knees like that or one to one knee could do himself some damage 158 for 6 142 required from 118 balls just the four wickets in hand and we're pretty much down to the tail now as uh, 
Parnell is now over the wicket to Prasanna, who props forward and guides that off a thick outside edge to Gully, or backward point, more to the, more to the point. 158, we have uh, yeah, 117 balls to go. Hmm. Sikuka Prasanna has, uh, going into this game, has an ODI average of uh, just under 13. Not quite as bad as Moises Enrique, who's... Uh, no, that, I, I'm still baffled by that. I think we all are. If we, you, I could understand having him in the middle to lower order as a seam bowling all-rounder. Yeah. But batting but him at four. four instead of, say, Chris Lynn. Oh, beautiful delivery from Parnell. Just nips off the seam, beats Prasanna outside the off stump. Through the keeper it goes. No run. He's taking up a space of a specialist batsman. Yeah. And Chris Lynn is one of the cleanest hitters in the world. Well, he's, uh, he's, he's doing brilliant. I think he's only played... One or two ODIs, actually. He's he's um, he's um, not been used greatly by Australia, but then they've got you know quite a lot of these talented guys who play in the big bash. Um, yeah, Kawaja couldn't even make the squad. Kawaja is no. another man to look at. I mean, I think Kawaja was batting superbly at one point a, a year or so ago. He had a wonderful big bash. Uh, Parnell in again bowls. He has a little horrible chop off the front foot at this one. Brisson, and again he's beaten. Goes through low to. Uh, Quinton de Kock. Well, doesn't also Kwaj have a good record in the county championship as well? I know he spent several seasons over here. In, was it uh, Nottinghamshire he used to play for? Uh, Kwaj played for Lancashire, definitely one, yeah. one year. His first season in county cricket, I don't think, was a success, but he's, he's warmed to the task. Oh, he definitely looked at... I mean, w- when he was first being used by Australia, he looked not so much as a walking wicket, but it, it looked like it was all a bit too much for him. Um, but he's, he's come back very strongly, and... It, can play some beautiful shots off the back foot particularly some yeah. of his drives are absolutely stunning he's, he's very very flowing and elegant yeah Parnell again to complete his ninth over and he's gone after this one again he's getting in absolutely nowhere near it um, this bowling is far too good for Prasanna I'm afraid that is the end of that over uh, Parnell has uh, improved his figure somewhat I think at one point it was four overs number 36 uh, the next five have only cost him 17 runs so he now has figures of nine overs None for 53. Just the one came from that uh, last over as well. The South African fans are beginning to enjoy themselves, leaping about with uh, with uh, beer in their hands, amongst other things. Okay, so on the tweets, uh, Ravinair says, so what do we think now about my earlier fear that Sri Lanka's batting might fall away quickly? Four wickets since then. I think, yeah, you pretty much called it there, Ravi. I think so. I think we'll give you credit there. Credit where it's due, Ravi. I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. Angelo Matthews has taken a giant hole out of this side. I think so, yeah. yeah. Just the, the glue. I mean, I heard someone talking about um, Joe Root as the glue of the England side, and I think probably Angelo Matthews is the um, glue of this Far more side. so. Root's got far more backup than Matthews That's has. true. That's true. Uh, driven by Pereira out to wide long off, where uh, another single is taken. And uh, Tahir has now just started his well, Root eighth also over. also has a well-functioning, fully-funded first-class system behind him that, that can help if, if we ever do get into a situation where he's injured for an extended period of time. Take away Angelo Matthews. It's not just that the team's looking shady. It's the fact that there's no obvious... Driven by Prasanna this time. Foolish delivery up to long off. But there's no obvious indications of who might, you know, come along to replace him. Yeah, uh, to be honest, in, terms of, and in terms of injury rehab, Angelo Matthews is honestly better off calling up Kumar Sangakara and asking, can I borrow your physio? Yeah. <laughs> uh, shorter ball, which is swept, pulled by um, by Pereira. And that's actually going to go all the way to the boundary. Yes, the uh, man down there, Wayne Parnell, is not going to get to it at uh, deep backwards square. And it's four runs. Good shot. The number of the day. Oh, Who could ask for more? The number of the day is... Four. I like that one. I like that one very much. Anyway, a four um, won't mean much in the in the uh, context of the game. This one turns into ever so slightly into his pads, and uh, he works it to mid wicket. Uh, there is no run. How difficult it, difficult is patting, batting batting <laughs> spin currently? Well, we don't know because they've taken it away that uh, particular graphic. This is scooped out to mid wicket again and uh, stop. There'll be no run. How does that work as a Twitter poll? I didn't see what is it. Is this a Twitter poll? What is pitch this? Pitch difficulty. How has yeah. this ar- been oh, arrived at? Pitch difficulty is three. Easy or, th- or hard is ten, and they reckon it's three at the moment. Uh, tossed up outside the off stump and then driven through mid-off. In comes the man, I think, Dumini at uh, long off to field. 
And that is an end of another over from Tahir. Three for 27 from eight overs, seven from that over. Pereira has 23, Prasanna has two. Okay, um, so Doc Standi for his sent us another image. Um, a, ba a Sri Lanka batting photo to sketch from Upal Tharanga. I'll uh, retweet that in just a moment. Uh, I Paul, Paul, Paul Tharanga makes for good sketching. Yeah. Um, Paul Kemp says Sri Lanka are worse than Bangladesh. I'd say they're the weakest in the tournament. Excited mm. already for tomorrow's game. I don't know if they're the weakest. I think there's a sort of, oh my God, we just got here. Let's just ha go out and have a good time feel to Bangladesh's um, playing at the moment. I suppose the expectations of Sri yeah. Lanka have been, have been high. I mean, they've been raised over the last 20 years, haven't they? Compared uh, with what we had uh, with them before that. Parnell starts a new over. Pereira defends to mid-wicket, and there is no run. There's a sort of faded glory about Sri Lanka. Yeah. Yeah, Particularly with Sangakara in the commentary box. Yeah, I mean, that's a terrible shame. If he is that... I, I know he doesn't want to go around the world, but, and I suppose you can't just bring him in for one competition, but... He's sitting up there and you just think, how badly could they do with a man who's just scored five centuries in a row? Mm. How badly could they do with uh, He's well, also got another 100 in the One Day Cup as well, didn't well, he? And also, um, Rangana Herath retired from One Day yeah. Internationals not that long ago. That's a big blow as well. This is tucked past the man at mid-wicket. Ball was rising into the ribs of Pereira as he um, eased that away. He picks up one, goes to 24. Prasanna has two. He was struggling against Parnell in the previous over. Be interesting to see how difficult is batting currently against Seam. Well, apparently it's five out of ten. I mean, who, who, who's judging this? Who are these people? D we need to know. Despite the fact that Tahir's run rate and economy rate and strike rate are considerably better than any of the Seamers. Especially Wayne, Par Wayne Parnell. Uh, this is nonsense. Unless you tell us a bit more about this and who's involved in it. Uh, where's, where's the methodology? Show your workings. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Here comes Parnell again in, and he's reaching for that again, a ball angled across him. He's, he's played at about four balls from Parnell out there and got nowhere near them. And um, although it's frustrating for South Africa not to pick up the wicket, I suppose they're quite happy as long as the runs aren't coming. It's becoming a, ever more difficult for Sri Lanka. And, I mean, quite frankly, um, Prasanna just doesn't look like he's got the... <laughs> He's got the shots to uh, to do anything here, really. He's not e he's not even good enough to nick these. No, this is right. We're just or, seeing or, those or ones. Not on current evidence, anyway. Just seeing the uh, those four balls that he's gone after and got nowhere near. Um, let's, let's have a in begin swinger now. No, they decided that they're going to take a big step <laughs> across to the offside to try and actually lay bat on one of them. He does eventually, uh, but he knocks it down into his pads, and then the ball runs out into the offside. Doom, and he does the fielding. No run, 166 for six. The South African, what are those? South African what? Uh, those are, uh, are they Crocs? They're Crocs. Yeah, they, they must are. be Crocs. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a group of four crocodiles who are trying to get a, a Mexican wave going. I think and no one seems to be that bothered. It's it's all sort of dying, and the interest is fading. It's sort of in party mode now, isn't it? Yeah, he's in again. Bowls. He tried <laughs> an absolutely <laughs> massive slog. I don't know what that hit. It seemed to come off a bit of bat, a bit of pad. It could have even looped back to Wayne Parnell, but it didn't. And uh, well, he's just he's just out of his depth here, Persona, I'm afraid to say. He's uh, out of his depth, and he's uh, swimming rapidly away from those crocodiles, I would say. Or trying to. That Sri Lankan jumper is hideous. Yeah. The the a the actual the kit and the, um, so the, the top and the... Um, and the trousers are a, are a much sort of darker, more muted shade of blue. And then you've got this this very bright thing on top. It looks rather incongruous. And, and, rather. and why would you need a jersey on this? I know mean, you're from Sri Lanka and you're probably used to about 98% humidity. He's beaten again outside the off stump. Would you believe it? Have you thought, Wayne, about about the one that comes back? Um, I, think, I think he's had enough. Oh, he has had enough. Um, his 10 overs are completed. He's gone for 54 runs. He hasn't taken a wicket. And... Um, as I say, it's, it's, it's getting hard to um, keep interest in this game, to be honest. I mean, you can break Wayne Parnell's um, spell that um, bowling into two separate spells. His first one was naught for 45 but across five overs. Second five overs, naught for nine. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, uh, yeah. I'd actually break the first one into two yeah. um, because he was getting the ball to move what would be back into the right-handed batsman away from the left-handed batsman when he was bowling full when he found that length every time he dropped short he was getting punished he, just, he got he kind of he got a bit flustered i think by dick weller yeah who um, really did hit him off his length it's a shame for everyone i think that innings couldn't have gone on for a bit longer uh um not only because it was a lot of fun to watch oh, it was indeed uh now there's a man shouting from the crowd and he's well i was gonna say he was in a salmon and yellow 
um, blazer, but I'm, I'm just thinking that's a faded MCC blazer, isn't it? <laughs> it's been in the wash like too many one, yeah. times. Uh, change of bowling. Um, back into the attack. Imran Tahir taken out of it. Uh, comes this man. Uh, where the hell is he? Uh, we haven't got these ones in alphabetical order. He's round the wicket. Bowls to Pereira, who Pereira chops it into the offside. Dumini scampers around the field. And there is no run. Uh, 166 for six. doesn't look too happy to have been taken off, actually. I thought he fancied a couple more wickets here. Uh, Morris, let, uh, right arm round the wicket to Pereira. Pereira times this quite nicely, although doesn't really go through with an attacking shot. I'm, I'm wondering what his mentality is at this point. Do they just try and get as many runs as they can to ensure that their net run rate is slightly better than it might otherwise be? I think they kind of have to, don't they? Is that they? what it is? Are they yeah. going to keep us here for 17 overs, just sort of picking up the odd single? <laughs> Oh, dear. I do hope there's not. A, there's an average improvement to be done. Well, I suppose there's that. Yeah, I mean, Pereira's on 24 from 44. Um, here's Morris striding up again. Bowls. Short ball pulled powerfully by Pereira. There is a man out there. It's brilliant effort from him, but he can't. Uh, such was the power of the shot. He can't actually eventually pull it in. It was Maharaj. The uh, Is that Maharaj? It looks like... Yep. Subfielder. Yeah, I, I thought for a moment that was Beharzian. But anyway, um, it was a good shot and it brought four runs. That went like a Teresa bullet. He must be on for Parnell, presumably. He mm. may have gone off. But I thought I saw Beharzian fielding earlier. But yeah, they've had, I think, both substitute fielders. I don't know if someone's niggled themselves. Or... He's in again, Bosta Pereira. Pereira defends a good length ball out into the covers and doom the fields. We're... Uh, coming up to completion of the 34th over 130 still required it's not really going to happen is it I don't think for Sri Lanka unless Pereira can go absolutely crazy he's got to have someone else at the other end to support him I'm not sure that's going to happen Prasanna looks like a walking wicket yeah and if Nguyen Pradeep's batting at 10 your 11 must be bad oh right oh dear uh, he's in again full on leg stump and clipped away pleasantly through square leg bringing Herrera another single and exposing Prasanna to Chris Morris for just one ball. 171 for six. Yeah, in his 17 ODIs, Nuan Pradeep has got a grand total of 12 runs. Yeah, he probably doesn't get too many chances. I mean, he, when he goes out there, he's, he's, all he's going to be able to do is just slog it, isn't it, generally speaking? So, Or basically act as a runner for the guy at the other end. Yeah, yeah. So Morris uh, with figures of 1 for 18 back over the wicket to the right-hander and he chops. He seemed much more comfortable with the angle that uh, Chris Morris is bowling from. That was a much better shot off the back foot but uh, straight to the man at back point and there is no run. I shall do one more over and then Alec can come in and do five overs and then the bear can come in and do whatever's left. Um, hopefully not too much. Um... Ali Wallace says, uh, has any of the captains in this tournament won an ICC? ...event, which I say, don't think so, but... I, was Not Steve, uh, as captain? Yeah, as captain, I imagine. Was Steve Smith deputising for... Um, Michael Clark Clark. was Michael Clark was playing in the final, but was he? In, so, but he was injured earlier in the tournament. Was Steve Smith deputising? Was George Bailey? Uh, I think it was Bailey for part of it because Bailey got dropped to bring Clark back in and it. got dropped as captain. Yeah, and um, Angelo Matthews and this is Barnaby Shepherd. Angelo Matthews in Sri Lanka. That's true. Yes. Can we start um, a club for sportsmen with misleading uh, names? For example, Adol Rashid for England and Mario Gomez for Germany. I just say Adol Rashid is about an English a name as you can get these days. Yeah, so, uh, we yes. had at least two. We had a fair few Rashids and a fair few Adels. Yeah, not necessarily an Adol uh, Angelo Matthews, the, the sort of Portuguese connection. There's quite yeah. a lot of that going on in Sri Lanka and southern India. Uh, Rabada's back into the attack, and this is flicked away off his legs by Pereira for a single to square leg. Um, well, I was I was chuckled, and I suppose it is the, again the Portuguese connection of the, the Russell Arnold. Yeah, um, it, was, it was the most English-sounding 
Sri Lankan name that I've come up well, with. Well, um, Moises Constantino Enriques. And do you know where he was born? Portugal. Madeira. Madeira. Yeah. Same place as Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, my word. What a, what a hotbed of talent that is. Yeah. I, I Ronaldo wonder if, and Enriques. I wonder if Enriques will get a terrifying <laughs> statue of him. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Here comes Rabada again. He's in his fifth over. Bowl four in his first spell. He's in bowls and it's prodded into the offside. They want a single. Certainly, certainly Prasanna did. Uh, Pereira was a little slow in answering the call, but there was plenty of time for them to come through for it. Uh, score moves to 173 for six. And Pereira's moved on to 30. Uh, we have a jingle. Rabbi, Rabbi, do! Is now bowling to Pereira, the left-hander. He's in. He works that off the hip, down to long leg. Brings him another single. 174 for six. So we're just going to rely on these two getting them up to about 250, and then Pradeep and Lakmal to go absolutely crazy <laughs> to get them over the line. I'm <laughs> guessing. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, trumpeters are trumpeting. The Sri Lankan trumpeters, that is. There's a, a group of them, maybe four or five. And uh, Gary is just waving goodbye to all all three of you watching us on Facebook Live. I mean, Nestle Boy will be one of them. Uh, Rabada in back of a length and chopped again, nicely by Prasanna. He turns quickly at the top of uh, the top of the first run, looking for a second, but he won't get it. So singles all the way. Um, in this uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, this um, over four from four. Kukia Prasanna has a first-class passing average of 20, just a shade under 22. High score? Uh, 81. List, list A high list score? List A 95. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, uh, batting average of 16. Oh, that was in an ODI. Okay. Okay. Who was that against? Uh, Rabada in again. Bowls. Once more, it's on the hip of Pereira, and he works that towards mid-wicket. He's scampering through for the first, but again, he won't get uh, back for a second. Uh, it was against Ireland at Malahide last year. Okay. Uh, he also has a 59 against uh, one of the 50, 59 against England, Trent Bridge. Right. Uh, also in that year. So that's, uh, yeah, on, their, on the ODI leg of their, their tour of uh, England and Ireland. Last yeah. year? Yeah. We should remember that, shouldn't we? we but, uh, <laughs> well, we've definitely commented on at least yes. on one of his 50s. Yes, we have. Um, but I have no recollection. Uh, Rabada in again, bowls. This time he has forced to defend a ball that uh, jumps on him a little bit from a good length. He smiles. He's dealt with it. It's the end of the over. Just five runs from it. 176 for six. Um, if Alec wants to come and do a bit of ball by ball, I'll get uh, Al and see if he wants to come back and do a bit of tweeting. Well, we should remember that match because it was the it was the it was the uh, the tied ODI between England and Sri Lanka where Chris Wokes went ballistic uh, towards the end, uh, hit 95 off 92 to, uh, and the game ended in a tie. It is all coming back to me now. Uh, as Alec uh, settles in the ball-by-ball uh, -ball chair, we'll have someone to read out your tweets shortly, uh, as soon as Hendo has managed to wrangle someone. Uh, and he has oh, wrangled Al, Al Hotch. Uh, as a rather limp Mexican wave uh, makes its way haltingly and hesitatingly around the oval. As Morris is in, uh, he's continuing, and uh, that is sort of pulled into the onside by Pereira. They scamper through for a single. So it looks like Pereira's decided not to uh, farm the strike so much at the moment and has decided to trust his uh, partner with, uh, uh, with taking out some responsibility for the batting, which is probably not a bad idea because I think if you're looking to get all 123 runs yourself, you're going to end up tripping yeah. over at some point. Also, they can't really afford to turn down runs at this point. No. Do you know you need at least seven people to start a Mexican way? Is this true? Yeah. Say who? Fact. There. Right. Okay. As uh, Morris comes in again and it's ooh, slog swept essentially uh, over and into the crowd for one of these. Neat little sort of pick-up pull yeah. shot. Yeah, he's just uh, got, yep, timed it nicely and uh, just uh, gave it plenty of air, but uh, was able to keep it going longer than it was high. And yep, 
Oh, just in front of the crowds into the uh, white white fencing here. I think it's been dropped in the crowd. Yeah. Drop them. <laughs> You're not allowed to go to tomorrow's game. Oh dear. So uh, here comes Morris in again, and he bowls, and it's uh, uh, worked off, off of his toes into the onside behind square. Uh, it's fielded by Rabada, and they take the single. How far have you got with tweets? Um, uh, there's a couple from Ravi Nair that are a little bit political. They are. Uh, yeah, I was, I was thinking you might leave those. R R Ravi uh, was, was highlighting that there's, there's, there's a trend trying to uh, subvert tomorrow's game. Oh, um, but yeah. it, it comes under cricket's the most important thing. Um, Nestle Boy is um, yeah, I know one, the of the, yeah. one of the three people on uh, Facebook Live. <laughs> of course. Hi, Sean. Okay, it's, uh, Morris comes in. He's now coming in round the wicket and uh, worked off the hips into the leg side by Pereira. And I imagine they're going to take a single from that. Yep. He says he's at his desk while he's waiting for his carpet tiles to dry out oh, and he wants to die. Um, well, I'm, I'm sure we can do something to can, enliven we, your afternoon, we can, Sean. We can, we can lighten up the uh, lighten up the mood. You know, is sure there is, uh, is there a possibility of beer in your immediate future, Sean? Surely there must be. Uh, Barnaby Shepherd uh, was talking about the idea of people with misleading names from different countries, like a Angelo Dun uh, Angelo Matthews, <laughs> Angelo Dundee, Angelo Dundee, <laughs> uh, Mario Gomez coming from Germany, uh, yep. and the like. So, uh, and um, Rabada, he if comes we in we if we over the wicket, and he bowls, and again, quite full, worked off his toes uh, up towards mid-on, but uh, there's no run, it's fielded well. Uh, Messi just says that it's 85 years since Ifqbak oh, al Hussein Siddiqui played for England, so foreign names have a long history. Yeah, well, I don't think a name just being commonly associated with another country is necessarily misleading. Oh, no, it's not. It, well, misleading might be a little misleading. Paul Kemp... Um, at Blade Picker says that just read on Twitter that no team's been bowled out yet in the tournament. Watch this space. Um, oh, it's only been two games. yesterday, weren't they? Yes, that's right. New Zealand were bowled out yesterday. So whoever said that on Twitter is wrong. Very wrong. As Morris is in, last ball of the over. It's, it's uh, short and it's played up. Actually, um, uh, Prasanna tries to pull, but uh, uh, goes up, it goes up, and then it goes down um, safely and they run through for a quick couple of runs. Uh, an excellent audio indication uh, explanation of gravity there from Alec. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty hideous to, uh, sort of toe-ended pull. I think another a slightly more athletic cooler than Tahir might have tried to sort of take that running over his shoulder and diving. And, yeah. the, and the way that Tahir fielded it was like trying to... It was like, it was like a, a middle child of a, of a group of three children trying to desperately impress their parents with a flurry of effort. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. he was nowhere near it and then suddenly he overran it. So, uh, oh, the drumming beef eaters are back out. Yeah. Unfortunately, there is no bloody chance of beer on the horizon for Nestle Boy. Hope is on the horizon. Hope on the horizon is a lift home, Champions League, tea and bed. Yeah. Tomorrow will be another day. And what a day it's going to be. As Rabada comes into bowl and it's uh, played uh, straight out to uh, mid-off uh, for no run. Yeah, it promises to be a cracker uh, tomorrow. There's obviously... Uh, other things than cricket are uh, intruding. Some of them we can we can talk about. Um, the apparent rift between uh, Virat Kohli and Anul Kumble, which Virat Kohli has been very quick to say is absolute rubbish. But um, yeah, there's always going to be a little bit of extracurricular stuff going on. I know the sort of thing that Ravi is referring to, and uh, that sort of hideous nationalism should be left yeah. where it is, I think. As uh, Rabada comes in again, it's uh, again worked uh, straightish towards mid-off for no run. Uh, the score is 187 for six. I unfollowed someone on Twitter today for spouting those kind of sentiments. Yeah. I, don't, well, I don't need that in my life. Well, that's because you're a wise man. Yeah, it's a low bar. Hey, it's at least a bar. <laughs> this is true. Any bar's a good bar. Speaking of which, can someone fetch me a beer, perhaps? There has been a request for beer. Can we get a beer, please? <laughs> As Rabada comes in to bowl over the wicket, it's uh, quite sure it's, uh, there's an attempted hook from Pereira. He does connect and it goes, uh, trickles down to fine leg for one of these. It's me, Sanshi. It's me, Sanshi. Rabada seems... I demand to have some booze. <laughs> Rabada seems to be just hell-bent on bowling too short. This is weird. It's, it's as though Rabada's now decided this is a training exercise. Yeah. 
I will remove the batsman through injury. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, it, it was a proper top edge. It could have gone anywhere. As Rabada comes in once more, it's uh, much fuller this time. It's worked off the hips uh, behind point where it's fielded for no run. And there's another anywhere it could have gone. Yeah. So, so but yeah, he... Yeah, he, none, none of the batsmen have really been able to handle his pace when he's been sort of... When he's been, he's been hurrying them up with that, that short ball that isn't quite a bounce, but which is that sort of awkward hip... Yeah armpit region yeah yeah the, the ball that was mastered by the the West Indies in the late 80s yeah the one you can't get out of the way of yeah the steepler mm. it'd be interesting uh, if uh, if and when South Africa play Australia in this uh, tournament that's a delivery that David Warner's proved yes. very susceptible Robata to Robada comes in it's a, uh, on the leg side it's uh, worked off the hips again but it's fielded by De Kock who uh, and they take no run I remember um, during the last uh, during the last Ashes a number of times, Warner trying to work those into the leg side and getting leading edges and uh, then brings uh, Gully into play in the yeah. Line. Um, Ali Waller says misleading names. <coughs> Darren Patterson, England. Uh, <laughs> only true if you know his family history. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Rabada comes in. It's his last ball of the over, and he balls. It's a good length ball. Again, worked off the hips behind square once more. It's fielded by I think is that uh, Ash Hashamamla. There's no run. Um, yeah. Nestle Boy says there is one way, ray of sunshine here. Our vending machine, cr crisps and chocolate for dinner tonight. Ooh, Get that yeah. gentle rocking motion going on it, Nestle Boy. Come Don't. on. Don't tip it on yourself. Health and safety. Yeah, health and safety. Really do not he, he, tip should, on yourself. he should know that as a facilities manager. Well, indeed. Yeah, uh, our friend, uh, our friend Nestle Boy is a man of fine tastes. Well, there's, there's no substitute for chocolate. Um, Lurking Lima. Uh, I think Good the bowling name. out stat is that no individual batsman has been bowled out. Really? Um, That's a. That, I'm going to have to look through the scorecards. I, I think you, you have, might you, be you, right. You have, you have sent people. Scooting to the internet. R Ravi Nair says, could this be the first sighting of the boring final overs in this tournament? <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. Well, we've got the final power play coming up in uh, three overs time. So uh, we've got uh, Chris Morris to continue. Uh, he's currently on one for 29 off five. So, yeah, uh, Sri Lanka are just slipping further and further behind the run rate at the moment. Uh, but again, given that the remaining... Um, battling resources are a little bit thin. You can't really blame them for that. Would you say that they are waffer thin? They are waffer thin. Waffer thin. Waffer thin resources. Yeah. So, just waiting now as Morris comes in and he bowls, and it's a good length ball uh, outside off stump. Uh, but oh, it's worked. Uh, defended up to, towards mid off, and the uh, batsman drops his bat. That's always reassuring. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? He's bloody right. No batsman's been bowled yet in this tournament. Mm. It's a disgrace. It's the thin end of the wedge. It's a Benite solution. It's a, it's a sham of a mockery of a sham wrapped in a sham of a mockery. I demand a mistrial. So we have stop because uh, the, the batsman wants the to... Player. Good morning. Can I help? I need to borrow a little money for a new home. Shall we take a seat? Oh, Jesus Christ. Which tab is this advert on? <laughs> away by the trash men on the Shut up, Top Cat. That is. Thank you. Other mortgage providers are available. <laughs> and uh, other cartoon characters co-opted against their will into selling mortgage. Morris uh, oh, comes hello. in. Oh, oh, and we have a wicket. Morris comes in. It hits uh, Prasanna on the pads. They go up for... Uh, they go up to uh, appeal, and it's given by Alim Dar, and Prasanna has signalled for a review. Better out than in. Better in than out. Better out than in, better in than out. Yeah. out, shake it all about. This looks pretty good from Morris, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's uh, definitely uh, not a no ball. Yep, he's uh, treading on the line, so come in. And so, yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it definitely hits the pads first. The only real hope might be that it's missing leg, but that seems quite unlikely. Yeah, it's going to have to be going all the way over the top. Yeah, though. he's he's gone well back in his crease. It has hit him on the top of the pad. Umpire's call doesn't help him, though, does it? No, no it doesn't. It only has to be brushing the stumps uh, at this point. I suspect it might be just grazing the top of the stumps yeah. or essentially smashing it into the bales full on. And there is absolutely nothing. Smacks right into the pad. And so really now we've just got to wait for 
So here's um, the Hawkeye pitching outside off, impact in line, and yeah, hitting right between the top and middle and off. It's about as plum LBW as it's possible to get. Yeah, it wasn't a it wasn't a great review, but I think um, I think uh, Crisal Pereira knew it wasn't, and he is the last. Uh, oh no, sorry, Suzuki Prasanna. Um, you know they don't really have much. Uh, choice but to use it at this yeah, point there's no, there's there's no point to come. there's no point saving it for Lakmal Pradeep and Malinga not really no that is that is God, God, baby, God. yeah that is a Diplodocus like long tail yeah, that, yeah you have you have accurately appraised their, <laughs> their potential that that is England in the 90s isn't it that kind of a tail yeah, yeah. except mm -hmm. except it's only half as long as England's was in the 90s uh, Nestle Boys tweeted a picture of the uh, vending machine with <laughs> with three words that could send the chivers down the spine of any human being. Come to daddy. <laughs> oh dear. I thought he was going to say out of order. <laughs> no, come to daddy. Uh, Ravina, impromptu drinks breaks are getting on his nerves. Uh, at least the IPL didn't hide their, didn't try to hide their cupidity strategic timeout. Uh, yeah. The strategic ad break. Yeah. Oh, well. well, I mean, I've been watching the the NBA, yeah, and the NBA have television timeouts at certain times. So, but then at, at a certain point in time, the next time there's a foul or anything like that, it's a two minute break. So, you, so they actually have to schedule it in, oh, yeah. because the game doesn't break up naturally. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's it is essentially it's there to have an advert. Yeah, because in American football, for example, you kind of have a natural break in the game where you can go yeah. to an ad. So number nine batsman is in, and it is. Uh, uh, here's Lackmal and here's his jingle. Didn't we have a lovely time? The match we pick Saranga Lackmal. So Morris is in and uh, it's played defensively, uh, but um, it's nice and straight, but to a fielder and there is no run. Yeah, Lackmal's immediately worked out the trick of the oval, which is that if you smash it hard into one of the squares, you can get it over the fielder. Yes. And getting it over Chris Morris is quite an effort. That is quite impressive. Feels like it should count double. <laughs> yeah, Alex Hales has mastered that shot, mm. where you, sm you you kind of cut drive it hard into the square and bounce it over the man at point. Uh, so uh, Morris is uh, coming in again to the new man Lakmal, and he bowls, and it's again it's uh, nice straight but onto the pads, and it's just worked gently forward uh, in for defensive and fielded by De Villiers, uh, who's giving the ball a bit of a shine and. Uh, there is no run. 191 for seven. Does run rate count in this? Net run rate, yes. Net so the way yeah. they're separated, uh, teams are separated at their level. So it's number of wins and then net run rate. So it doesn't come to number of wins, then head-to-head -head record? No. no. It's, number of run rate. it's number of wins, then net run rate. Okay. To be fair, if it, if it comes down to net run rate, odds are it's because there's three teams who've won two apiece as Morris comes in again. And this is sort of pulled. Oh, oh and there's a run-out mix-up. Oh, oh, oh it's gone. I think that's gone. gone. Yeah. They're signalling for the uh, TV review. Yeah, he sort of pulled that, but it went straight to the fielder and he scampered off and was sent back. That direct hit from there is impressive. That is. I think that's actually more impressive than the uh, run out in uh, South Africa's innings because they had less time. To yeah, that uh, is out by a uh, mile. There's a good, what, eight, 18 inches almost? Yeah, um, if he'd got the dive in, he might have been saved. Who was yeah, that at mid-on? I think... Uh, I, I couldn't quite see it. That looked from, like it might have been to here, but it can't have been, surely. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, 191 for eight, and Lakmal, who's gone for a three-ball duck and is looking very sad about it. Do, does that... Does that oh, <laughs> Good that, Lord, it was him, Ran Tahir. That sums up your day. <laughs> <laughs> you get run out by you've the worst been, fielder in the team. You've been run out by Imran Tahir. How do you feel? I think even I could have thrown down those stumps. Oh, hang on. That that's, that's, that's a challenge coming he on. He was there, very really. close. Oh, he you say yes, I say no. You say stop, and I say go, go, go. Oh, no. You say goodbye, and I say hello. The classic yes, no, yes, sorry. Yes. <laughs> or as we like to call it, the Inzamam. 
Uh, no, he, that's the. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. I can't make it. I, can't, I, can't, I, I cannot make it. I am so sorry. It, Ian Pierce has some advice for Nestle Boy. Go for the Kit Kat. It looks like there's a chance of a double drop, and who could, even if you don't like a Kit Kat, you can take up. You can can't resist so, the, the opportunity of a double drop in a. Uh, in a vending machine. Chance of a double drop. Do you gamble? Get, so, you've got the speedboat. <laughs> your, your money's New safe. New batsman is Malinga. Uh, James Richardson says, this is a virtual replay of any of the games. So in the 5-0 whitewash, uh, Sri Lanka had suffered in uh, South Africa. Uh, yeah, mm, Sri Lanka yeah. didn't bat out their 50 overs in any of the games. Yeah, they're, I mean, even with Matthews, their they're batting sort of falls off a cliff. Yeah, yeah. when it goes into the lower order. Uh, Tahir is, I'm amazed that he didn't do a three laps of the ground. <laughs> uh, we will jingle up Lassith Malinga, and uh, while that's playing, I'm going to go get myself a beer. Would any of you gentlemen... You uh, jingle up and I'm okay. There's a Corona or a Peroni, that'd be good. She asked me why yeah. I'm so. just a hairy guy Lassith Malinga so Malinga has done a lot better. The last ball of the over, Morris came in. He bowled nice and straight, and Malinga was able to work it off uh, into the offside, and they took a quick single. The score is 192 for eight, and Malinga is one off of one ball. Paul Howarth tweets in, three days in and no shock result yet. Will Pakistan provide it tomorrow? You know what? I've got a sneaking suspicion that they're going to be able to do it. Nothing based on anything other than the occasion and just turning around and going you know what I think I think they're prepared to I think they can shock the cricketing world I think this hasn't worked for Pakistan in recent uh, major no. tournaments but they're a bit more competently led as much as I love Misper he he was a bit like Alistair Cook in that he couldn't always justify his position in the team Ooh, I think that's harsh I, I I think that's very harsh certainly uh, um, his one he was often the, the only player who'd score any runs in a and yet he never scored an ODI century. That, that puts him on the same level as Michael Vaughan. Excellent test match batsman, excellent test match captain, but he, you know, his, act, his actual batting record doesn't necessarily, as Rabada comes in to bowl to oh and he's We out. have the first. <laughs> <laughs> ah, excellent. <laughs> it was just a swipe at it, and he missed the ball entirely, and he's, he's clean bowled. And the first clean bowled of the Champions Trophy deserves this. <laughs> well, well, well. Strictly speaking, it was an inside edge. Was it an inside stumps. edge? Oh, okay. Nevertheless, <laughs> it, it, yeah. eat that Twitter. Eat that. Yeah, it's. Oh yeah. It's Malinga. He he's. He's got that sort of Glenn McGrath, Shahida Freedy belief that everything he hits, he can send out the park. <laughs> it was the look of utter bemusement. <laughs> Why has that not gone out the ground? Yeah. Why? That, that's the look of bemusement I have when I inside edge it onto the stumps. <laughs> yeah. And again, uh, Rabada just far too quick and far too accurate with yeah. the short ball. Yeah. It was a slightly short, but uh, slightly short ball that, that all Malinga really could have expected to do was either top edge it to a fielder or inside edge it onto his stumps. Well, or give Rabada a chance to drop another court and bowl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, well, the end is nigh. Mm. 192 for nine. And uh, we shall jingle up the uh, Sri Lanka's hapless number 11. You look for a swing on a summer breeze Pitch the ball quite straight Then have it softly leave And it's me Rabada comes in and oh, oh, oh. oh it's uh, again slightly shortish uh, squares up pretty deep and uh, it's all he can do not to inside edge it through to the keeper that ball and looked no like run. it went between middle stump and off stump <laughs> it did rather <laughs> that is way too good for Nuan Pradeep <laughs> yeah oh that's the ball oh, to Malinga that's the ball yeah they're replaying the ball to Malinga and it's just so ugly Malinga had done everything possibly required to smash it out of the ground except <laughs> get the middle on the he's uh, Every fibre of his brain is blaming the bat for that. Yes. <laughs> like any good club cricketer, as Rabada is in again, and uh, Pradeep he, he manages to middle it, and he defends it into uh, the offside, and there is no run. So on Behadeen on the pitch for somebody. Doing that uh, 
NASA Hussein thing where he goes and stands at the stumps and uh, tries to sort of, will simulate the field kind of from the batsman's point of view. <laughs> Love it. Sorry, yeah. there's, there's, Ian Gould tells like, him to take uh, a more of a forward <laughs> As Rabada is in, and oh, that is a vicious bouncer. That, uh, that um, goes right past Pradeep's nose, and it's all you can do to dodge it. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Rabada is wasting these on Pradeep. Yeah. Do you know what he needs now? Slower ball. Slower ball, right on middle stump. Like, um, it, pr- pr- it, like, like uh, Harmison, Harmison to Clark. Yeah, that's all yeah. they need. Slower ball, it's the last thing that Pradeep's worked. Pradeep is so terrified of what's coming. He could, he could bowl at like 60 miles an hour. Yeah, as Rabada is in again, and this is far too leg side really to do anything. And Pradeep, actually, it's a sl- it is slower, but Pradeep is able to middle that nicely into the onside. A nice defensive shot, and there is no run. Well, the other way is slower ball, nice and loopy, half yeah, yeah, volley yeah. outside off stump. Chris, uh, and watch Pradeep try and swing himself off his yeah. feet. Chris yeah. Cairns to Chris Reed, just like. Yeah. <laughs> was it? Was it um, Courtney Walsh to Graham Thorpe? Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's my Wookiee impression. Uh. So, uh, Pradeep is marking his guard as uh, he's getting ready to, to face his Rabada. Comes in and he bowls, and oh, it's worked out behind square on the offside they don't take a run though they could have easily taken a quick single and that is the end of the over it is a wicket maiden Ooh. I've got some uh, just a couple of tweets here Khaled per- Pervez uh, cricket as well as political commentary who needs TMS exactly thank looking you forward, Khaled <laughs> looking forward to tomorrow's commentary well we'll be looking forward to uh, having you and everybody else around Cricket365 says Pradeep might not be the worst number 11 in the world I think that honour goes to Chris uh, Chris Ma- Mpofu of Zimbabwe? I Ooh. can't claim to have seen much of Chris and Pofu bat. I thought you were going to say Chris Martin, but of course he's yes. the, um, he's the lead singer of Coldplay. Yeah, he's, a, he's a comedian. He is as well, yes. Uh, he compared a, a, a comedy night I saw in, in uh, Streatham a few years ago. Uh, um, oh, it was Mitch Ben, I think, was on the bill. It almost certainly was if I went all the way to Streatham from Streatham to go see comedy. So, uh, Sri Lanka 192 for nine. They're going to need the, the kind of miracle that usually suggests that uh, a dodgy leather jacket has been involved as Chris Morris is to continue. And, oh, uh, Pereira is just uh, scouting out the outfield, making sure he knows where all the gaps are as Morris comes in round the wicket and he bowls. And uh, uh, Pereira just hits it straight back to him along the ground and there is no run. Uh Aslam Root, Pakistan have home advantage. They are playing in the capital of British Pakistan, which is Birmingham. Although there's a heavy Pakistani and Indian contingent in Birmingham. There is, yeah. there is. And um, you'll do well to outnumber Indian fans anywhere. Yeah. True. True. I, I, it's going to be... It's going to be a carnival atmosphere tomorrow. Yeah. I, the, the last um, the last time those two played each other in England, um, the, the atmosphere was great. They uh, yeah. the, uh, They played a... A famous uh, Hindi a song from a Hindi film, uh, Ye Dosti from, from Shole, which means uh, it's, it, it, Shole is one of the most famous uh, Bollywood films, and it's the sort of the, the signature song from that film, and the entire ground was singing along, oh, wow. Indian and Pakistani oh, fans. Yeah, having seen um, both, um, both teams uh, play in England, Pakistan fans may not be more numerous. They're certainly a lot louder. Yeah. Um, the, yeah, the Indian fans, I was saying this earlier, they have their, there are two designated drumming sections for the Indian fans that have been set aside. Yeah. Uh, so as Morris comes in, he's uh, keeping around the wicket to Pereira, who works it uh, to a uh, point, just slight backwards of point, and uh, there is no run. It's the first time in a while where you could say that India have the superior fast bowling attack. Mm. Yeah. Uh, they made mincemeat of New Zealand and Bangladesh mm. uh, the last couple of... Re- re- there is no substitute for real proper ex- express pace. Yeah, they got it. Yeah. Oh, Umesh Yadav is properly quick. Yeah. Shami is quick and moves the ball uh, both ways. Bhuvi Kumar, and if there's any swing around, we'll find it. And yeah. uh, Boomra must be a nightmare mm-hmm. to face when you're trying so, to get and runs and quickly Morris off comes him. in and he bowls and it's worked uppishly uh, into the offside and it's fielded at a long off by Tahir who throws the ball back and the batsman has scampered through for two runs. Nice to see to hear returning to form after that incredible run out. Fumbles the ball. Looks like he looks like he threw that ball back in from the boundary with every fibre of his being. Absolutely. It's like, yeah, 
tried to pick it up twice, stood on it, no. tripped over. <laughs> no pressure on him at no all. Pressure. <laughs> Just nothing happening around him. Yeah. So uh, yep, everyone's looking very intent as Morris comes in to bowl once more. And again, it's a uh, Yorker length. It's a uh, spearing in on leg stump, but... Uh, Pereira manages to dig it out into the offside and there's no run. So at what point is Pereira thinking about taking the quick single and taking Pradeep off strike against Rabard? Um, this ball or next ball? I think he's going to have to do it this, this ball if he can. Just leave, just leave Pradeep one against Morris? Yeah. I think I think Pradeep is good enough for Morris, but there's no way he'll be able to survive a second all over. If you're De Villiers, do you bring the field in to save the one? Yeah. As uh, Morris comes in and... It's worked into the offside by uh, Pereira, but they don't take a single and no run. I mean, now you bring everyone in, surely. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Cricket 365, talk about our Zimbabwean number 11. Average of 2.3, highest score 6. In one day internationals? That's a bitch being life. Yeah. That's, that, 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 that's Chris Martin-esque. I think that's yeah. my lifetime tally at the bodily end. Yeah. In five seasons. Oh, and James Fenn is really happy that his T20 high score of six was scored with a six. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That's magnificent. <laughs> it's all right. That's a microphone drop and walk Absolutely, off moment, yeah. isn't it? It's, uh, Morris comes in, last ball of the over. Oh, it's um, wide right outside off stump. Uh, you canny bowler. Oh, That's yeah. very, very good not from Morris. Quite, yeah, not quite wide enough uh, to be called. And uh, score is 194 for nine after 40. And uh, Morris is two for 32 off of his seven overs. You could tell that was the plan coming together from Morris and the little fist mm. pump. That, was, that, that entire was, over was a training drill. That, that, that fist pump, that is a proper Henman fist pump. We go back to the days of mm. subpar British tennis. But yeah, that's, that's, he's properly looking at his... He's, you've got to look at your hand while you do yeah. it. It's not the Tiger Woods where it comes from low oh, and no. ends high. No, that's, that's aggressive. The Henman fist pump is... But yep. After another uh, backhand slice yeah, after, across court. After another Sampras running forehand pass, yes. which has broken your serve. So, so, what do you reckon? Is he going to see out the over? Ooh, I don't think he is. No, I, think, I, I think he's going to spoon one up in the air and get caught by de Kock. Ooh, yeah. I, I think he. No, I, I just don't think he's going to be able to lay back on ball. I think one of them is finally just going to be full enough and straight enough. It'll just go straight through. Him. <laughs> I'm thinking a sort of self-protective flail from in front of the face. You want to? You, you want to see something unnecessary? The, the umpires just signal to the batsman that they're in the power play. Uh, yeah. As Rabada comes in and <laughs> ooh, <laughs> it, it's uh, on off stump and pretty ba ba backs away and he tries to have a flick at it, but it goes straight over the top of his bat and through to the keeper for no run. As funny as that is, there's no point bowling outside off stump to Pradeep he's not going to get near it there's no. also no point bowling that short bowl to hit the stump or, or, like him. or him was Pradeep the one who yeah. in that match at heading uh, at Lords that they famously drew was he the last batsman in I can't remember uh, Pradeep, in Pradeep in the first innings of that uh, match after this ball as he Rabada comes <laughs> in and Pradeep just throws the bat at it it's quite short Pradeep throws the bat at it there's again no contact whatsoever and there is no run Optimism uh, has a new guard so his name is Pradeep Pradeep faced a bouncer which he we talked about this a little earlier which he tried to pull um, sort of hit him and then he he felt he sort of ended up facing the stumps and fell towards them and smashed the stumps down with the face of his bat or oh. That, that, that's an ugly way to get out. That really is wonderful. All it wonderful. needs is for him to stay there in that position yeah. while everybody walks up. So Rabada comes in and uh, he bowls. Oh, and Pradeep actually makes contact with that. He hits it uppishly. I imagine they're going to take a two-sing. Two. They may even get four for this. And yep, they do. Glory be. There's not one boy for me. I must have two or three. I need four. I think it's fairly safe to say that's entirely against the run of form for the rest of the over. Uh, Cricket365 have confirmed that the Zimbabwean number 11 has apparently got a first-class 50, which James Fenn then accuses him of being one of those people who goes into his own Wikipedia page and changes it. That's just a big swing of the bat as Rabada comes in, and it's a full toss this time. That really wasn't a good ball, and Pradeep is able to uh, hit that out into the offside, and I imagine they're going to just take the single from that one it looks like yep, yep. Uh, Pradeep is now protecting Pereira from the strike <laughs> uh, in honour of that four this is the jingle I was actually looking for oh my God, I can't it. yeah 
uh, Mayank turns around and says, ah, the hem and fist pump, my two favourite cr sports, cricket and tennis, frequently mentioned on cr Gorilla Cricket. No other service compares. Well, come join us tomorrow for, for the main course of this weekend. For India versus Pakistan. 10.30 10 10 30 kickoff, so... Yeah, we'll yeah. be on air at 10.25 a.m. BST. As Pereira's in, and... Uh, uh, sorry, Rabada's in, and Pereira that backs wide. away and tries to flick it up. No, it wasn't wide. He backs away. He tries... It's a bounce. He tries to flick it up over the keeper behind him, but can't make contact with the ball, and uh, it's taken by Decock. There is no run. 199 for nine. So, um, uh, Sri Lanka are now exactly 100 runs behind South Africa's score, and, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, they've just got to try and get this as close as they can and minimise the net run rate damage, yeah. haven't they? It doesn't make a necessarily pretty cricket, but it's quite sensible tournament play. There's a... Uh, Rabada, he uh, starts his run-up, he comes in, and he bowls, and uh, Pereira frees his arms, shot. and it's a nice shot. Goes through for one of these. That does mean that uh, Morris now has a hole over at Pradeep. Yeah. Reg regulation length, middle stump. Rabada hasn't exactly bold with the utmost of cricketing intelligence today. No, I, I assume he was going for the Yorker there, but he didn't quite nail it. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It, I, he's world-class talent, just needs to be engaged in the game and, uh, and read the situation a, a bit more. There's a few rough edges, I think. I mean, given that his extreme youth... Yeah, he's, yeah. he's 22. Yeah, he's kind of been thrown in the deep end of international cricket. It's, uh, age, is, age is no excuse. Nope. This is a good move from De Villiers. Yeah. Ooh. Um, yeah, Shahir is back. And he... Wherever you go, whatever you do, I will be right here waiting for you. Whatever it takes, or how my heart breaks, I will be right here waiting for you. Gibraltar! Yeah. 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 But to here is into ball Ugh. and it's it's a completely nothing ball. It's too short. Nothing does nothing. No spin or anything. And uh, Pradeep is able to see it out into the offside for no run. Uh, the only thing that graphic uh, told us was that the ICC can't spell Pereira. No, they really can't. As to here is in once more. Slightly better <laughs> ball. It rises up on on uh, Pradeep, who manages to get probably more glove than back to it and it's out to towards point where it is fielded by to cock for no run so yeah toss it up toss it up yeah toss it up uh, again oh big slog sweep from Pradeep into the outfield where yep it's caught nicely was that by the 12th man and that is the end of uh, Sri Lanka's innings they are 203 all out Must be said that was not the brightest shot in the circumstances from the bowler, from the we batsman all, rather. We all love it when a plan comes together and that plan came together quite quickly. Yeah, yeah, it was only a matter of time really. Pace from one end, uh, quality wrist spin from the other, and uh, uh, no number eleven can resist that for for very long. Uh, the upshot of that is that South Africa win by 96 runs. They take uh, an early lead uh, at the top of uh, Group B. We'll see how that all shakes out tomorrow, of course, with. Uh, India versus Pakistan, uh, uh, the uh, the fiercest, if not necessarily the oldest, rivalry in international cricket. Uh, they only ever meet in international tournaments uh, these days. In fact, it is mandatory that they meet in international tournaments uh, these days, practically, or so it seems. Uh, they will be at Edge Bastion, and we will be bringing you every ball of that, uh, of that exciting uh, clash. It's, uh, it's going to be a cracker. It always is between India and Pakistan. Uh, so join us at 10.25am uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll uh, wrap things up here. I'll go through the scorecard uh, very quickly. So uh, uh, South Africa made 299 of their 50 overs, anchored by uh, 103 by uh, Hashim Amla, 75 from Faf Duplessis, and uh, a good little cameo down the order from uh, JP Dumini, 38 and of uh, 20. Uh, two wickets for Nuan Pradeep, one for Siku Kiprasanda, one for Saranga Lakmal. In response, Sri Lanka started very well. Uh, they were, I think, they were, uh, they were 94 for one uh, at the end of the uh, coming into the 12th over. 
well, but uh, Dick Weller was the man first to go. A bright and breezy 41 of 33, eventually, uh, 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 eventually getting uh, uh, caught by uh, Wayne Parnell off the bowling of uh, Mornay Morkel Sky in that one uh, down to third man. Uh, the next man to go, uh, Kasal Mendes. Uh, he uh, made uh, only uh, 11, uh, was caught brilliantly by A.B. de Villiers, who uh, nonchalantly stretched up one hand and uh, uh, clasped it out of the air. Kuzal uh, Mendes going for 11. Uh, the next Chandamal, the, sort of the beating heart of the, uh, of the team, was also dismissed by de Villiers, a brilliant falling over run out uh, for uh, a scratchy 12 of 21. Uh, Chamara Kapagedra lasted only one ball, LBW, uh, to a googly from Imran Tahir. Uh, Upal Taranga, who'd done his best to hold the innings together, 57 of 69, including some lovely uh, trademark drives through the offside. Uh, 